I clearly awakened as an SSS level beast tamer, but my classmates mock me for having a useless profession. It's because being a beast tamer requires a lot of money. Each good beast companion is worth billions, which I, as a poor orphan, cannot afford. However, when changing professions, one awakens an exclusive talent. My exclusive talent is atavism. A common sparrow can be transformed by me into an immortal phoenix. An inconspicuous loach in a fish pond can directly evolve into a five-clawed golden dragon after atavism. No matter how trashy a beast companion is, it can become a legendary supreme beast under my control. At this moment, I am choosing my first beast companion, looking at the dazzling array of options, with even the lowest ranking ones costing over a billion. Suddenly, someone brought a group of wild beasts into the store. These beasts looked freshly captured, with wounds all over their bodies. Compared to the exquisite pet beasts in the store, these wild beasts were completely ignored. After being captured, the only fate for these beasts was to be slaughtered by the wealthy young masters and become their experience points for leveling up. In order for adventurers to leave the city for training, they must reach level 5. If they want to quickly level up, they must participate in dungeons or spend money to buy these half-dead beasts. The biggest advantage of such beasts is that they are cheap. With just a glance, I discovered a golden-eyed cat. Under the effect of detection magic, its entire information appeared before my eyes. It had the bloodline of a divine-level blue-eyed white tiger. Not some lord-level or overlord-level bloodline, but a pure divine-level bloodline. Although it was only 0.001, it was the same to me. As long as I perform a bloodline reversion, it will become a blue-eyed white tiger. Suppressing the excitement in my heart, I brought the demonic clawed cat back home. The demon claw cat is fast, so its body size is not very big, only less than 1 meter in length. I gently bite my finger and let the blood drop on the demon claw cat's forehead. Congratulations, host, on successfully forming a contract with the demon claw cat. In the instant the contract was formed, the demon claw cat was dumbfounded. It is just an ordinary fierce beast with common bloodline, yet humans have actually formed a contract with it. Surprised, aren't you? But there's something even more surprising to come. With the successful contract, should we proceed with bloodline reversion? The blue-eyed white tiger? I also want to see what a blue-eyed white tiger looks like. To avoid attracting attention, I quickly hailed a taxi and headed straight to the instance for leveling up. There are two instance spaces in Haichang, an experience instance and a material instance. Each instance has two challenge modes and five difficulty levels. In solo mode, you can gain more personal experience, but the chosen difficulty level will be lower. Most people usually choose normal difficulty, while more skilled players may choose a higher difficulty level. In team mode, it usually consists of a team of 3 to 5 people, and the difficulty level is higher. Usually, players will choose challenging or nightmare difficulty. When I arrived at the instance square, I heard the sound of team formation. I will choose a solo instance on normal difficulty. Thank you. After receiving the instance key, I am ready to give it a try. If the difficulty is not too high and my power is outstanding after the return of the bloodline of the demon claw cat, I don't mind challenging nightmare difficulty. Xiao Yi, you're here too. Do you want to join our team? We plan to challenge the team's difficult level instance. The more people, the more strength. At this moment, a classmate standing on the square spoke slowly. I knew he meant well and wanted to help me level up. Just as I was about to politely decline, I heard a mocking voice. He at most has a normal bloodline contracted beast pet. I don't want a useless person to hold us back. The one speaking was Zhang Long and Wang Hu from our class. These two are also special occupations. One being a falcon eye guardian and the other a fighter. With their three person lineup, there shouldn't be any problem challenging a regular team instance. The two of them quickly posted the team configuration on the square. The holy light guardian angel led the team, followed by the hawkeye guardian, the fighter, and the special occupation DPS. They needed two tanks with special occupations for the difficult three person dungeon. The crowd erupted in excitement as soon as the team configuration was revealed. I envy them so much. The Holy Light Guardian Angel led the team, but unfortunately, I am just an ordinary heavy tank. I didn't want to waste any more time talking to them, so I entered the dungeon. A beam of light descended and transported me away. Everyone was already used to this phenomenon, and no one noticed me at all. As soon as I entered the dungeon, I summoned the Demon Claw Cat. The dungeon space was large enough for the cat's bloodline to revert. Little Kitty, your great fortune has arrived. Although it didn't know what I meant by great fortune. It knew that I meant it no harm. It rubbed against my arm and quietly lay down on the ground, waiting for its bloodline to revert. As the bloodline load was being checked, the system's voice ended. 
A blood red light descended from the sky and directly entered the body of the demon claw cat, covered in blood. A tiger roar echoed throughout the entire dungeon, with the blood light enveloping it. The form of the blue eyed white tiger appeared before me, and its size continued to grow. Another tiger roar, and all the blood light was shaken off, revealing the true form of the blue eyed white tiger in front of me. What caught my eye was the Golden King character on its forehead, giving off an inexplicable pressure. Its movements were streamlined, its muscles strong and powerful, filled with infinite strength. The blue-eyed white tiger seemed to have not yet reacted to its own transformation. After all, it was just a weak demon claw cat before, but now it had become a divine level blue-eyed white tiger, successfully reverting its bloodline and evolving into a blue-eyed white tiger. You should know that beast masters are not invincible, their strength lies in their beast companions. But now, with symbiosis, it's different. Although it's only one-tenth of a divine pet, it's still not something ordinary humans can compare to. A divine pet with the ability to transform into human form and wield human weapons and equipment. Just thinking about a divine pet in human form is exciting. Let's quickly check the attributes of the blue-eyed white tiger. Divine pet, blue-eyed white tiger. Melee attack. Ranged attack. All maxed out. Of course, all of this is not the most important thing. Don't be fooled by the fact that the blue-eyed white tiger is already 10 meters long, it is still just a young cat. When it truly grows up, there will be no one among humans who can match it. The copy mission can only be completed perfectly within 10 minutes, and the normal copy rewards 100 pre-sale points. If you want the blue-eyes white tiger to grow faster, you will need the help of genius treasures, which requires the use of pre-sale points. In the pre-sale store, everything needs to be purchased with pre-sale points. After wasting half the time, Half of the time has already passed, leaving less than 5 minutes. One person and one tiger soar into the air and begin the copy sweeping mission. Looking at the scattered monster remains all over the ground. They may never understand why such powerful monsters appear in a level 5 experience copy. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the perfect clearance. The copy rewards 100 pre-sale points. The normal difficulty of the copy is not challenging. If you want to level up, you have to go to nightmare difficulty. After crushing the copy key, I left the copy. Crushing the copy key, ye shall left the copy. Single copy, nightmare difficulty. Nightmare difficulty? Are you sure? The staff at the copy plaza froze for a moment after hearing Yi Zhao's request. Single person copy, nightmare difficulty, since this copy was built, no one had been able to clear it. There were even very few people who had challenged it. After all, the experience copy was for transmutants below level 5, and it was simply unlikely that a level 5 transmutant would want to clear a single copy of the nightmare difficulty. Even over the years, very few had even challenged the hell difficulty, let alone the nightmare difficulty. Nightmare difficulty that's very difficult, you have to think clearly, although the safety factor of the experience copy is high, it doesn't mean there's no possibility of losing your life. If you don't react in time, it's very likely that you'll be killed, why don't you try the difficult copy first? The staff member reminded very kindly, and Yi Xiao also knew that he was doing it for his own good. But he didn't want to delay this either. When he came out this time, his level would definitely be exceeded, and instead of wasting that time, it would be better to go directly to the nightmare difficulty copy. Anyway, with little green around, there was no need to worry about safety. It's okay, give me the nightmare difficulty copy key. The staff could only persuade for a few moments, the decision was still in Yi Xiao's hands. After handing over the copy key to Yi Xiao, Yi Xiao turned around and entered the copy, seamlessly without delaying a single second. Single copy, nightmare difficulty, is it confirmed? Confirmed. Please wait, transmitting now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yi Xiao disappeared in place and arrived in the nightmare difficulty copy. Single copy, zombie world. Passing condition, kill all zombies 0 out of 1000, zombie king boss 0 slash 1. A thousand zombies, and a zombie king ah, the difficulty isn't too big. Little Green, let's go, fly low and hunt the copy zombies. After summoning Little Green out, he rode Little Green and started sweeping through the nightmare copies. Not to mention, with a nightmare difficulty copy, the atmosphere within the copy was different from other copies. The entire copy was dead, not a bit of vitality could be felt. Xiao Qing led Yi Xiao to sweep around, and in no time at all, he found a dozen zombies that had fallen alone. Ordinary Zombie. Level, 9. Strength, 150. Agility, 130. Endurance, 149. Spirit, 0. Seeing the ordinary zombie, Yi Xiao kind of knew why no one could pass the copy for so many years. An ordinary zombie, attribute points have broken 3 digits, he symbiotic little green attributes, only barely exceeded it a little. This is a 5 level copy, the ordinary monster level has broken through 9 levels, not to mention that there is a zombie king behind. If it wasn't for little green's presence, 
he would have backhandedly crushed the copy key and left. One on one could barely take out a zombie, then the rest of the zombies could tear him to pieces. Once he thought of this, Yi Shao no longer hesitated. As an imperial beast master, why should he fight personally? Little green, go. Ow. Ordered. For Yi Shao, these zombies were difficult opponents to deal with. But for little green, these guys, were not enough for it to warm up. Big Dipper Wind. Both wings quickly stirred, the astral wind surrounded Xiao Qing's body, if it wasn't for the protection of Xiao Qing's power, he might have been torn into pieces by the astral wind. Go! Silent battle, the zombies on patrol didn't have any reaction, they only felt a cool breeze hit them. Then there was no more, where the astral wind raged, the zombies were all torn into pieces. Kill ordinary zombie, experience plus 50. Kill ordinary zombie, experience plus 50. Kill ordinary zombie, experience plus 50. After the ordinary zombies were killed, nothing of value came out, and Yi Xiao didn't continue to stay, writing Xiao Qing to continue patrolling. Kill ordinary zombie. Mission progress, 700 slash 1000. In less than half an hour's time, Xiao Qing had solved 700 ordinary zombies. For Xiao Qing, these zombies were too weak, if it wasn't because of Yi Xiao's order, she would want to lie there and sleep. Xiao Qing carried Yi Xiao and continued to fly, flying extremely fast, her greenish white eyes kept sweeping around. Soon enough, it searched for another group of zombies. Compared to the ordinary zombies from before, the zombies encountered this time had a change. Their bodies were wearing worn out armor, and they were holding huge battle axes in their hands. Armored zombie. Level, 9. Strength, 180. Agility, 177. Endurance, 179. Spirit, 10. Although the rank hadn't changed in any way, the attributes had grown completely. The most important thing was that they had 10 points of spirit power. When Xiao Qing was suspended in midair, they actually stopped there and looked up, and every now and then they had to let out a roar. It seemed to be in an impotent rage over not being able to reach Little Green. Roar! Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing just looked at them silently. After only a few seconds, they thought of a way and threw the battle axe in their hands towards the sky, trying to use the power of the battle axe to split Xiao Qing down. Don't say it, these guys are quite interesting, they can also throw weapons. Come and go, little green, return the battle axe to them. Xiao Chang, who received the order, opened his wings and a fierce wind swept through, all the battle axes stayed in midair. The axes that were swept by the gusts of wind all had cutting attributes attached to their blades, and with a gentle flap, the axes returned the way they came. Without any obstacles, the battle axe easily chopped off their heads. In an instant, there were more than two dozen corpses on the ground. Kill armored zombie, experience plus 60, x23. Drop, broken armor, times 23. Drop, zombie battle axe, times 23. The results of this battle were not bad, it was just a pity that the drops weren't anything good, they were all remnants, and Yi Xiao couldn't use them. Keep going. After flying less than 500 meters, he encountered another armored zombie on patrol. The armored zombies with low IQ could only throw battle axes to attack Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing. In the face of such a powerful attack, Xiao Qing did not even raise her eyelids. The wings gently waved, the powerful air current directly let the tomahawk return to its original path, dozens of armored zombies did not even have the time to react, the head directly moved. In the end, they could only be turned into a massive experience for them to upgrade. Yell, it's not bad, this time it's even OU, there's even equipment popping out. Little green, land. After killing the armored zombie, a ball of golden light burst out directly on the ground. Yi Xiao jumped down from Xiao Qing's back and reached out to pick up the golden light. Shadow Battle Axe, Extreme, plus 35 points of physical attack, plus 5 cooldown reduction, plus 500 max life. Passive, Cutting, increases physical penetration by, 5 plus character level x3. Passive, Crippled, normal attacks have a 30 chance to reduce the enemy's movement speed by 20 for 2 seconds. Crap, Warrior Extreme Equipment, if this is worn by a berserker, the damage will explode. Unfortunately, I'm just an ordinary Imperial Beastmaster, it doesn't help me very much. The attributes of the equipment were indeed good, but he was an imperial beast master, so why would he need to fight himself? What might help him a little was the 500 points of increased blood. It was better than nothing. Equipment. After all, it is the first piece of superb equipment he got, more or less to give some face, first equip it to try the effect. After checking some, there was really nothing else found, Yi Xiao rode little green and continued to start sweeping. Wherever he went, not an inch of grass. As long as they encountered zombies, they were all fanned to smithereens by Xiao Qing's wings. Killed armored zombie, experience plus 50. Kill venom zombie, experience plus 50. Level up to level 4, please continue to work hard. Quest progress, zombie 1000 slash 1000, zombie king boss 0 slash 1. After killing so many monsters, he barely managed to level up to level 4, so it was obvious how difficult it was for the imperial beast master to upgrade. 
After all, he had to share half of the experience he gained with Xiao Chang. No wonder the young masters of the big families choose to buy fierce beasts to kill, how can they race to level 5 without killing a thousand of them? He had wasted so much effort alone with Little Green, not to mention the others. It's so nice to have money. Unfortunately, it doesn't have much to do with me, so it's better to kill monsters honestly. After adding attribute points to endurance and agility, they continued to start killing monsters. After all, he was an imperial beast master, he didn't need to be too demanding in terms of strength and spirit, and with a higher stack of endurance, no one would be able to harm him. The small monsters have been dealt with, then it's time to deal with the boss next, as long as the boss is dealt with, then the copy is considered cleared. Being the first to clear a nightmare difficulty copy, Yi Xiao felt exciting just thinking about it, the reward for clearing it should not be too inferior. Flying all the way, deep into the copy, he soon found the zombie king's lair. An immense tomb. Seemingly sensing Yi Xiao's arrival, the zombie king slowly climbed out of the grave. Its scarlet eyes proved that it was now annoyed, and its sharp claws were already leaping, as if it wanted to tear them apart. After so many years, no one had ever dared to disturb it. Now that its little brothers had all been slaughtered and Yi Xiao had woken it up, it was furious. Roar! A sonic attack swept towards Yi Xiao, Xiao Qing shook its head and gave a roar at the zombie king. Ow! The same roar, but the effect was many times stronger than the zombie king, a roar directly destroyed all of the zombie king's attacks. From the suppression of the divine level bloodline, a roar directly forced the zombie king back several steps. The zombie king's head tilted, and that already dysfunctional head became even more wooden. A random roar had actually broken his sound wave attack, and along the way, it had also managed to force him back. Moreover, Little Green gave it a sense of oppression that it could not match, that sense of bloodline suppression gave it the urge to flee. Flee? Yes, flee. The zombie king's ability to survive until now relied on more than just its group of unenlightened minions. It relied on its own clever brain. Encountering an opponent like Xiao Chang, there was only one way to go now, and that was to escape and return to its lair. Humph 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 the zombie king who thought about it, under the eyes of Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing's surprise, quickly drilled towards the tomb. In less than two seconds, the zombie king disappeared. Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing's heads were covered with large question marks. This was a copy boss? How did it escape before it was even fought? No wonder no one had been able to clear this copy for so many years. What could they do when they encountered this boss that fled before they could fight? Good guy, surprisingly, he's grown a brain. However, the past still needs to be cleared, if they leave this time, they won't have the chance to come back in later. So no matter what, the zombie king had to be cut down today. Little Green, destroy the grave and fly in. With a single claw, Little Green lifted the grave cover off the ground. Underneath the grave, there was actually a tomb comparable to a palace. This guy really knows how to enjoy himself, Little Green, can you find it? The tomb was built so huge that even Little Green was able to fly unimpeded within it. Sprinting all the way through the catacombs, they arrived at the deepest part of the catacombs before they felt the aura of the zombie king. GGG. Just after stepping into the depths of the tomb, they heard the laughter of the zombie king Jie Jie Jie. Before they could react, a magic formation wrapped the two of them. What the hell? Forbidden magic array. Restrict human magic output. No wonder the zombie king came here. It turns out that there is a complete set of forbidden magic array here. Once a magician enters here, he is a lamb to be slaughtered and the warrior is also half-wasted, and all his skills cannot be used. He wouldn't be trying to kill us with the help of this thing. No need for Little Green to answer, looking at the zombie king's behavior he knew that it was indeed this intention. This was a solid disregard for Xiao Qing's size. This bladder and waste, even if you can't use skills so what, Xiao Qing is an invincible existence in both close combat and long distance. Let me see what your complacent capital is. Check the attributes of the zombie king. Zombie king, boss. Level, 10. Strength, 350. Agility, 290. Endurance, 330. Spirit, 20. Has a brain, but not much. Can think, but not very comprehensively. 350 strength, for humans, it was indeed an unattainable existence. But for Little Green, it was a slap in the face. Little Green, fuck. The zombie king opened his bloody mouth, and the stench of blood almost didn't kill Yi Xiao. The sharp claws were also rising like crazy, growing to a meter long and they were about to pierce into Xiao Qing's body, huffing and puffing. Xiao Qing snorted, his eyes full of disdain. It didn't even intend to move a bit, it just gently waved its claws, and the zombie king directly returned the same way and fell heavily on the ground. Just this? Thought how strong you are, shoot to death. Yi Xiao was also too lazy to delay more time, after solving the zombie king, the copy was considered cleared. After Xiao Qing got the order, she quickly flew to the sky above the zombie king. With a jackhammer fall, the entire ground sank by three points, and as for the zombie king, he was directly stepped on and turned into meat jerky. 
Without a single enemy, even the zombie king was just a matter of a claw and a kick. Invincible, how lonely it is. Looking at the trampled zombie king, Yi Xiao could not help but let out a sigh. Killed zombie king, experience plus 200. Congratulations for clearing the nightmare difficulty copy, please exit the copy in time to check the clearance score and receive the copy reward. Countdown 10 minutes, copy restart. There are still the last 10 minutes of time, Yi Xiao is not in a hurry, there is still time to check the dropped equipment. A small armored zombie can drop equipment, let alone a zombie king. Two golden lights hovered over the zombie king's body. Props, forbidden magic array, three times. Equipment, excellent, mercury boots. Attribute, increase 10 magic resistance. Passive, increase speed by 45. Passive, the duration of stun, slow down, taunt, fear, silence, blindness, deformation and confinement is reduced by 10. Passive, the duration of stun, slow down, taunt, fear, silence, blindness, deformation and confinement is reduced by 10. A superb prop, a superb equipment. The harvest Yi Xiao was still very satisfied, especially the mercury boots, escape and life preservation in one, very suitable for him. Equip. After equipping the boots of mercury, after checking and realizing that there was nothing missing, he chose to exit the copy. Exit. First time clearing a single player nightmare difficulty copy, being scored. Scoring, SSS. Receiving a SSS rating Yi Xiao was not surprised at all, after all, he was the first to clear a nightmare difficulty copy in so many years. After all, he was the first one to pass the nightmare difficulty copy in so many years. If you don't give a SSS rating for such a difficult copy in such a short time, there's no place to talk about it. Now let's see what rewards can be given to him after passing. Reward, Nightmare Treasure Chest times 1. Passing record has been saved, please choose whether to be anonymous or real name. First pass of the Nightmare Difficulty copy, the whole network will be notified in 10 minutes, whether to be anonymous or not. He wanted the treasure chest, and the clearance record was a must, but he didn't want others to know his identity just yet. The whole network notification, if it was real names, by then the people who were paying attention to him might not just be from China, it was even possible that the whole world was paying attention to him, and at that time, he would most likely become the target of all. So for now, he had to keep a low profile and develop. It's easy to hide from open fire, but it's hard to guard against secret arrows, so it's not unlikely that there will be careful people who will look at me with displeasure. Anonymous, all anonymous. If he could turn off the full network notification he would still be willing to do so. Unfortunately, he couldn't make a decision on this one, anonymity in the network-wide notification was the biggest authority he had. Exit. Leaving the copy, Yi Xiao did not make a sound, as if he did not know anything, and no one noticed his abnormality. It was immediately after that the news of the network-wide notification came out. Anonymous Chinese professional passed the nightmare-level single-person copy of Zombie World, obtaining an SSS grade rating. Anonymous Chinese professional passed the nightmare-level single-player copy of Zombie World, obtaining an SSS grade. Anonymous Chinese professional passes the nightmare-level single copy Zombie World, obtaining SSS grade rating. Three consecutive network-wide notifications caused a clamor. Single-player copy, the choice of a genius. Nightmare difficulty, the choice of a genius expert. Perfect clearance, none so far. Everyone knew the difficulty of the zombie world, after all, there were quite a few geniuses who had broken into the zombie world, only the difficulty of the zombie world was too great and they all chose to give up. But I didn't expect that someone would break through the zombie world today, and also obtained an SSS grade. Nightmare difficulty SSS level rating, my god, can't imagine, what profession can break through ah, beast master? Impossible, there are quite a few beast masters who have broken through, and all of them failed. The world of the big brother how can we understand it, have the heart to care about the big brother, might as well think about how to pass the ordinary copy of it, I have failed three times in the ordinary copy. It's so sour, it can sour me to death, if there's an afterlife, I'm willing to turn into a leg hair on big brother's leg, so that I can feel this kind of worship. Anonymous professional, why don't you publish the name? Who cares if it's anonymous or not, as long as it's from our country of China I'm satisfied. That's right, the pride of our Chinese country, big brother is awesome. Am I the only one who wants to know what rewards Big Brother obtained? This is a nightmare difficulty copy, the rewards for an SSS grade rating shouldn't be too inferior. As soon as the broadcast came out, everyone went numb, their eyes filled with envy. Not to mention the rewards, just this honor was enough to make their hearts flutter. Everyone was guessing the identity of the anonymous person again, and only the staff at the side was full of joy. Others didn't know, but he knew best, the only person who challenged the nightmare difficulty copy today was Yi Xiao. He thought that he was out of his depth and wanted to try, but he didn't expect that he had really cleared the level, and it was still an SSS grade rating, an absolute crushing stance to clear the level. Handsome man, strong strength, how good if I were a woman, near the water tower first. Only before he finished being complacent, he was controlled. 
In order to prevent Yi Zhao's situation from being inquired about, all the staff in the replica plaza had to be controlled today. The few people in the replica, Nai Yun, who were also in the replica, also received the news of the briefing. When Nai Yun heard the news, her first feeling was that this anonymous person was Yi Xiao. I don't know why, a woman's sixth sense. The more she thought about it, the stronger the feeling became, and in the crowd Nai Yun searched for Yi Xiao. It didn't take long to find Yi Xiao in a remote corner. Yi Xiao. What goddess reserve, through and through there was none. After seeing Yi Xiao, Nai Yun took three steps and quickly came to Yi Xiao's side. F asterisk CK, this kid really got lucky, how come every one of them favors him so much? One Xiao Yanru wasn't enough, but he even hooked up with Nai Yun, who made him handsome and talented, there's no way, we simply can't compare to him. The entire square was filled with a sour flavor. At this moment Yi Xiao was the public enemy of all men, that is, the eyes could not kill, otherwise now Yi Xiao would have been stabbed with a thousand holes. Yi Xiao also did not expect Nai Yun to suddenly look over. By the time he reacted and was ready to leave, Nai Yun had already come to his side. Did the break-in go well? No injuries, right? As he spoke a holy light enveloped Yi Xiao and gave him a set of all-round healing. No injuries, no injuries, I also know healing techniques, no need to bother. Concerned, she was just worried that Yi Xiao would be injured. However, after seeing that Yi Xiao was safe and sound, she was relieved. He couldn't have too low of an emotional quotient when others were so concerned about him, a proper greeting was still okay. Didn't you guys go to break into the difficult copy? Did it succeed? Of course it succeeded, Xiao Yun has us to protect him, how could he fail? Before Nai Yun could speak, Zhang Long and Wang who couldn't wait to answer. They really couldn't stand the fact that Nai Yun was so good to Yi Xiao. When they saw Nai Yun treating Yi Xiao, they walked over at the first opportunity. Did you just come out? Looking at you, you should have failed, the ordinary copy didn't succeed in the challenge either. It's okay, everyone understands, after all, the difficulty of a single copy is there, not to mention that your beast pet isn't good, it's normal to fail. The beast pet is not good? Yi Xiao wanted to laugh. It was the first time he had heard that the green-eyed white tiger could not work. If the green-eyed white tiger couldn't work, then what could work? Yi Xiao was also too lazy to pay attention to them, it was a waste of his life to speak one more word of nonsense with them. Right, right, what you all said is right. The two men acted as if they didn't hear Yi Xiao's perfunctory behavior, they were still pulling and stepping. Yi Xiao, if we don't have the strength of other people's big brothers, let's keep a low profile and follow other people's mixed teams without shame. For Xiao Yan's face, how about we make an exception and let you join our squad, follow us to kill difficult copies, more or less we can gain some experience now. For their good intentions Yi Xiao was too lazy to accept. A little bit of experience, a dog would have to shake its head when looking at it. No need, I can do it myself. Ha! Hearing Yi Xiao say he can do it himself, Zhang Long Wang who laughed. Royal Beast Master has his own arrogance we also know, but people, still need to have self-knowledge, just that beast pet you contracted, want to go through the copy alone, it is simply impossible. If you have the strength of other people's big brother, we don't need to help you not, but you don't have ah, without that strength to obediently mix team with people, no one will laugh at you. Keep a low profile, like other people's big brother, the whole network notification of such things people are not willing to be in the limelight, learn well from others, or society will carve you into the mold you should be in. While pulling and stepping on him, he also had to brag about him. Yi Xiao also felt funny. Instead of continuing to delay time with them here, it would be better to go in and level up, once more, the level would be almost enough, then he would be able to go out of the city to kill the ferocious beasts, how would he have extra time to play the pulling and stepping game with them? Classmate Nai Yun, you guys continue chatting, I'm going to go challenge the copies first. After greeting Nai Yun, Yi Xiao turned around and left. Bah, what kind of innocence is he pretending to be, treating his good intentions as a donkey's liver and lungs, if it wasn't for the face of Xiao Yun? Why are you guys talking about him like that? After watching Yi Xiao teleport to the copy, Nai Yun was more or less angry. If it wasn't for them, she would have been able to say a few more words to Yi Xiao. What happened to Yi Xiao's bad condition? As long as Yi Xiao opened his mouth, she was willing to provide Yi Xiao with all the resources for upgrading. Seeing that Nai Yun was a bit angry, Zhang Long Wan who also put away his smiling face and put on a chagrin look. Xiao Yun, we didn't do it on purpose, we're not in a hurry, we're all in the same class, we can't bear to see him like this, and we're kindly trying to get him to join our team. He is just too high-minded, this is going to suffer in the future. Zhang Long also echoed at the side. Alas, Wang Hu, it's not nice for you to talk like that, who is he, Yi Xiao, a beast master, a great genius, he has the capital to be condescending. Maybe people have already passed it, why don't we go and look at Yi big genius's record, I think with Yi Xiao's talent, how can it not be worse than ours, how can it not also have to break through the difficult copy. In terms of damage, it was still up to Zhang Long. Constantly raising Yi Xiao's image in Nai Yun's mind, by then if he didn't get to see Yi Xiao's battle results, then Nai Yun would be disappointed in him, and then their chance would come. 
My my, or brother Zhang is right, I said that people Yi genius is not willing to team up with us, people's battle records are fiercer than ours, so why bother teaming up with us? Although Anai Yun was gentle, she wasn't a fool and naturally knew what they were scheming. Still, she followed the two to check the leaderboard. The two of them were being conspiratorial, she truly believed in Yi Xiao, and she even suspected that the person who was notified across the net was Yi Xiao. The three of them each went to check the list of copies with their own thoughts. Check the record of today's difficult difficulty single copy passes. No, no, eh? How is this not there? It can't be, Yi Xiao is so genius, how come difficult copies don't have his clearance record? Wang Hu also put on a look of disbelief. Maybe Yi Xiao just entered the difficult copy, before that he just went to the general copy to practice. Right, that makes sense, come check the clearance record of today's general difficulty single copy. Still nothing. Normal difficulty, still nothing. It can't be hell difficulty. What's the harm in checking, just in case people are really clearing hell difficulty? Nothing. After checking all of today's pass lists, Yi Zhao's name was never found. How is this not there? The two of them turned their gaze to Nai Yun, unable to suppress the excitement on their faces. There was no record of Yi Xiao in the copies, which proved that he had not cleared the copies so far. Such a waste was enough to disappoint Nai Yun. However, they couldn't say anything in front of Nai Yun, and they even had to act like they cared about their classmate. Egu Egu, it's okay, it's probably Yi Xiao's mistake, didn't we pass the level several times, I think Yi Xiao will definitely be able to succeed this time. You guys say, what if the big brother who just cleared the nightmare difficulty and got an SSS rating is Yi Xiao? And Ian either didn't speak, once he spoke, he directly made Zhang Long Wan who dumbfounded. It took a long time before he reacted, laughing so hard that he couldn't stop at all. Him? Just him? Little Yuna, do you have some misunderstanding about the nightmare difficulty, SSS rating? Just by virtue of him being an orphan, contracted with nothing more than an ordinary beast pet, with a combat power perhaps not even comparable to ours, passing the nightmare difficulty? That's a fool's dream. That's right, he's a waste, who is he to compare with Big Brother, he's not even worthy of lifting Big Brother's shoes. In their opinion, Yi Xiao simply didn't pass, the nightmare difficulty copy, he didn't have that strength. What they said also made sense, Yi Xiao himself did not possess such conditions. Coming from an orphan background, even with the school's rewards, he could only purchase a lower middle class, at most an elite bloodline beast pet. Wanting to pass a nightmare difficulty copy and still get an SSS rating was simply impossible. There were once imperial beast masters who had tried to break through a nightmare difficulty copy and contracted a beast pet with an overlord level bloodline, but even then, they hadn't even been able to see the copy boss. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Yi Xiao had already entered the copy, and there was no chance to ask if he wanted to. Let's go, continue to challenge the copy and level up as soon as possible. Although the whole network notification thing surprised them, they were only surprised for a moment and secretly envied. Their main task now was to practice leveling so that they could shorten the gap between them and the big brothers. The students who had just changed jobs were all stimulated by Yi Xiao's network-wide notification and were frantically breaking into copies and practicing leveling non-stop. On the other hand, the major universities and the major powers were thrown into a frenzy because of this notification. Imperial City University, find the person for me at all costs, make sure he joins Imperial City University. Magic City University, go find the person at speed, any condition can be agreed upon, absolutely cannot let Imperial City University steal the show, the person must be brought back to me no matter what. First Military Academy, good seedling, this is definitely a good seedling, this year's good seedling should be the turn of my first military academy, we can't let those guys have their way, mobilize all the connections and find the person for me as soon as possible. Magician Guild, Warrior Guild, Alchemist Guild. All forces gave orders to find Yi Xiao and bring him back at all costs. There were those who recruited him, and likewise there were those who wanted to get rid of him. After all, if Yi Xiao grew up, then humanity would have one more strong person, and this was something that certain people were unwilling to see. Secretly investigate, if you can recruit and control, then bring the person back, if not, directly destroy him. Not only were the domestic forces hitting on Yi Xiao's idea, the foreign forces were doing the same. The entire network was informed, as long as one was a transmogrifier they could receive such news. The heavenly pride of China. The only super genius who had passed the SSS score, they couldn't let Yi Xiao grow too smoothly. China has grown too fast over the years, it has seriously threatened our position, and now it has even awakened a super genius, let our people make a move to finish him off, at all costs. Where did Yi Xiao know that he would be so popular and would be missed by so many people? It was good that he had shielded his information all over the net, no one could view his information without his permission. If the whole network is open, it is estimated that he will not see the sun the next day. Yi Xiao didn't think about that much when he first started out, now he was focused on killing monsters and upgrading. The difficulty of the copy after the reset was exactly the same as before. 
However, with the experience of the first time, the second time was even more familiar. Summon. Summoning Little Green out, in the Imperial Beast space had suffocated Little Green. She disliked the feeling of the Imperial Beast space, it was too suffocating. Master, can you not let me go into that Imperial Beast space ah, it's so boring, I want to stay by Master's side. Looking at the pampered Xiao Chang, Yi Xiao gently stroked its head. Such a domineering beast pet Yi Xiao also wanted to bring it by his side. However, when he thought about his room that was less than 20 square meters, where could he accommodate such a behemoth? Little Ching ah, it's not that I don't want to keep you outside, it's mainly because you're too big for your size, it will cause unnecessary trouble. Little Green looked at his own appearance, it was indeed a bit too big. But it didn't matter, the issue of size was never a problem. I can take shape. It didn't say that Yi Xiao really didn't think of it, as if it had awakened such a skill after its bloodline returned to its ancestor. The morphing you are talking about is changing body shape? Or do you mean taking human form? Xiao Cheng twisted her body with a shy face. People can do both. Hiss. Yi Xiao sucked in a breath of cool air, hell knows where this guy learned to be pampered from. A god-level green-eyed white tiger, actually pampering him, this could be okay. You. Stop, don't look at me with your sigh mesmerizing eyes, who taught you pampering, why don't you learn? Green-eyed white tiger aggrieved and looked at Yi Xiao, it saw Nian before is how to talk, how Yi Xiao so repulsive. Why don't you take on a human form and see? After all, it is also the first time to see, in case after transforming into a form, Xiao Qing is very beautiful, stay by the side can also raise an eye, then there is no need to enter the royal beast space. If it is hard to look at after transforming, then you can't blame him, people, more or less with a little bit of face control. If it's ugly, then obediently become your beast pet. Don't you need to go in if you take human form? Transform first and then say. Then master, is that young lady outside just now considered a pretty human? It didn't know much about human aesthetics, and it didn't know if an Ion was considered pretty. Human aesthetics was held steady by it, not melting the right ones, only the ones that Yi Xiao liked. Not bad, school flower level beauty. What's a school flower? Very pretty? Very pretty, what are you inquiring about this for? Hurry up and take shape, let's kill monsters and upgrade after this. Hate, so anxious. Yi Xiao people are numb, this guy is really getting more and more demonic. Ding. Green-eyed white tiger is transforming, please be patient. As the system's beep sounded, golden light enveloped the green-eyed white tiger. The 10-meter tall body shape shrunk back a little bit as the golden light entered the body, and the huge wings were also suppressed back into the body a little bit. As for what it could turn into next, it was out of Yi Zhao's consideration. I also don't know what Xiao Cheng can turn into, like a flower? A little lowly? A royal sister? Looking at her character, how should she be a petite little beauty? Yi Xiao began to fantasize in his own mind what Xiao Cheng would look like after she transformed. A delicate body, convex in front and curved in the back, a big golden wave, and then a look almost like an Iyun, that would be barely okay. Just as Yi Xiaoi, the golden light faded, the huge body of the green-eyed white tiger had already disappeared, and the only thing that stayed in place was a big tall man of 1 meter 72. Only the human form was wrapped in golden hair, it was impossible to see her appearance. Master, I took human form. Before Yi Xiao could react, a naked pussy jumped into his arms. I, I, poof. Yi Xiao a bloody big boy where suffered this kind of stimulation, the key she is still not honest, in the arms keep moving around. Go, 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 put on my clothes. A mistake of principle could not be made. Master. Xiao Qing's languid posture, coupled with that flirtatious little look, almost didn't mesmerize him. Get dressed, get dressed, hurry up. Yi Xiao did not dare to lower his head at all, that huge thing was close to his chest, this lowering of his head, it was as if he was about to be sucked into the abyss and could not pull himself out of it. Master. Xiao Qing was still pouting. This is my order, get dressed. Yi Xiao had given the order, Xiao Cheng naturally could not refuse and shook herself, with one more light blue flower dress on her body. After putting on the clothes, Yi Xiao dared to look straight at her. A big tall man of 1 meter 7, her greenish white eyes revealed a hint of flirtation. Light blue long dress, fluffy hair, angelic face, devilish figure. It was perfect. And Ai Yun and Xiao Yun Ro had to lose three shades of color in front of Xiao Qing. Master, are people beautiful? To say that it wasn't beautiful was to open one's eyes. Saying it's beautiful, it feels weird. How could he write it into battle in the future? Master, feel free to write it. Cough cough. Yi Xiao was almost choked to death by a mouthful of old phlegm, the two of them had a common mind, he could not hide any thoughts he had from Xiao Qing. Master, you haven't answered people yet, are they beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. But don't call me master in the future, it's weird. If Xiao Qing was still in beast form, calling him a master didn't feel anything. But now that Xiao Qing was in human form, calling him master, the whole thing made himself seem like a pervert. Master, what do I call you if I don't call you master? Xiao Qing held her head high, a face of confusion, that small eyes blinking, 
to be more seductive to be more seductive. Those who knew clearly that she was a green-eyed white tiger, those who didn't know thought that she was a nine-tailed demon fox, call me a big brother, I will comb. You just call me big brother. Good master. Big brother. Good master. That eyes are full of cunning, ye shall knew that she was on purpose, but it doesn't matter, love to call it what it is. Master is master, one's shadow is not afraid of the slant of the body, there is absolutely no need to care about what others think. After thoroughly understanding Xiao Chang, Yi Xiao gave her a name, Yi Ching Ching. Little Ching, change into beast form, it's time for us to kill the monsters. Okay master. Shaking her body, the big beauty turned into a green-eyed white tiger, although she was still a bit diabolical, but for the sake of a quick battle, Yi Xiao rode on Xiao Qing's back. Master, how to kill. Kill how fast you can, but don't reach the limit, do you understand? Records are for others to see, but at the same time, they are also for oneself to break. Reaching the limit at once, how to get stuck in a bug to receive rewards. The rewards of a nightmare copy were much more generous than a normal copy. Although he didn't know what Yi Xiao was doing as well, since he gave the order, Xiao Qing had to execute it perfectly. With a flap of his wings, he flew directly in the middle of tens of meters in the air. The location where the monsters were refreshed hadn't changed at all, and Little Green began his slaughtering journey in the same order as last time he hunted. As soon as the monster appeared inside their eyes, their wings began to rapidly stir. The wind turned into a sharp blade and swept towards the ground, wherever the wind reached, the monsters were all cut into pieces, none were spared. Killed Armored Zombie, Experience plus 50. Kill Venom Zombie, Experience plus 50. The system's beeps didn't stop, a thousand zombie monsters didn't resist Xiao Qing's 10 minutes of destruction. One after another, the astral wind blew, the entire copy was wrapped in astral wind, except for the grave where the zombie king was located, the rest of the place became a forbidden zone. Level this place. The zombie king had just emerged, and before he could react, a sharp claw sliced through the top of his head. Why is my body there? Leaving behind an unwilling realization, the zombie king was killed. Killed zombie king, experience plus 200. Congratulations on clearing the nightmare difficulty single copy, record refreshed, time to clear 13 minutes, rating SSS, whether to continue anonymously. Anonymous. Record refresh reward, nightmare treasure chest times 1. The copy will be reset in 10 minutes, please leave the copy as soon as possible. The copy was going to be refreshed and it was time for them to leave. How is your consumption? A little bit of stamina consumption, no blood consumption, 70 blue consumption. On this journey, Xiao Qing was zooming around, and it was normal to have some consumption of blue. But this is all a small matter for him, a clear spell, the blue amount is directly pulled full. Just exited the copy, looked up and saw NIU and several people. I don't know if they were idle, or it was just a coincidence that just after coming out, a few people bumped into each other again. However, Yi Xiao did not have the intention to greet them, words were not enough, greeting them was a pure waste of time. It was not allowed to listen to them using him to pull stomp on him. Nightmare difficulty, single copy. Yi Xiao had only gone in 10 minutes ago, and now he was challenging again, which was more or less out of his depth. Coming out in 10 minutes proved that he had failed. Instead of wasting this time, it would be better to pass the copy that he could pass. Little fellow, don't be overly ambitious, others can pass the nightmare difficulty copy, that's someone else's strength, if you emulate others, it's only a laughing matter of the east and the west. Challenge the copy that suits you peacefully, that's the right way. Inexplicably came another sermon. Yi Xiao did not know why, was he so weak in their eyes? A mere nightmare difficulty, what was the fuss about? But when others kindly reminded him, he couldn't throw his face off either could he? It's okay, I. You just give him the nightmare difficulty copy key, he is the genius of our school, authentic imperial beast master, pass a nightmare difficulty copy, that is not easy. Yi Xiao ignored them, they did not intend to let Yi Xiao go. Looking at Yi Xiao coming out of the copy so quickly, they couldn't help but want to flirt a little. When they heard that Yi Xiao had broken into a single copy of nightmare difficulty, they laughed. An orphan imperial beast master was actually learning from a big brother to challenge a nightmare difficulty copy. Xiao Yun, do you think this guy is funny or not? He even wanted to learn from the big brother and pass the nightmare difficulty copy. Zhang Long, don't laugh at an imperial beastmaster with a dream, in case he succeeds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's all my fault, what you said makes sense, what if people succeed, 10 minutes to clear a nightmare difficulty copy, this is not a genius, this is a demon. Although he didn't know exactly how long it would take, but it definitely wouldn't be too long, at most 10 minutes. 10 minutes to pass the nightmare difficulty copy, but any student knew it was impossible. Even for a normal difficulty copy, they needed 10 minutes to clear the monsters, let alone a nightmare difficulty copy. For a copy of this difficulty, it was normal to stay inside for a day or two, and 10 days and half a month was possible. As for 10 minutes, it was a fool's errand. Seeing that they did not believe it, Yi Xiao just smiled and did not say anything. Key, taking the copy key, he directly entered the copy. 
Nightmare difficulty, single copy. Selection successful, transmitting now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yi Xiao once again came into the copy, still familiar with the operation process, this time Yi Xiao didn't let Xiao Qing stay his hand. After all, after this time, he was going to break through level 5, and then he would not be able to enter into the copy. Let go yes, kill monsters with all your might and set a record that no one can match. Okay master. After receiving Yi Xiao's consent, Xiao Qing no longer held back and flew with her wings, going all out in the copy. Master, give me clarity technique plus. Oversized Big Dipper. Gathering the strength of his entire body, he rapidly flapped his wings, and the astral wind continued to coalesce under the flapping of his wings. The amount of blue in Xiao Qing's body was also rapidly depleting, Yi Xiao did not skimp in the slightest, clarity technique after clarity technique, all of them were added to Xiao Qing's body. Until the two of them reached the bottom of the blue amount, Xiao Qing stopped coalescing. Big Dipper Explosion. The two balls of astral wind condensed under the wings flew rapidly, constantly entangling and colliding in the air. Bang! The balls of astral wind ruptured under the constant collision, and the condensed astral wind poured down crazily as if it had found a vent. In an instant's effort, the copy was enveloped by the astral wind. Ding, killed armored zombie, experience plus 50. Ding, kill venom zombie, experience plus 50. Ding, kill zombie king, experience plus 200. Copy passed, record refreshed, time 57 seconds, rating SSS, do you choose to remain anonymous? Anonymous. It's time to keep a low profile, as long as the reward arrives. Record refreshed. Reward, Nightmare Treasure Chest X1. Copy reset in progress, please leave the copy as soon as possible. Copy reset in progress, please leave the copy as soon as possible. Leveled up and the record refreshed, simply cleaned up the battlefield and took away the dropped materials and equipment before leaving the copy once again. Perhaps it was fate in the underworld. Yi Xiao just came out and ran into Nai Yun several people who were preparing to enter the copy. The moment they saw Yi Xiao come out, Nai Yun and the others froze. Looking down at the watch, from the time Yi Xiao went in to now, only a minute or so had passed. And he came out? This is too wasteful. He went in with a bullish face and came back with a gray face. More than a minute, even they can hold on for so long. More than a minute, Yi Xiao, you really made me laugh, you went into the nightmare copy to play? No matter how wasteful you are, you can still last for 10 minutes. You can be really disappointing, thanks to Xiaoyun expecting so much from you, I didn't expect you to be so wasteful. For the sake of Xiaoyun's face, I can let you come in to mix the team to rub experience, just this one chance, you have to grasp it well. How about Yi Xiao, you come in and rub some experience, it's convenient for you to upgrade. Previously, Nai Yun had some expectations for him, thinking that he might be the one to pass the nightmare copy. Now it seemed like she was overthinking it. It was impossible to pass in a little over a minute. You guys are very idle. Level up more when you have time, I won't bother you guys. After saying that Yi Xiao turned around and left, he still had to be busy opening treasure chests, he simply did not have time to talk nonsense with them. Drag what drag, all gray rolled out from the copy, even still have the nerve to drag. Treating good intentions as a donkey's liver and lungs, Xiao Yun, this kind of person doesn't deserve our help. Nai Yun didn't answer them, he just stood there quietly looking at Yi Xiao's back. Did you guys just notice Yi Xiao's weapon and shoes? Nai Yun's inexplicable words attracted the attention of several people, even though Yi Xiao had already left a good distance away. But the shadow of the equipment could still be vaguely seen. It seems like it's really a bit different. Where did he get the equipment from? Did he not purchase beast pets? All purchased equipment? No no no, the first time I saw him I didn't see the equipment, it should be the equipment that dropped after entering the copy. For Yi Xiao's every move, Nai Yun was very concerned, so she was very sure that Yi Xiao had not worn these equipments before. Extreme equipment, he may not be able to buy it even if he gets money for it? Could it be that he really challenged the replica? Let's go, go see the list. The moment she saw the equipment on Yi Xiao that day, she had a strong urge. The nightmare difficulty copy, that anonymous person was Yi Xiao. A few people hurriedly came to the leaderboard, not checking the other leaderboards, just checking the leaderboard of the Nightmare Difficulty single copy. Sure enough, sure enough, three records, a total of three records. Three times records? What does that mean? Zhang Long Wang Hai suddenly had a bad premonition as his eyes tightly stared at the leaderboard. There were a total of three battle records. All of them were refreshed again today. The first time through was the longest, and the subsequent two records were getting shorter and shorter. The second time it took more than 10 minutes to pass, and the third time it only took a minute. Wait, more than 10 minutes, 1 minute. This seemed to be the same time as Yi Xiao entering and exiting the copy. Impossible, absolutely impossible, how could big brother be him? I don't believe it, he's an orphan, what makes him pass the nightmare copy? The more they clamored, the more they felt weak. 
How could there be so many coincidences in the world? One coincidence was called a coincidence. So many coincidences then it wasn't called a coincidence, it was called a fact. As soon as they thought of the big brother they just used to pull the stomp on Yi Xiao, their faces turned a bashful red. No wonder Yi Xiao was just unwilling to pay attention to them. What to do, what should we do now? After the bashfulness, they were more afraid. Just now they were not giving Yi Xiao any face in front of Nai Yun. If Yi Xiao was really a big brother, then their future days were really bad. In the city Yi Xiao might not make a move against them, but they couldn't stay in Hai Chang for the rest of their lives. Once they left Hai City to kill monsters in the wild, Yi Xiao would kill them like crushing an ant. Xiao Yun, see if you can. At least we are teammates, do us a favor, okay? Now they could only pin their hopes on Nai Yun, after all, Nai Yun and Yi Xiao were the only ones among them who had some friendship. If Nai Yun could help them beg for mercy, there was still a chance that Yi Xiao would let them go. Looking at the two men's panicked appearance, Nai Yun secretly rejoiced in his heart, but on the surface, he still put on a difficult look. I can try to help you guys out, as for whether Yi Xiao forgives you or not, that depends on your sincerity. But I think, you guys better come up with sincerity first, take people's means, I think at that time Yi Xiao is not good to continue targeting you guys. Yi Xiao's family was not well off, and if he wanted to go to a good university, he needed to prepare quite a few things. It was thought that he had already consumed all the money on hand by purchasing beast pets, it just so happened that he was now extorting them a little bit to Yi Xiao. Got it, got it, we'll go back and prepare the sincerity, we'll be counting on you when the time comes. What copy or not, all unimportant, the most important thing now was that Yi Xiao did not hold a grudge against them. Can pass the nightmare copy in one minute, in the future is definitely the top of the country of China, this record, but by the high level no, the rise of the world is just around the corner. They could not afford to offend the little people of Hai Chang. How can I be so bad-mouthed, who is not good to offend Yi Xiao, this time really miserable? Who says it's not, if I had known that he was so strong, I should have ingratiated myself with him a little bit, maybe I can even give him a hand in the future. Zhang Long Wang who was helpless, but things had already happened, they could only try to make up for it. Yi Xiao who left the replica square released Xiao Chang and a handsome pair of men and women just walked on the street. Master, what is this? Master, that one looks so delicious, can I eat it? Master. Xiao Chang was like a child, chirping along the way, wanting whatever he saw. Who let him be the one who spoiled the child? Today Xiao Qing also made a great achievement, treating a little bit of food is not too much. What do you want to eat, bye? With a wave of his big hand, he directly promised. An hour later Yi Xiao regretted, this bitch's stomach is a bottomless pit, no matter how much food is bought, it is not enough for her to eat. Just this one hour time, enough to eat her more than $10,000. More than $10,000 ah, his heart is dripping blood. The key was just one meal, if it was three meals a day, there was no telling how much money would be riding on it. No wonder others said that the imperial beast master was a gold swallowing profession, without some family money they couldn't afford to raise beast pets. Are you full? And 30% full. Yi Xiao didn't want to say anything, $10,000 for 30% full, completely full would be $30,000. How many meals can you eat a day? Three meals. Xiao Cheng also playfully stretched out three fingers. Cough. Three meals a day, 30,000 for one meal, 100,000 a day, 1 million for 10 days, 36 and a half million a year. This is still only Xiao Qing's food expenses, counting other things, the wallet is in tears ah. Yi Xiao Yi Xiao. What other reason do you have to rest ah, if you don't grab money, you can't even afford to feed your beast pet. Sometimes two hours of eating time, costing more than $30,000, finally stopped eating. Master, I'm full. Xiao Qing had a satisfied face, the feeling of eating a full meal was really great. When Xiao Qing was satisfied, Yi Xiao was also satisfied. Putting down the white rice porridge with salted vegetables in his hand, he couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Let's go, go home. Yi Xiao was still aching for his wallet, unbeknownst to him, the matter of his second record breaking had completely fermented. This is definitely my pickle nation's divine son, only my pickle nation's divine son has such strength, pass on my order, at all costs, even if we sacrifice all our dark sons, we must bring back the divine son, our pickle nation is going to rise completely. Second broken record, the fastest to pass for more than a minute, this is a nightmare difficulty copy ah, why doesn't my pretty country have such a heavenly pride? Pass on my order, activate all the secret sons, must assassinate the person when Huagua will protect him, Huagwei is rising too fast, must not let them shake our first position. Damn it, how come China has risen so fast these years, back then we had already tried everything to curb their development, but I didn't expect it to still be developed by them. If this goes on, my Sakura country is in danger, how is the investigation going, have any trans migrants been identified? A bunch of wastes, can't even do a little thing right, use all the power within China to inquire about all the nightmare copy passes today, one day, I'll only give you one day, if you can't find out in one day, all of you will disembowel yourselves for me. 
The foreign hostile forces had already launched an inquiry assassination of Yi Xiao, but this was the territory of the state of China, they could receive the news, the state of China must be faster than them. Imperial City of the State of China, High Level Conference Room. Old you, who do you think this little guy is? The moment the genius appeared, the intelligence of the celestial pride of each city appeared on their conference table. Combined with today's challenge of the nightmare copy, they had compiled a batch of information. They had no right to interfere with the situation within the copy, after all, this was a combination of game and reality, and now it was even more so that the game world was dominating. No one could inquire about the information within the replica. So they could only judge based on the Tenjiao situation. Spectre picked up the information on the table and scrutinized it. Name, Empyrean. Place of origin, Imperial City. Profession, Battle Mage, Holy Shield Envoy. Talent, SSS Ranked Talent Cooldown Reduction, SSS Ranked Talent Invincible Field. Background, Descendant of God of War Emperor Dragon, Grandson of the President of Imperial City University, Son of the Lord of Imperial City. Dual SSS talents, regardless of background or talent, were the best of the younger generation. However, Pixie just glanced at it lightly and threw the information aside. You know your family best, it wasn't him who passed, was it? You took him out just to show off for me. Deet Sang glanced at the underworld and laughed out loud. That's right, that's right, I'm showing off for you, my grandson, how is it, isn't it awesome? I say you, you should find a successor, otherwise no one will burn incense for you when you die. The two were also old acquaintances, for Deet Sang he was just too clear. Ignoring him, he turned his head to look at the second piece of information. Name, Feng Qian. Place of origin, Magic City. Occupation, Beast Master. Beast Pet, Saint Great Bloodline, One-Legged Golden Crow. Talent, SSS Great Human Pet Community. Background, Miss Magic City, the jewel of the Feng family, the family's dual war heroes, both parents are dead. The only existence in the younger generation of Demon City that could contend with Dishir Tian, and likewise the best of the younger generation. The two of them could be considered the strongest existences in the younger generation. Feng Shen, this little girl, ah, uh, she has good talent, a saint level bloodline golden crow, it's a pity that it's not a god level bloodline three-legged golden crow, or else she'd really have this chance. I think you guys have investigated Feng Shen's situation clearly, it shouldn't be her. Di Song nodded, it was indeed true, it wasn't Di Shi Tian, and likewise it wasn't Feng Shen. You continue to look. One after another, he flipped through the information of several people. All of them were hidden professions with SSS level talent, but Pixie felt that something was missing. Although these people were good, they didn't have the ability to break records for a minute yet. Until he flipped to Yi Zhao's information. Name, Yi Xiao. Origin, Hai Chang. Profession, Imperial Beast Master. Beast Pet, Demon Claw Cat. Talent, Grade A. Background, Orphan, Both Parents Dead, I'm from the Test. This year, there are only two Imperial Beast Masters, one Feng Chen and one Yi Xiao. One contracted the Holy Bloodline of the Golden Crow, and one contracted the Elite Bloodline of the Demon Claw Cat. One with SSS talent, one with a talent. One has a monstrous background, and one is an orphan. This gap was really a bit too big, but how he looked at it, he felt that there was something wrong with Yi Zhao's situation. Is this his accurate information? The people below passed it up, the specific information has not been checked, why, do you suspect that the anonymous person is him? Spectre did not deny it, and likewise did not admit it, putting Yi Zhao's information alone. An orphan, contracted demon claw cat, a great talent? Do you think the possibility is high? For so many years in China, how can there be thousands of imperial beast masters, the least of them are SS grade talent, a great talent, not right for this profession. Someone helped him hide the information. A rank talent, indeed, it's not right for the identity of an imperial beast master. Report, the latest data, this is the situation of today's challenges for nightmare difficulty single copy, there are a total of three cities. Imperial City, once, challenged by Emperor Shirtian, this I know, he challenged after Anonymous and failed the challenge. Magic City, once, if I'm not mistaken it should be that little girl Feng Chen, she should also be unwilling to show weakness and wanted to challenge the nightmare difficulty copy, it looks like she also failed. These two people had such strength, but all of them failed the challenge. Then the only answer left was the last one, and that last city was where Anonymous challenged. Hi City, Yi Xiao. A hint of a smile appeared on Spectre's face, he knew that Yi Xiao wasn't that simple. Anonymous, Imperial Beast Master, Orphan. Kind of interesting. What do you mean? Leave this kid to me, I'll go check on him. However, soon the spectral complexion became serious, since we have found out, they must be able to find out in no time, after all, there are quite a few guys who eat their hearts out. Do we need to block all of Yi Xiao's information? Spectre grinned, a hint of tyranny in his eyes. Need? This is our territory, just take this opportunity to properly liquidate the assholes, it's been a long time since I've done anything, I don't know if my techniques are rusty. 
Spectre moved his arms and legs, with a look of eagerness to try. With Spectre in place, there was no need to worry about Yi Zhao's safety. The wind is picking up, it's time to send them home. The two of them exchanged a glance, and Spectre turned around and left. After returning home Yi Xiao wrapped his arms around Xiao Cheng and slept, very simply slept. There was no way, the room was too small, there was only one bed, there was no way Yi Xiao could go to the ground, it was disrespectful to the owner. Waiting for the development to develop, high and low have to buy a big set of house, sleeping like this can't work. Xiao Qing that body, but anyone who is a bit normal can't hold it. Xiao Qing's entire body curled up together, tightly attached to his body, and from time to time, she also squirmed a little in his arms. Long eyelashes, big eyes, long blonde hair, from time to time, a smell of hair. Spring is here, and it is the season of sowing. Seeds again. Blah blah blah. Putting the strange thoughts to the back of his mind, he gently pushed green away. N. A chirp almost didn't scare his little heart out. He hadn't done anything but help her change her position, or else his arm would have been crushed and wasted. This Xiao Qing, not honest. It was because Yi Xiao was by his side and didn't feel any danger that Xiao Qing could get a good solid night's sleep. Before, Xiao Qing was either worried about being killed by ferocious beasts or captured by humans, and she lived a life of fear every day. Without strength, she could only be slaughtered. Now everything was over, Yi Xiao had given her a great creation, letting her shed her bones, which allowed her to sleep peacefully and have a good night's sleep. So she was grateful to Yi Xiao, as long as Yi Xiao commanded, she was willing to do anything. When she opened her eyes, tears could not be controlled, hugging Yi Xiao was a burst of painful crying. Yi Xiao people were confused, how come she cried for a good reason? Master, thank you. Ah, oh, wipe your tears, it's okay. Although he didn't know what it meant, but first promised to say it, the tears of a woman, he could not bear it. After placating Xiao Cheng, Yi Xiao took out the three nightmare treasure chests. It's finally time to open the chests. Yi Xiao could not hold back his excitement, rubbing his small hands, his eyes full of anticipation. Open the treasure chest. Ding. Nightmare treasure chest opened, reward, a set of gold extreme set. Weather to appraise. Extreme gold equipment a piece are worth a lot of money, let alone a set, this is even more priceless existence. Appraisal. Deduct appraisal fee of $100,000. Yi Xiao a mouthful of old blood almost sprayed out. Appraisal $100,000 is gone, this thing is also too much money. Appraisal successful, shattered shadow white tiger set, female. Long sword, strength plus 500. Tunic, strength plus 200, endurance plus 188. Bottom, strength plus 200, endurance plus 188. Helmet, strength plus 200, spirit plus 188. Shoes, strength plus 200, speed plus 188. Suit passive, physical and magic blitz rate plus 20, damage to the enemy in the abnormal state plus 45, when attacking the enemy in the abnormal state, there is a 5 chance of executing the enemy, when attacking, it will make the enemy's resistance to all the abnormal state reduced by 25 points. When Yi Xiao saw the shattered shadow white tiger set, people were dumbfounded. This is the gold extreme set? This was too perverse. Especially the set effect, Yi Xiao did not know what to say for a moment. Unfortunately, it was a female set, so he had no way to wear it. However, when this equipment was enchanted on Xiao Qing, the combat power was absolutely explosive. Xiao Qing's attack came with a cutting bloodshed effect, which fit perfectly with the set passive. Xiao Qing, come, get up and try this equipment. To her beast pet, Yi Xiao was not a bit stingy, the stronger the beast pet, the safer she would be. Xiao Qing did not doubt it, after all, Yi Xiao would definitely not harm her, resulting in the set and directly equipping it. The suit automatically changed according to Xiao Qing's physical appearance, the Xiao Qing who wore the equipment was properly a female warrior. It's very comfortable, I feel like my attributes have been strengthened across the board, and the suit passive fits perfectly with my skills. Thank you master. Xiao Qing didn't even know the value of this set, as long as it was given by Yi Xiao, she liked it. Master, is this equipment expensive? Seeing Yi Xiao heartbroken like that at dinner today, she knew that money was very important to Yi Xiao. Not too expensive, let me help you look at it. Yi Xiao opened his cell phone to check the price of the gold extreme set, do not look, I'll look really want to pull down from the body of the small green. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million, the most recent transaction of a golden extreme set sold for 7 billion. This price was comparable to a beast pet with an overlord bloodline. If he sold this set, he would directly become a billionaire. In his previous life, he would have been able to live in a flatbed. Unfortunately, here the survival of the fittest, the strong have the right to speak, if there is no corresponding strength, your money is not necessarily your money. Strength is the king. Master, how expensive is it? It can replace your meals for a lifetime. How long a lifetime was, Xiao Qing didn't know, but this thing was indeed worth money. 
Master, why don't we sell it? I'm just as strong even without its enhancement in combat. Yi Xiao touched Xiao Qing's head, he knew that Xiao Qing was thinking for him. Even if he liked money again, he would not withhold the equipment of the beast pet ah. Don't be anxious, isn't there still two treasure chests that haven't been opened? It's impossible to say that there can still be valuable ones, if we can't use it, we will sell it for money. Open the nightmare treasure chest. Two pairs of big eyes stared tightly at the nightmare treasure chest. Ding. Treasure chest opened, reward, ice attribute stone x1. Ice attribute stone, allows the transmuter to obtain a second attribute. The same applies to beast pets. Worthy of being a nightmare level treasure chest, this reward was just too generous. A rare prop like the ice attribute stone could be opened. This thing was naturally for Xiao Qing as well. After Xiao Chang used it, she would be able to gain one more attribute power. And he and Xiao Qing shared all the attributes, one stone for two people, maximizing the benefits. Little green, eat it. Without any hesitation, Xiao Qing swallowed the ice attribute stone in one bite. The moment it was swallowed, a blue light shot up into the sky, firmly wrapping little green up. It lasted for a full half hour before the light outside little Qing's body dissipated. The moment she opened her eyes, berserk frost power swept out. The 20 square meter nest instantly turned into an ice cellar, everything inside the room was frozen into ice. Even Yi Xiao was no exception, there was no resistance left at all, and it was directly turned into an ice sculpture. That is the master servant agreement so that its attacks cannot cause damage to the master, otherwise Yi Xiao would have already returned home. Although it did not cause any damage, Yi Xiao was still unable to break through the frost seal. Little green, let me out. Xiao Qing's greenish white eyes slowly looked over, her eyes had an extra coldness in them, having just awakened the ice attribute, she was not yet able to perfectly control the power of the ice attribute. When she saw that Yi Xiao was frozen, that was when she reacted. Master. Master. I didn't do it on purpose. Xiao Qing came to Yi Xiao's side and gently sucked, a cold current appeared and sucked away the ice seal on Yi Xiao's body together. After releasing Yi Xiao, Xiao Cheng stood there aggrieved, not daring to move a muscle, like a child who had done something wrong, afraid that Yi Xiao would blame her. I didn't control the force well, I almost hurt the master, I'm sorry. Zoe was weak. Yi Xiao did not blame her in the first place, not to mention she was pampered, how could he still bear to blame anymore? It's just a pity that this house is not much, but it has feelings. It's fine, it's not like you're hurt, just pay attention next time. After gently caressing Xiao Qing's hair, Xiao Qing's uneasiness sort of subsided. Check Little Green's Attributes. Divine Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger. Attribute, Gold, Wind, Ice, New. Level, 6. Strength, 2249. Agility, 2134. Endurance, 2255. Spirit, 2250. New Skills, Ice Elemental Proficiency, Ice Cage, Ice Storm, Cold Breath. Human Form Equipment, Shattered Shadow White Tiger Set. Attributes had risen greatly, skills with ice attributes had also been added, and equipment had been given sets. The current Xiao Cheng could be said to be armed to the teeth, even if a second turn powerhouse came over, he had the confidence to tough it out. The two treasure chests had given him enough surprises, so the last remaining treasure chest thought it wouldn't let it down too much. Open the nightmare treasure chest. Treasure chest opened, reward, sage's ring, star diamond perfection. Equipment grade, bronze, silver, gold, star diamond, obsidian, sacred, divine. Equipment grade, ordinary, average, perfect, ultimate. The overall value of the star diamond perfection level equipment might not be as high as the shattered shadow white tiger set, but it was even rarer than the gold set. Other than killing people for goods, or having an alchemist friend, basically you couldn't see star diamond level equipment on the market. View. Sage's ring, spirit plus 20, endurance plus 20. The attributes were mediocre, basically it could be said that there was no bonus. Storage ring, with 50 square meters of storage space. To be able to use it as a storage ring, it was much more useful, even more useful than adding attributes. However, this point of functionality was also sloppy for a star diamond level equipment, and didn't give a feeling of awesomeness. Passive skill, when attacked by an enemy spirit, it enters the sage state, immune to all spiritual attacks for 3 seconds, 30 minute cooldown. Sage state, passive defense against enemy spiritual attacks for 3 seconds, and immune to all spiritual attacks. Although it was only a short 3 seconds, it was enough to save one's life. Bullish, I would call it the strongest. Without the slightest bit of politeness, Yi Xiao put the ring on and all the treasure chests were resolved. Having eaten, slept and opened the treasure chests, there was not much time left for them. Copy upgrade to go? N. As for home, for the time being, it could only be like this, first go to the copy to upgrade and brush some materials. After all, he promised Xiao Yanru to adopt her, so he couldn't go to adopt her empty-handed. He can't go to the newbie copy anymore, his level has exceeded the limit. If he wanted to continue upgrading, he could only go to the necrotic copy. 
This was the only replica that could be practiced within C City. It was able to accommodate level 5 or higher transmutations to practice. Of course, the highest level was only level 10, and after exceeding level 10, one could only go out of the city to hunt ferocious beasts. Half an hour later, Yi Xiao brought Xiao Qing to the necrotic copy. Yi Xiao? Is that Yi Xiao? I shouldn't have seen it wrong. Yi Xiao? How did he appear here? Zhang Longwang who had managed to save up enough sincerity to pass by the necrotic copy and saw Yi Xiao leading Xiao Qing towards the necrotic copy. It's really Yi Xiao. He dares to come to the necrotic spirit copy. Does it mean that he has already broken through level 5? It's very possible. This is even more proof that the anonymous big brother is him. A nightmare difficulty copy. The experience must be high. It's normal to rise to level 5. But who is that girl beside him? So pretty. Three times prettier than even Xiao Yunro and Nai Yun. Strong men are never short of women. No wonder he is indifferent to Nai Yun. The feelings that people have even more beautiful around them. We are being villains for nothing. Looking at Xiao Qing beside Yi Xiao, the two men lowered their heads in shame. Had they known that Yi Xiao had such a beautiful beauty beside him, why would they have made a fool of themselves to target Yi Xiao? Now it's good, they still have to apologize to others to go. Yi Xiao has such a beautiful girl by his side, then can't we go after Nai Yun? Hurry up and tell Nai Yun this news so that she dies. Right, 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 hurry up and tell Nai Yun the news, our brothers are equally good, we'll compete fairly then. The two of them regained their confidence and went straight to the novice copy to look for Nai Yun. As for Yi Xiao, he came to the necrotic copy square. Necrotic copy, only open the team mode, of course, want a single person to break into the necrotic copy that is also allowed. The reason for not opening the single player mode was to tell them that the difficulty of the necrotic replica was too great for a single person to break through, and risking their lives would only cost them their lives. Compared to the newbie copy, the necromancer copy was more lively and crowded. Master FA begs for a group, first come first served. Necromancy copy general difficulty passer, experienced, seeking group. Level 9 expert, bring newcomers, preferably sexy young ladies who can oink, guaranteed pass on normal difficulty. Level 3 guild red man hall is recruiting online, first come first served, special person to lead the team to upgrade, special occupation priority, package level 10. Worthy of being the red man pavilion, third level guild is bullish, package 10 levels, really want to join, but unfortunately was rejected. Yi Xiao looked around and directly found the copy administrator. Nightmare difficulty, thank you. Okay, nightmare. What did you say? Nightmare difficulty? Although the necrotic copy was a level 10 copy, the nightmare difficulty would have to kneel even if a level 20 expert squad came. With nightmare difficulty, the monsters inside were given a 300% attribute bonus. Are you sure? You want to choose nightmare difficulty? Sure. What about your team? Can you show me your team? I don't mean anything else. I just want to see what kind of configuration can challenge a nightmare difficulty copy. The best record of necrotic copies right now was still the hard difficulty and no one dared to try the hell difficulty, let alone the nightmare difficulty. After all, the limitations of the necrotic copy were also very large, after level 10, even if they had the strength to break into the hell and nightmare difficulty, they couldn't enter the copy. Difficult difficulty was their limit. That was why when he heard that Yi Xiao wanted to challenge the nightmare difficulty copy, he acted so excited. Team? Ah, uh, me and her, is that enough? Yi Xiao didn't want to act shockingly, after all, there was no single player mode here. So he could only lift out Xiao Chang. As long as Xiao Qing didn't show her original form, they wouldn't know that Xiao Qing was his beast pet. But even so, it was enough for the copy administrator to be surprised for a while. Two people? Challenging a nightmare difficulty necromancy copy. Other people who have a full group of five people don't dare to try the difficult difficulty, how awesome do they have to be to challenge the nightmare difficulty? One didn't know if they really had the strength or if they were just young and ignorant. And don't blame me for talking too much, I just want to ask, what strength are you two and how many levels are you? I'm level 6, she's also level 6. Two level 6 challenge the nightmare difficulty necromancy copy. The administrator is considered to understand, these two are young and ignorant, which has what strength, completely two newborn death behavior. Two level 6 dare to break into nightmare difficulty, you two really do not know the difficulty of the necromancy copy, this side suggests that you start from the normal difficulty. Yi Xiao was helpless, although he knew that the administrator was doing it for their good. But he also did not want to delay too much time on this. No need, just give me nightmare difficulty directly. Are you sure? Yi Xiao wanted to send death, he could not stop him, what should be said had been said, the choice was in Yi Xiao's hands. Sure. Seeing that Yi Xiao's attitude was so resolute, the administrator handed him the copy key. Good luck. Thanks a lot. After getting the copy key, Yi Xiao took Xiao Chang and left. Little brother, team up? We happen to have three people on our side, plus you two are just right, let's break into normal difficulty together. Let's do it together, I have experience with normal difficulty, 
if there is a full group of five people, it shouldn't be a problem to pass. Yi Xiao, who was just about to enter the copy, was once again stopped by someone. Sorry, no need. It's okay, we don't mind your low level, with us leading, you can also rub off a lot of experience, the probability of success in the group will be much higher. Really no, thanks. Not wanting to dwell with them more, Yi Xiao directly crushed the copy key and entered the necrotic copy. Go, gone? This guy is also too reckless, two people dare to enter the necrotic copy, isn't this looking for death? If you don't team up, you don't team up, why are you still so aggressive? A few people spat a few words and then refound someone to form a group, as for Yi Xiao, no one would pay much attention to him. On the other hand, Yi Xiao stepped into the necrotic copy with Xiao Qing, what met his eyes was pitch black, it was impossible to see the situation in the copy. All sorts of gloomy, decaying air came over. What followed was the negative attributes, all of which were poured onto Yi Xiao's body. Attribute curse, weaken all attributes by 50. Deadly aura surround, loses 10% of blood every second. Necrotic curse, necrotic attack damage plus 50, with bleeding, corrosion effect. Has not yet begun to fight, this has just come in, all kinds of debuffs added. Little green, have you been affected? The attributes were directly reduced by 50%, which was a fatal reduction for them. What impact? Xiao Chang looked left and right, not knowing what Yi Xiao was talking about. You didn't receive the curse of the copy? No. After checking Xiao Qing's situation, it was true that he was not affected. Isn't this a bit unfair, how come I'm affected so much and Xiao Qing isn't affected in any way? Divine bloodline is immune to all debuffs. What could Ji Xiao say, there was nothing to say, who made Xiao Qing a divine pet, a little privilege was normal. Then aren't Xiao Chang and I symbiotic? How come I'm not immune to these negative attributes? Shared attributes, not shared bloodline. Now he was completely and utterly speechless. No wonder no one has been able to pass the necrotic copy all these years, coming in weakened by half, level 10 becoming level 5, and level 20 powerhouses coming in have to drink hate in the northwest. Xiao Chang, the battle thing depends on you, I can't help you much. Yi Xiao can manage himself is already very good, dropping blood every now and then, from time to time also have to give himself a healing spell, otherwise it is very easy to hiccup. Don't worry, just leave it to me. Copy quest, kill the king of spirits and purify the space of the dead. Quest reward, nightmare treasure chest. Side quest, slay the spirit of death, 0 slash 1000. Mission reward, dead spirit treasure chest. Yi Xiao did not do more to stay, through the level is certainly the faster the better, and this ghost place has really let a person like not up. Eerie not to mention, but also a variety of debuffs. Xiao Cheng, let's go. Xiao Cheng held the shattered shadow white tiger sword in his hand, and the sword was directly enveloped in golden light, which rose up to the sky, and the hundred meters around him were all illuminated clearly. There's really something about you, you can even think of this method. Go back and reward you with roasted meat. After being praised by Yi Xiao, Xiao Qing was also a little embarrassed, holding the Gung Jin treasure sword and giggling there. Swish swish swish. Just at this time, there was a sudden sound of breaking air. A black figure surrounded them. Necromantic kid. Level, 10. Strength, 130. Agility, 134. Endurance, 154. Spirit, 177. Master, wait here, protect yourself and leave the rest to me. After saying that, Xiao Chang brandished the shattered shadow white tiger sword and rushed out. Yi Xiao didn't try to be brave either, this necromantic kid didn't seem to be something that the current him could deal with. Be careful. More than concerned, a little ghost, can't create any effect on Xiao Chang. Yi Xiao minimized his presence. Coupled with Xiao Qing's invincible stance, the attention of the dead spirit brats were all on Xiao Qing's body. One by one, they swooped towards Xiao Chang. Xiao Qing likewise came to the rescue, waving the shattered shadow white tiger sword in his hand as if he was a spirit dancing in the darkness. A streak of golden light slashed towards the heads of the dead spirit brats, and in an instant, the brats were cut into pieces by the golden light, and none of them were able to be spared. Ding, killed the spirit kid, experience plus 50. Ding, killed the spirit kid, experience plus 50. After resolving the dead spirit brat, Xiao Qing returned to Yi Zhao's side, not red in the face, no traces of battle at all. Master, a skill book exploded, and a bunch of materials. Skill book? Bring it and see, what kind of skill book? From Xiao Qing's hand, he took the skill book. Appraise. Skill book, necrotic claw. Gathering a claw of the dead spirit, clawing at the enemy, causing 125 of magic damage, with bleeding corrosion effect, affected by the environment, the more dense the death aura, the higher the damage. The bleeding corrosion caused by the claws of the dead cannot be dispersed. Wearing conditions, special occupation, with the power of the dead spirit. The skill book is really good. Especially the bleeding corrosion effect could not be dispelled, and once you were scratched, it was a chronic death. However, the conditions for learning skills are also very harsh, special occupation, but also have the power of the necromancer. 
There were very few transmuters who possessed the power of the necrotic spirit. Ye shall put away the skill book, although he could not use it, he could sell it. Skill books were hard currency in the market, even rarer than equipment. A good skill book could turn a person's strength upside down. Go, keep killing. Xiao Qing was constantly patrolling the copy, her Gangjin sword was a divine weapon for recruiting dead spirits. She didn't even need to do it herself, these death spirit brats automatically came to her door. After all, they were creatures that lived in darkness and were repulsed by this golden light. One by one, they rushed up and wanted to extinguish the golden light, but unfortunately, their skills were not as good as the others, and in the end, all of them became dead souls under the sword. Ding, killed the spirit brat, experience plus 50. Ding, killed the spirit kid, experience plus 50. He cut muggles or not so fast, the spirit ghosts in the hands of Xiao Qing cannot hold up the second sword, a sword down, pieces of heads flying in the air. Completion of side quest, reward necrotic treasure chest times 1. Yi Xiao did not rush to open the dead spirit treasure chest, surprises have to be accumulated to become bigger surprises. The necromantic brats have all been killed, look for the necromantic king, kill him and our mission will be completed. Want to kill me? Human, you are too arrogant. Just as Yi Xiao finished his words, the voice of the king of necrotic spirits rang in his ears. When? Yi Xiao came to Xiao Qing's side with a flash, now only Xiao Qing could give him enough security. But when he came behind Xiao Qing, he did not find any abnormality, there was no one at the scene except him and Xiao Qing. Little Green, did you hear the sound just now? Heard it. Xiao Qing also heard it, so that proved that he wasn't hallucinating. But since there was a sound, then why couldn't he find anyone? Little Green, can you find the location of the King of Necromancy? Little Green sensed the King of the Necropolis and frowned, his face filled with doubt. What's wrong? It's strange, why do I feel that the aura of the evil spirit king is everywhere? Everywhere? He believed that Xiao Chang would not be able to perceive wrongly, and coupled with the sound he just heard, the king of necromancy must be right beside him. Everywhere, everywhere, the king of necrotic spirits, could it be, no way. Yi Xiao suddenly had a bold idea. Since Xiao Qing sensed that there was the king of necrotic spirit everywhere, was there a possibility that they were now in the body of the king of necrotic spirit? The body of this copy was the king of necrotic spirits. Yi Xiao passed his thoughts to Xiao Cheng, who instantly understood. Since he refuses to come out, let's force him to come out. Xiao Cheng, amplify your move and destroy this space. Big Dipper Cold Stream. If you wanted to unleash a big move, you still had to be the body. Xiao Cheng roared and manifested his main body, after protecting Yi Xiao, his wings quickly shifted east, and the astral wind began to rage in the copy. Inside his mouth, he kept gulping down cold streams. The astral wind intermingled with the cold streams and raged in the replica, and in no time at all, the replica was torn open by the astral wind, and there was even blood dripping down continuously. Sure enough, I guessed correctly, this guy has been counting the people entering the copy from the very beginning. I said that the debuff came so quickly, inside someone else's stomach, I can't even think of not getting hit. Little Green, increase the output and freeze him. In less than 10 minutes, the astral wind and cold current invaded the entire space. Every now and then, the gurgling wails of the king of necromancy could be heard. The darkness began to shrink a little, and the debuff on Yi Zhao's body was slowly fading. Until the copy was restored to its original state, the necrotic king's main body appeared in front of them. Yo, shedding out, aren't you quite capable of carrying it? The king of necromancy curled up into a large black ball, and it was impossible to tell which side of him was the front and which side was the back. King of the necromancers, level, 20, strength, 1300, agility, 1270, endurance, 1430, spirit, 1338, Skills, Necrotic Space, Necrotic Claw, Necrotic Curse. If Yi Xiao was right, they had just been brought into the Necrotic Space by the King of Necrotic Spirits. I have to say, this guy's attributes are still very strong, no wonder no one has been able to pass the Nightmare difficulty all these years. With this attribute, anyone who wasn't a top level 20 squad would be sent to their death if they came in. And it was impossible for top level 20 squads to enter the Necrotic copy. That's great, the reward is cheap again. Little Green, finish it off. Xiao Chang reshaped into human form, holding the shattered shadow white tiger sword in her hand, and killed towards the king of the necropolis. Chop. Put. Thanks to Xiao Chang going all out to chop the sword. As a result, the king of the necromancers did not put up any resistance, and with a single strike of the sword, the king of the necromancers head was directly sliced off. Nani? What the hell? Even little Ching was a little confused, completely unaware of what was going on. How could the king of the necropolis be resolved so easily? Little Green. What's the situation? I don't know, I just clattered and its head fell off. Kill the king of necromancers, reward nightmare treasure chest x1. First time clearing a nightmare difficulty necromancer copy, rating SSS, for a network-wide notification, is it anonymous? Anonymous. 
For the whole network notification Yi Xiao was already accustomed to, he did not want to be surrounded by people every day, low profile development is the king. The copy is about to close, please leave within 60 seconds. Although he didn't understand what was going on with the king of the necropolis, but the rewards were in his hands and the record was set, so he could leave. Taking little green with him, he left the necrotic copy. Then came to the copy administrator, nightmare difficulty, please. You young man, how, alas, forget it, by you. Seeing that Yi Xiao came out so quickly, he knew that Yi Xiao had failed. But he was also too lazy to persuade anything, what should be said has been said before, whether to listen or not is Yi Xiao's thing. Go Xiao Qing, brush the record, take another record treasure chest today will be enough. Yi Xiao just entered the copy in the front foot, the whole network notification arrived in the back foot. Congratulations to the Chinese transmogrifier for clearing the nightmare difficulty necromancy copy and obtaining an SSS grade rating. Congratulations to the Chinese transfigurator for passing the nightmare difficulty necrotic copy and obtaining an SSS grade. Congratulations to the Chinese transmogrifier for clearing the nightmare difficulty necromancy copy and obtaining an SSS rating. Three full network notifications in a row, and the world boiled over as a result. Another full network notification, another nightmare difficulty, and another SSS grade rating. The key was also China again. China is really going to rise, two consecutive nightmare difficulty copies, and both of them are SSS grade ratings, a super genius. The key is still two super geniuses, absolutely not allowed, we can't let Huagua grow so fast, let all the darkies investigate, kill one if you can. Damn it, it's China again, a bunch of rice buckets, haven't we investigated any useful news yet? Investigate for me, these two full network notifications are most likely the work of one person, even if China has risen over the years, it's impossible to have risen so fast, and the interval is so short, percent is the probability that it's one person, you guys focus on investigating the people who have gone into these two copies, as long as there is an overlap, then it's him. It's better to kill the wrong person than to let them go. Yes. After the second network-wide notification, other countries were anxious and mobilized all their forces in China to investigate Yi Zhao's existence. Once any trace of Yi Xiao was found, it would be wiped out at all costs. Similarly the country of China also received the news of the full network notification. Nightmare difficulty, SSS rating, the pride of China. My god, what is this, how is it another all network notification? Could it be that this is a lucky year for China? Is China going to rise completely? Investigate with all your might, make sure to find and protect the person before the enemy does, this kid is a bit high profile, but I like it. Even the nightmare difficulty copy of the necrotic can be cleared, this kid has a secret ah. Similarly the major guilds within China also had their eyes on Yi Xiao. To be able to pass the nightmare difficulty necrotic copy with an SSS rating was definitely a genius among geniuses. If one was able to pull someone into the guild, it would definitely allow the guild to go further. Yi Xiao did not even know that the world was buzzing because of him. The current Yi Xiao was busy brushing records. Just after entering the copy of the necromancer Xiao Cheng zoomed in, the same move, the same routine, and finally chopped off his head with a sword. The only difference is that Yi Xiao knows why the king of the dead spirit does not resist this time. The necrotic space was actually the inside of the necrotic king's body. Xiao Qing's set of moves went down, directly from the inside, it was heavily injured, and the power of freezing even made it lose all its ability to resist, which is how it was able to be beheaded by Xiao Qing's sword. Pass. Score SSS, record refreshed, reward nightmare treasure chest X1. Record refreshed, is it anonymous? Anonymous. Exit the copy. Yi Xiao had just stepped out of the copy when he heard the chattering of the crowd. I really want to know who the anonymous big brother is, SSS score to clear the nightmare difficulty necromancy copy, I would be satisfied if I had a tenth of the big brother's strength. Two days in a row, all of them are SSS rating passes, do you guys think it could be one person, genius which can produce ah, crap, 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 you guys look, big brother set a new record, this time it only took three and a half minutes, three and a half minutes ah, what? Three and a half minutes to solve the king of necromancy? I don't even have enough to understand the quest in three and a half minutes. You think big brother is the same as you, the reason big brother is big brother is because he's different. Listening to the crowd praising himself, Yi Xiao was still a little embarrassed. He himself wasn't as evil as they said, he was just an ordinary person who then carried a not so ordinary divine favor. Of course after being embarrassed, he was also alert. Recently, it seems that the wind is too much, if it is investigated, it will be very dangerous. There was always someone who didn't want to watch him grow up. What was the difference between a genius and a waste without growing up? Keep a low profile, keep a low profile. With his head covered, he took little green and quietly left. As for practicing, for the time being, there is no hurry, practicing every day, not bad for this day and a half day. First let the heat drop down a bit before saying, Yi Xiao big brother, it's really you. Crap. 
Suddenly hearing someone call his name, Yi Xiao was startled and turned around to look, it was no one else but In Ai Yun and Zhang Long Wang Hu. This can be recognized? He had covered himself up tightly, but as a result, he was still recognized by them. Since he had recognized them, he couldn't hide, being too deliberate would instead make people suspicious. Why are you guys here? Have the levels all been raised to level 5? A little over level 4, one more brush and I'll level up to level 5. I'm also a little more than level 4, I'll be level 5 soon. Same. Oh, in that case, then you guys hurry up and upgrade, chat again when you have time, I won't delay your time. Yi Xiao turned around and was ready to leave, before he could turn around and I Yun tugged on his arm. Yi Xiao, I have something I want to ask you. Gulp. Yi Xiao unconsciously swallowed his saliva, looking at Nian's eyes, how does it feel like he has become a negative man, it seems like he didn't do anything wrong ah, uh. do you have something, are you, not, have a new love, Yi Xiao had been quite nervous, but when he heard Nian's words, the person was directly confused, new love, he has a new love, when did this happen, how come he didn't know, no, he didn't even have an old love, where did he get a new love, Yi Xiao reached out and touched Nian's forehead, it wasn't hot, it didn't look like he had a fever. No fever ah, why is your mouth full of nonsense? I don't have a fever. Being touched by Yi Xiao like this, Nian's face swished red. Then how did they say they saw you and a girl here, isn't that girl quite pretty, do you like that girl? Girl? Quite pretty? Yi Xiao lowered his head and contemplated for a while, if he wasn't wrong, what they saw should be Xiao Qing. It was a mistake to take Xiao Qing as his new love. She is not my new love, she is my beast pet. Beast pet? Impossible, how can it be a beast pet? I think it's a human pet. Big brother, you're playing quite flowery, but it's okay, we all know that the more powerful the person is the weirder the fetish is, we definitely won't say anything about it. Inexplicably a flurry of ass kissing, Yi Xiao didn't even know what was going on with them. Before these two people look at him still not good eye, how now rushing up to lick. That licking dogs expression is not hidden at all, just afraid that others do not know they are licking dogs. What's the matter with you guys? What big brother? Why can't I understand what you guys are saying? It had come to this point, Yi Xiao was still pretending, the two of them smiled unanimously, making it more and more bizarre. Big brother, just stop pretending, we all know. Looking at them, they seem to really know something. What do you guys know? I don't understand. Pretending, still pretending, big brother, it was the two of us who were wrong before, this is a little apology from us, I hope you can accept it, you're a big man, let us go as a fart. Zhang Long Wang who handed the prepared check to Yi Xiao. 30 million dollars for one person, although for Yi Xiao, this amount of money was nothing, but this was already the limit for the two of them. But even so Yi Xiao did not intend to take this money. Although Zhang Long Wang who had sneered at him before, he did not take it to heart, not to mention that he had apologized to him now, there was no need to use money to buy him off. I forgive you guys, but the money you guys better take it back, I can't take it. No way, big brother, you must take it. Yi Xiao couldn't even accept it, the two of them forced the money into his hands. With such enthusiasm, Yi Xiao was also embarrassed in refusing, just take it as food expenses for Xiao Qing. Just that he was curious to know, what the hell do the few of them know? It is impossible to find out that he is a heavenly destined person with a system. Tell me, what do you all know? I'll consider if I have to kill and exterminate. If Yi Xiao were to be indifferent and perfunctory, they would really consider if Yi Xiao was going to kill and exterminate them. But if they said so explicitly, it would prove that Yi Xiao had forgiven them and was joking with them. Big brother, the person who informed the whole network twice was you, right, and the person who set a new record was also you, right. Eh? Yi Xiao did not expect that they would think of him in the first place. Of course he didn't expect to hide it for much longer, he had thought that after practicing until level 10, he would leave Sea City to go to Emperor City or Magic City. He didn't expect to be recognized by them so quickly. It's not me, you guys are thinking too much. Obviously they didn't believe Yi Xiao's words, after many arguments, they were pretty sure that the person who passed the level was Yi Xiao. Alright, it's me. Keep it quiet, I don't like high profile. Got it, got it. Getting Yi Xiao's personal acknowledgement, the smiles on their faces became even more intense. Close to the water, others were still guessing who it was, and they had already climbed into a relationship with Yi Xiao. When Yi Xiao becomes famous in the future, they will also have the capital to show off, when they point to Yi Xiao's portrait and say to their children and grandchildren, I was also the one who taunted him back then, 30 million dollars to set it right, bull or not. Big brother, can I take the liberty to ask, what level of beast pet did you contract? It was no secret that Yi Xiao was a royal beast master, everyone knew that the only possibility for him to pass a nightmare difficulty copy with his profession as a royal beast master was that he had a particularly awesome beast pet. Don't ask what you shouldn't. Since they were calling him big brother, they had to have a bit of big brother's compulsion. What kind of big brother was it if they knew all the secrets of anything? Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't be curious. After seeing Yi Xiao angry, the two hurriedly apologized. Yi Xiao, 
How did you pass the level? Any tips in? Point us in the right direction if it's convenient. Looking at the somewhat awkward atmosphere, and I Yin changed the topic away. Yi Xiao also did not count anything more. But speaking of techniques, he only had one sentence. Only strong caner. Saying it was the same as not saying it, but that was his experience. In front of absolute strength, techniques were useless. Yi Xiao passed the barrier, relying on Xiao Qing to crush through all the way. You guys shouldn't be overly ambitious, one step at a time, you'll catch up with me soon. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Take care big brother. Take care, don't see me off. After bidding them farewell, Yi Xiao took a taxi and left directly. Didn't go home, after all, his home was already gone, Xiao Cheng took a breath and directly froze his home away, there was no way to live there. However, he was now considered a small asset. Just also came to 60 million dollars, casually living in a presidential suite is not too much, right? Of course one of the most important reasons was that living in a luxury hotel, managed to eat and live, for Xiao Qing, the most suitable was the buffet. Master, Hai Chang Hotel. On this side, Yi Xiao took Xiao Qing to the Hai Chang Grand Hotel to eat buffet, but the bigwigs from all parties were still waiting for Yi Xiao's results. No, no, it's been two hours, why is there still no movement? According to his usual practice, he should have refreshed the record twice more to take the treasure chest full, how come he refreshed it once this time? Looking at Di Song's depressed little eyes, Spectre laughed out loud. What's so funny, tell me, what do you think? Di Song was depressed, having waited for more than two hours for nothing. Two possibilities, one, is that these two are not the same person, China has given birth to two super geniuses, and two, is that this little guy sensed something and took the treasure chest and chose to keep a low profile. Deed San nodded, at the moment it did seem like there were only these two possibilities. Then which one do you think is more likely? I hope it's the first one, with two super geniuses, China can rise faster, but the truth should be the second one. Report, the message has been delivered back. Speak. Currently the only necromancer copy with a nightmare difficulty record is Hai Chang. Hearing this, Emperor Tsan and Underworld looked at each other and smiled. Looks like my guess was right, it should be this little guy. Then take a step ahead, some guys have been acting stupidly lately, it's been a while since I've moved my arms and legs, go clean up the stray assholes. Identified? And, Vice President of Replica Management, Hu Yang, second turn level 40 shield guard. There's also the Replica Management Records team leader. According to the information they contacted, there is a big fish this time, Pretty Country's third turn powerhouse, James. Handing over the investigated information to the Spectre, in just two days of work, all the traders in China surfaced. As long as they were investigating Yi Zhao's situation, they were all under their surveillance. A good person who doesn't do anything, has to go and be someone else's lackey, indeed it's time to move my hands and feet, otherwise people will still think I'm dead. Let's take this James first this time, when did this guy arrive? Yesterday, but our eyes couldn't catch his trail and now he has disappeared in high city, so you need to catch some speed. A third turn powerhouse, it was already not easy to discover his trail, forcing him to track would only cost him his life. Give me the information of the other countries together, there should be quite a few people with bad intentions coming in the past two days, killing one is also killing, killing a group is also killing. D Song was waiting for these words from him. With a brainwave, he handed over the information. I knew you'd say that, so I'll work hard for you. There was a full 20 centimeters thick of information, all of which had entered High City in the past two days. Why are there so many people? What are the leaders of Hai Chung doing, to let so many unknown people enter? Some people are rotten, they've been comfortable for a long time, they don't know their own identity, you go and make them sober up. Spectre's face was ugly, there were so many people, if he delayed any longer, Yi Xiao might be in danger. I'll go. Hai Chang Grand Hotel. Everyone's eyes were on Xiao Qing. As for Yi Xiao, he had already hid in a corner. Xiao Qing's appetite was too big, one person had exterminated all the buffets in a hotel. Moreover, Xiao Cheng did not refuse anything, as long as it was food, she loved it. This girl has such a good figure, why is she so able to eat? My god, eating all of the hotel's ingredients empty, this girl wouldn't be a transmogrified big appetite king. Rice bucket, beautiful girl rice bucket, it's horrible, I just ate a sausage and everything is gone. For the gazes of others, Xiao Qing didn't care at all. What embarrassment, what attention to image, none of it was needed here in Xiao Cheng. You guys love to look, I just need to eat my fill. Miss, are you full? The person in charge of the hotel panicked, if she ate like this, the hotel would go bankrupt. Ah, uh, Xiao Qing touched her belly and looked at the hotel head with a naive face. 50% full. Everyone was speechless, after eating for such a long time, they were still only half full. That girl, your room is? Oh, it seems to be presidential suite 003. Presidential suite ah, uh, that you can check out? I recommend you to stay at the hotel next door. Their hotel buffet is even better. Even if it's a presidential suite, it can't stand up to this kind of food. It's better to go wreak havoc on the hotel across the street. Really? 
The buffet across the street is even better? As long as there was food, Xiao Qing's heart was moved. As for what to check out or not, it didn't have any effect on her at all. Really, the opposite side are all professional chefs, their buffet, tastes good, and has a wide variety, the key is a large amount, it can fill you up. Xiao Qing just happily decided that she would go to the hotel across the street to eat. Master. After saying this, Xiao Qing looked at Yi Xiao with a resigned face. It's a blessing not a curse, it's a curse that can't be avoided ah. Xiao Qing's sentence master directly set Yi Xiao on the fire to roast. Master? My god, playing so hot? By what right, what right is this, although this girl eats a lot, but she is so beautiful, how can she call someone her master? Little girl, listen to me, your mouth must be used for eating, okay? Yi Xiao couldn't stand their gazes and took Xiao Qing to check out directly, then found the next door hotel. The same type of presidential suite with more variety and more delicious buffet. Seeing the buffet was like seeing family. One hour later. This young lady, I recommend the hotel across the street, their service is better and the buffet tastes good, you can try over there. In an hour's time, Xiao Qing had again eaten all the ingredients of a hotel empty. But this time, Xiao Qing was full. No need, I'm full. And I was recommended to come over here by them an hour ago, they were right, your buffet is better and has more variety. The person in charge of the hotel hated that. Fellow travelers are enemies, you can't do this either. This was only one meal, if she had three meals a day, their hotel shall not close down. This young lady, I have the liberty to ask you, how many meals a day do you have? Three meals. I want to resign, you give me a report, I'm going to resign, can't do it. Yisha can't care so much, this time he can't quit the room by saying anything. It's hard to find a free meal ticket, the house is good, the food is still good, he's sorry if he doesn't live for 10 or 8 years. Let's go, let's go back to rest after eating enough. Bringing little Qing back to the hotel. Xiao Qing curiously surveyed everything in the room, it was indeed bigger than Yi Xiao's 20 square meter room, and it smelled good and was very comfortable. Yi Xiao was equally satisfied with everything in the room, after working so hard for so many years, living in a snail's pace in a 20 square meter room, now he was finally able to live in a luxurious presidential suite. Xiao Qing, play by yourself in your room, if you want to take a bath and shower, if you want to watch TV, watch TV. For fresh things, Xiao Qing was full of curiosity and played alone. On the other hand, Yi Xiao opened the transfigurator for him. This was created to facilitate the exchange of transmutators, in which a wide variety of information could be found, and real-time information would be updated every day. Opening the forum, the page directly recommended his news, and it was also the news with the highest heat right now. Huagua, two SSS level scores to pass the nightmare difficulty copy. China, two super geniuses born, rising, rising, rising. Online solicitation for information on super geniuses. Those with information will be rewarded with 100,000 guild contribution points Red Hall Guild. Provide useful information, reward contribution points of 200,000 Werewolf Guild. Ye shall briefly scan the posts, basically much the same, they were all posts looking for him to give rewards. I didn't realize that I'm already so famous. Luckily fewer people know about it, otherwise it would be dangerous. The rewards given by the guild were a bit red in his eyes, and he wanted to report himself. However, he also knew that the more lucrative the reward, the greater the danger he would encounter in the future. Should we settle the three of them ah, now only the three of them know my news, if it leaks? Forget it, you can't let others take the blame for what you did. Yi Xiao thought about it and felt that it was better to forget about it. It can't be because they know they are anonymous that they will kill and exterminate them. I, Hai Chang Maniac, will pay for this clearance record. I am the legendary anonymous. The strategy is here. Those who need it, pay $100,000. Tonight at 9, live online, open the Nightmare Treasure Chest. Nightmare Treasure Chest Picture. JPG. Just as Yi Xiao scanned the forum, a freshly made post instantly occupied the top of the list. It's appeared, Big Brother has finally shed his presence. Hai Chang Maniac? Quickly go and collect information on the Maniac. Within 10 minutes I want to know all of the Maniac's information. Really, the pictures are real, freshly baked Nightmare Treasure Chest. Sit and wait for tonight's live broadcast to open the chest. Sit and wait. There were pictures and there was a live broadcast at night. If Yi Xiao didn't know that he was anonymous, he would have really believed it. However, he was a little puzzled as to what was going on with this maniac. How did he suddenly appear out of nowhere for a good reason? If he was trying to rub off on him, the price was a little too high. However, anyone with a bit of brain knew that behind the great heat lay a great crisis. Once they were discovered, they would either join someone else's power or be exterminated. Can't figure it out, can't figure it out, it might simply be a bad brain. Yi Xiao did not ponder over what he could not understand. Anyway, this matter was beneficial and harmless to him, with everyone else going to pay attention to Maniac, no one would pay attention to him, the safer he would be. And after Maniac released his post, the entire high city was in turmoil. 
Everyone was searching for Maniac. It's been confirmed, see City Maniac, there's a record of entering two copies, and the nightmare treasure chest is real. Arrange for your men to be stationed at the duplicate plaza to scout out the Maniac's traces. Wouldn't that be too high profile, and scoping out people at random will easily cause other transmutants to resent you. You only need to carry out the orders, you only have one mission, kill the maniac and eliminate all hidden dangers. In the course of a day, the Hai Chang transfigurationists were full of grievances. No matter if they entered or left the duplicates, they had to be probed by someone using a probing technique. Although they didn't have any secrets, it was still unpleasant to be probed so much in their hearts. Which union's grandson, to use the scrying technique to probe our identities, aren't you afraid of causing public anger? That's right, I'm so angry, today I have to be scanned in and out of the copy all day long, disgusting me to death. They won't be looking for Maniac Big Brother, some heartlessness. Maniac Big Brother, you can't show up, these guys don't have a good heart. The forums were all filled with cursing voices, because of their scouting, the copies were all a lot less crowded, and everyone was guarding the forum livestream, waiting for the Maniac's opening action. As long as there was a nightmare treasure chest, it would be proof of Maniac's identity. 9 o'clock in the evening. Maniac came to the live broadcast room masked, with two nightmare treasure chests in front of him. The live broadcast room was instantly flooded with a million transmutants, and the number kept increasing as time went on. There's really a lot of people, looks like I'm quite popular. I, Maniac, Anonymous, don't have the heart to join any of your forces, so you can all disperse and not disturb other people's normal lives. Besides that, I just want to bring everyone along to see what good things can be opened from the treasure chests. The first treasure chest, a star diamond ordinary grade sword, which was worth a lot of money. The second treasure chest, hidden profession undead summoner transfer book, rare and also expensive. Nice opening, the live broadcast ends here. After opening the treasure chest, Maniac turned off the live broadcast, Yi Xiao, looking at the black screen of the live broadcast room, was a little puzzled. The treasure chest was real, but the person he was pretty sure was not Maniac. What exactly is the purpose of him doing this? Certain hotels in Hai Chang, one watched Maniac's live broadcast. Really, there are no traces of editing. There's a discovery, you guys look at this place, it seems like it's the sign of a certain hotel, we can restore the location. Hurry up and restore it. It wasn't known if it was a logo that was intentionally revealed, or if it wasn't covered up and unintentionally revealed. Soon they restored the hotel, and following the live broadcast angle, they even found Maniac's room. This is it. Go, find him and finish him off. Those who were able to conduct investigations here were all experts, and many of them had discovered the omission of the live broadcast. In less than a moment's effort, a large number of enemies had gathered around Maniac's room. It looks like they've taken the bait, so many people, is my face that big? Act your part, don't let anyone see the cracks. Don't worry, I promise to get them all. Maniac stayed quietly inside his room as if nothing had happened. Probe. Name, Sun Rulong. Level, 10. Profession, Berserker, Imperial Beast Master. Talent, SSS Grade Berserk, Imperial Beast Affinity. Beast Pet, Overlord Grade Bloodline Dragon Blood Lion King, Level, 50. After seeing Maniac's information, everyone instantly understood what was going on. What kind of super genius, there was none. Although Maniac was very good, the fact that he was able to clear the Nightmare difficulty copy was all dependent on the level 50 Dragon Blood Lion King. So it's a second generation ancestor who relied on his family to contract a level 50 Dragon Blood Lion King. I was saying, how could China have so many super geniuses? It looks like China is planning to mold a super genius to put pressure on other countries. Since it's already here, let's just settle it by hand, the maniacs look good too, killing one of them would be enough to give China a heartache for a long time. In their opinion, maniac was just a genius image that China had molded, wanting to use it to show how powerful China was. Do it! After the dark sons of the various countries scouted out maniac's situation, they all came together to launch a siege against. Not good. Maniac had long since detected the presence of these people, but in order to draw everyone out, he pretended to be unaware of it. After seeing the crowd surround him, Maniac didn't say anything and broke the window to vanish towards the distance. Dog scums, wanna catch me, there's no door. Chase. A group of people chased after Maniac, not realizing that they had already entered the Chinese encirclement. Squad 01 has found the enemy, the enemy has entered the encirclement, whether to encircle. Any sign of James. No James, over. Squad 02 has detected the enemy and is ready for a siege, do we proceed? Any sign of James. No, over. Dozens of squads hid in the shadows and ambushed, but there was never any sign of James. This guy is really cautious enough, he doesn't even come out like this. Since he doesn't come out, there's no need to come out, order down, close the net, leave no one behind. To be merciful to the enemy is to be cruel to oneself, with an order from the underworld, all those who came to deal with Yi Xiao would have to die here. As for James, as long as he is in Hai Chang, he can always be pulled out, 
with him in, high chain canter in the sky, ye shall that kid have you guys found him? Not yet, at home we also searched, there is no figure of him, I think he has already suffered an attack and hid, eh? What do you mean? Yi Zhao's home, was frozen by a cold ice power, I think he must have been attacked, so he found a hidden place to hide, and the hotel has no record of Yi Zhao's stay, so it seems like it should be safe for now, the home was attacked and the hotel had no check-in record, even safe became should, Spectre was very dissatisfied, something absolutely could not happen to such a super genius, speed up the search, what I want is not should, but must be safe, this kid is so smart, nothing should happen to him, Spectre frowned with a frown on his face, while Spectre was anxious about Yi Zhao's safety over here, Yi Xiao was inside the suite, soaking in the bath and watching the news on the forum. As for why he didn't manage to find out the news of checking into the hotel, it wasn't because Xiao Qing was too able to eat, the hotel didn't dare to receive them at all. After the bitter pleas of the person in charge of the hotel, Yi Xiao agreed to check out of the room, but he still had to stay for free today. If there was only one day, the hotel's loss could still be afforded. In case Yi Xiao and the others stayed for 10 days and half a month, the meals could eat them up. Just as Yi Xiao was focusing on Maniac's situation, a figure that sped past interrupted all his thoughts. The figure was so fast that it was staggering, Yi Xiao was only able to see a shadow, what kind of person was he didn't see at all? So fast, a super expert, not an opponent. Just based on the speed he showed, Yi Xiao knew that he was not an opponent. Master, it's Zhang Long Wang Hu. Zhang Long Wang Hu? What a joke, how could it be the two of them? Yi Xiao thought about Zhang Long Wang Hu's appearance, meeting with a big brother calling out and giving money to beg for his forgiveness. How could these two be experts? Could it be that they are also pretending to be pigs and eating tigers? Sure enough, keeping a low profile is the right thing to do, anyone could be pretending. Master, they were knocked out and taken away. Thanks to him brainstorming so many images, but in the end, these two were knocked out and taken away. Did you see it clearly? Saw it clearly, no matter it's the face, or the smell, there's absolutely no mistake, it's the two of them. Xiao Qing's perception ability was stronger than him, he knew that Xiao Qing hadn't perceived it wrong. It was just that he didn't understand what was worth being kidnapped on Zhang Long Wang Hu. The value of the body wasn't very high, and the strength wasn't very strong, it wasn't enough to use this kind of expert to carry out the kidnapping. Let's go, go and take a look, perhaps we can discover something extraordinary. Although these two people were very unpleasant, but at least they were also his classmates, not to mention that they also gave money to erase the grudge. He had to help out a little bit in public and in private. Can you keep up with their speed? Can. Go. Xiao Qing leapt up and transformed into a smaller body, just enough to accommodate Yi Zhao's ride. Following the lingering smell, little green chased all the way up. Master, the smell is getting stronger here, they should be just ahead. Flying further is likely to spook the snakes. Land on the ground and quietly approach. The two landed and quietly followed up for one or two kilometers, vaguely able to hear movement not far ahead. Ah. A miserable scream resounded through the sky. It was also that this place was far away from the center of the city, and no one could hear his miserable scream. That voice, Zhang Long? When Yi Xiao got closer, he found that Zhang Long had already collapsed on the ground. His head was still being crushed by a foot nonstop, and his face was somewhat deformed. A person wearing a black cloak and a black mask on his face was there to corner Zhang Long. I'll only give you one last chance, if you don't want to die, give an honest account. Zhang Long forced himself to endure the pain in his body and said with a slight crying tone, Big brother, big brother, I really don't know anything, I was just bragging before, just let us go. Really, we really don't know, we were just bragging. Seeing that Zhang Long was still sophomoric there, the man in black lost his patience. You are challenging my patience. Five soul-fixing nails appeared in the man in black's hand. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. For soul-fixing nails shot out, directly piercing through Zhang Long's limbs. My patience is limited, I hope you grasp your last chance, if you don't explain who the anonymous person is before, this last soul-fixing nail will pierce through your heart. You should know the power of the soul-fixing nail, after being pierced through your body, you will endure seven days and seven nights of torment from the evil spirits, only then will you die in agony. Is it worth it to let yourself experience this extreme pain for the sake of someone else? Tell me who the anonymous person is, and not only will you not have to endure the pain, you'll also get a hidden profession transfer book to open a second profession. Give a stick and then give a sweet date. This ploy was really used in just the right way. If it was an ordinary person, absolutely no one would be able to resist such a temptation. Yi Xiao did not make a move and quietly watched from the sidelines. He also wanted to know for a moment if Zhang Long and the others would betray him. Big brother, I really don't know ah, we really just bragged about nonsense, you let me go, I don't wanna die. Without any hesitation, Zhang Long denied it, not even admitting that he knew Yi Xiao's identity. Good, good. Chinese people are really famous for their hard bones. It didn't matter if Zhang Long didn't admit it, there was still Wang Hu on the side. 
he didn't believe that everyone was hard-boned. What about you, you're also going to be tough-talking and not admitting it, aren't you? My patience has reached its limit, you say, he dies, he says, you die, whose body this sole nail is nailed to depends on which one of you two says it first. One who looked at John Long, who was nailed to the ground, with some fear, and stuttered a bit in his speech. I'll say it, I'll say it, I'll say it all. Hearing Wang Hu's words, a smile appeared on the man in black's face. You say, as long as the answer satisfies me, I will let you go. It's Maniac, Anonymous is Maniac, we both watched Maniac come out of the copy with our own eyes, and heard him say that he passed the level. The smile on the black-clothed man's face instantly froze. Maniac? The smug guy on the forums? How could he possibly believe that? If he was a maniac, he wouldn't have chosen to remain anonymous in the first place. I'm really disappointed in you guys, at this point in time, you're still planning to lie to me. Ding. Just at this time, the black-clothed man's phone rang. Is it solved? Although he didn't believe that Maniac was anonymous, it was better to kill 10,000 mistakes than to let one go. He sent all of his men to attack and kill Maniac. Lord James, trap, we've been fooled, it's a trap from China, anonymous isn't Maniac at all. Ah. Uh. The talking came to a screeching halt as James simply crushed his cell phone into smithereens to prevent himself from being tracked down. Heard all that? Still not being honest? I thought I could stall for a while with Maniac, but I didn't expect to be recognized so quickly. But it was earned, Hua Gua had laid such a big setup just to exterminate these darkies. How could they give ye show up? Wanting to know about Anonymous, I shucks, you deserve it. Kill if you want to kill, cut if you want to cut, we Chinese don't have wimps. The two people were determined to die, even if they were tortured to death today, they could not betray Yi Xiao. This was something Yi Xiao did not expect. Hua Guai had fabricated a false maniac for him, Zhang Long Wang who was willing to die in order to keep his identity. For the first time in so many days, he had a sense of belonging to this world's Hua Gua. All he could think about was getting stronger and surviving in this world of the weak and the strong. He didn't expect to be touched today. When you get older, your heart gets soft. Check the attributes. Name, James. Level, 3 turns in 78 levels. Profession, Assassin. Talent, S-Rank Talent Concealment. Strength, 2700. Agility, 3640. Endurance, 2300. Spirit, 2435. Skills, Shadow Misty Step, Backstab Strike. The attributes of the 3rd turn and 78th level seem to be even higher than Xiao Qing's. Together with him, it seemed that he wasn't a match for James either. But he also couldn't just watch Zhang Long Wang who die in James' hands because of him. Little Green, can you stall him? As long as Xiao Qing dragged him for a while, Yi Xiao would have a chance to save the two from James' hands. Try. This was the most powerful person Xiao Qing had encountered since his evolution. He was confident in killing all the previous monsters in seconds, but James, a third turn powerhouse, might be a little difficult. James on the side was also irritated by Zhang Long Wang whose words. Since they wanted to die, then let them have their way. What, foreign dogs, make a move, little master I blink my eyes, it's your birth, yuck. One person spat a mouthful of thick spit directly onto James' body. They could be vain, they could be jealous, they could slip up, and they could even count behind their backs. However, these were all internal matters for them, if there were foreigners involved, then they would be united and would definitely not let these foreigners reap the benefits. Not to mention that this time, it was still an operation by the top brass of China, so they would be even less likely to be traitors. All of them go to hell. His holy black robe was unexpectedly spat on twice. This was his most beloved robe, and now it had been defiled. His anger at this moment far exceeded his previous deception. Even if they revealed who the anonymous person was, they could hardly escape death. It's now, do it. The moment James was ready to make his move, Xiao Qing's power buildup was also complete. Big Dipper Cold Stream Gangjin Chop. Three powerful elemental forces converged on the shattered shadow white tiger sword. At Yi Xiao's command, Xiao Cheng did not hesitate and slashed out her strongest sword. The ground was instantly cracked and the sky became dull at this moment. James, who felt a strong sense of crisis, looked back. The three-colored sword light had already arrived in front of him. Damn. It was unknown who had sneaked up on him. But he knew that this attack could not be resisted hard, and there was only one consequence of resisting it, and that was getting injured. Getting injured in China would mean death. Shadow Misty Steps. A black mist rose around James, followed by a dozen of James' shadows appearing on the ground, and it was impossible to tell which one was real and which one was fake. The sword light chopped down in a smooth manner, and the dozen or so silhouettes were directly chopped into smithereens. They're all fake, that one is real. James gasped from a hundred meters away. The pressure on him from mesmerizing a dozen or so false shadows at once was also great. However, the effect was also remarkable, he moved a hundred meters away in a split second's effort, and all of Xiao Qing's attacks fell short. The sword light chopped on the ground, and a large gully that was 1 meter wide and 30 meters long was created. 
if he had dodged slower, this sword could have killed him. Of course, Yisha did not want to kill him with a single sword, a hallowed third turn powerhouse, how could he be killed so easily, who did not have a few means to save his life? He had only one purpose, that was to force James back and then save Zhang Long Wang Hu. Want to save someone? James saw Yi Zhao's move the moment he dodged the sword light. A little mole less than level 10 was trying to save someone in front of his third turn powerhouse. If this was saved by him, what face would he have left? Looking for death, backstab strike. With a whoosh, James disappeared in place. But Yi Xiao knew that James' real killing move had come. Of course it was easy to dodge his attack, as long as there was someone behind him. Yi Xiao didn't dodge either, he just waited for him to backstab. In the blink of an eye James came behind Yi Xiao with a dagger in his hand, aiming at Yi Xiao's back heart about to stab in. Fuck. James, who was just about to strike Yi Xiao, couldn't help but curse in a low voice. With a whoosh, he disappeared in place and avoided Xiao Qing's attack. If he had to make a move on Yi Xiao just now, Xiao Qing's sword would have similarly pierced through his body. Exchanging his life with a small person, James would not do such a stupid thing. Yi Xiao had also calculated that he did not dare to exchange his life for his life, so he let Xiao Qing attack at his back. He had won the bet. Without James' interference, Yi Xiao managed to save Zhang Long Wang Hu. They just looked at each other, not daring to act rashly. James looked at Xiao Qing with a wary face, completely unable to detect Xiao Qing's aura, feeling that she was not human-like. But indeed, she was human-like again, and could use weapons and skills. Big brother, you finally came to save us, scared me to death, I thought I was going to die, oh oh. Great, we finally don't have to die, big brother, don't worry, we didn't betray you, we really didn't betray you. Two big men were there hugging Yi Xiao and crying, saliva and snot don't want to wipe on him. If it wasn't for the fact that they were injured, Yi Xiao would have kicked them out. You are anonymous? Wu. Zhang Long Wang who seemed to realize his tense state and hurriedly covered his mouth. Both eyes were at a loss for words as they looked at Yi Xiao. They really didn't do it on purpose, they didn't want to divulge Yi Xiao's identity, they were just too excited to see Yi Xiao just now, and they accidentally baldered out. Big brother, we. Alright, just know it, don't care. Anyway, James already knew, blaming them at this time would not help. It was imperative to consider how to get out of here. Xiao Chang, freeze his wounds first, don't bleed to death later. Yi Zhao's healing technique could only be used on himself and his beast pet, it was not effective on others. Zhang Long, who was pierced through his body by the soul fixing nail, was still bleeding at all times. At this rate, he would be dead in 10 minutes. Bleeding? Ah, I'm still bleeding. The renal hormone had just kicked in, making him firm for a while, and when Yi Xiao reminded him of this, he remembered that he was still in a bleeding state. The immediate aftermath was weakness. With a wave of Xiao Qing's sword, a cold ice aura spread and froze Zhang Long's wound. The taste wasn't too pleasant, I guess, but it was better than bleeding to death. Wang Hu, take him to a priest for treatment. Then big brother you, carrying Zhang Long on his back, Wang Hu looked at James not far away with some fear. I have to be here ah, uh, otherwise can you guys go? Go, don't worry about me, you guys stay here is just a burden. Staying here would also require Yi Xiao to be distracted to take care of them, in that case it was indeed good to leave. Then big brother you must be careful. Looking at Zhang Long Wang Hu's back as he left, James did not move. He was not interested at all in these two little mole crickets, he had only one target, and that was Yi Xiao. You are anonymous? Yi Xiao shrugged his shoulders and did not deny it. No, you are not anonymous either, your leveling strength is not good enough to pass the nightmare difficulty copy. Rather, this girl next to you could possibly be anonymous. The eyesight of a third turn powerhouse was still there. With a single glance, he could see how powerful Little Green was. Unfortunately, there was no way for him to see through the Divine Pet's incarnation. It doesn't matter, no matter which one of you is anonymous, as long as we kill you, the mission will naturally be completed. Ready to die? Adjusting his body's breath and holding his breath, James began his final kill. Xiao Qing gave him a great threat, but it was only just a threat, with his strength, he could still kill Xiao Qing if he wanted to. Shadow. Underworld Abyss. Just as James was about to strike to kill Yi Xiao and the others, a black ball suddenly appeared and wrapped James up firmly. Immediately afterward came a miserable scream. By the time the black ball disappeared, James was already seriously injured and on the verge of death, collapsing on the ground. What kind of tactics is this? Yi Xiao could not help but swallow his saliva, this attack exceeded his imagination. James, who was as strong as the third revolver, had not been able to carry through for a minute, and the person had turned into this unlucky appearance. Spectre, I know you're here, come out. James, who had fallen to the ground, looked around unwillingly. As a god of war, what are you doing hiding your head and shrinking your tail, so unseemly? James was very reluctant, but he knew that he was in for it. Underworld. One of the top powerhouses in China. Even ten of him wouldn't be enough in front of the Pantheon. James, so desperate to see me? The sky tore open a crack, and Spectre walked out of the spatial rift. 
With every step, the pressure James endured increased, and by the time the specter appeared in front of him, the bones in James' body had already been crushed into pieces. However, the vitality of a third-turn powerhouse was still very tenacious, and even after crushing his bones, James didn't even gulp. I didn't expect to startle you, if I knew you would make a move, I wouldn't have come. There was no expression on the specter's face. How could he leave this big fish behind if he didn't make a move? Is there anything else to say? If not, then you can go to hell. Spectre rubbed both of his hands together, and a black flame danced at his fingertips. Don't look at it, it was only a small ball, but it gave people a soul-shaking feeling. The temperature around him dropped a good jealousy, and Yi Xiao couldn't help but shiver. To die at your hands, I admit it. But can you give me a pain in the ass, give me the dignity of a third-turn powerhouse? James looked at the flames in the specter's hands with some fear. Spectral flame. Soul nemesis. Once struck, the soul would be burned alive, one of the most unbearable means of torture in the world. Since you're here, you'll have to accept the consequences of failure. My boss is. Mentioning the boss here in the underworld was of no use at all. Is he scared? Not afraid. If you can bring your boss here, I'll invite him to join me for the spectral flame, how about that? James was silent, he knew his boss wouldn't come. Although his boss was also very strong, but when he came to China, he would have to eat a meal of spectral flame before leaving all the same. The spectral flame didn't eat this, and didn't give any face at all. Then there was no way but to close his eyes and wait for death. It seems that you have resigned yourself to your fate, since this is the case. Elder Pantheon, wait a moment. Just now, Yi Xiao had already found out the origin of the Pantheon. China's war god powerhouse, a 90 level expert. It was said that Pantheon usually did not put up a fight, but he did not expect that this time he had stooped to come to Hai Cheng for him. This damned sense of security, what a blissful feeling. Little fellow, do you still have something to do? For Yi Xiao, Pantheon was also very patient. This was the most outstanding seedling in China in recent years, and must be properly cultivated, and in the future, he would definitely be able to achieve the position of war god. Although it's a bit presumptuous, can we not kill him? Hearing Yi Xiao's words, there was no change on the specter's face, while there was an additional light in James' eyes. As long as he could live. As long as you don't kill me, I can do anything for you, I can be your henchman. Spare my life, I am a third turn powerhouse, I will be of great help to you. To James shouting, Yi Xiao expressed indifference. How could a crooked person be sincere in helping him? What he said now was just an excuse for him to want to live. Yi Xiao, what do you mean, you are in charge of today's matter? James did not have any influence on him, so he put the decision in Yi Xiao's hands. It was up to Yi Xiao to decide whether to kill or stay. Can you really leave it at my disposal? He waited for this statement from the specter, after all, he was a third turn powerhouse, and he himself was not a match for James, asking for it so openly would undoubtedly have the suspicion of stealing the credit. Since the spectral war god had opened his mouth, he didn't need to be humble. Little green, finish him off. Receiving Yi Zhao's order, Xiao Qing did not have any hesitation, with a flash of sword light, James's head was directly separated from his body, and blood gushed out. Until his death James did not even close his eyes, his eyes were filled with disbelief. Ding, killed a third turn powerhouse, experience plus 3000. Leveling up. Drop equipment plus 2. Killing in the city, reward, red name, flee, flee as far away as possible, or you will face endless pursuit by the escort. Just got too excited and wanted to kill James for experience. I didn't expect to trigger the red name system. It was not possible to kill in the city, once you did, you would commit a crime, and the higher the level of the hunt, the redder the name would be. His current name was the reddest moment, and could be seen by the entire high city. As long as he was in Hai Chang, no matter where he hid others could see it, even if it was a copy. The real nothing to hide. And not only is hunting red names not a crime, you can also get merit points. Killing enemies is also red? Just now, he was still rejoicing, killed James, gained a lot of experience not to mention, but also burst out of the equipment. As a result, the next second the person was dumbfounded, killing a James, directly red until dawn. If this was targeted, he would never want to have a peaceful day in his life. Every day, he had to be careful of being assassinated. Spectral War God, look at this. Yi Xiao pointed to this name above his head that was so red that it glowed. With the strength of the Spectral War God, eliminating the red name should be easy. If he did not want to assassinate, he could only turn to the God of Spectral War. Little fellow, don't give an inch. I've already promised you a request, do you think I'm easy to talk to? As soon as the Pantheon's face changed, Xiao Qing stopped in front of Yi Xiao's body. However, whenever the Spectral War God made the slightest movement, she would attack the spectral war god with thunderous force. Xiao Cheng, it's fine. Little Cheng was strong, but in front of the underworld war god, she was still not enough. One could not harm Little Cheng because of one's impulsiveness. I was the one who was abrupt, 
but I'm still thankful to the underworld war god for coming to my rescue and giving me James' experience, I'll keep this sentiment. If there is a need in the future, I, Yi Xiao, will definitely help if I can. He had only risen to level 8, and was still far from being a war god. It was obviously irrational to start a conflict with the underworld at this time. A red name was a red name, if he was careful and did charity work for a month, he could get rid of the red name. Kid, is this your beast pet? From the moment he first saw Little Green, Spectre felt that something was wrong. It should have taken the transformation Dan, you kid is really generous, for the sake of transforming into a form, you even gave your beast pet the transformation Dan. Looking at Pixie Hollow talking to himself alone, Yi Xiao was also dumbfounded. Transformation Dan? There was still this thing? He was an orphan, a bumpkin who had never seen the world, or had he heard of any transformation Dan? Xiao Qing was able to transform all on his own talent, there is no use of what transformation Dan. But what the seniors say is what they say, whatever they say is right. Yi Xiao did not reply, just quietly they're looking at the darkness. It didn't matter if what he said was right or not, he just nodded his head in acquiescence. This kid. Pantheon had checked Yi Xiao's identity and knew that he was an orphan, and to be able to have today's achievements, he must have a little secret. Everyone had their own secrets, and he didn't pry too much into Yi Xiao's secrets. I will help you remove your red name. Many thanks, Lord Pantheon. Hearing that Spectre helped remove the red name, a smile reappeared on Yi Zhao's face. Now there was no need to worry about being assassinated and not being able to sleep. This dog's face, it changes when he says so. Pantheon shook his head and smiled helplessly. You should know by now, you have attracted everyone's attention, twice the whole network notification, you are the only one who can reach this achievement at present. We, on the other hand, have helped you with the vast majority of your enemies this time, but you should also be aware that there are still quite a few enemies staring in the dark. It's impossible for us to protect you 24 hours without any intervals, and I'm sure you don't want us to do that either. Iron sharpens iron, so if you want to live safely, the only way is to make yourself stronger. You can take all of James's things, how much you can raise your strength raise it, you can only rely on yourself in the future. I think the next time we meet, you shouldn't let me help you out, don't let me down. After saying that the specter turned around and left. As for James things, all of them were left to Yi Xiao. The spectral war god had a point, this time if it wasn't for his appearance, they really wouldn't have been able to leave from James' hands unharmed. This was the first time since he crossed over that he felt tricky. Previously, with Little Green protecting him, he felt that this world was just like that, but now it seemed that this world was much stronger than he had imagined. The higher the talent, the more attention it would get, and the more enemies it would have. In order to stay alive, he had to become stronger. Strong enough to be unrivaled. Master, with me here, I won't let anything happen to you. Seemingly sensing Yi Zhao's emotions, Xiao Cheng stood at the side and comforted. Looking at Xiao Qing's serious appearance, Yi Xiao could not help but touch her head. Of course I believe in Xiao Qing, let's work together. After calming down a little, Yi Xiao went up to touch the corpse. A third turn powerhouse, the treasures on his body were definitely rare. Let's first take the equipment he popped out. Shadow Dagger. Star Diamond Grade General. Attack, 530, Strength plus 40, Agility plus 70, Defense Break Rate plus 30. Backstabbing has a 30 damage bonus. Seeing the attributes of the Shadow Dagger, Yi Xiao could not help but let out a gasp. Worthy of being a weapon used by a third turn powerhouse, the attack power alone reaches 500, and there is also a rare defense breaking, damage bonus, it is also considered a small extreme product. If this is sold, it can also sell a few small targets. Of course Yi Xiao had no intention of selling the weapon for the time being, this thing could be used by himself for the time being, and in case he had a new beast pet in the future, he could still give it to them to use. As for the armor and shoes, the attributes were mediocre, gold level equipment. It was not very helpful to him either. Yi Xiao picked up all the equipment and turned to check the props he had searched. Props, second identity card. Function, able to help the professional to shape a second identity, can shape identity information, appearance appearance, detection techniques cannot recognize the second identity. Seeing the second identity card, Yi Xiao's eyes lit up. This thing is good ah, the best choice for killing people and escaping to avoid enemies ah. No wonder James wasn't found out all these years, he must have used the second identity card to help him with his disguise. Now it was cheap for him for nothing. Using the second identity card. Ding, identity card used successfully. Please shape the second identity information, once the identity is bound, it will not be able to be changed, use with caution. Name, to be set. Occupation, to be set. Talent, to be set. Appearance, to be set. As for the level attributes they were all the same as the main body and could not be set. Yi Xiao pondered for a moment, or decided to hold off on setting. This thing is very useful at critical moments, in case you have a crush on someone's daughter-in-law, you can set it to be her man's likeness and have a wedding. If anyone's family is rich and powerful, 
he can change his face to become a rich second generation. Ahead of ideas, all have to rely on the second identity to realize, now use too wasteful. Anyway, the people who knew about his identity were limited at the moment, so there was no hurry to change his face. Save it first and set it later. Saved successfully. After placing the second identity card close to his body, Yi Xiao looked at the next prop. It was none other than the hidden profession transformation book that James had bribed Zhang Long Wang Hu with, which came with a voucher to open the second profession. Use the voucher, complete the transfer task to open the second profession, if the task fails, the voucher will disappear and the transfer book will be destroyed. Requirements, no lower than level 30, no higher than level 40 of the second profession. A transfer book for the second profession, and a transfer voucher. This third turn powerhouse was really rich. Whether it was the second identity card or the hidden professions transfer book, they were all things that could not be found. Moreover, these things could only be popped out in team bosses, and as for the popping rate, it was low to touching. Coupled with the fact that it was a team boss, the props all depended on hand speed and strength, to be able to have the second identity card and the transfer voucher, this guy could be proud of himself. If we are talking about value, the second profession transfer voucher is much rarer than the second identity card. Once you have successfully transferred to the second profession, it is the meat and potatoes, and its popularity is comparable to that of a beast master. The key to the dual profession transferer, the probability of growing up is even greater than that of the imperial beast master, after successfully opening the second profession, the skills mastered are more than the average person, and even the attributes have been significantly increased. A single profession transmigrator, moving up a level boosted 10 points of fixed attributes, and 10 points of free attributes. However, it was different for dual professions, not to mention the 20 points of fixed attributes that were raised by one level, even the free attributes had become 20 points. There was a whole difference of 20 points of attributes between one and the other, doubling the attributes was enough to crush geniuses of the same rank. According to his understanding, Spectre was the dual profession transmuter. Nowadays, he had already grown to a god of war, leaving the geniuses of the same period far behind. It was a pity for James that the level had exceeded the level to open the second profession. Otherwise, he would have to be accounted for here today. The underworld war god is really polite, such a good prop is even willing to give it to me. If this is given to one's own children and descendants, one will definitely be able to mold another war god. Yi Xiao grinned and silently put away the transfer voucher. As for handing it over to the underworld, that was impossible, he was not a fool, handing over such a good thing was not giving himself a hard time. Nope, clean and dry, not a single hair left. Green, let him go into the ground. Even though James had come to kill him, but at least he had provided him with so much. He had to be grateful, and it was okay to give someone else a decent burial. Chop. Xiao Cheng was not as sentimental as Yi Xiao, an enemy was an enemy, if he died then let him return to dust and earth. A sword chopped down, James' body directly disappeared in place, not even ashes could be found. Ding! After investigation, Transfigurator Yi Xiao decapitated the target as a foreign invader, it belongs to self-defense, hereby eliminating the red name. National reward, 5000 contribution points. Whether to upgrade the civic level. Yi Xiao also did not expect the speed of the underworld to be so fast, it was a leader who did practical things. This was just proposed, less than 20 minutes, the red name disappeared, and even gave him 5000 contribution points. It was important to know that contribution points were not that easy to obtain, and could only be issued if they were recognized by the country, plus the game world. Contribution points are also very useful. The first one is that you can look for Chinese officials to exchange materials, props, equipment, skill books. As long as it's what you want, there's basically nothing they can't provide. Of course, the more valuable things the more expensive. Secondly, you can find the game merchant NPC exchange, but the game merchant can be encountered but not to be sought, you may not meet him all your life, but also may be the next second to turn around and encountered. Third, the most important point. Contribution points can be used to upgrade the level of citizens, 1 to 10. The higher the citizen's rank, the higher his social status would be, the more generous the rewards he would receive from the state, and he would even send experts to protect his safety. Of course, this is not the most critical, the key to raise the level of citizens, but also able to improve their attributes. Each level can get three of the full attribute bonus, the highest 30. This full attribute bonus is what Yi Xiao wants. This thing is just as beneficial to the beast pet, don't look at a level of only three of the commission, which is not much for others to improve. But for him and Xiao Qin, that is a qualitative leap, and as the level rises, the improvement will be more and more obvious. Only want to get contribution points is not so easy, unless it is a big contribution to the country of China, or a great help to society. Otherwise, normally the state of China would not reward contribution points. Yi Xiao was able to obtain 5000 contribution points this time, partly because he drew out James, and more importantly, partly because the underworld let him have James' head. This merit was counted on his head, 
otherwise these 5,000 contribution points had nothing to do with him. Raising civic rank. Ding, citizen level upgrade successful. Name, Yi Xiao. Citizen level, 5. Full attribute bonus, 15. Full attribute bonus, 15. The entire level was raised by 5 levels. Looking at his civic level, Yi Xiao's heart was so beautiful, but he also remembered the favor of the god of the underworld. If the spectral war god did not let him have James' head and help him remove his red name, he might have been a level 1 citizen for the rest of his life. Level 5 citizen, this might even be unique in High City, the city lord of High City was currently only a level 3 citizen. He was the only one. After cleaning up the scene, Yi Xiao found the two Zhang Long Wang Hu. After all, it was because of him that they were injured, they still needed to visit them. How is it? There are no major injuries. Zhang Long shook his head to indicate that he was fine, if it wasn't because Yi Xiao had frozen the wound, he wouldn't have been able to survive until now. I'm sorry, we've caused you trouble. Just be more careful next time, I can't be so lucky to arrive every time. If the two of them hadn't bragged about the incident and been overheard by the lurking James, they wouldn't have suffered this calamity. The two of them took the main responsibility themselves. You are Yi Xiao? Just as Yi Xiao was visiting Zhang Long Wanghu, a rough voice suddenly came from behind him. Turning his head, he saw that it was no one else but the maniac who had helped him draw fire. And on his shoulder, the dragon blood lion king was looking at Xiao Chang on the side with a vigilant face. That pressure on its bloodline was making it a little breathless. It had nothing to do with strength, it was the suppression of the bloodline level. Little lion, what's wrong with you? The dragon blood lion king shook its head and closed its eyes, pretending not to care. Yi Xiao also saw that the dragon blood lion king was not right and went up to check on the dragon blood lion king's condition. Dragon blood lion king. Bloodline, overlord grade bloodline. Possesses zero. Zero one divine dragon bloodline, can return to ancestor. Level, 50. Surprisingly, it contained a zero. Zero one divine dragon bloodline, which made Yi Xiao a little heartbroken. But letting Maniac cut off the level 50 dragon blood lion king to him that was definitely unrealistic. Big brother berserker, taking the liberty to ask, this dragon blood lion king of yours is. What? Do you also want to contract the dragon blood lion king? Looking at Yi Xiao's fiery eyes, Maniac knew that he fell for the dragon blood lion king. Lion kings are plentiful in the wild, but you can't capture a dragon blood lion king out there. Listening to the name I think you should have heard that it contains dragon blood in its body. Back then, I had to pay a great price to successfully contract the Dragon Blood Lion King, if you also want it, it depends on your chance. There is a Dragon Blood secret realm in our country's demon city, and it is rumored that a divine dragon fell in the secret realm, and all the creatures in it are nourished by the dragon's blood, and contain a little bit of the divine dragon's blood to a greater or lesser extent. It is said that there are also say level bloodline beast pets inside, if you want, you can go and try, of course, you'd better find cubs to contract, so the success rate will be much higher. If you arrive at the magic city, you can go to the auction and take a look, occasionally there will be dragon blood secret realm cubs up for auction. Devil city dragon blood mystic realm, he remembered, he would definitely go and take a look when he had the chance. As long as he could find one with a divine dragon's bloodline, he would be able to perform a return to ancestry, and the difficulty wouldn't be that great for him. Thank you brother maniac, I will definitely go when I have time. I heard that you are also a beast royalist, what type of beast pet do you have, attack, or defense, or special auxiliary type? If Xiao Qing was a beast pet, it could resist and fight as well as assist, it was considered an all-around type of beast pet. However, it was more of a combat aspect, after all, it was a green-eyed white tiger, born to fight. Attack type. I knew it, usually the first beast pet contracted by a royal beast master is an attack type, in order to be able to upgrade themselves faster. As an imperial beast master senior, what about me to give you a suggestion, and of course it's just a big brother's suggestion, it doesn't affect your own judgment. I think if you want to contract a second beast pet, it's best to choose a defensive type, what we imperial beast masters are most afraid of is being sneak attacked. With a defensive type imperial beast, our lives will be more protected. Listening to people's advice and eating, Yi Xiao was not a stubborn person, it just so happened that he could learn what he didn't know from inside their mouths. Then brother maniac, do you have any suggestions for this defensive imperial beast? Yi Xiao with a mouthful of brother, Maniac was very happy and liked this young man who was polite and still humble enough to accept other people's suggestions. Since you are so steady, then I will give you a good talk, I won't tell ordinary people. In terms of defense, turtles I think are the strongest in terms of defense, you can try your luck at the North Sea Beach in the south. There are various types of turtles over there, you can't underestimate them, their power is beyond your imagination, defense is first class, no one in the same class can break through their defense. Of course if you are too troublesome, you can go to the beast pet store to buy one, if you want to buy one at a time, spend some money and buy one with good bloodline growth. 
You remember, the status of human and royal beast is equal, if you treat him with your heart, only then will he treat you with his heart, only then will he lay down his life for you at the critical moment. Yi Xiao naturally knew that he wouldn't be able to contract a beast pet easily, he didn't want one that didn't have a god-level bloodline. Once contracted, the beast pet will be able to grow with him until the end, there is no question of giving up or not. After chatting for a while, what should be understood was pretty much understood. Almost forgot the main thing, I came to find you because I want to confirm what breed and what bloodline your imperial beast is. Yi Xiao glanced at Maniac, more or less embarrassed to say. What are you afraid of, we are all on our own, no one will reveal the secrets of your beast pet. I'm just good to make a registration, and I also want to know what kind of beast pet can pass two consecutive full network notifications. It wasn't that he was afraid that Maniac would divulge his information. How could someone who could help him draw fire to face a siege be a bad person? He was just afraid of scaring Maniac after saying it. A tiger, I guess. In order to avoid striking too hard, Yi Xiao said it in a more subtle way. A tiger, it's not bad, full of attacking power, cultivate it, it's a good helper for you. But what bloodline is this tiger? Ah, uh, saint level bloodline. Yi Xiao didn't dare to report that Xiao Cheng was a god level bloodline, he first reported a saint level bloodline to try. The scene fell into a deathly silence. Maniac looked at Yi Xiao in disbelief. The two of them had put aside a half day of bragging, but as a result, he was now told that the first contracted tiger was actually a saint level bloodline. Pretending to be a pig to eat a tiger? Aren't you afraid of getting beaten up like that? There was only envy in Maniac's eyes, but there was no jealousy whatsoever. Even if Yi Xiao's beast pet was a saint level bloodline, it was fine, his dragon blood lion king was just as bullish. An overlord level bloodline was already out of reach for others. If it was coupled with special means, it would be just as capable of growing to a saint level bloodline. Although the saint level bloodline is very strong, but just the same, don't be proud, it is your first beast pet, it has helped you the most and has the deepest feelings, so you have to work hard to help it, and if there is a chance for him to evolve to a god level bloodline, you must do whatever it takes. A beast pet with a god level bloodline has a world of difference from other beast pets, wait until you know later, if you have a chance to advance to god level, you must help it advance. Forget it. I guess I'm redundantly reminding you. A person who was admired by the underworld war god and even went so far as to personally protect him would be a simple person? A person who had just succeeded in a transfer and contracted a saint level bloodline beast pet would be a simple character? Where was the need for him to teach this knowledge, he was now purely a clown. Yi Xiao, you wouldn't be the illegitimate son of any big brother. Let's see which big brother's surname is Yi. The whole world is limited in terms of beast masters, and the first beast pet that can contract a holy level bloodline is even fewer. Except for those sons and daughters with big backgrounds and big powers, who could contract a saint level bloodline beast pet. He was able to contract the overlord level bloodline dragon blood lion king all by relying on his family, he didn't believe that Yi Xiao, an orphan, could contract it by himself. The more maniac thought about it, the more he felt that he was close to the truth, Yi Xiao definitely had a big background and the power behind him was beyond his imagination. No wonder the underworld war god instructed him to make a good relationship with Yi Xiao and take special care of Yi Xiao. Emotionally this was paving the way for him. When he thought of this, Maniac even had some tears in his eyes, years of dog and horse labor had finally been rewarded, he was really touched. Brother, tell me honestly, are you the young master making a private visit to experience life? You don't need to explain, I know it all, from now on I, Maniac, will be your loyal little brother, I will never go west if you tell me to go east, I will never slaughter a chicken if you tell me to kill a dog. In the future what good things think about pointing me, my requirements are not high, do not ask for what holy level bloodline beast pet, hegemony level will be fine, if you do not need it you can prioritize me. Money is not a problem, okay? This maniac can really be whimsical, if he was the bastard of a big brother he would still need to live in that room of less than 20 square meters. He can have today's achievements, all rely on oneself. Cough. There is also the credit of the system, in order to grow step by step. Brother maniac. Don't, don't, you are my brother but don't call me brother, can't afford it. Devilish. You really misunderstood, I'm not a big young master, I'm just an ordinary orphan. You casually inquire to know, I have lived in the sea city for so many years, what big young master can still microdress for more than 10 years to experience life is not. Maniac's heart had already determined that Yi Xiao was the illegitimate son of the big brother, no matter how Yi Xiao explained, he took it as a whisper. What data information? This is not a matter of words in the hands of the big brother, how do you want to tamper with it? With his identity, investigating Yi Xiao, that surely nothing can be investigated, let them see all that can let them see. What they couldn't see, that was not a single word. Big brother, whatever you say, I will listen to you. Yi Xiao didn't want to say anything, superfluous explanation. However, Maniac had a sentence that did mention him, he had a good tool to make money in his hand, only that he didn't think of it for a while. Selling beast pets. 
Previously, he was only thinking about his own contracted divine bloodline beast pets, and selectively ignored the beast pets of other bloodlines. Unbeknownst to him, beast pets of other bloodlines are just as unattainable to others. Ancestry and no money, looking for some overlord level or above bloodline beast pet for ancestry, turn and then sold, that is a large amount of money ah. The key to these ancestorized beast pets is that they are still 100% loyal to him. Even if other people contracted, the same will follow his orders, even more than the contract has priority. At that time, the Chinese people hand a holy level bloodline beast pet, the key is still all listen to his words. Thinking about it, Yi Xiao felt excited. Of course, now can only think about it, the real operation is still very difficult. Every one of them is overlord level bloodline, being targeted, that is not a good thing, it is not possible to be sliced and studied. Without absolute certainty, this kind of thing could not be done. Let's leave a contact first, if there is really a suitable beast pet, I will contact you again. Since Yi Xiao had said this, he must be certain. This makes him more sure of Yi Xiao big brother's identity. Okay la brother, this is my forum number, I add you I add you, how can I labor you personally? Maniac joyfully added Yi Xiao's forum number, and then left to find the underworld to reply to the message to go. If you two don't have anything to do, just stay here obediently to recuperate your injuries, recuperate your injuries and then go to practice leveling, so as not to fall into any after effects. I'll leave first, contact me if anything happens. The three of them were also considered to have a lifelong friendship. Although these two were annoying before, but they would rather die than give him up at the critical moment, they could still be friends. Leaving the hospital, Yi Xiao refound a hotel to hobnob. There are only so many hotels with buffet in Hai Chang, if you can ho-ho one, one a day, then you can save a lot of money. Xiao Qing, eat, eat full we go to rest. Xiao Qing is moping for a long time, the stomach has long been empty, just waiting for Yi Xiao to say this to eat. Eat, eat, buffet. The day the hotel went bankrupt. Emptying all the ingredients, Xiao Qing barely ate a 70% full. Okay Xiao Qing, forgive them, let's come back to eat when we're hungry. Prepare more ingredients next time, this amount of ingredients is enough for what, starving the guests, can you take responsibility? Yi Xiao had already gone farther and farther down the road of shamelessness, in order to let Xiao Qing have enough to eat, he started to shamelessly condemn others. Let's go, little Chang, let's go up and rest. After eating her fill, Xiao Cheng began to take a bath and watch TV and play with small toys. Yi Xiao, on the other hand, sat there to organize the things he got today. The props and other things are finished, he still has treasure chests that he hasn't opened, two nightmare treasure chests and one dead spirit treasure chest. Previously, he was busy dealing with James and didn't care to open the treasure chests, this time he was finally able to open the treasure chests in peace. Opening the necrotic treasure chest. Ding, treasure chest opened successfully. Skill book, whirlwind chop. Rapidly rotate your body and perform a spinning chop on the enemy. With the number of rotating circles, the power increases exponentially. Transformers and beast pets can learn this skill. The treasure chest obtained from the side quest, the reward is naturally sloppy, a skill book, used to increase the combat power a little bit, sold can also be exchanged for a little bit of money. It wasn't too bad. But what he really cared about were the two nightmare treasure chests. These were the treasure chests that could open good things. Open the nightmare treasure chest. Ding. Treasure chest opened successfully. Skill book, skill strike. Passive skill, skill will inflict 3 to 5 times bludgeoning damage to the enemy, the degree of bludgeoning is related to the please density. Skill blitz, passive skill. This skill was great, increasing the damage by 3 to 5 times. To him, it was definitely 5 times the damage, Xiao Qing's intimacy with him didn't even need to be said, it was directly pulled full. Not bad, you can let Xiao Qing learn it. The first treasure chest opened Yi Xiao was satisfied. The second treasure chest opens. Ding, treasure chest opened successfully. Emperor O descended, opened a pair of stinky socks. Seeing the socks in front of him emitting a foul odor, Yi Xiao's face went black. The nightmare treasure chest had opened a pair of stinky socks. What do you mean, nightmare treasure chest? You open a pair of stinky socks for me. Not appropriate right. Probability of opening the chest, 0. 0 1 for scrap, 29. 9 for normal, 20 for average, 20 for fine, and 30 for extreme. Yi Xiao finally knew why he was said to be O Huang descending. 0. Zero one of the probability of scrap was drawn out by him. After throwing the stinky socks away through the window, today's opening of the chest was considered to be over. Phew. Finally able to take a good rest. In the past two days, people were on edge because of the briefing, fearing that they would be missed. Now there was no need to be afraid, he was explicitly considered a member of the underworld war god, and with the foreign forces losing so many people this time, they definitely wouldn't dare to act again in a short period of time. This period of time was just a buffer that would allow him to quickly increase his strength. Early the next morning, Yi Xiao only felt that his arm was numb as if he had lost consciousness. Crap, why are you in my bed and not wearing clothes? Originally, the young man was bloodthirsty, 
and Uncle Chen came to find it in the morning. Then when he saw the naked Xiao Chang, he couldn't help it even more. Amit Babuda, color is empty, empty is color, color, empty, 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 color, no woman in the heart, plucking the carving natural god. A burst of gibberish, but it seems to be a little suppressed. Go out, go out, go to your room to sleep. People and beast pets are not going to have good results. Yi Xiao couldn't try and gamble, he could only drive Xiao Cheng out. N. Xiao Qing slowly opened her eyes and let out um, almost not letting Yi Xiao break his defense. Master, what's wrong? How did you run into my bed, and you're still not wearing clothes? Xiao Cheng blinked her big innocent eyes, slightly confused, she did not know what Yi Xiao was wondering. Master, haven't we always slept like this before? And I sleep like this all the time, is it possible to sleep with clothes on? But it's so hard to sleep with clothes on. She was just a beast pet, what bad thoughts could she have? Get up, you're hungry, go eat, after eating go to the copy to brush levels. While Yi Zhao's side brought Xiao Qing's copy to brush levels, the other countries received the good news that their entire army had been wiped out. Damn it, the Chinese are dishonest as always, they even used Anonymous to set up a trap and slaughtered all of our dark sons. Even James was killed by them, not giving us any face at all, don't they know that James is a strong person from our country? Having lost a third turn powerhouse, pretty country was also in a great deal of pain. The key was that James still had some props on his body, which were all cheap for the Chinese country. But what could they do, they could only slap the table in the office, as for protesting with China, they didn't dare and couldn't. Although everyone knows that the trap set by China this time is aimed at all of them, but the right to choose whether to drill or not is still in their hands. Moreover, they were the ones who moved first, China was completely justified in defense, they were not in a position to take advantage of the situation, they were bound to suffer this loss. My lord, it's bad, the record has been refreshed again. It's still that anonymous person from China. With the underworld war god as his backing, Yi Xiao had nothing to worry about, frantically swiping copies as fast as he could. Damn guy, too arrogant, bring me Marshall. They had just completely annihilated their dark sons and immediately ran out to refresh the record, isn't this a typical mockery of their incompetence, don't swallow this breath down. The moment the record was refreshed, all the forces from all sides noticed. The major guilds in China also received the news. Red People's Pavilion Residence. Stop all quests about Anonymous above the forums. After this period of unremitting efforts, they had already scratched the surface a bit, and given a few more days, they would be able to find out the identity of Anonymous. But at this time, the president unexpectedly told them to give up their investigation of Anonymous. Then wouldn't all the efforts of the past few days be wasted? President, why is it being investigated? We'll be able to investigate it right away. I believe no one will be faster than us. By the time we bring Anonymous on board, our red man Hall's power will have grown greatly again. Why wouldn't Luo you know that? But there was no way, they were just a small guild, in front of the behemoth that was the country, their red man hall was not enough to look at. The underworld war god has already issued a warning to me that Anonymous is someone from the country, if we continue to investigate, then we are enemies of the country. What? The underworld war god? He actually came out personally. Just what kind of god is Anonymous that he could invite the underworld war god to come out? Luo you also wanted to know, but he knew that Yi Zhao's matter could not continue to be investigated. In case he angered the god of underworld warfare, then the Red People's Pavilion would most likely be destroyed. This was his years of hard work, and he couldn't bet it all on Yi Xiao. Yesterday, the god of the underworld war personally took action and exterminated all the forces that came to High City's secret sons, that is to say, seeing that we are a Chinese guild, we merely gave a warning. If we are looking into the matter of Anonymous, then the consequences should be clear to all of you. Discontent filled the faces of a group of people. In the past two days, they had paid a great price in order to investigate the news of Anonymous, only hoping to bring Yi Xiao into their guild. After all, someone who could pass a nightmare difficulty copy in seconds would definitely not have low achievements in the future. If he was brought into their guild, then the Red Man's Pavilion might rise to a height that no guild could compare to in the future. Unfortunately, it was all ruined now, and one sentence from the Underworld God of War directly disrupted all of their plans. Damn it, we're about to succeed, but we ended up making such a mess. A warning? Oh, I think they're just afraid that our guild will grow up and threaten their management position. How could Luo Yu not know how they felt? But there was no way. It was just a matter of not being as skilled as others. These guilds of theirs were just militia organizations with no establishment in the eyes of the state. For them, the state was not at ease, and there was no way they would let the super geniuses go to them. This kind of super genius, the country must firmly control in its own hands. President, the record has been refreshed again, it's already the third time. Yi Xiao was still refreshing the record non-stop. Watching the record being constantly refreshed, Luo Yu's heart was dripping blood, such an awesome heavenly pride, how could it not be owned by their guild? It wasn't just Luo Yu, the others were also heartbroken. President, 
are we really not going to fight for it? This if we fight for our guild. The underlings were still about to say something when they were stopped by Luo Yu. A long pain was better than a short pain, Yisha was not something they could have. They couldn't even pass the barrier of the underworld war god. This matter should not be brought up again, withdraw all quests issued by the Red Man Hall regarding Anonymous. This matter ends here. They also knew that Luo Yu was under immense pressure. Since the decision had been made, they could only do as they were told. Yes, President. After everyone left, Luo Yu sighed and slumped in his chair. No matter how powerful the guild is, it can't compare to the country, they have too many demons at their disposal, it's not a match at all. After warning all the forces in High City, the Spectral Warlord returned to Imperial City. Emperor Tsan looked at the corners of Spectre's mouth that were skimmed up, and knew that this time things had gone well. Have you seen the people? How does it feel? Very good. Very good. Seemingly feeling that very good was not enough to describe Yi Xiao, Pantheon added one more sentence very good. To be able to make Pantheon feel very good, that was enough to prove Yi Xiao's excellence. This made Di Tsan even more interested in Yi Xiao. Tell me, how is the strength? The strength is just like that, barely able to fight against James of the third turn, he shouldn't lose within a hundred moves. And, Di Tsan was shocked. For so many years, sitting in a high position for a long time, he did not show his joy and anger, and did not change his face when a mountain collapsed in front of him. But now he was startled, because of the words of the underworld, breaking his state of mind for so many years. What did you just say? Battle a third turn James and not lose in a hundred moves? Even stronger, or else what do you think makes him able to swipe the list? This was also in line with common sense. But this fighting strength was obviously a bit different from the norm. A student who was less than a tenth level was able to fight against a third turn powerhouse. This was unbelievable. Such a genius must be in the hands of the state, have you warned the forces in High City? Especially the miscellaneous unions like the Red Man Hall, I heard that they are also investigating Yi Zhao's identity. For these guilds, they were not the least bit favorable. They had no sense of belonging to the country and only worked for their own guilds. Previously, they snatched talents from the country and dug up a lot of the country's corners. If it wasn't for the fact that they were still somewhat useful, Emperor Tsang would have long wanted to exterminate them. With regards to the guild, the attitude of the underworld was the same as Di Tsang's. Luo Yu is a smart person, he should know what to do. Luo Yu ah. Di Tsang seemed to have thought of something and leisurely said, it's been a long time since I've seen Luo Yu, I wonder if he's still as sharp as he was when he was young? Mellowed out quite a bit. Ha! The two let out a light laugh and did not bring up the matter again. By the way, have you mentioned the November War of All Nations to him yet? No, after he breaks through level 10 and comes to Imperial City, I'll talk to him about this matter, the War of All Nations, it's going to be lively this time. He had already thought of the scene afterward, the smile on his face grew more and more intense. Yi Xiao and the copy suddenly, involuntarily shivered. An expert like him had already lost the qualification of contracting windshield. The fact that he would shiver now was definitely because someone was thinking about him. Who cares, soldiers come to stop, water comes to cover the earth. Little green, pack up and get ready to go. This day, the two worked diligently, constantly leveling up in the copy. The further back they went, the more experience they needed, and the upgrade speed slowed down a lot. After brushing for a day, Yi Xiao was still close to level 9, while Xiao Qing managed to upgrade to level 9. After brushing for a while longer, he would be able to break through level 10, and then he would be able to set off for the university. However, today was hopeless, the backpack was already brushed full, all kinds of materials and equipment Yi Xiao was too lazy to check. It's time to go find that little bitch I've adopted. So many days, unexpectedly do not know to take the initiative to contact me. With regards to Xiao Yun Rose house, Yi Xiao was probably more familiar with it than returning to his own home. Knock knock knock. Bang. The knock on the door had just sounded when an explosion sounded inside the room. It's. Who. Is it? Hearing Xiao Yun Ru's furious voice, Yi Xiao knew that he had made a big trouble. If this ant was angry, she could tear his bones apart. Quick, 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 take out all the equipment materials. A bunch of equipment, a bunch of materials, directly piled up Xiao Yun Ru's small courtyard. Who. Hell, so many materials. Xia Yunru, who opened the door, had just let out a roar when she saw the yard full of materials. In an instant, her face changed. Losing a little bit of material was nothing, this was a yard full of materials, enough to make up for her loss. Hey, look at you, why are you so polite? Just come in the future, there's no need to bring so many gifts. Saying no on her lips, her hands were not slow at all, and with a wave of her hand, a yard of materials disappeared into thin air. Crap, how did you do it? With just a wave of your hand, the materials were collected. One should know that Yi Xiao had collected them one by one in the beginning. Who am I? Xiao Yunru ah, how come you don't even recognize yourself? Xiao Yunru blankly glanced at Yi Xiao without any good humor. I said my occupation. Super alchemist ah. 
Could it be that this is the result of your achievements in the past few days? Naturally, or else you think I'm idly waiting for you to adopt me. Xiao Yunru casually threw Yi Xiao a bracelet. This thing is my own research, it's called a range collector. You use it for now, this is the first generation, the range of the phone is not very big, a hundred meters around, it can automatically pick up useful materials, including equipment and skill books. Give me some more time, I'll help you develop one with a bigger range, at that time, not only can you collect your own, you can also rob others. You'd better not divulge it, or I'm afraid you'll be rounded up. Worthy of being a super alchemist, such an awesome equipment could be manufactured. So bullish you. Loki, bind the information yourself and turn it on. Binding. Binding successful. Set. Auto pickup set successfully. Materials, equipment, props, skill books, etc. That fall within a hundred meters of the circumference will be picked up automatically. Now I finally don't have to look for materials all over the place. Automatic pickup saves me a lot of trouble. Xiaoyun Ro smiled and did not say anything. His smile was more or less a little perfunctory. Such a small invention made him happy like this. In the future if he invented something even more awesome, he would still be thrilled to death. You won't lose money by adopting me, all these materials will give you something in return. This point Yi Xiao did not deny. Although these materials could also be sold for quite a lot of money, but compared to investing in a super alchemist, this point everyone was not called a thing. Do you have anything else? Yi Xiao shook his head, he came today just to give the materials to Xiao Yunru. No, the things have been brought to you. It's fine you help yourself, I'm busy. Xiao Yunru was not polite at all, taking the materials and closing the door, leaving Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing hanging outside. Come all the way over here, even if you don't give a drink of water, you are not even allowed to enter the door. This bitch, how many flaws of human feelings in it. Of course Yi Xiao was used to it, when Xiao Yunru focused on alchemy, she didn't care who you were with, no one could disturb her work. Let's go, sell these useless skill books, and then see if there are any other skill books suitable for us. Although Xiao Qing's elemental skills were very skillful, that sword art was really a mess, and the elemental attacks attached to it were just a bunch of slashes. Finding her a few skill books on swordplay would allow her to maximize her combat prowess. As for the skill books picked up on her body, they were tasteless to eat and discarded, selling them for money was the most cost effective. Boss, see how much these are worth. Yi Xiao casually slapped 10 skill books onto the counter. Storm, wind elemental skill book, this one can give you half a million dollars. Golden light spell, gold elemental skill book, relatively rare, 800,000. Cold surge, ice element skill book, more powerful, 730,000. The boss valued one book after another in front of Yi Xiao. No matter where they were, skill books were bestsellers, no matter if it was a sentinel beastmaster or an ordinary profession, in addition to the natural skills, they all had to learn other skills. And these skill books can perfectly solve their skill problems. Moreover, these skill books of his were all of good quality, and their power was okay, so the price was naturally fair. That is, he and Xiao Qing shared skills, as long as Xiao Qing would know the skills he would know, although the power was a little weaker, but it was better than having more skills. Boss, figure out how much, and then help me find two skill books in this area of sword art. Good to say. This thing of skill books, they were the least of their problems. Without a moment's effort, the boss found several skill books in the area of sword arts for Yi Xiao. Broken Army Ascending Dragon Sword, rapidly reloads to repel the enemy while sending a single hand chop at the enemy, causing the enemy to levitate. P.S. Hit forced levitation, cannot be avoided. After reading the first book, Yi Xiao was very satisfied. This book, how much? Thanks for taking care of it, 5 million. Yi Xiao almost spat out a mouthful of old blood. One skill book topped the 10 books he had just sold for 5 million dollars. Can it be cheaper? They are all old customers, they will come back to buy in the future, give some discount. Sir, applying for a membership card? Members enjoy a discount of 95%, you don't need a billion, you don't need a hundred million, you only need 9. 98 million, and you can become an honored member of this store. Yi Xiao didn't want to say anything the card was impossible to do. It wasn't just 5 million, it wasn't like he couldn't afford it. I'll take this one. Drawing sword chop, drawing the sword and quickly make a powerful attack on the surrounding enemies, range damage, can attack the surrounding 30 meters of the enemy, the longer the time of storing power, the greater the power the wider the range of attacks. P.S. During the storage period, you will enter a short dominant state, ignoring control and debuffs. This skill book was also quite good, you shall liked it. This book, how much? Bearing the reply, 3,800,000. Cough cough. The sky merchants are generally black ah. Repurchase skill book is only a few hundred thousand. This sell are millions and millions of sell. Can then. For membership card. Stop stop stop. Do not do not do directly buy. Another book. Already bought two books. It is not bad to have one more book, more skills, more a skill is more a life-saving ability. 
Sword intent fluctuation, turn on sword intent fluctuation, strong sword intent is ejected around the body, causing enemies around the body to continuously receive sword intent damage, teammates within the fluctuation shroud, increasing the skill blitz rate of oneself and teammates. P.S. Sword intent wave ignores enemy defense. Price. 4,200,000. Yi Xiao was too lazy to bargain with him, otherwise this boss would have to push his membership card again. Spending 13 million, he purchased three skill books. Xiao Cheng, learn. Ding. Learning skills, broken army rising dragon sword, sword drawing chop, sword intent fluctuation. After Xiao Qing mastered the skills, Yi Xiao naturally learned the three skills as well. It felt really good, although it cost more than 13 million, but it was worth it. Let's go, go back and eat, after eating, go out of the city to kill monsters. The copy wasn't too necessary for him anymore. The current him was completely strong enough to go out and kill the ferocious beasts. When Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing went back to the hotel and prepared to replenish their energy, the people were dumbfounded. The two of them stared at the scene in front of them with wide eyes in disbelief. It's closed? What's the situation? It was fine in the morning, how come it's closed now, the seals are on. What is the situation, this hotel is not run very well. How come it's gone for good reason? You don't know? I heard that the hotel has offended someone. Offended? What kind of person? I don't know, it's rumored to be a woman who can especially eat, consuming a large amount of their food a day, the boss couldn't afford to mess with it, so he could only choose to run away and go to another city to open a hotel. Eating melon to his own head, Yi Xiao was still more or less embarrassed. This reaction is a little too intense right, not just eat a little more well, how to also raise the family ran away. But it does not matter, ran this one, there is a next. Casually find a hotel with buffet is good. When Yi Xiao found another hotel, he realized that he was very wrong. He and Xiao Qing had already been on the hotel's blacklist. Even the entrance of the hotel had a portrait of the two of them eating posted on it. Sorry, the hotel is full, you can go somewhere else. Sorry, it's full, no reception for now. Sorry, it's full. All the hotels all had the same reason, as long as Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing went, no matter if it was full or not, it was all full. Small-minded, not just a little meal, not so much as a blockade ah. It looks like it's not wool gathering, then he can only pay for Xiao Qing's dinner himself. As Xiao Qing's level increased, her meal size also increased exponentially. This meal had eaten him 300,000 before he stopped. Master, North City Gate. Master stopped after sending Yi Xiao Xiao Qing to the city gate. Ever since the combination of reality and the game, there was no way for them drivers to leave the city. After all, they were just some ordinary people, and the ferocious beasts outside the city were at least above level 5. In order to shelter those below level 5, the state of China had built protection arrays in all the cities and towns. It was just that while it prevented the beasts from entering the city and killing them, it also prevented ordinary people from leaving. Of course, if you want to leave, you can, but you need to sign a contract of life and death, leaving the city, life and death at your own risk. If you have money, you can take the teleportation array to leave, also relatively safe. It's just that ordinary people don't have that kind of money to take the teleportation array to leave. See City North City Gate. After Yi Xiao got off the bus, he walked straight out into it, the array did not cause a single obstruction to him. After all, his level had far exceeded level 5. North Sea Beach, this should be the place that Maniac said. Since Maniac you had already recommended it, he didn't need to think much about it, and first went to the North Sea Beach to take a look. Little Green, let's go, North Sea Beach for a walk. Good. What Yi Xiao said was what he said, Xiao Cheng did not think much at all. The two of them just kept setting off all the way to the north, and soon saw a silent and peaceful beach, giving people an urge to sunbathe. However, he knew that this silence and peace was only on the surface, as soon as someone approached the North Sea beach, countless ferocious beasts would appear and tear them to pieces. Go. For others, the North Sea beach contained countless crises, but for Yi Xiao, this was his paradise. The highest level of North Sea beach ferocious beasts did not exceed 30 levels, and for Xiao Cheng, it was a matter of a sword. The two of them had just stepped into the North Sea beach with their front feet, the beach began to surge up continuously, and in no time at all, the shrimp soldiers and crabs, and the kings and queens had all sprung up. The ones closest to the two of them had already launched a fierce attack. Giant Pincer Crab General. Level, 7. Strength, 70. Agility, 50. Endurance, 78. Spirit, 34. Skill, Giant Pincer Clamp, Rampage. Level 7 monsters, except for their spirit, their attributes were considered quite strong. Identify. Giant Pincer Crab General. Lord Giant Pincer Crab King Bloodline. A lord level bloodline, nothing worth rare, not suitable to be his second beast pet. Little Green, finish it off, leave the pincers behind, barbecue it for dinner later. Little Green just squinted and glanced at the giant clawed crab general, it didn't have the slightest interest in this kind of stinky fish and shrimp. 
It didn't even bother to use its skills, and with a casual swing of its sword, the giant pincer crab general was directly split in half. Ding! Killed giant pincer crab general, experience plus 90. A level 7 monster that gave 90 points of experience, split in half was only 45 points of experience. Seeing that the giant clawed crab general was easily killed by Xiao Qing, the ferocious beasts of the North Sea beach froze, and then began to surround towards the two. The most fundamental reason why few people came to hunt at the North Sea beach was that the monsters here were quite united. As soon as they discovered humans, they would unite together and lay siege to them. Little Green, I'll leave it to you. It might be fine for him to deal with one or two, but for him to deal with hundreds or thousands, he couldn't. Identify. Giant Pincer Crab General, Lord Class Giant Pincer Crab King Bloodline. Giant Pincer Shrimp Soldier, Lord Level Giant Pincer Shrimp Soldier Bloodline. Cloaked Turtle, Lord Level Cloaked Turtle King Bloodline. Looking around, there really wasn't any heartwarming ferocious beasts, and the bloodlines were all very low grade. Little Green, Sword Intent Fluctuation. Draw your sword, build up momentum. The sword intent fluctuations surrounded Xiao Qing, constantly spreading outwards, and the ferocious beasts that were enveloped by the fluctuations all suffered varying degrees of damage. However, this could not stop their determination to move forward. Just as they approached the 30 meter range around Xiao Qing, Xiao Qing decisively struck out. With a flash of sword light, hundreds of ferocious beasts were all chopped into pieces. The only thing that remained was their pincers, and that bastard shell. Hearing Yi Xiao say that the skirts of the king's bastard shells were delicious, she had to savor them. Ding, kill giant pincer crab general, experience plus 90. Ding, kill giant pincer shrimp soldier, experience plus 90. Ding, kill cloaked turtle, experience plus 90. The sound of experience kept ringing out and Yi Zhao's experience bar was growing rapidly. Keep killing, brush up to level 10 today. Xiao Cheng took one step deeper into the North Sea Beach, Yi Xiao followed behind unhurriedly. Dabbling in experience, collecting materials, and preparing things for the barbecue in the meantime. You kill slowly. I'll prepare the barbecue here, we can eat in a while. Without the buffet, spending money to eat is too expensive, the most affordable is to cook for yourself, and it's still free ingredients. Yi Xiao sat there alone and barbecued, while Xiao Qing surrounded Yi Xiao and kept killing monsters. Without a moment's effort, the corpses of the ferocious beasts were spread all over the North Sea beach. With the passage of time, the more the beasts were killed, the more the hate value was pulled, the monsters in the North Sea beach kept killing towards Xiao Qing. There was a constant flow of reinforcements from inside the sea, and it was simply impossible to kill them all in a single moment. If it was an ordinary person, seeing this scene would have been scared and fled. But is Yi Xiao an ordinary person? Yi Xia, who is Xiao Cheng as his bodyguard, can rest assured that he will be able to rub his experience. From time to time, he threw over two crab pincers and turtle shells to Little Ching to satisfy his craving. Tastes great. Tasting the delicious Xiao Qing, killing even more decisively, the sword in his hand kept waving, and the corpses of the ferocious beasts were accumulating, and the experience was constantly growing. Although the two of them shared the experience equally, they couldn't help but kill more ferocious beasts. The experience bar quickly went up. Ding, upgraded to level 9, gained 10 points of fixed attributes, 10 points of free attributes. After hunting for an hour, he finally broke through to level 9. The materials exploded a whole bunch, and the equipment also exploded a whole bunch, all of which were given to Xiao Yun Rose materials when the time came. As for the skill books, the burst rate was a bit low, after killing so many ferocious beasts, surprisingly only 10 books were burst out, and they were all low-level skill books, the kind that were hundreds of thousands a book. Add some points. Name, Yi Xiao. Profession, Imperial Beast Master. Beast Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger. Level, 9. Strength, 153. Agility, 147. Endurance, 144. Spirit, 154. P.S. Excluding the attributes of the shared beast pet. Ding, killed giant clawed crab general, experience plus 30. Leveling up, coupled with hunting too many ferocious beasts, the experience directly shrunk to one third. The experience would only become less and less as the hunt continued. Moreover, there wasn't much fun here, the peripheral ferocious beasts had already been killed for fear, and each of them hit aside, not daring to come close at all. The periphery isn't much fun anymore, keep going deeper. The two kept going deeper and deeper into the North Sea beach, not encountering a single transmuter along the way. Of course this was normal, the same batch of transmuters probably hadn't reached level 5 yet, there was no way they could come out to practice. Before coming out of the disdain to come here, experience is quite a bit less, the monster is also difficult to kill, a careless can be ferocious beasts of the encirclement, and here to kill might as well go elsewhere to brush the boss it. There is no brush, so many years of accumulation of ferocious beasts will be all his alone. Detect. Giant Pincer Crab King. Level, 9. Strength, 90. Agility, 78. Endurance, 97. 
Spirit, 76. Skills, Giant Pincer Slam, Rotating Fire Pincer, Slamming. Lord Level Giant Pincer Crab King Bloodline, No Room for Advancement. I think this evolved from the Giant Pincer Crab General, and the King Crab is their final evolved form. The Bloodline was too low level to look at, it could only be taken as experience. Kill. Again or a sword, without any effort, the Giant Pincer Crab King was directly chopped into two halves, the cut surface was smooth and even, without a hint of obstruction. Ding, killed Giant Pincer Crab King, experience plus 130. The experience was restored, and the amount given was not bad, at least 100. The blood that flowed out from killing the Giant Pincer Crab King stimulated the surrounding ferocious beasts, one by one, they drilled out from the sandy beach and quickly surrounded towards them. Probably looking around, there was not a single one with a special bloodline, all of them were ferocious beasts with limited growth. There's no need to keep them, slaughter them. With his sword, even if it was a higher level of ferocious beasts, they were no match for Xiao Chang. Until the beaches that were killed turned blood red. Little green upgraded. Ding, congratulations to the green-eyed white tiger for leveling up to level 10, gaining 500 points of fixed attributes. Divine pet, green-eyed white tiger. Attributes, gold, wind, ice attributes. Level, 10. Strength, 3300. Agility, 3134. Endurance, 3255. Spirit, 3450. Looking at Xiao Qing's attributes, Yi Xiao was envious. The single attribute at level 10 had broken through 3000. He reached the 10th level, single attribute is estimated to be 200. The gap is like a world of difference. However, he is just envious, after all, Xiao Qing is his beast pet, 100% loyalty to him. Xiao Qing strong that is his strong, the royal beast division to kill monsters, when to use myself personally, he only need to ensure that he does not drag the hind legs on the line. Just need to have enough means to save his life on the line. Have to hurry to find a defense divine pet ah, one attack and one defense, directly invincible. Little green, clear the field, there's nothing worth keeping here. Without a divine bloodline, it was an experience to be slaughtered here in Yi Xiao, after getting Yi Xiao's order, Xiao Qing started a wide range of massacre. The king crab, king shrimp and king turtle were slaughtered in less than 10 minutes, and once again, the field was cleared. Skill books were sloppily obtained a dozen or so, and the explosion rate was as low as ever. Equipment materials were obtained, but he couldn't use these, so he directly put them away and waited to go back and hand them over to Xiao Yunru. Continue to depart. The inner perimeter of the North Sea Beach. This was also considered the dangerous zone of the North Sea Beach, and the monsters here far exceeded the ferocious beasts in the outer perimeter in terms of both level and combat strength. Detect. 3 Pincer Crab. Level, 10. Strength, 110. Agility, 98. Endurance, 123. Spirit, 97. Skills, 3 Pincers Dancing Wildly, Fire Pincers Clamping. Bloodline, Overlord Crab Boss Bloodline, Bloodline Dilution 0. 001, can be ancestorized. After fighting for so long, I finally came across a slightly better beast. Overlord level bloodline, only a little bloodline thinning, only 0. 001. If this was in someone else's hands, it would be impossible to become a crab's boss for the rest of his life. But in his hands it is different, even a thin bloodline can return to the ancestors. Only the overlord level bloodline is not his goal. With a previous experience like the green-eyed white tiger, his vision had been raised. In order to become his beast pet, once again, it had to be a god-level bloodline, and for him to perform ancestorization, it had to contain a saint-level bloodline. Although the overlord-level bloodline was good, it would definitely not be able to keep up with him in the future, and it would be better not to contract it now rather than abandoning it when the time came. Kill it. As soon as Yi Xiao ordered, Xiao Qing's sword swung straight up. What qualifications did a small overlord-level bloodline have to be equal to her? Without any hesitation, the sword directly chopped the three pincer crab into smithereens. Ding, kill three pincer crab, experience plus 150. Still overlord level, useless, kill it. Ding, killed super giant clawed shrimp, experience plus 150. Useless, slaughter it. Useless, kill it. All useless, slaughter them all. Little green transformed into a merciless killing machine, wreaking havoc on the North Sea beach, and in no time, the corpses were once again all over the beach. Little green, tired? Xiao Qing shook her head, this bit of fighting was worthy of making her tired, her own recovery power was already strong, this bit of consumption wasn't as fast as her recovery. If you're not tired let's continue, once we kill through this place, next time we won't come. The two of them once again went deeper and entered the North Sea Beach Danger Zone. This place had been marked out with red markings, one could not easily go deeper or else one's life would be in danger. Giant Spiny Turtle King. Level, 11. Strength, 110. Agility, 88. Endurance, 231. Spirit, 100. 
Skills, Giant Spike Rush, Death Surround, Super Defense Skills, Giant Spike Rush, Death Surround, Super Defense. Bloodline, Overlord Super Turtle King, Bloodline Dilution, 0. 003. Another Overlord class bloodline, and the attributes weren't bad either, barely catching up to the monsters of the Nightmare difficulty copies. No wonder it was set as a danger zone, it was indeed a bit dangerous for students who had just transferred. Killing it is useless. Even the giant spike turtle king, which was good at defense, couldn't even hold up under Xiao Qing's sword, the hard shell was like tofu, everything just crumbled. Ding, killed giant spiny turtle king, experience plus 150. Seeing their companions being killed, the ferocious beasts of the North Sea beach couldn't help themselves, and came in patterns to die. Scanning around, except for a few that had overlord level bloodlines, the others were ordinary monsters that were of no use to him. Kill them all. The ground was once again dyed red, and the ferocious beasts that rushed over were all slaughtered. Although Yi Xiao did not participate in it, he inexplicably felt good. Especially when he saw the experience bar rising miserably, he was about to pass the halfway mark, if he worked harder, he would directly break through level 10. Level 10 was a watershed, after breaking through level 10, one could be considered a transmuter in the true sense of the word. Go we go, little green, break through level 10 in one fell swoop today. The two of them followed the signposts and kept going deeper and deeper in the North Sea beach. Any ferocious beasts that popped up on the road were killed by Xiao Chang with a single sword strike. After walking for a few kilometers, the two stopped their pace, and their eyes glowed. Finally encountered an interesting one. Just a few dozen meters in front of them, a four or five meter tall, fierce-looking giant spirit turtle was staring at them with wide eyes in anger. What does it mean by looking at us like this? We didn't provoke it either, right? Why is the hatred so great? From a long way away, they could feel the resentment of the giant spirit turtle. Could it be that we killed all of its little brothers? Thinking about the corpses on the ground and the deliciousness of the roasted pincers, it was no wonder the giant spirit turtle was so hostile to them. It's possible, but it does taste good. That's right, it's delicious. Xiao Qing recalled the flavor of the roasted pincers just now, her mouth watering with gluttony. Master, what do you think about the taste of this giant spirit turtle? Will it be delicious? Its skirt is so big, it's enough for me to eat a meal. Yi Xiao smiled and shook his head, this giant spirit turtle had some thoughts at first glance. You don't understand, this kingbird, the smaller the more tender, this old guy, although the amount of meat is more, but the meat is old, the flavor is not necessarily good. That way, alas. Xiao Qing looked at the giant spirit turtle with a bit of disappointment, the flavor was not good, and instantly lost all interest. Seeing the disappointment in Xiao Qing's eyes, the giant spirit turtle froze for a moment. What did this mean, looking down on him? Killing its little brother not to mention, now he was also looking down on him, really treating him, the giant spirit turtle, as if he was made of clay. Roar. The aura on his body became more and more tyrannical, striding towards Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing furiously, his angry tail smashed the ground out of a deep pit. The aura is sufficient, I don't know how strong it is. Giant spirit turtle. Level, 14. Strength, 300. Agility, 270. Endurance, 410. Spirit, 250. Skills, Spirit Turtle Defense, Giant Jaw Tear, Spirit Turtle Shock. There were quite a few skills and quite a few attributes, Yi Xiao was still satisfied, now it was just a matter of the bloodline, if the bloodline could reach the holy level or above, he would be able to begrudgingly contract it. Bloodline, Overlord Level Giant Spirit Turtle Bloodline, Unable to Evolve. Overlord Level Giant Spirit Turtle Bloodline, This is meaningless, Yi Xiao was inevitably a little disappointed. But think about it, holy level, god level bloodline which is so good to find, if it is really so good to find, hand a god level beast pet. Xiao Cheng, settle it. The giant spirit turtle was so huge that ordinary sword intent was more or less a bit of a struggle. Xiao Cheng clutched the shattered shadow white tiger sword with one hand, and the ice element wrapped the sword. An icy blue light shot up into the sky, and the dozen or so meters around him were all frozen. If it wasn't for the contract, Xiao Cheng's casual move could have frozen him to death. Cold ice, chop. Before the sword arrived, the turtle died first. Such pure cold ice power froze the giant spirit turtle into a turtle sculpture in the blink of an eye. Snap. Only a crunching sound was heard as the shattered shadow white tiger sword chopped down, and the giant spirit turtle couldn't feel any pain. Under the sword, it directly turned into broken ice. So easy. Watching Xiao Qing lightly resolve the giant spirit turtle, Yi Xiao could not help but sigh. Ding. Killed boss giant spirit turtle, experience plus 300. Drop props, spirit turtle core. Skill book dropped, turtle breath technique, drop equipment, spirit turtle armor, gold level perfection, several normal equipment, drop equipment, spirit turtle armor, gold level perfection, several normal equipment, spirit turtle core, turtle suction technique, spirit turtle armor. These three were enough to make Yi Zhao's heart flutter. Worthy of being a boss, the explosion rate is just much higher than the small monsters. 
Spirit Turtle Core The core of the giant spirit turtle, like a human heart, contains a large amount of water elemental power, can be absorbed through the spirit turtle core to enhance the purity and power of the water element, can also be used as an alchemy material. The spirit core is a rare commodity, and it is usually impossible to pop it out on the bodies of small monsters. Only bosses had a small probability of popping out spirit cores. It was just that he didn't expect to pop out spirit cores on a tiny giant spirit turtle. After putting the spirit turtle core away, ye shall look towards the skill book. Skill, turtle breath technique, can adjust one's breathing, blood flow, and surrounding breath to a minimum so that the enemy cannot detect one's presence. A necessary skill for killing people and escaping, hiding, and fleeing. Even if this thing was sold to a store, it would fetch a hefty price. It was not comparable to those trash skills. Putting the skill book away, Yi Xiao turned his gaze to the equipment once again. Spirit Turtle Armor, Gold Level Perfection. Endurance plus 100. Skill, Spirit Turtle Shield, resist 1000 points of damage. A simple introduction, although it was only gold level perfect equipment, the attributes were good, the endurance was directly added by 100. This equipment tank's favorite, it should be able to sell for quite a bit of money, put it away. After putting everything away, Xiao Qing came to Yi Zhao's side. Master, there's a little king's bastard there, do we need to settle it? Little Wang bastard? Following the direction of Xiao Qing's finger, sure enough, a small Wang bastard was moving slowly and leisurely, if one did not look closely, one could really ignore it, after all, it was too small. One step and three turns back, two steps and six turns back, afraid that Yi Xiao would miss him like. Interesting. Knowing that both ferocious beasts and humans genetically carry their own hatred, the one that doesn't come up to attack when it sees him but sneaks away is currently the only one of its kind. And to be able to appear in this danger zone, could this be a simple king eight? This bastard is not simple. Regardless of whether it was simple or not, Yi Xiao could not let it run away, the little kingbird was more tender and tastier. Grab this little thing for me, don't hurt it. Xiao Chang made a move and came directly to the side of the little wine ba. After sensing little Qing's aura, the little king's eight kept fluttering on all four legs, wanting to escape from here. Nay, it grew too small and its speed was really limited. If you run again, I'll stew you in soup yo. The little king eight directly froze there, raising its head, those green bean-sized eyes looking at Xiao Qing in disbelief. As if it was questioning her, how could such cold words come out from inside a 37 degree mouth? Of course it didn't dare to gamble in the slightest, after all, the scene where Xiao Qing had just decapitated the giant spirit bone was still floating in front of her eyes. That big giant spirit turtle was frozen into a turtle statue, not to mention it, completely without the capital to resist. It was laid out and laid flat. The little bastard was on all fours, a look of being slaughtered. With a pinch of one hand, Xiao Cheng pinched its neck and lifted it in front of Yi Xiao. Master, it's this little thing. After seeing Yi Xiao, the little bastard squeezed out a smile at Yi Xiao. In order to survive, who wouldn't have to compensate for a smile. Only the smile was more or less bizarre. A little royal octopus could actually humanize itself and smile. Interesting, too interesting. Identification. Little deep sea kingfish. Level, 0. Strength, 1. Agility, 1. Endurance, 2. Spirit, 1. Introduction, a ruined turtle. With such balanced attributes, it was indeed a waste turtle. But Yi Xiao did not believe that such a waste of a turtle would be so weird and live in this dangerous area. Identify the bloodline. Deep sea little bastard. Divine bloodline Jinhai Xuanwu, bloodline thin, zero. Zero zero one. Ancestral return is possible. Yi Xiao smiled, he knew that this little Wangbang was not an ordinary Wangbang. God level bloodline, Jinhai Xuanwu. The old ancestor of the defensive beast pet. Once the rejuvenation was successful, who could break his defense? Moreover, he was also seeing that if he wanted to find a beast pet, he didn't necessarily have to look at strength. The higher the bloodline, the higher the intelligence of the ferocious beast. Just like the deep sea little bastard, it was obviously trashy as hell, but it possessed the bloodline of the Jinhai Xuanwu. It was no wonder he could stay here. The bloodline suppression between ferocious beasts was very serious, and the giant spirit turtle couldn't even raise the thought of making a move in front of the deep sea little king's eighth. As for those reckless ferocious beasts that boasted of their strength, they simply didn't know how to assess the situation and couldn't see the enemy's strength, the final result would only be death. After a moment of contemplation, Yi Xiao turned his gaze towards the deep sea little king's bastard. Hiccup. The deep sea little octopus, who was still looking around, suddenly sensed Yi Xiao's gaze and his body tensed up. He knew that his life and death were all under Yi Xiao's control. As long as Yi Xiao gave an order, the woman who had her in her hands would split her with a sword. Although her shell was hard, it couldn't stand up to this woman's sword. So she could only choose to play dead, fearing that Yi Xiao would notice her. Unexpectedly, how could she hide this little action from Yi Xiao? Looking at her fearful appearance, Yi Xiao laughed. So cute, how could she not tease? 
Xiao Chang, look at this little deep sea kingpin is dead. Yi Zhao's bad taste was instantly understood by Xiao Qing. Casually picking at the claws of the little king's octopus, it did freeze. It looks like it's dead. Its claws are stiff. Pretend to be dead. Throw it away. Quickly throw me away. Little bastard's heart pounded non-stop. She could only pray for Yi Xiao and the others to throw her away now. Dead? Then start a pot to boil oil. Today master will make you a spicy little wangbang. It's especially delicious, especially the shell of this little wangbang. It's especially tender. Right, there are also limbs, just as delicious, you go and cut off its little claws, give her a cut on the neck, let the blood clean, otherwise it's fishy. The more the little bastard listened, the more his heart panicked. Yi Xiao has not been too cruel, she is just a small wang bao, not yet adult, how can she bear to make her into a spicy small wang bao? But this spicy small wang bastard really delicious? Sucking. The corners of the little royal eight's mouth unconsciously drip saliva. Is this making yourself sound gluttonous? Also a snacker? Looking at the drool continuously dripping from the corners of the deep sea little octopus's mouth, Yi Xiao knew that she was being gluttonized by her own words. Greedy for one's own body, this was okay. Little bastard, craving? Do you want me to stew you and give you a taste? N. The deep sea little royal octopus just nodded its head before realizing that something was wrong. With a swish, it directly reverted to the state of pretending to be dead, but on second thought, it seemed like it was a bit dull to be like this. Since it's impossible to pretend, it's time to stop pretending. The little deep sea trumpet opened her eyes and shook her head non-stop at Yi Xiao, she didn't want to be eaten, she was still small. Not pretending? The little royal eight froze for a moment, her face directly suffocated red, to be as cute as possible. Okay Xiao Chang, let go of her. Yi Xiao was not worried about her being able to run away, the current deep sea little king eight was just a battle scum, even he could easily take it. The little bastard also knew his situation, lying on the ground staring at Yi Xiao, but did not think of escaping. In case the escape was unsuccessful, it would be made into deep sea spicy bastard soup. Master, do you want a contractor? Who wouldn't want to contract a god level bloodline Jinhai Xuanwu? Isn't this little bastard quite cute? Just enough to make a companion for. Cute? Xiao Qing sized up the dull headed little deep sea wine ba. To be honest, she didn't feel it, probably because opposites repel. She just felt that this little wine ba was a bit dull and stupid. How could such a beast pet protect its master? It didn't matter, as long as the master liked it, it was fine, the big deal was that she all boosted her strength a bit so that she could protect her master well. As long as the master likes it, I'll protect the master anyway, as for her, just take her as one of the master's playthings. Hearing Xiao Chang asking her to be Yi Zhao's plaything, the little Wangba refused to do so, her ancestor was a Jinhai Xuanwu, and she was determined to revive her ancestor's glory. Although she was captured by humans now, she couldn't be reduced to a plaything. So she wants to protest and express her inner dissatisfaction. Yi Xiao did not know what she was gabbling about, looking at the speed at which she was talking, it must not be anything good. Yi Xiao could not understand, but Xiao Qing could hear clearly. Ancestral glory? Don't want to be reduced to the master's plaything, then you have to show the proper strength, do you have it? Why don't we spar? Xiao Cheng took out the shattered shadow white tiger sword and looked at the little deep sea kingpin with a provocative face. The moment he saw the sword, all the bad memories from before all came to mind. To provoke little green, that was not looking for death. She now had no power to bind her claws, and with this sword chopping down, she wouldn't be able to survive without dying. Plaything is plaything. It's better than dying. Thirty years east of the river, thirty years west of the river, do not deceive the king of the weak. After she returned to her ancestors, in a good fight with her, see her that broken sword can still break through her defense. After thinking for half a day, the little bastard decided to admit defeat. Shamelessly, it climbed to Yi Zhao's shoulder and affectionately rubbed against Yi Zhao's cheek. Lick the turtle. Little Wang Bastard didn't say anything, she was willing to taunt as much as she wanted, as long as she could live. Come, sign the contract. With her little life in someone else's hands, Little Octopus couldn't resist, and obediently waited there. Contract Spell A magic formation appeared on Yi Zhao's fingertips, the spell entered his body and the contract was reached. From now on Little Royal Octopus was Yi Zhao's second beast pet. Master After signing the contract, Yi Xiao was able to communicate mentally with his beast pet. Little Wang Bastard's milky voice sounded in Yi Zhao's heart. Nice milky voice. Thank you master for the compliment. Little Wang Bastard rubbed against Yi Zhao's cheek as if demonstrating. This wasn't even a royal enemy yet, but there was already infighting and it started to compete for favor. Little Bastard, call sister. Master, can you not call? Eh? A child who doesn't listen is owed an education. Just contracted and dared to disobey him, then in the future it would not turn over the sky. Little Green, do you still want to drink the royal soup? Drink. Sister, sister. The sound of Wang Bastard's soup almost didn't scare her soul away. After all, she was just indentured, her status was far inferior to Xiao Chang. 
Let you be complacent for two days first, and then slowly clean you up when I've pleased my master. The dark little bastard, her little thoughts could not be hidden from Yi Xiao at all. However, with her fighting strength, there was no way she could be a match for Xiao Cheng. Xiao Cheng was good at attacking and little bastard was good at defending. The most she could do was to ensure that she was not bullied by Xiao Cheng. She was still young if she wanted to bully little Ching. Do you want to become as strong as little Ching? Little bastard raised her head a little confused, and it took her a long time to respond. She naturally wanted to become stronger. But with her current strength, it was very, very difficult to become stronger. The attributes were too weak, even a severely injured ferocious beast had a stronger fighting strength than her. It was also the bloodline in her body that allowed her to stay safe and sound under the shelter of the giant spirit turtle. Now that she could become stronger, she naturally wanted to grasp this opportunity. Want, want, master, I want to become stronger. Light was coming out of little bastard's eyes, her desire to become stronger was stronger than anyone else's. Then what do you want to do after becoming stronger? Beat. Up of course it's to protect master and make master more secure. Little bastard looked at Yi Xiao with some weakness, just now without defense, almost said what was in his heart. Yi Xiao did not have the good sense to blankly glance at her, the two of them had a mutual understanding, this little secret could still be hidden from him. Master, can I really become stronger? Little bastard was still a little expectant, speaking with a trembling voice. Of course, follow me, that is your blessing, I naturally want to give you a new life, I see that you have the bloodline of the Jinhai Xuanwu in your body, why don't I help you to return to your ancestors? True, true, true. Can the ancestor return successfully? For the bloodline in his body little Wang Bao was aware of it. This was a secret that had been passed down from their ancestors for generations. Their ancestors have been working hard for generations, wanting to revive the glory of their ancestors, but the bloodline in their bodies is getting thinner and thinner, and they simply can't succeed in returning to their ancestors. To her generation, Jinhai Xuanwu's bloodline did not know what kind of thin, want to return to the ancestor's success, the difficulty is like ascending to the sky. But if there was such a hope, she was naturally willing to accept it. Little bastard, are you ready? Little bastard looked at Ji Xia with a sad face, this little bastard was really hard to hear. Master, people have names, they are called Xianling, you can call them little spirit. Xianling. It was indeed a bit better sounding than the little Wang Ba, nay less playful. But since people have a name, you can't call them little bastard, you have to give some respect to beast pets as well. Okay, little spirit, are you ready? Little spirit jumped down from Yi Xiao's shoulder and rolled several times on the ground for a long time before stabilizing himself, then looked at Yi Xiao with a serious face. Always be ready. Looking at Xiao Ling's expectant little eyes, Yi Xiao could not deceive her. Return to the ancestors. Ding. Detected that deep sea little bastard has the Jinhai Xuanwu bloodline in his body and is in the process of returning to his ancestor. Bloodline activated, ancestorization successful. After the bloodline in little spirit's body was completely activated, a water tornado descended from the sky and wrapped little spirit up. Roar. The little spirit in the midst of bloodline activation couldn't help but howl. The Xuanwu's pressure poured out, and the ferocious beasts of the North Sea beach fell to their knees in unison, not daring to move a muscle. One, two, three. The entire 99 water dragon scrolls, the entire North Sea beach was enveloped by the water dragon scrolls. Xiao Chang brought Yi Xiao to a safe place and quietly waited for the awakening of the Jinhai Xuanwu. It was also that no one came to the North Sea beach, otherwise the scene was enough to scare them silly. Deep Sea Lesser Kingpin's rejuvenation has been successful, Jinhai Xuanwu. The return to ancestor had succeeded, but the water tornado was still raging at the North Sea beach. Yi Xiao was a little pained, this little guy was a little too proud ah. Why, how long do you still plan to wreak havoc? After Yi Xiao helped her return to her ancestor successfully, the system forced her loyalty to be pulled full. Now seeing that Yi Xiao was not satisfied, Xian Ling did not dare to be reckless and hurriedly swallowed back the water dragon scroll that had ravaged the North Sea beach. The water dragon scroll disappeared and the Jinhai Xuanwu's main body appeared in front of Yi Xiao. Snake head and turtle back. 20 meters long and 10 meters high. The face was somewhat hideous and completely lost its previous cute appearance. Transform. Although it was long and majestic, it was not pleasing to the eye, and it was not appropriate to be so big to follow him around. Divine pets came with their own morphing skills after returning to their ancestors. In front of Yi Xiao, little spirit didn't dare to make much of a fuss, a water dragon scroll surrounded itself and shrunk down at a speed visible to the naked eye. Not long after, the water light dispersed and a little girl around 14 or 15 years old appeared in front of Yi Xiao. Wear clothes. These divine favorites didn't even wear clothes when they transformed, completely disregarding him as their master. Okay, master. After turning into a little girl, she was still so playful and cute, clinging to Yi Xiao's side. Master, is this okay? It's okay, but why are you in the form of a little girl? Little spirit's mouth turned away, 
not very satisfied with herself either. Compared to Little Green, she was indeed much drier and smaller. But she couldn't help it, this was how she looked after transforming into her own form. Master, I'm too young, only 134 years old, so I can only be this big. 134 years old was still too young. That old could be his grandma. But for a turtle, 130-something years old was indeed a small child. Check the attributes of the little spirit. Divine pet, Jinhai Xianling. Name, Xianling, little spirit. Attribute, water, earth. Level, 1. Strength, 343. Agility, 278. Endurance, 746. Spirit, 321. Spirit, 321. Spirit, 321. Elemental immunity, passive, LV full immunity to both water and earth elements, elemental proficiency, passive, LV full can manipulate both water and earth elements. Elemental mastery, passive, LV full can manipulate the elements of water and earth, elemental mastery, passive, LV full can manipulate the elements of water and earth. Xuanwu body, passive, LV full physique of divine beast Xuanwu, physical strength recovery speed plus 500%, injury recovery plus 500%, Xuanwu Water Shield, active, LV Full can control water and earth elemental damage. Xuanwu Water Shield, active, LV Full summons a water shield that protects against 10,000 damage and can be replenished in the sea, increasing in thickness with level. Xuanwu Earth Shield, active, LV Full summons an earth shield that protects against 10,000 damage, can constantly replenish the thickness of the earth shield in the sea, increasing the thickness of the shield as the level increases. P.S. Cannot be replenished if broken at once, cooldown time 10 minutes. Worthy of being a defensive beast pet, the skills are all defensive. Xiao Qing's skill killing power was directly pulled full, while Xiao Ling's was pulled full for defense. With a shield of 10,000 points from the sea and land, as long as it wasn't shattered all at once, the person in the shield was safe. The most crucial thing was that she was still a level 1 little guy, if she waited for him to grow up, I'm afraid that defense would have to be multiplied many times over. There were probably very few in this world that wanted to break through her defense. Can the attribute sharing of two beast pets be stacked? can. Then what are we waiting for, sharing? With Little Green's attack power bonus, there was now Little Spirit's defense attribute bonus. At the same rank, no, across one rank there were very few people who could break through his defense, let alone take his life. Sister, you should also be the master's beast pet, right? What is your original body? Little Spirit's little mind Yi Xiao knew at a glance, but he did not intend to stop it either. After all, he also wanted to know whether Xiao Qing's attack was strong or Xiao Ling's defense was strong. Green-eyed white tiger. Green-eyed white tiger? A god-level bloodline? Little Chang didn't say anything, just looked at her quietly. This was pure nonsense to ask, she was a tiny wangbang that could return to a god-level bloodline, let alone her. She was the first divine pet to follow Yi Xiao, the best resources Yi Xiao had given her. The district little wangba also wanted to challenge her position. Then sister, how about we spar, just so I can show my master my strength. Proper little green tea. Obviously wanting to show how strong she was, yet she still had to say it in such a righteous manner. Master. Go ahead, try your strength, as a sister, you should more or less take care of your sister no. After getting Yi Zhao's consent, Xiao Qing smiled. Then little spirit sister, sister will help you try your strength. As soon as the words fell, the shattered shadow white tiger sword appeared inside Xiao Qing's hand. Sister be careful, sister is going to do it. Broken army rising dragon sword. With a flash of sword light, Xiao Cheng arrived in front of Xiao Ling and raised her hand. Bang. Little Spirit's hands clenched, and the Earth Grey Barrier directly wrapped Little Spirit up. Sister, my defense is alright. A sword chopped over, the barrier didn't fluctuate at all, and Little Spirit stood there unharmed, her face full of complacency. Just now, Little Green hadn't threatened her much, and now that she had successfully returned to her ancestor, her combat power soared. Sister, you can actually push harder, my barrier is very resistant to beating. Yi Xiao watched quietly from the side, just now Xiao Cheng did not exert herself, but with one sword, she also chopped off 5,000 shields, only for Xiao Ling to stand on the ground, in less than a second's effort, the 5,000 shield value lost was recovered. It's very resistant, isn't it? Then sister, I'm not going to be polite, build up momentum. Xiao Cheng took a sword drawing stance and began to build up her momentum there, and the power in her body was constantly gathering towards the sword. Gold element, wind element, ice element. All of the power all gathered in the shattered shadow white tiger sword. Sister, you have to be careful, sister's attack is about to arrive. Don't worry sister, I. Bang. Before little spirit could finish her words, little Ching took the lead. With a flash of three lights, the shield turned into fragments in the sky. Little spirit was dumbfounded and stood frozen in place not knowing what to do. She didn't expect Xiao Qing's attack to be so strong, cutting her defense into smithereens with a single sword. I. I. 
Sister, it's quite normal to be happy when you return to your ancestors, but it's not right to swell. Our mission is to protect the master, if I am an enemy, you are bringing the master into danger, today sister will give you a lesson so that you don't make mistakes in the future. After following Yi Xiao for so long, she knew Yi Xiao the best. When Yi Xiao agreed that they should fight, she knew that Yi Xiao wanted her to educate little spirit. Sister, I. Breaking army ascending dragon sword. Not giving her a chance to speak at all, Xiao Qing's attacks came one after another. Without the protection of the shield, relying solely on her own defense, she wasn't injured too badly, and at most, she suffered a bit of flesh and blood. Floating in the air and receiving several sets of consecutive attacks, it was only after Yi Xiao's gesture that she let Xiao Ling down. The dainty little girl was beaten to a pulp. Innocent big eyes just looked straight at Yi Xiao. Master. I was wrong. Little spirit admitted her mistake, Yi Xiao nodded with satisfaction, a healing spell was thrown directly over, and the injuries on her body healed in an instant. Now you know the gap between you? N. How would one know that little green was so powerful without a beating? Little spirit was completely honest, obediently being a second would be fine, the position of the boss she couldn't. After feeling little spirit's change of heart, Yi Xiao also no longer cared about this. Little children, a little bit of education can be done, after education you have to give a piece of candy to eat, you can't hit the child's self-confidence. In fact, you are also quite strong, there are very few people of the same rank who can resist Xiao Qing's full force strike. Not to mention the fact that you two still have a level gap, she's already level 10 and you're only level 1. When you raise to level 10, you might be able to withstand Xiao Qing's attack. Little Green, take Little Spirit and brush up on her leveling, make up for it as soon as possible. Master, no need, watch me. At North Sea Beach, it was her home turf, where she needed to take the initiative to find monsters. Howl. Little Spirit howled, and the sound spread continuously along the beach, reaching every corner of North Sea Beach. Dang. 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 In a few moments of effort, the North Sea Beach resounded with the sound of tremors, as patches and patches of ferocious beasts line up towards the side. Look master, this is all experience. He also didn't expect Little Spirit to have such a trick. Go and settle it. Water Dragon Scroll. Although the Xunhai Xuan Wu was mainly defensive, it still had means of attack. The Water Dragon Scroll once again wreaked havoc on the North Sea Beach, and wherever it went, the ferocious beasts were all torn into pieces. Level up plus one. Level up plus one. Level up plus one. Thousands of ferocious beasts were all turned into experience, and little spirits level kept rising. It didn't take a while to level up to level five. This was still because the experience gained from little spirits kills needed to be split into three, otherwise it could have leveled up to level ten by now. Even so, both Yi Xiao and Xiao Cheng were taken up a level. Your backpack is full, please clear your backpack in time. Without realizing it, the backpack was already filled to the brim. Little spirit, you continue to brush the monsters, I'll go back to clean up my backpack and expand it in the meantime, otherwise this coming and going is quite troublesome. Little green, transform your body, let's fly back directly. This side of the North Sea beach was very remote, there were no transmigrators coming this way, even if Xiao Cheng manifested her own body, she wouldn't scare others. Yi Xiao just flew towards Sea City on the green-eyed white tiger. Crap, look, what is that thing? What what is that thing? I'll go, is this a new monster? Quickly scout it out. Green-eyed white tiger, a green-eyed white tiger with a divine bloodline, hurry up. What? God-level bloodline green-eyed white tiger, how is this possible? How could a god-level bloodline ferocious beast appear in North Sea Beach? The two looked at the green-eyed white tiger flying through the air in disbelief. Fortunately the green-eyed white tiger didn't notice them, otherwise their little lives would be over today. Scared me to death, how could a green-eyed white tiger appear on the North Sea Beach? Are we still going? Could there be something wrong with the North Sea Beach? The two had planned to go to the North Sea Beach to practice, but they didn't expect to run into the green-eyed white tiger. Go, why don't we go, in case there's a chance for us to be there, be careful, there's still no problem. On the other hand Xiao Chang brought Yi Xiao to the city gate not far away, where he could not continue flying. Although the sea city was not big, but there were experts, if they directly flew and leaped, they would easily be taken as enemies and would be besieged at that time. Transform. Reassuming into human form, the two of them walked into the city gates and arrived at Xiao Yunru's residence. Knock, knock, knock. Bang. Why do I feel like this kind of thing has happened somewhere before? Duong. The door of the room was kicked open by Xiao Yunru, compared to the last time, this time Xiao Yunru was directly blown into a black man. It was not known whether she was angered by Yi Xiao or blown up. The whole person was extremely gloomy. The current Xiao Yunru was a gas tank on fire that could explode at any time. Speak. A simple word was enough to prove Xiao Yunru's emotions. Yi Xiao was also a person who knew how to judge the situation, this time to catch up and say nonsense, absolutely inevitable a beating. Back. 
Backpack is full, this is something to honor you, ye Xiao threw out things in a brain. A whole yard of materials, which only made Xiao Yunru's temper converge a little. I know, you can go now. Wait, wait, I have another good thing here, see if you can use it. Take. Without beating around the bush, Yi Xiao took out the spirit turtle core. You see this? Spirit turtle core? The moment she saw the spirit turtle core, Xiao Yunru's eyes lit up. This thing was something that could not be found, but she did not expect it to be obtained by Yi Xiao. The key Yi Xiao even took it out for her to use. No no no, this thing is too expensive, you keep it for your strength enhancement as well, I'll use these materials enough for now. Looking at Xiao Yunru's appearance, it was obvious that her heart was not in the right place. Obviously she wanted it, but for the sake of Yi Zhao's strength, she still resisted the urge to alchemize and refused. Give it to you and you take it, what I can give you is definitely what I don't need. What's more, didn't you ask me to adopt you, this is considered a bit of my sincerity. Yi Xiao did not give her the chance to refuse at all and directly stuffed the spirit turtle nucleus inside her hand. Don't refuse, I still have things to do for you, consider this as honorarium. Only after hearing Yi Xiao say this did Xiao Yunru decide to accept the spirit turtle core, otherwise it would still be more or less embarrassing to let her take it for nothing. Say, what do you want, I'll help you research. I'm brushing materials too fast here, the backpack is a bit small, and this coming and going is a bit troublesome, see if you can. Yi Xiao was interrupted by Xiao Yunru before he could finish. Are you not understanding the forum? And, what do you mean? Looking at Yi Xiao's confused look, she knew that Yi Xiao really didn't know. She told her how Yi Xiao sends materials once and runs to her once. Those who didn't know thought that he was secretly in love with himself. Feelings are not aware of the function of the forum ah. The game forum is not just a place for you to speak freely, it also has one of the biggest functions, which is trading. You don't have to keep running next time, just directly pack the materials and trade them to me using the forums, it saves time and effort. I said why do you keep running to me, every time you come, you disturb my alchemy, emotionally you don't even know that the forum has a trading function. Yi Xiao was silent. He really didn't know that the forum could still trade. He should have known that he would have directly traded to Xiao Yunru, wasting his time to make a trip for nothing. But it was also rewarding, at least this trip let him know that he could directly trade in the future. I know, don't bother you, you slowly refine gold, there are any good things directly trade to me. The two were also considered mutually beneficial, Yi Xiao brushed materials to improve her alchemy proficiency. Xiao Yunru refined good things for free for Yi Xiao to use. Without the slightest pause, the two rushed towards the North Sea Beach. On the other side the two transmigrators were getting a little bit closer to the North Sea Beach. There was not a single ferocious beast to be seen on the outer or inner perimeter. They knew that something strange was going on, and driven by curiosity, the two were approaching the danger zone step by step. Are we really okay like this, the danger zone, if we go in, we might not be able to come out. Where can we get the chance if we don't take the risk, can't you see that the monsters in the outer and inner perimeter have all disappeared? There must be something wrong with the danger zone. If you don't go I'll go myself, don't blame me for not sharing your stuff when the time comes. After pondering over it, the two decided to enter the danger zone together. In front of chance, danger was nothing. The two approached step by step and soon arrived at the place where little spirit was brushing monsters. This. This. Probing. It's okay if you don't probe, once you probe, the person is directly paralyzed with fear. Shen Hai. Shen Hai Xuan Wu, God Level Bloodline Shen Hai Xuan Wu. No, it can't be, Jinhai Xuanwu hasn't appeared for how many years, hasn't it already disappeared, how can it appear in the North Sea Beach? They all knew about the Jinhai Xuanwu, but this divine beast had disappeared for how many years, and in people's minds, they had already become extinct. Now that it appeared on the North Sea Beach, how could they believe it? It's, really, true that my skill can check the bloodline of the ferocious beast, it's really the Jinhai Xuanwu. If it was possible, he wouldn't want to believe it. But there was no way around it, the truth was just like that, the behemoth in front of him was indeed the Jinhai Xuanwu. A green-eyed white tiger and a Jinhai Xuanwu, what the hell is wrong with this North Sea Beach? Run, run. While pondering what was happening at the North Sea Beach, a sudden shout from his companion interrupted all thoughts. Run? Run what? He's going to zoom in. Nanny? F asterisk CK, run. Looking back, little spirit was there storing up his power to brew a big move. If they didn't run at this time, they were going to be implicated as well, spreading their legs and running wildly in a desperate manner, they soon left the danger zone. Little Spirit naturally also noticed their two little mole crickets. However, she didn't put it on her mind. Even if these two let them fight, they wouldn't be able to break through the body's defense. It was just like when Little Green looked at her, not giving a damn. After the two left, Little Spirit's big move was successfully released. The entire danger zone was as if it had been ravaged by a tsunami, it was a mess and the ground was filled with the corpses of ferocious beasts. If the two of them hadn't run fast, 
they would have been directly torn to pieces by the waves under this strike. Too terrifying, is this the power of the sea suppressing Xuanwu? I think the Xinhai Xuanwu was only in its juvenile stage, otherwise where would we be able to escape, divine beasts, ah, uh, the mountains crumble and the earth is torn apart between waving their hands. Indeed, but this is too weird, crikey, the green-eyed white tiger is back. The two men lowered their heads and curled up, afraid of being discovered. It was only after the green-eyed white tiger left and entered the danger zone that they dared to get up from the ground. The North Sea beach can't come anymore, it's too dangerous. I think this is an opportunity for us, this is the Xinhai Xuanwu and the green-eyed white tiger, if we tell this news to certain guilds, they should be moved, we can exchange this news for something, don't you think so? Or you kid is smart, quickly go, two juvenile divine beasts, I don't believe they won't be moved. In front of the benefits, the dangers were all first issues, the two hurriedly left the North Sea beach. Yi Xiao did not pay attention to them either, after all, they were just two teeny tiny mole crickets, completely unworthy of their attention. When he rode Little Green to the danger zone, the ferocious beasts in the danger zone had already been slaughtered by Little Spirit. Ding, killed Giant Clawed Crab King, Experience Plus. Ding, killed the Double Clawed Shrimp King, Experience Plus. Ding, killed. Although the experience was split into three, but it couldn't help the number of ferocious beasts ah, the experience material don't want to die to drill inside the body. Backpack is full, please clean up in time. Just to the backpack is occupied, good thing he asked one more time, otherwise this trip after trip to send materials, the gods will be exhausted. Pack up and teleport. Little green, you accompany little spirit to brush the monsters together to be able to speed up. Ding, your backpack is full. Pack and teleport. Your backpack is full. Teleport. While Yi Xiao was teleporting here recklessly, Xiao Yunru was in pain and happiness over there. In just one day's work, the material sent by Yi Xiao filled up her home. This is completely not giving me a chance to rest. Forget it, I can't let down Yi Xiao's good intentions, let's raise my alchemy level first. For them super alchemists, upgrading didn't require brushing monsters at all, as long as they endlessly conducted alchemy experiments, their experience would naturally be able to rise. In just a few days of work, she had already become a rank 5 alchemist. According to how Yi Xiao was feeding her, soon she would be able to break through to level 10 or even stronger. And Yi Xiao at the North Sea Beach stopped fighting. Little green little spirit was killing like crazy, the monsters in the North Sea Beach were half less and the experience given was getting less and less. But the good thing was that little spirit's level had also kept up. Ding, congratulations to the host for leveling up to level 11, gaining 10 points of free attributes and 10 points of fixed attributes. Ding, congratulations to the divine pet green-eyed white tiger for raising to level 12, gaining 500 points of fixed attributes, which have been automatically added according to the talent. Ding, congratulations to Divine Petchen Hai Xuanwu for raising to level 10, gaining 500 points of fixed attributes, which have been automatically added according to the talent. Both Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing had been raised by one or two levels, except that after being raised to level 10, the experience bar was even longer. As for Xiao Ling, with the experience compensation mechanism, she quickly caught up to level 10, and after level 10, the boosting speed would be comparable to theirs. Hungry? Hungry. So hungry. Let's go, back to the city to eat. The two of them were blacklisted by the hotel, but Little Spirit wasn't blacklisted ah. With Little Spirit around, the two of them could also eat a free buffet. Go go go, go give the hotel a lesson. After Little Spirit Xiaoqing transformed into a human form, he followed Yi Xiao to Woolgather the merchants. This kid is so blessed, he is followed by a beautiful woman and a little cutie by his side. People are more angry than people, I don't know which family's young master, I really envy people, unlike us, we still have to guard the city here. Just entering the city he heard the talk of the people guarding the city behind him, Yi Xiao twisted his head and glanced at Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling beside him, they were indeed beautiful. Alas, you guys don't understand the joy of having too many beautiful women around you. Yi Xiao sighed and went straight to the trading market and sold the extra skill books on his body. Xiao Ling, go open a presidential suite, we'll eat later. Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing wrapped themselves up tightly, the rest will be given to Xiao Ling. Today's injustice, Hai Chang Ru Jia Hotel. Yi Xiao with Xiao Qing Xiao Ling here white whoring buffet, the other side of the two people from the North Sea Beach back, the first time to find the Red Man Hall. The Red Man Pavilion Guild was one of the biggest guilds in High City and was very rich, this kind of thing was definitely right to look for the Red Man Pavilion. We're looking for President Luo. There's something important that President Luo will definitely be interested in. Two transmigrators from nowhere actually wanted to see President Luo. Are you guys related to the president? No. Then did you guys make an appointment in advance? No. Then are you guys from the Red Man Hall? No. Nothing. What qualifications do you have to see the chairman? Being reprimanded by the Red Man Hall's people like this, the two of them also came to their senses. It seemed like it was indeed the case, they were nothing, so what qualifications did they have to see Luo Yu? 
Please, inform us, we really have important news to inform President Luo. He he, everyone who comes to see the president has something important, does the president have to receive them all personally? That mustn't exhaust us your president to death. Hurry up and leave, don't delay here. The people from the Red Man Hall made a gesture to drive them out. And at this time, Luo Yu just happened to walk down, the two were like seeing a life-saving straw, and directly flew to Luo Yu's side. President Luo, President Luo, we have something important to find you. Crap you too. Seeing them come forward to entangle Luo Yu, the men hurriedly rushed over, wanting to drive the two of them out. Let go of the two of them. Being in the territory of the Red Man Pavilion, he believed that these two people did not have the guts to do anything to him yet. Besides, what could two level 10s do to him, even a sneak attack wouldn't be able to break his defense. Chairman, I'm sorry, I didn't handle it properly. It's fine, you go down first, you two come up with me. Anyway, he didn't have anything important to do right now, just to hear what kind of important thing these two people had, in order to notify him that they even messed with the Red Man Hall. Tell me, what's so important that you still have to inform me? The two men looked around. It's all their own people, it doesn't matter. Since Luo Yu had said so, they would tell what they knew. President Luo, we have three requests, after hearing the news I hope you can grant us. Don't worry, the news we bring you is definitely worth every penny, and it can even bring the Red Man Pavilion to the next level. Luo Yu instantly became interested, if the Red Man Hall wanted to go to the next level, unless he broke through to a stronger level, or more strong people joined. But nowadays, strong people basically had their own places to go, and it was simply impossible for them to come to the Red Man Pavilion, so wanting to take the Red Man Pavilion to the next level was much harder. But now these two even said that the news they brought could help the Red Man Hall rise to the next level. This made him a little curious as to what news would be so helpful to the Red Man Hall. As long as your news is useful, what's two more conditions, say it. After Luo Yu agreed, a smile appeared on the two men's faces. We found two juvenile divine beasts at the North Sea Beach today. A green-eyed white tiger, and a Jinhai Xuanwu. With a prancing movement, Luo Yu sat up straight, but quickly regained his composure. Green-eyed white tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu. What international joke. These two divine beasts only exist in documents, in reality they have long been extinct, how could they possibly appear in the North Sea Beach? Even if you want to cheat people, you have to find a suitable excuse. Was this teasing him like a fool? Do you guys see me as a fool? How could President Luo be a fool, don't tease us. It's you guys who are teasing me, I don't know what your intentions are, but you've successfully wasted my time, so I won't bother with you this time. Come on, invite the two of them. Seeing that Luo Yu was about to get real, the two men panicked a bit and hurriedly pulled out their cell phones from their pants pockets. At that time, they were afraid that Luo Yu wouldn't believe them, so they took pictures with their cell phones. President Luo, we really didn't lie to you, don't believe me. Luo Yu took the two men's cell phones and compared them, although the distance was a bit far and the pixels were a bit blurry, but it was still able to make out the appearance of the green-eyed white tiger. Go and appraise it, there are no traces of pee. Although he let his men go and appraise it, Luo Yu's heart was already 90% sure. What these two people said was true. The green-eyed white tiger infested the North Sea beach and there was also the Jinhai Xuanwu. The two divine beasts in their juvenile stage, if they could be contracted, then the status of the Red People's Pavilion would be taken to the next level. At the thought of this, Luo Yu's eyes were all light. The Red Man Pavilion was going to flourish in his hands. President, really, there are no traces of modification. Good, issue an assembly order. All members of the Red Man Pavilion, gather at the outskirts of the North Sea Beach. Blockade the entire North Sea Beach, no one is allowed to approach. Whoever dares to approach is an enemy of the Red Man Hall. A series of orders came out from Luo Yu's mouth, right now they had this head start, if it was known by others, they would probably miss the opportunity. You two, stay in the guild for two days first, I will fulfill your requests as much as I can, and when we are done capturing them, you will be the vice president of the Red Man Pavilion. These two divine beasts were too important, even promising two vice presidents was worth it. Of course the two of them couldn't leave before the divine beasts were found, in case the news leaked out, they would have missed the opportunity. Dad, I've already risen to level 5, it's time to go out and train, you promised me that you'd let someone take me out to train after level 5. Just now you issued an order to go to North Sea Beach to kill monsters, take me one. Just as Luo Yu was about to lead his men to look for traces of divine beasts, Inayan pushed open the door of her room and walked in. She had been imprisoned inside her home for the past two days, and every day was spent hunting and killing the ferocious beasts she purchased back to upgrade. She didn't know why, but she wasn't allowed to go out anyway. Now that she had easily ascended to level 5, she was finally able to leave the house and go out to hunt ferocious beasts, thinking about it and Ian felt excited. How could I forget that there's this girl? Before, and Ian was not allowed to go out, that was because High City was in chaos these two days, because of Yijiao's matter, a large number of experts had been dispatched from above. And there were so many hostile forces, if Ian was allowed to be outside, 
it would be easy to get hurt, that's why he found a reason to keep the person at home. Originally, NIN's fifth level was able to leave, and he could protect NIN's safety by arranging a little bit of people. But now that the entire Red Man Pavilion was going out to capture Divine Beasts, NIN, who was at level 5, would be cannon fodder to die in the past. He only had this one precious daughter, and he absolutely would not allow any harm to come to her. Little Yuna, level 5 is just the starting point, not the end, if you wanna have the ability to defend yourself, you'll only be able to do so when you get to level 10. First go back to hunt those ferocious beasts that have no combat power, when will you get up to level 10, when will you be able to go out to practice? You keep an eye on Missy, tell her to stay at home and not to leave. Yes president. After saying that, Luo Yu left with his people, leaving Inayun alone there with dry eyes. Obviously promised a good thing, but now he has changed his mind. How can you be like this, words don't count, I'm at level 5. Miss, level 5 is really too weak to help, you going will affect the chairman and their play, you'd better stay at home and brush your levels. The big move of the Red People's Pavilion attracted the attention of many people. However, they didn't dare to say anything more, after all, the Red Man Hall was rich and powerful, there was no need to offend them. What's more, there was absolutely no need to go to a barren place like North Sea Beach, other places to brush levels could be much faster than there. It was just that they didn't know why the Red Man Pavilion was making such a big deal about it, and the entire guild was out in force. Could it be that they want to level the entire North Sea Beach? It's very much like this, but thinking about it, it seems like it's not necessary. The experience of the monsters in the North Sea Beach is just like that. With President Luo's level, brushing the levels isn't something you do here. I heard that Chairman Luo is a daughter slave, could it be that the monsters at North Sea Beach hurt her daughter? There's this possibility, Guild Missy, and we can't compare. Everyone was speculating about their actions, but no one would know that they came here for the purpose of searching for divine beasts. You guys guard the entrance, the rest of you follow me. A group of people set off towards the North Sea Beach in great numbers. On the outer perimeter, there wasn't a single ferocious beast. On the inner perimeter, there wasn't a single ferocious beast either. There are traces of battle, to be able to slaughter all of this area, it looks like it is indeed a divine beast. All be careful, we're about to reach the danger zone, divine beasts are likely to inhabit the danger zone. Thousands of people cautiously approach towards the danger zone. My god, what kind of destructive power is this to cause this scene? It looks like the divine beasts have already left, but it also proves that they were right, the divine beasts have stayed here, I just don't know if they will come back. Luo Yu was a little disappointed, he had thought that he would be able to catch one but he didn't realize that the divine beasts had already left. Send two people to stand firm here every day, the moment you find traces of the divine beasts, report immediately. Destroy the traces here and close the team. Things like divine beasts could be encountered but not sought, and it was already good enough to get news of them. Not catching it only meant that they were not destined for it for the time being. But as long as they came back to North Sea Beach, the Red Man Hall would definitely be the first to know. It was a pity that their wait was destined to be in vain. Yi Zhao's level had already risen and would not go to North Sea Beach to practice leveling in the future. The Red Man Pavilion came and left in a hurry, all of them were baffled and didn't know what they were up to. But this bit of news wanted to hide it from the people above, it was still somewhat unlikely. By the time Luo Yu gathered the people together, the news had already reached Imperial City. What do you guys think, a green-eyed white tiger and a Jinhai Xuanwu have appeared on the northern sea beach of Hai City, could the appearance of two divine beasts be a sign of something? What? Green-Eyed White Tiger and Jinhai Xuanwu? Everyone was stunned when they heard the news transmitted by Di Song. Two divine beasts appearing at the same time and in the same place, it would be a ghost if there wasn't a problem. Hurry up and send people to investigate, if we can control the two divine beasts and cultivate them, the power of China will take a qualitative leap. Right, this is a divine beast ah, each one has the power to destroy the sky and the earth, it can't be obtained by other countries. Everyone's first thought was to capture the divine beasts and cultivate them. Luo Yu went to look for them, the divine beasts have already disappeared, my side suggestion is to send someone to station at the North Sea Beach, once the divine beasts return to the North Sea Beach again, take direct action. Seconded. Seconded. After everyone hung up the video, only Emperor Tsang and Spectre were left inside the room. Spectre, what were you thinking, why didn't you say anything during the meeting? Spectre smiled and shook his head, not explaining anything more. This guy, why is it weird? Without paying much attention to Spectre, he just assumed that Spectre was up to something. Leaving the conference room, Pantheon directly found Yi Zhao's contact information on the forum. With his status and position, wanting to find Yi Zhao's contact information was as easy as it could be. When Deet Song talked about this matter, Yi Zhao's figure surfaced in Pantheon's mind. How could I think of this guy, two divine beasts, it should be unlikely. But the more he thought about it, the more he felt it was Yi Xiao. He could only contact Yi Xiao now to confirm. Yi Xiao, who was eating the buffet under the mournful eyes of the hotel administrator, suddenly received a message from the forum. 
The top message, underworld war god? He even added my friend, is the war god's friend bit so good to get? Although his mouth was spitting, his hands were still very fast and he directly clicked agree. Ding. Ding. Hey, is there anyone around? There is. Then hang up and read the message. Said hit, said hang up. Picture. JPG. Recognize? Is it related to you? Don't lie to me. Looking at the picture of Xiao Qing's back sent by the underworld war god, Yi Xiao fell into deep thought. Lie? Or to be truthful, lying would allow him to become more low-key. But the god of the underworld war clearly had the intention of favoring him, if he was truthful, he might get the care of the god of the underworld war. What did this society fight for? Talent? No. It's resources and background. There are so many geniuses in China, and even more talented ones, but if you want to really grow up, you still need to have resources and background. Now that the underworld war god was in front of him, if he didn't grasp it at this time, when would he grasp it? That's right, this is my beast pet, little green. Xiao Chang? For Yi Xiao's candor, the underworld war god was still very satisfied, obviously Yi Xiao was treating him as one of his own. Green-eyed white tiger? That's right, divine beast green-eyed white tiger. Got it. Everyone had secrets, the underworld war god did not ask too much, he only needed to know that the green-eyed white tiger belonged to the country of China and that was enough. Then do you know about the Jinhai Xuanwu? Someone saw the green smoke white tiger and the Jinhai Xuanwu appear at the North Sea Beach at the same time. The Jinhai Xuanwu is my second beast pet, called Xiao Ling, awkward, awkward. Yi Xiao possessing a green-eyed white tiger was still within his expectations, but the second beast pet being a Jinhai Xuanwu was something he could not accept. Two divine beasts for one person, going out and stepping on dog shit was not such good luck, right? Are you really an orphan? After thinking about it for a while, the underworld war god sent this message over. A real orphan. Then you really stepped on shit. It's okay, it's all due to personal charm. After bantering with the pantheon war god for a couple of moments to revert back to the topic. Be careful in the future, try not to let their instance appear in front of others. You are still weak now, someone is able to probe their information, divine beasts have a fatal attraction to anyone, understand? Yi Xia knew that he was concerned about himself. I know, thanks to the underworld war god for caring. By the way, was that piece of wreckage on the North Sea beach you're doing? Yes. After receiving Yi Zhao's affirmative answer, the spectral war god was relieved. Practicing in the wilderness of Sea City, it was inevitable that someone with a heart would notice. Yi Xiao was a King Bomb character, and the god of underworld warfare did not want him to be known too early. It was best to find him a place where he could practice leveling and still not be known. Your two beast pets are too conspicuous, practicing outside will easily attract the attention of people who are interested, and it's also easy to accidentally injure others. How about this, I'll release a quest on the official quest list, you go and take it, it just so happens that there's a hidden copy in High City, there are enough monsters inside for you to play. The monsters inside are around level 15, can you take it? A level 15 personal copy, the underworld war god was giving him a small opening. How could this not be taken, it had to be taken. Can take it, thanks to the god of spectral warfare. Posted. Official channel, exclusive copy quest, decaying skeleton abyss. Worth 10,000 contribution points. Limited time special, zero contribution points. Worthy of being the god of the underworld, he had also given him a limited time special price. Upgrade well, I'll wait for you in Imperial City. After cutting off the message, ye shall check this copy quest worth 10,000 contribution points. Decaying skeleton abyss. Exclusive copy quest, ye shall. Quest requirement, clear the abyss of all skeletons. Reward, 10,000 contribution points, a set of gold level extreme equipment. The mission rewards all had to be 10,000 contribution points, and a set of gold grade extreme equipment. The underworld god of war really did treat him as one of his own, such a good mission was cheaply given to him for nothing. Take the quest. Decaying skeleton abyss, quest success block, please head to the replica as soon as possible to complete the quest. Copy location, 111, 111. After taking the quest, the location of the copy appeared directly on the forums, he only needed to follow to find the location of the copy. Had enough? Half of it, with one more person, the food is half less, hey. I'm 30% full, sister's appetite is too big, she eats too fast, unlike me, I chew my food slowly. The dainty voice, coupled with that pathetic expression, proper little green tea. Yi Xiao smiled and shook his head, there was no way, the two of them had too big of an appetite, anyway, he was full. Want to eat, wait to come back to eat again. But thought there shouldn't be this chance, the hotel had already prepared posters of the three of them. As soon as they left, the posters would appear in the streets of High City, unless Yi Xiao could still find another god's favorite, and then he could still go in and rub a meal in. Little green little spirit, let's go, let's go do the quest. Good. Times two. The three of them followed the signposts on the forum map and quickly found the location of the copy. 
A gloomy portal, the portal had been sealed, and there were two official transmigrators guarding the entrance. Stop. Yi Xiao and the others were called to a halt just as they approached. It wasn't that they were suspicious of Yi Xiao's identity, it was just that the decaying skeleton abyss had already been sealed by the officials. What's the situation? Is this not allowed to enter? The monsters inside have surpassed the critical point, it has been officially sealed for the time being, only after the official cleanup will we be able to enter normally, the recovery time will be announced. The monsters have already surpassed the critical point, no wonder it will be sealed. But wasn't this just fine, just enough for him to brush up his monsters and upgrade? A whole copy of the monsters would be able to go up multiple levels. I've been notified of the quest that was just officially released, the decaying skeleton abyss, I'm here to clear the monsters inside, let me go in. Eh? Quest? They hadn't received any notification on their side for the time being. What's more, if they wanted to clear a level 15 to 25 replica monster, they would need at least a second turn squad to come. Sending Yi Shout here alone, wasn't this sending them to their deaths? What, do you need to check my quest? Look, official security seal, just received the quest. Indeed, it was an officially released mission, and it was also an exclusive mission released by the god of the underworld war personally, and Yi Shao did have the qualifications to enter into the replica. It was just that it was more or less dangerous to go in alone, right? Kid, do you know what's going on inside? The replica is filled with dead chi, you will be affected by debuffs when you enter the replica, and the monsters inside are all above level 15. It's even possible to encounter level 25 monsters, it's dangerous for you to go in alone. Level 15 to level 25 monsters. This was not exactly what he had in mind. One would think that the experience of these monsters wouldn't be very small. That's really great. Quickly, quickly, open the copy, I want to go in. Knowing that there was a tiger on the mountain, they were inclined to walk towards it. Since Yi Xiao had decided, they didn't persuade anything more. The seal is lifted, you can go in. Oh yeah, this is my exclusive mission, remember not to let anyone in. With one person's copy, he would be able to let go and slaughter with impunity. In case someone came in midway and he killed them by mistake, things would be hilarious. Don't worry, no one will come in. There were level 15 to 25 monsters in there, who wouldn't want to live and come here to single out a copy. Go. After instructing two sentences, Yi Xiao took a step and directly stepped into the copy. Warning, warning, affected by debuff. Curse, all attributes drop by 30. Poisoning, 5 points of blood deducted per second. Reduced blue, 5 points per second blue deduction. Without doing anything, the buff stacked first, but it didn't matter, it didn't affect him very much. Are you too affected? Eh? What effect? None whatsoever, it's just eerie. Well, the weak one was him. Quack, 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 quack. Creepy bone clashing sounds rang out, and a pair of glowing eyes lit up in the darkness. The skeleton monster of the abyss awakened at this moment, its tyrannical eyes staring tightly at the three. Skeleton Minor General, Level, 15. Strength, 547. Agility, 456. Endurance, 555. Spirit, 32. Skill, Skeleton Whirlwind Slash. Skeleton Lieutenant General, Rank, 18. All of them were densely packed with skeletons. The IQ wasn't high, but the fighting power was pretty fierce. Then let's start your show next, let go and kill as many as you can. As for Yi Xiao, he directly used the turtle breath technique to hide his breath. Coupled with such two super invincible existences, the abyssal skeletons would not even notice him. Of course for Yi Xiao's safety, Xiao Ling still added a layer of shield to him, even if a monster attacked him, it would not be able to break through his shield in a short period of time. Sister, let's compete then, how about taking half of the food as a bet? Xiao Qing glanced at Xiao Ling, this little girl was really drifting, competing with her to kill monsters, that wasn't purely looking for death. Since sister wants to give food to sister, how can sister not accept it? After three counts, the match begins. The trio didn't put these skeletons in their minds at all, for them, this was the best place to upgrade. 3, 2, 1, begin. Sword intent fluctuation. Xuan Wu water dragon wave. The countdown ended and the two launched their attacks at the same time. Sword drawing chop. The sword swept a large area, and the wave spat a line, but anyone who came close to the two turned into nothingness in an instant. Sister's good tactics, unexpectedly storing up her strength in advance. Each other, isn't sister the same? Both of them had their own flamboyant little minds, and when the two decided to compete, they had already secretly started storing up their power. As soon as the match started, it instantly killed a slice of skeleton mini monsters in seconds. This also led to a vacuum that appeared around the two for several seconds. However, the two didn't stop for too long, and directly rushed into the skeleton army, beginning a frantic slaughter. 
Ding, killed skeleton minor general, experience plus 150. Ding, kill skeleton lieutenant general, experience plus 200. Ding, kill blood axe skeleton, experience plus 180. Ding. The experience was really quite a lot, but it was a pity that the three of them didn't have too much even if they shared it equally. However, these are all trivial matters. So what if the experience is small, the monsters here can't even see the edge, if they can kill all these monsters, the level doesn't know how much they can go up. Of course this was a good thing for Yi Xiao, for others this was a disaster. It was no wonder that the officials would seal this place, under the second turn to enter this place would basically die of exhaustion. Even Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling had their hands numb from killing. There are really a lot of monsters. Little spirit, shield up and come back to rest for a moment. After receiving Yi Zhao's order, the two of them simultaneously retreated back into the shield, little spirit's feet stepped on the earth, and the shield was able to be replenished at all times. Even if the skeletons kept slashing, they could not hurt them in the slightest. Healing spell. Clarity spell. While the two rested, Yi Xiao replenished their status, which was the only thing he could do right now. After resting for a few minutes, the two regained their status to the peak. Master, I'm going to turn into my own body, this is too slow. Good. Little Green left the shield and directly leapt into midair with a flash of light, transforming into a green-eyed white tiger. Absolute zero. Little Green rapidly flapped its wings. Ice elements were continuously condensing inside its mouth. With a tiger's whistle, Little Green quickly skimmed through the air, and the cold air drew a beautiful arc in the air. This was nothing but this was just the splendor of their death. The skeleton monsters that were enveloped by the cold breath turned into ice sculptures that stood in place, unable to move. Big Dipper Strangulation the wings flapped rapidly, and the astral wind coalesced in a matter of moments. As the astral wind invaded, the skeleton monsters were torn into pieces alive by the astral wind. As if a slow knife was pulling meat, little by little, their bodies were twisted into smithereens. Ding! Killed skeleton minor general, experience. Kill skeleton lieutenant general, experience. The sound of prompts kept ringing out. In just a split second of effort, thousands of skeleton monsters died under little green's wings. Only these monsters were nothing more than a drop in the bucket in the copy, and just after resolving these skeleton monsters, more skeleton monsters surrounded them in an instant. Xiao Qing's wings were still flapping, the bodies of the skeleton monsters were flying across the air, and not a single monster was able to get within a hundred meters of Xiao Qing. Kill monster, experience. Ding, backpack is full, please dispose of it in time. Ding, backpack is full, please dispose of it in time. The backpack is really small, the collector is still collecting, the materials are constantly transmitted to Xiao Yun Rou's hands, but even so it can't catch up with Xiao Qing's speed of killing monsters. Send. Send. Continue sending. Are you crazy? Robbing the trading market? Don't bring me along if you want to die. Yi Zhao's desperate sending of materials made Xiao Yun Rou go crazy. This sending speed was also too fast, apart from robbing the trading market, she simply couldn't think of any way to collect materials so quickly. What are you thinking? Is the trading market that good to rob? I don't have the strength even if I have that heart. My materials are all from regular channels, just use them with confidence. Alright, no more talking, pack and send. After sending several packages in a row, Yi Xiao only stopped. Xiao Chang also transformed into a human form and entered the protective shield. The surroundings of the shield were all corpses of skeleton monsters, and the bones were connected in a way that could circle around the replica three times. It's so painful, but it's a pity that I'm out of blue. Before, without little spirit, she had to take care of Yi Zhao's safety and could not let go of her hand to attack. Now with little spirit protecting her, Yi Zhao's safety did not need to be considered, and was even safer than when she was there. Killing painfully? Xiao Ling looked at Xiao Chan with a sad face. Watching Xiao Cheng slaughtering in the air, she was also very moved, but all their actions had to be based on Yi Xiao. Yi Zhao's safety could not be neglected, and she could only stay by Yi Zhao's side to protect it. It's painful, it's really too good. It's been a long time since I've let go of killing like this, master, quickly give me back my blue, I'll rest for a moment and continue to go out to kill. Little spirit became more and more mournful. Master. The two beast pets, all of them were battle maniacs, how comfortable it was to stay and be able to upgrade, they were surprisingly not satisfied. The palm of the hand is all meat, can't hurt one without hurting the other. Little green, you protect me in a while, let little spirit go out to play for a while. Okay master. Xiao Cheng did not have any complaints, as long as it was commanded by Yi Xiao, she obeyed unconditionally. This was also the reason why Yi Xiao liked Xiao Qing so much, Xiao Ling still had some studying to do. Little spirit go, the rest of the monsters can be left to you. Okay master. After receiving Yi Xiao's approval, little spirit directly jumped out and landed to transform into a Xinhai Xuan Wu. With this kick, at least a dozen skeleton monsters were trampled to death. All of them die for me. Xuan Wu Water Cannon. Little Spirit opened her mouth, 
and the water elements in the air continuously gathered in front of her mouth, forming an immense water ball. As the power continued to gather, the water ball grew larger and larger. Explosion. With a loud boom, a huge roar resounded throughout the entire copy. Looking at Xiao Ling again, the area in front of him had already turned into ruins, the water ball pushed all the way across, as long as the skeleton monsters in front of the water ball were in the way, they were all crushed into smithereens. Pushing across several kilometers, the water balloon directly burst open, the bursting water droplets turned into sharp swords spreading towards the surroundings. One after another, the abyssal skeletons were pierced through by the water beads. Ding, killed abyssal skeleton, experience. Divine pet green-eyed white tiger, level up to level 20, gained 1000 points of fixed attributes. Divine pet Chen Hai Xuanwu, level up to level 20, gained 1000 points of fixed attributes. Host leveled up to level 20, gaining 100 points of fixed attributes and 100 points of free attributes. Thick and thin. Little green and little spirit took turns brushing the monsters. In less than half a day, the three of them had leveled up to level 20. An entire 10 levels had been raised, the three of them had all raised 10 levels equally, which was enough for a second turn if placed on a single person. Before and after a rough estimate of killing a hundred thousand monsters, to be able to raise to level 20, they had also put in enough effort. This was still with the experience decaying, otherwise they could still charge upwards a bit. Little green, little spirit, well done, go back and reward you with a good meal. While others were still struggling at level 5, he had already broken through to level 20, exceeding others by a large margin. Being an orphan himself, he was able to get to where he was today, all thanks to his own hard work, coupled with little green and little spirit's desperation, and lastly, the support of the system. System, check the attributes. Name, Yi Xiao. Profession, Imperial Beast Master. Beast Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu. Level, 20. Strength, 353. Agility, 347. Endurance, 344. Spirit, 354. The various attributes had broken through 300, and that was just the panel attributes. If he added the attributes shared by his beast pet, his hidden attributes would have broken through a thousand at least. This attribute was definitely the best in the same class, and even the best when crossing over, but compared to his own two beast pets, it was a lot worse. Divine Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger. Attribute, Gold, Wind, Ice. Level, 20. Strength, 6300. Agility, 6134. Endurance, 6255. Spirit, 6450. Seeing Xiao Qing's attributes, Yi Xiao realized what it meant to be strong. Only at level 20, the attributes had already broken through 6000. This attribute, even a second turn powerhouse would be hard to beat. One word, invincible. Then look at Jinhai Xuanwu's attribute panel. Divine pet, Jinhai Xuanwu. Attribute, water, earth. Level, 20. Strength, 4900. Agility, 4700. Endurance, 7700. Spirit, 5700. Both were level 20 divine beasts, and there was a gap between the offensive and defensive attributes. Xiao Qing's attack speed was far superior to Xiao Ling's, but Xiao Ling's defense was far superior to Xiao Qing. Overall, there was not much difference between the attributes of the two, after all, they were both divine beasts. Seeing that the attributes of the two had changed drastically, Yi Zhao's heart was so beautiful. Don't freeze, the monsters have surrounded up, the two of you make a move together and clear all the monsters here, since you're here, you don't need others to do it. A fly is still neat even if it's small, and there are still so many flies here. Although the experience was a little less, killing them all would be able to raise a few more levels. Not to mention that with so many materials, it couldn't be wasted for nothing. This half, little green, can you handle it? Too easy. Then this same, little spirit? Don't worry master, just leave it to me. The two responded and killed towards the skeleton monster. Ding, killed. The beeps kept on coming and the experience was slowly growing a little bit. The two kept hunting and killing, and the materials in his backpack were rising like crazy, he didn't know how many times he had teleported to Xiao Yun Ro. Hi city, Xiao Yun Ru's room. There's something wrong, there's really something wrong, who said that alchemists are crazy, I think he Xiao is the crazy one, okay? What is this, so many materials, won't even let me take a break. Seeing that the materials were about to be piled up all over the house, Xiao Yunru was really in pain and happy. With Yi Xiao so encumbered, her alchemy level was rising miserably. But she was a human being, not a machine, she couldn't even rest this day, she was alchemizing all the time. This guy can't be really wanting to adopt me, sending me so many materials, it's meant to be a bride price. What a big straight man, if you like it, just say it straight, why beat around the bush with this? But Yi Xiao this kid is quite handsome, it's not unacceptable. Xiao Yun Ro's thoughts had drifted to outer space, and she was about to think of what to call their child. Ding, new email message. 
Yi Xiao, are there enough materials? Should be enough for you for a period of time alchemy it, said you now what level, will not still be a first class alchemist it, that more or less some dishes, gasoline efforts, hurry to raise your alchemy level, material is not enough and I said, otherwise you level up not up, but cannot keep up with me this royal beast master's footsteps, a whole series of words, a brain sent over, Xiao Yun Rose head grew big as she watched, steel straight man, can't you send it in a few times, sending so much at once, ghosts wanna see it, although she said this on her lips, she still patiently read through Yi Zhao's words, Xiao Yun Rou, brat, you are treating my place as a garbage heap, so much material, are you trying to tire me out? I'm a human being, not a machine, I can't alchemize 24 hours a day, look at my room is piled with materials. Yi Xiao, eh? This is piled up? Picture. JPG. Yi Xiao sent a picture of the materials piled up all over the floor to Xiao Yun Rou. Seeing so many materials, Xiao Yun Rou was confused, especially the two beauties beside Yi Xiao, they were really beautiful. What the hell did this guy do, materials all over the place not to mention, there are beautiful women around him. Xiao Yunru, beautiful women? Yi Xiao, N, beautiful or not? Xiao Yunru, scram. Thick jealousy can be felt through the screen. Dead straight man, can't speak at all, give you three counts to apologize or I won't talk to you for three minutes. One minute. Two minutes. Three minutes. I'll give you three more minutes, if you don't talk I'll really ignore you. This time Yi Xiao didn't let her down and spoke back in less than a minute. Yi Xiao, you won't be angry, no, no, no. Xiao Yun Rou's mouthful of old blood almost didn't come out from his anger. This man really can't say anything nice at all. Xiao Yun Rou, fist, fist. Yi Xiao, okay, seriously, I'm already at level 22, you need to hurry up and raise your alchemy level, or else in a few days, you won't be able to keep up with me, and then I'll be able to adopt other alchemists. Adopt another alchemist? What heartless, desperate words. How did he say such cold words inside his 37 degree mouth? To even say such words to a girl, didn't he know that it would break a girl's heart? Xiao Yun Rou, go and adopt your little sister, go live your life with the two of them. Yi Xiao, how do you know I'm going to live with them for the rest of my life, awesome. Yi Xiao this is not wrong, Xiao Qing Xiao Ling is his closest beast pet, 100% loyal to him. And also beautiful and eye-catching, they naturally want to live together for the rest of their lives. Xiao Yun Rou was speechless. She didn't know if Yi Xiao really didn't understand or was pretending not to understand. This one path was pulling knives on her heart ah. Wait, what did he just say? Xiao Yun Rou seemed to feel that she missed some important news and flipped the chat log up, checking it word by word. Well, in all seriousness, I'm already 22 levels. 22 levels? 22 levels? Impossible, absolutely impossible. It's only been a few days since the transfer ah. How did he reach level 22? It should be level 12, he typed more. That must be it. Xiao Yun Rou, you are level 12, rising quite fast. I will speed up and catch up with your upgrading pace as soon as possible. Yi Xiao who was organizing his materials suddenly received a message from Xiao Yunru. Yi Xiao, eh? Strength doesn't work, vision doesn't work either? I said I'm level 22, not level 12, got it? Xiao Yunru, 22 levels? Xiao Yunru's person was already dumbfounded. She had worked so tirelessly on alchemy, and now she was only a 7th level alchemist. Yi Xiao had directly broken through to the 22nd level in just 2 days. Riding a rocket was not this fast. Could it be that he has been adopted by someone, specifically buying him ferocious beasts to hunt? That shouldn't be ah, even if it's a sleepless kill. So many days can't break through to the 22nd level ah. Xiao Yun Rou was a little puzzled. She simply could not imagine that in Yi Zhao's hands there would be two divine beasts to assist him. The speed of killing monsters was something they could not even think of. However, she knew that Yi Xiao would definitely not lie to her. The current Yi Xiao level was definitely 22. She didn't ask much, everyone had their own secrets. Bye, I'm going to alchemy. Yi Xiao was 22nd level, she couldn't be too far behind, it was too hard not to let way for the next one who was so dedicated to the package like Yi Xiao. After the forum went offline, Xiao Yun Rou threw herself wholeheartedly into the alchemy business, not daring to stop for a moment. As for Yi Xiao, he had already started preparing their next big meal. After all, this time the harvest was so big, the two of them had a lot of credit, they had to be rewarded with a good meal, at least they had to let the two of them have enough to eat. As the master, one cannot be so stingy. Pack up, go back and let's have a big meal. Big meal? Hearing the words big meal, Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling's eyes both glowed. Before, they were all eating raw and rotten meat, eating what was left over from others. Ever since they followed Yi Xiao and tasted human food, they fell in love with the flavor. It was only that the food prepared by the humans was so little that they had to wait for half a day to eat every time, and they were not always full every time. Master, is it filling? The two were very much on the same page on this point. The two pairs of big eyes just stared at Yi Xiao. They had put in so much effort. How could Yi Xiao not let them have enough to eat? Tube full. Oh yeah. Master is the best. 
The two hugged Yi Zhao's arm and kept pampering them. What upgrading and killing monsters are not as useful as eating and being full? Finish packing, let's go. At the entrance of the replica, the two people guarding the replica were waiting there pinching the time. It was almost a day's time that had passed, and Yi Xiao had yet to walk out from the copy. He wouldn't have gotten into any accidents, right, he hasn't come out for such a long time. An official specific person shouldn't be killed that easily. Only when they said this they were also a little bit without confidence. After all, they knew best what the situation of the replica was, why it was sealed, it wasn't because it was too dangerous inside. With so many monsters, even if a hundred people went in, they wouldn't necessarily be able to stay for a day, let alone Yi Xiao being only one person. In the beginning, there was a squad of 100 people who went in to practice leveling, but what was the result? They were still killed, and only a dozen or so people were left to flee out in a mess. Our task is to guard the entrance of the replica, other things don't have much to do with us, no need to worry about this. That's right, life and death have their own destinies, the mission was given by the underworld war god and taken by him, life and death doesn't have much to do with us. They had already looked down on life and death, and every year, they didn't know how many people had lost their lives amongst the copies. Only the living were worthy of surviving. It's still the fresh air outside, the environment inside is really harsh. The sound of the two people's discussion had just stopped when Yi Xiao walked out from the replica's gate. Out. Out. The two men looked Yi Xiao up and down. Looking at him, he didn't look like he had encountered a monster at all, and there wasn't a single crease in any of the clothes on his body. What is the situation? I don't know ah, uh, did the monsters inside disappear? Impossible, the copy has always been in a sealed state, the monsters inside simply can't leave. Then him? Ask and you won't know. The two came to Yi Zhao's front and opened their mouths to directly inquire. You, didn't encounter a monster? Or is there something special happening inside and the monsters are gone? Looking at the eyes of the two of them, Yi Xiao knew that they were looking at themselves as neatly dressed and suspected that they went in to go shopping and did not kill monsters. If not for the fear of them being skeptical, Yi Xiao really wanted to tell them his level. Encountered, conservatively estimated over 100,000. Why, what's the problem? The two men directly froze in place, although they were town guarding the copy, they had never gone in and didn't know what was going on inside. They only knew that the hundred person squad at the beginning, less than ten people came out. Ten. Hundred thousand plus monsters? You're not kidding. What's there to joke about with this stuff? How many is how many? It's not like he has to lie to people. No ah, uh, only more or less. What about the monsters? Killed. Killed? The two men's voices unconsciously raised by three points. Yi Xiao had actually said kill so lightly? Even if it was a hundred thousand ants, it would take a long time to step on them. Not to mention that it wasn't a hundred thousand ants in there, it was a hundred thousand skeleton monsters, to say kill? Yeah, kill it, what's the problem? I'm going in just to deal with the skeleton monsters, it's not like I'm going to visit a kiln. What am I going in for if I'm not killing monsters, what's all the fuss about? Going into a copy to kill monsters, how normal, although he might have killed a bit more, but killing is killing, there's no need to be surprised. You too have an unstable mindset you still need to hone it more. It's okay, it's okay I'm leaving, I wasted almost a day, I'm hungry. N. N. Hey, are the monsters all killed? Is it safe inside? To Yi Zhao's back, the two hissed out their most concerned question. Don't worry, it's absolutely safe, not a single living thing. Without a single living thing, that proved that Yi Xiao had killed all the monsters in the copy. One person, one day, 100,000 monsters. What kind of genius is this? No, this is a demon, I guess only a demon can do such a thing. What should we do, just report it up? There's no rush, let's go in first and take a look, if it's true, then report it to the top. This kind of thing can't be sloppy, if something goes wrong, they will be held responsible. Go. The two stepped into the copy with the determination of certain death. The screen shifted and the two came into the copy, the debuffs were added to them as they were. Only the abyssal skeletons that should have surrounded them disappeared. The entire copy was quiet like a no man's land. Look, the remains of the abyssal skeletons. It's really true, look at the number of 100,000 only a little more. Demons, really demons, actually really took care of the 100,000 monsters. Report it, report all the situation here to the underworld war god. Hi city, skill bookstore, Yi Xiao is here again. Sir, you are here again, I wonder what skill books you are planning to peddle this time. Yi Xiao bought and sold skill books all inside this store and was considered an old patron of this store. So when he came to the store he received a warm welcome from the waiter. Fruit plates and drinks were all prepared. There are a bit too many skill books this time, let your manager come out, don't worry, the commission will be counted on you, this service attitude, I'm very satisfied. Thank you sir. The waiter left and in no time brought the manager to Yi Xiao. This gentleman, I heard that your skill books are a bit much, I don't know. Don't worry, they are all from formal channels, I just don't know if you can eat them. 
As long as they came from formal channels, they could eat even more skill books. Then please give me your forum account, I'll add you as a friend. The skill books you shall pack them all together, after all, the number was so large that the backpack could not accommodate it. Hearing that Ji Xiao wanted his forum account, the manager's eyes lit up. This quantity was huge enough before using the forum to pack and transmit it. This is my forum account. Received, received. A total of 2,375 skill books. Sir please wait for a moment, we need to do a value analysis, we can't let you suffer a loss. None of this mattered to Yi Xiao, the amount of money was just a number. But this manager's style of doing things he liked. I don't care if you cheat me or not, but I care if you play me for a fool. I say, why don't you get busy first, I'll have a meal first, and then come back to you to settle the bill after dinner. Good, good, but how can I let you go eat by yourself, shout I, entertain the guests well, take the guests to a 5 star hotel to eat, all consumption is all on my account. Yi Xiao's skill book this time, they earn at least a small goal. Treating Yi Xiao to a meal was not excessive. There's really no need, let's eat buffet to go. Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling's meal size, this one meal would have to eat them poor. Business is business, he can't pit people against each other can he? Our meal size is a bit big, so we won't bother you guys. What are you saying, sir, looking down on us? It's not just a meal, what can't we afford, it's decided, listen to me, let Xiao Dai take you guys for dinner, eat as much as you want. The manager's hospitality was hard to resist. People had said so, if Yi Xiao still refused, it would be slapping people's face. That's really sorry to trouble you guys. It's okay it's okay, go ahead. Xiao Dai brought the three of Yi Xiao to the restaurant that was just fine in Hai Chang. Order food. Greeting the waiter, the three of them sat down and were ready to order. Master, is everything on this edible? Is this stuff delicious or not? Before, the food they ate was all buffet, taking whatever they wanted to eat. But now that they were in a five-star restaurant, the food was all on the menu, one more exquisite than the other. The two hadn't ordered before, and for a moment they didn't know what to do. Those two pairs of innocent little eyes, directly attracted the gaze of all the men in the hotel. In itself, they were already of national beauty, plus that dainty cry of master. In an instant, their hearts melted. You can really be damned. You can really be damned. The surrounding group of men gnashed their teeth and looked at Ji Xiao, itching to eat his meat and drink his blood. Everyone was a man, why was he able to have such two beautiful women with him, and even have them willingly call him master? Is it just because he is handsome? Don't know what to order, then fry a book, waiter, a book or fried, speed should be fast, hungry. Not just handsome, but also rich. Yi Zhao's ordering style refreshed their three views. Frying one book, what a luxurious way of ordering food. This one book down, a million should not be able to hit it. So it's still possible to order food this way, thank you master, I've learned. Fry one book for me as well, two books in total. The waitress lady at the side looked dumbfounded, fry two books? This one book is hundreds of dishes, they are only three people. Can they finish that many? Sir, these dishes. She could tell that the person in charge was Yi Xiao, so she only needed to seek Yi Xiao's opinion. Serve it, we'll order more when we're done eating. Rice bucket. This was everyone's impression of them. Stir frying two books, several hundreds of dishes, how could a normal person finish it, half of it would have to be braced to death. The life of a tycoon, savoring every single dish, so damn luxurious. People are more angry than people, no wonder such a beautiful young lady is willing to follow him around. Raise me like this every day, I'm willing to do it. It had to be said that the service quality of the hotel was still very strong. One after another, the meals were brought to the table. Only the speed at which they were served was far from the speed at which Xiao Chang and the girls ate. Master, come take a bite. Eat mine, eat mine, master you can't just favor your sister. Xiao Qing Xiao Ling grabbed to feed Yi Xiao. In front of so many people, Yi Xiao actually had some small pride. Of course his meal was just two bites. After feeding, the plate was clean, not even a bit of soup left. One course, two courses, ten courses, twenty courses. Everyone's eyes were focused on them. One would have thought that the girls ordered so many meals, just wanting to taste the flavor. Who would have thought that these two girls were truly honest, as long as the dishes were on the table, none of them could leave with leftovers. Even the soup did not have a drop left. My mother love, these two girls how so able to eat ah, uh, this or how many dishes, they too how can still eat down. 73 courses, the whole 73 courses, look at their appearance, completely did not eat more meaning. Yi Xiao had already stopped, one eating a bite, 70 plus dishes also hold up. He didn't have a physique like Xiao Qing Xiao Ling. You two eat, I'm full. Then master, we'll let go and eat. Eat? Without Yi Xiao, the two ate faster, 200 dishes went into their stomachs, that stomach froze with no intention of rumbling at all. Don't say, I really envy them, eating so much and still able to maintain this kind of figure. Yes, we eat a little bitter fat, people eat so much can still maintain this kind of body, really people envy. And at a table not far away, there were three men who were there watching Xiao Chang and the others. 
Hai Ching even has this kind of posture, I can't believe I didn't realize it before. What is this kid? What is his status? How come he has such a beautiful beauty by his side? Haven't seen it before, but all the people who are dignified in Hai City, we have seen them and know them, we have never seen this guy, could it be from out of town? And Hai Cheng still dare to be so arrogant, I Zhao Liang Bin cannot look down. Obviously see color, but also have to find an excuse for themselves. Liang Bin, don't make trouble, someone who dares to be so high profile shouldn't be an ordinary person. But it was clear that Zhao Liang Bin didn't take his companion's words to heart. What are you afraid of? We know all the dignified characters in Hai Chang. I'm not looking at my little brother as quite high profile, I just want to go and get to know him, don't worry about it. Zhao Liang Bin glanced at the corner of his mouth, did not put Yi Xiao in his eyes at all. If Yi Xiao was strong, he went up to give it to his friend, if Yi Xiao was not strong, then don't blame him for crossing the line. Hey! With a swish sound, Zhao Liang Bin directly froze in place, and the hand that wanted to pat Yi Xiao's shoulder also hesitated to fall. A sword condensed by the wind element and a sword condensed by the water element were just placed on both sides of his head. Looking at Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling's cold as ice eyes, he knew that these two were definitely not joking with him again. If this slap were to go down, his head would directly move. I, I, Zhao Liang Bin was now neither in nor out, directly caught in a dilemma. This brother, my friend just wants to get to know you and make a friend, not like this. Prickly. Little green little spirit rare tacit understanding a hand, hand up sword fall, directly chopped off Zhao Liang Bin's arms. Fast, accurate and ruthless, not giving them a chance to react at all. No one expected them to be so bold, in front of so many people they dared to waste Zhao Liang Bin. Scram. Dare to disturb our meal again, die. If He Xiao had not instructed the girls in advance to try not to kill anyone in Hai Chang, Zhao Liang Bin's head would have moved the moment he came over. His malice towards Yi Xiao was felt by the girls from a long distance away. Having malice towards Yi Xiao, that was their enemy, their duty was to protect Yi Xiao. Crap, this is too fierce, it even chopped off Zhao Liang Bin's arms. Zhao Liang Bin? Crap, it's still true, Red Man Hall's people, this time they got into big trouble, even dared to hurt Red Man Hall's people, Red Man Hall is extremely protective, this time they don't want to go out to upgrade and brush monsters. But have to say, these two people's strength is so strong, Zhao Liang Bin has already turned two, but also be instantaneous seconds. That man can really calm down, this time actually still sitting there motionless. Is there a possibility that this guy is a soft eater, and the ones who really do things are these two girls? The noise of the quarrel here soon alarmed the people from the restaurant, only that they gave up when they heard that there were people from the Red Man Hall. To provoke the Red Man's pavilion was to be tired of living a long life. Don't be so angry, it's time to eat your food, here they don't dare to make a move on me. Yi Xiao stood up and gently softened the two men's heads. The killing aura on his body then dissipated. Yi Xiao stood up, then there was no need for them to worry. Because this man caused them to not eat for these few seconds, they really deserved to die. The more they thought about it, the more angry they became, the killing intent on their bodies slowly spread again. Okay, okay, don't be angry, master feed you guys, ah, uh, open your mouth. Feeding two mouthfuls of food, these two people only recovered to the previous state. What was left was to deal with Zhao Liang Bin's matter with them. Although this matter was Zhao Liang Bin's own pain, but Chao Qing Xiao Ling's approach to them was too aggressive. One person and one sword directly chopped off someone's arms, even if it was connected, in the end, it would still leave after effects. This person, more than likely, was wasted. However, whether he was ruined or not, Yi Xiao did not care in the slightest, what he cared about was the black name on his head. Killing head out of the red name, hurt head will be out of the black name, hurt more than three people, black name to red name. If you want to get rid of the black name on your head, you have to beg for forgiveness from the person you hurt, otherwise you will have to carry a big black name on your head for the rest of your life. This brother, discuss a matter how, forgive me, help me remove the black name on my head how. Having his arms chopped off by someone, now he still wants him to forgive. Where under the sky was such a good thing. No. Can. 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 Zhao Liang Bin's eyes were filled with hatred, letting him forgive Yi Xiao, that was absolutely impossible. In that case, then there is no way. Yi Xiao really wanted to settle this matter peacefully, but Zhao Liang Bin didn't look like he wanted to settle it ah. Anyway, hurting someone with a black name, Breaking two arms is breaking, breaking four limbs is also breaking. Whoosh. There was no need for Yi Xiao to speak at all, the two of them understood his mind in seconds. Raising his hand, a wind blade and a water knife slashed through. It directly sliced off Zhao Liang Bin's two thighs by the roots. This. So ruthless. It's true that the more beautiful the woman is the more ruthless ah, can't afford to provoke, quickly go. Zhao Liang Bin screamed miserably and made a gesture to pass out. Don't rush to pass out ah, you haven't said forgive or not forgive me. Forgive. You. Mom. It seems that the third leg is also not wanted, just in time, today by hand, and help you out. Brother, you overdo it. Looking at Zhao Liangbin being cut into a human stick, 
they couldn't stop talking. Even if the limbs were cut off, as long as they were repaired in time they could still be used. But if it was cut off there, the possibility of repairing it is much smaller. The most crucial thing is the shame, a human man can't even keep his own brother, then what face is there to live? Liang Bin just wanna get to know you, make a friend only, you do not want a big can refuse, direct action what is the meaning? You are not putting our red man pavilion in your eyes. A big hat was directly put on Yi Xiao's head, they tried to use the prestige of the red man pavilion to suppress Yi Xiao. Red man pavilion? A mere guild in the district, dare it make a move in high city? Not to mention that behind him stood the god of underworld warfare, if the red man hall dared to make a move against him, it would be slapping the god of underworld warfare in the face again. The underworld war god would not sit back and watch. The red man pavilion? Does he have a big face? Also, don't climb friendships indiscriminately, who is a brother to you, and are you guys worthy? Lu Ji's face turned ugly. It was the first time he had seen that there was someone who dared to not give face to the red man pavilion in high city. Kid, you are too crazy, insulting the red man pavilion, you have to die. Ha! Yi Xiao laughed. Die? He could really be afraid of death. With that, he opened the forum and looked up the name of the red man pavilion's president. Let me die? Go get this Luo Yu president of yours, I'm standing right here, I'll see if he dares to kill me. Lu Gu froze all of a sudden, he was truly surprised that Yi Xiao was so unbounded in his madness. Surprisingly, he didn't even put Luo Yu in his heart. However, he was right, even if Luo Yu was here, he wouldn't dare to kill Yi Xiao. Officially for their guild that was really zero tolerance, once they broke the rules, they were directly punished with capital punishment. But that didn't mean that Yi Xiao could provoke the Red Man Hall endlessly. The Red Name system does make them unable to kill others in the city, but they also have a set of their own means of circumvention. If they couldn't get a Red Name, then they would first get a Black Name, and after crippling the person, then they would get the person outside of the city and then it would be their freedom to abuse and kill as much as they wanted to. Kid, I'll give you one last chance to apologize, kneel on the ground and give Liang Bin a proper apology, and compensate for all of Liang Bin's damages, and we can let this matter go. Take no blame? Yi Xiao looked at Zhao Liang Bin who was lying on the ground and was staring at him angrily. This guy does not look like he can take the blame, this guy's eyes are nothing but hatred. But wherever he let him off today, turning his head this guy would make trips behind his back. Yi Xiao most hate behind someone counting him, cannot sleep peacefully at night, this will make his mood is very bad, easy to lose hair. The more Yi Xiao thought about it, the more annoyed he felt. Obviously he just came to have a meal, how come there are so many ungrateful guys to offend them? Xiao Chang. N. The two of them shared the same mind, even without Yi Xiao opening his mouth, Xiao Chang knew what Yi Xiao was going to do. The blooming golden light in her hand, her hand rose and her sword fell. With a puffing sound, Zhao Liang Bin was directly sliced into pieces and finally turned into dust, completely disappearing from this world. Until his death, he did not expect Yi Xiao to make a sudden move against him. The surrounding onlookers also didn't expect Xiao Qing to be so ruthless, daring to lay a deadly hand on Zhao Liangbin within the confines of High City. How confident did this have to be in himself to dare to make a move in the middle of the city? Ruthless man, ah, a truly ruthless man, to dare to strike within High City. Red name, red name, this brother is really fierce. But what's the situation? How come the person this girl killed, the one with the red name is this lad? What do you care what he does, run away? If you don't run the people from the red man's pavilion are going to kill. Right, 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 in the city is able to find the red name of the person to take revenge, quickly go, don't be affected. Lu Ji's several people's faces had changed, and their expressions changed as they looked at Yi Xiao. Daring to kill people in high city. Was it confidence in his own strength, or was it the foolishness and ignorance of a fledgling? But these are all irrelevant. Zhao Liangbin's murder was no longer in the realm of what they dealt with, so let's notify the president first. Good, good, good. You really have guts, daring to kill my red man hall's people. If you have the guts, just wait here, when our chairman comes, I'll see how you can still clamor. Lu Gu left with his people, not daring to stay for a moment. Their strength was not much different from Zhao Liangbin, if Yi Chan and Xiao Cheng could slaughter Zhao Liangbin, then they could similarly slaughter them. Looking at the backs of several people leaving, Yi Xiao shrugged his shoulders and did not pay any attention to anything. It was good that these people had left, they could still eat in peace. The flies are gone, keep eating. Zhao Liang Bin's corpse stayed right there, the three of them acted as if they didn't see it, savoring the food there by themselves. Waiter, what are you waiting for, serve the food ah, don't see the plates are empty. Serve the food serve the food serve the food. The one who killed someone and still sits here to eat with a light heart is also a ruthless person. Offending anyone can't offend Yi Chen, in case Yi Chen got upset and smashed their store, then the loss would be disastrous. Without a moment's effort, Luo Yu led his men to surround the entire restaurant. As the president of the Red Man Pavilion, when his men were killed, he naturally wanted to seek justice for his men. 
Although the Red Man Pavilion had not yet reached the point where it was overshadowing the world, it was not something that anyone could touch. Especially in this acre of Haichung, who shall not give him Luo Yu three thin face, even if it is the official, do things also have to discuss with him. Coupled with the things that happened during this period of time, he has been very stifled, must find a place to vent his anger. Today, Yi Chin just happened to run into his gun, going so far as to kill his guild's people within Hai Chang. Luo Yu's steps were laced with anger as he led the way to the restaurant. Just stepping into the restaurant, what met his eyes was the Zhaoliang bin who had been cut into pieces. It was really too tragic, not even a whole body. Luo Yu's anger reached its peak at this moment, and the temperature of the restaurant dropped by three points with it. Who killed him, get out. Yi Chen's red name was floating somewhere, he knew that the one who killed was Yi Chen. But he just had to set this up. He wanted Yi Chen to personally come out and kneel down to apologize. Where is your father dining? If you want to see your father, wait in line. Yi Chen didn't even turn around to glance at him, he was self-consciously feeding Xiao Qing their meal there. Ah, open your mouth. Is it delicious? Tasty, one more bite. I want master too. The attitude of the three directly stunned everyone present. A third turn powerhouse was actually ignored. In all these years, it was the first time Luo Yu had been ignored by someone like this. Good, good, good. Luo Yu laughed back in anger and flung an appraisal spell over. Imperial Beast Master. Level, 22. Yi Zhao's basic information was appraised clearly by Luo Yu. After seeing Yi Zhao's information, Luo Yu smiled disdainfully. So young to be at level 22, and still a royal beast master, no wonder he dared to be so rampant. Only that he was a first turn 22nd level royal beast master, who was he to clamor with him as a third turn powerhouse. The corner of Luo Yu's mouth slightly skimmed up, his face filled with disdain. What are you waiting for? Does a 1 turn 22 level ant also need me to personally make a move? Those who kill people will always be killed, chop him up for me and feed him to the dogs. Whoever kills him first will be rewarded with 100 points of guild contribution. Yes, president. Those who could follow Luo Yu's side were basically second turn powerhouses. With so many second turn powerhouses, it wouldn't be easy to settle a single Yi Chen. This was a head worth a hundred contribution points, and such an opportunity did not come along very often. Kill. A group of people dashed towards Yi Chen, striking without mercy, making a move to kill him with a single blow. If you want to harm the master, pass us first. The moment the members of the Red People's Hall Guild made their move, Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling were ready to fight. But when they were ready to make a move to resist, a powerful force directly sent the Red People's Hall members flying, and immediately afterward, a silhouette came from the sky and blocked between Yi Chen and Luo Yu and the rest of them. Making a move within Hai Chang territory, you Red Man Hall is increasingly not putting me in your eyes. Or, Luo Yu, are you planning to rebel against China? City Lord Young Tianqing narrowed his eyes and stared at Luo Yu with an unkind face. He was the one who had just stepped in to block the attack of the Red Man Pavilion crowd and now he was even a big hat on Luo Yu's head. This hat Luo Yu didn't dare to wear, but letting him retreat like this, then how could he still be the guild's president? The people under his command were killed, and if he as the president didn't seek justice for the people under him, who would trust him in the future? City Lord Yang, it's not that I, Luo Yu, don't give you face, please take a good look at him, he has a red name on his head, don't you know the rules of high city mom? Even if I kill him here today, at most I will only be compensating the store owner for his losses, you have no right to interfere with our actions. For the red name people, they could hunt them down and kill them at will, even Yang Tianqing couldn't interfere with their actions. Yang Tianqing naturally knew that Luo Yu had a point, but Yi Xiao was a person they couldn't move. Even if Luo Yu personally intervened, it would be the same. Luo Yu, we've known each other for over 10 years, right? Yang Tianqing softened his attitude a lot as well, at least it was the top guild within Hai Chang and Luo Yu's strength was not weak, if they really fought, both sides could not take advantage. More than 10 years, these 10 years I read People's Hall does not say that I have merit for High City, but I'll also have hard work, right? Every time the Imperial enemy, I read People's Hall did not say anything, right? Now this guy is killing my guild's people in the city, you won't want to favor him. Yang Tianqing looked at Luo Yu with a serious face and slowly said, I really have to favor this guy today. You can't move. Luo Yu did not expect to say such words from inside Yang Tianqing's mouth. To go against him, the Red Man Pavilion, for the sake of a first turn 22nd level Imperial Beast Master. What if I prefer to move? Any fool could see that Yi Xiao was in trouble, how could someone who could make Yang Tianqing so protective be a simple task? But he was also on the verge of an arrow now and had to send it. If this revenge was not avenged today, who would still put the Red Man Hall in their eyes in the future, and it would have a serious impact on the guild's prestige at that time. Luo Yu, after so many years of relationship, can I still harm you, this matter ends here, the losses of the Red Man Pavilion, the City Lord's Mansion pays for it. No need. Luo Yu directly rejected Yang Tianqing's compensation, he only needed one today, and that was Yi Zhao's life. 
Let's just do business, red names can be hunted down and killed, you have no right to interfere. Yang Tianqing is very helpless ah, this Luo Yuhao is dead brain. Not just a dead henchman well, why, and Yi Xiao dead fight it. If this is offended by the people behind Yi Xiao, his red man hall is to be uprooted. Look at Luo Yu's appearance obviously can't listen to other people's persuasion. Luo Yu, I'll give you one last chance, withdraw now and nothing will happen, if you are stubborn and the red man pavilion is uprooted, don't blame me for not reminding you when the time comes. There are people behind him, don't ever gamble with the fate of your red man hall, you can't afford to. How the red man pavilion was a top guild, but now that it was being talked about like this, Luo Yu's face was more or less unrecognizable. What people live for is a face. Face is gone, what more face? Today, this revenge, not to be reported also have to report. Luo Yu in fact has sprouted the intention to retreat, but so many people under his command, he cannot let the face fall on the ground. But where there is a person to give him a step, he went down. But looking at these mallets under his men, there should be no one who can understand him, let alone give him a step. Can't afford to gamble also have to gamble, I read man hall has never been a wimp, everyone, prepare. For me. Dad, give me face, let's just forget about this matter. Just as Luo Yu ordered to prepare to take action against Yi Chen, and Ai Yun appeared. If she hadn't quietly followed her, how would she have known that the person her dad was dealing with was Yi Xiao? Although Luo Yu's heart was snickering, he still pretended to look unhappy. Xiao Yun, don't make a scene, father is dealing with things. Father, I'm not making a scene, you can't touch him, he's my friend, if you dare to touch him, I will never forgive you for the rest of my life. This, everyone knew that he, Luo Yu, was a daughter slave. And Ai Yun had said so and with the city lord still there to stop him, it would be a bit unreasonable to target Yi Chen again. At that time it would be him destroying his own steps. Alright, father knows, this matter will be forgotten for your sake. But just this once, it won't happen again, my red man pavilion's face isn't something that anyone can fall for. Hearing that Luo Yu would not pursue the matter, Nai Yun and Yang Tianqing both breathed a sigh of relief. The red man pavilion was the taxpayer of High City, if it was accounted for here, High City's economic development would have to be delayed for a long time. This Luo Yu is really lucky to have given birth to such a knowledgeable daughter, or else the Red Man Pavilion would cease to exist after today. Go back, bring the person back for a thick burial, all expenses guild managed, life is a person of the Red Man Hall, death is a ghost of the Red Man Hall. No one paid any attention to Yi Xiao throughout. Yi Xiao also lazy to pay attention to them, sat there and ate his own meal. Originally, he still wanted to spar with Luo Yu, wanting to see the power of a third turn powerhouse. With Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling around, even if it was Luo Yu, facing the two divine beasts, it would be just as white. Unfortunately, this fellow listened too much to Anayun's words and actually chose to retreat. What a pity, I still wanted to try to see how powerful a third turn powerhouse is. Me too, I wonder how strong the human powerhouse is, if it's a match for me and my sister. Looks like we can only find a chance next time, you two eat, I'll go over to say hello. Although he was not the one who asked the city lord to help, but the city lord had stood up for him, not going over to say hello was more or less a bit of a lack of understanding of the human world. Lord City Lord. Not bad, not bad, very courageous, no wonder it's valued by Lord Underworld. Sure enough. Just as he had guessed, the City Lord would come to his aid solely because of the Underworld War God. Keep a low profile from now on, I won't be able to make it every time. The red name on your head will be dealt with later when I use my authority to help you deal with it as a black name, and the rest will have to be cleared by you doing quests on your own. Directly erasing a red name, only someone of the rank of the Underworld War God had that kind of authority. The city lord could only help him turn red into black, and if he wanted to remove his black name, he would have to either beg for the forgiveness of the injured person, or go on a quest to clear it with his contribution. Jialiang Bin has been chopped up by him, forgiveness is certainly not forgiven, to the netherworld may also want to sue him. So he can only go and do the quests released by the officials now. Thank you lord city lord, it's really troublesome. Do a good job, don't fail lord specter's expectations. Someone who could be valued by the spectral war god would definitely not be as simple as he appeared on the surface. Someone who could still be so calm in front of Luo Yu must have his own means of preserving his life. From Yi Xiao's eyes, he saw confidence, even without his help today, he believed that Yi Xiao had the means to leave here unharmed. Based on this heart alone, this kid is not a simple character. After instructing two sentences, the city lord left. Although the underworld war god had asked him to take care of Yi Xiao, but he was a third turn level powerhouse anyways, there was no need for him to shamelessly curry favor with Yi Xiao. Moreover, he needed to go and find Luo Yu to explain himself properly, lest he would have second thoughts and have any mischievous intentions towards Hai Chang. President Luo. Looking at Yang Tianqing who chased out, Luo Yu frowned tightly. He had chosen to back down and still refused to let him go. Lord City Lord, is there anything else you want? 
We've been friends for more than 10 years, I was forced to do this, and you have to believe that I definitely didn't do this to harm you, it can even be said that I saved your red man pavilion's life, saved us? Luo Yu raised his eyebrows and looked at Yang Tianqing, his eyes filled with incomprehension. His red man Hall's face was pretty much lost today, how could he have the cheek to say it was for them? Then shouldn't I host a banquet to thank you? Listening to Luo Yu's words, he knew that Luo Yu's heart was understandably filled with resentment. This kid is standing behind the underworld. Yang Tianqing whispered with his ear, telling Luo Yu about Yi Zhao's situation. Now do you still think that I am harming you? Or are you already strong enough to ignore him? He gave me an order to ensure Yi Zhao's safety no matter what, and you should know very well what kind of person he is, if you move him, will the Red Man Pavilion survive past tomorrow? Yang Tianqing stunned Luo Yu with a single sentence. Although he thought that there was someone behind Yi Xiao, he did not expect that the person behind Yi Xiao would be the Underworld War God. If it was any other War God, there would still be reasoning, but the Underworld War God, that was completely unreasonable. Brainlessly protecting the shortcomings. If the Underworld War God knew that he blocked Yi Xiao today, another day the Underworld War God would come to his door and block him. It was even possible that the entire Red Man Hall would be implicated. City Lord Yang, you're not lying to me, right? He's related to the God of the Underworld War? Yang Tianqing glanced at Luo Yu and shrugged helplessly. Is it necessary? Is there any necessary reason for me to lie to you? It's not like there's any benefit to me. It made sense, it wasn't like Yang Tianqing was fishing for benefits from his body, there was no need to lie to him about these things. A cold shiver ran through him, which sobered him up. Then what should I do now? The Underworld War God won't hold a grudge against the Red Man Pavilion. If it was the God of the Underworld War, he would have to think about whether he needed to mend his relationship with Yi Xiao or not. Damn it! What a success, give me the body chopped up and fed to the dog, only know how to cause trouble for me. Before knowing that Yi Xiao was a man of the underworld war god, he buried his own people thickly. Now that they knew Yi Xiao's identity, not to mention burying them thickly, they directly chopped them up and fed them to the dogs. Brother Yang, you say this. Before or Yang Tianqing Yang Tianqing called, now the opening is Brother Yang. Can bend and can stretch, a great man is also. The person you asked for is not me, and it's the first time he and I have met but I see that your daughter and he have a pretty good relationship, this is something you might be able to find her to think of a way. Right, right, brother Yang is right in reminding me, this matter also depends on Xiao Yun. Today's matter is thanks to you, brother Yang, come to the red man's pavilion some other day, I'll make amends to you. The two men parted ways after a few moments of politeness. What should be said has also been said, Luo Yu knows how to treat Yi Xiao as long as he is a smart person. Hotel. After the people from the red people's hall left, Yi Xiao invited Nai Yun to sit and eat with him. Although he didn't need NIN's help, but how many people helped to open their mouths to speak, this point of human feelings still no. Besides, it was just one more mouth to feed, and it wasn't much to eat. The little bit that flowed out of Xiao Qing's teeth was enough for NIN to eat. Luo Yu is your father? N, real dad. NIN had never told them about her identity, but now that Yi Xiao also knew her identity, there was no need for her to hide anything. Kissing father ah, then why is his surname Luo and your surname NI? Could it be that you were adopted? And Ian did not have the good sense to blankly glance at Yi Xiao, this kind of reason was only something he could come up with. I follow my mom's surname, my mom's surname is Ni, what adopted, don't talk nonsense. So ah, uh, look at Ian's appearance, more or less not too much like Luo Yu, how could that brown old man give birth to such a good looking daughter, most likely to be adopted. What with mom's surname, is probably Luo Yu's excuse. Eat eat eat, feel free to eat, I'm treating you today. The four of them sat together, quietly savoring the food, no one disturbed them, and the speed of serving the food was very fast. I'm full. I'm also full, today's food is really good. What an appetite, to eat so much and still maintain such a good figure, two sisters, how did you do it? And Ai Yun's eyes were glowing. The two of them had eaten so much and their bodies hadn't gotten out of shape. Just ask any woman who doesn't like it. Talent, you can't learn it. Isn't this the amount of meals a girl is supposed to have? Do you still have something to do? If there's nothing, we'll leave first. After all, he wasn't that familiar with Nai Yun, it was more or less awkward to stay for a while, and after a busy day, he was a bit tired and needed to take a rest. It was just that Nai Yun acted as if he didn't understand anything, pestering the few of them and not leaving at all. Do you guys have a place to stay? When I came here, I saw that all the hotels have blacklisted you guys, dogs are allowed in, not you three. Unless you guys go to another city, there are no hotels in Haichang that will let you guys stay. This was a serious problem, before they had hoard out too many buffets for nothing and were blacklisted by these hotels en masse. Now it was a bit of a struggle to get a hotel. Is it possible to go back to squeezing a 20 square meter house? It's a bit hard to bear, but it seems like this is the only kind of solution at the moment. It was easy to go from frugality to luxury, and difficult to go from luxury to frugality. Having gotten used to living in a presidential suite, 
Now letting him go back to living in a 20 square meter cot, it was still somewhat unappealing. But that was also better than wandering the streets, the big deal was to take the two of them back to the Imperial Beast space at night. Why don't you guys go to my house, my house is quite a big place to live, and it manages to feed you. Good. Yes. I agree. Trouble or no trouble was not a matter for them, as long as they managed to eat and live, these were not problems. Then let's go? As long as they brought Yi Xiao inside their home, the two of them would be able to go to the next level, just a little bit of food, not a big problem. The four of them arrived at the Red Man Pavilion just like that. Yi Xiao had just lost the face of the Red Man Pavilion, and as a result, in less than half an hour's time, he came to the Red Man Pavilion's territory again. Bullies don't even bring this kind of bullying. One by one, they surrounded Yi Xiao, and their vicious eyes were eager to swallow him. What are you all doing, disperse disperse? Miss Nai Yun had opened her mouth, even if they had a problem, they didn't dare to have a problem now. They could only watch Nai Yun take the three Yi Xiao people away like this. No need to be so troublesome, just arrange a room for us and our master, we want to sleep with our master. Right, 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 we'll sleep together. For Xiao Chang and the girls, this was a very normal thing, they were all Yi Zhao's beast pets, naturally they had to stay by Yi Zhao's side at all times to protect him. But it was a different story when it reached Nian's ears. This scum, even slept with two people at once, and they even called him master. The key was that these two girls were not at all worse looking than her, and she had no advantage at all. No wonder Yi Xiao had been ignoring her all these years, so there were so many beautiful girls around her. No, Nian you can't admit defeat, they can serve beside Yi Xiao. Why can't you? If you quit now, then you will really lose. Strengthening his spirit, Nai Yun looked towards Xiao Chang and the girls. Can we sleep together? To Nai Yun, the girls weren't repulsive, and they didn't know that Nai Yun had so many little thoughts. Yeah, sleep together. Not giving Yi Xiao a chance to refuse at all, the three of them just stayed in Yi Xiao's room. Sister, yours is so big. Yours isn't small either, and it feels really good. Was it taken by your master? Which is not, it's so annoying, master won't. Yi Xiao sat in the living room and just listened to them frolicking in the bathhouse. Three women are a drama, which is something that a big lad like him can listen to. No no no, do something serious. If he went on like this, sooner or later, his Tao heart would be broken, so he should do something else first to divert his attention. Before practicing but dropped a lot of treasure chests, today first open the treasure chest. Open the reward treasure chest. Ding, congratulations on obtaining holy light armor, gold perfection. Holy light armor, gold perfection. Defense, 50 to 70, endurance plus 20, strength plus 35, physical strength increase plus 2. Attributes are still very good, gold perfect equipment, can be sold for a good price, to Xiao Qing they use also good. Continue to open. Thunder Staff, Star Diamond General. Attack, 250 to 299, agility plus 37, strength plus 43, thunder elemental damage plus 5. Thunder Mage Exclusive Equipment. It was a pity that it was the Thunder Mage's exclusive equipment, or else his combat power could have been raised by a large margin again. Master, go to sleep, people are so tired. People are also tired. N, tired. Yi Chen, who was checking the attributes of his equipment, was startled, completely unaware of when the three of them came out. But sleeping with them, Yi Xia wouldn't dare. With Xiao Chang and the girls, it was their own beast pet without any psychological burden, but with Nai Yun, it was different, it was a crime. Absolutely not. You guys can sleep first if you're tired, I'll just sleep on the sofa tonight. No, together, the bed is big enough to put you down. It was so hard to catch this opportunity, absolutely cannot let Yi Xiao give it away, tonight he just doesn't want to sleep even if he can't, this bed, must be on. Sisters, help. For a month's time, Yi Xiao and Xiao Chang and the girls had been staying at the Red People's Pavilion's premises. After all, besides Nai Yun there was no one else willing to take them in, they were just too able to eat, the general public could not afford to feed them. Only Yi Xiao was not a person who ate and drank for nothing. Giving money is more or less a bit of a downfall, some friendship is not measured in money. Anyway, killing monsters and leveling up was as simple as drinking water for him, so he simply brought her along to upgrade. Unfortunately, the abyssal skeletons have been pretty much killed, and the refresh rate has slowed down a lot, there's not much time left for us to practice leveling up. The abyssal skeletons were not open yet, and there were still quite a few of them that would refresh every day. Yi Xiao brought Nai Yun and the girls here every day to brush the monsters and level up, and it wasn't long before Nai Yun directly broke through to level 15. As for Yi Xia, the speed of upgrading has slowed down and barely reached level 25. However, Yi Xiao is also very satisfied with this, young life should not be faster than his upgrade. Other people were still mixing under level 10, he was already close to the threshold of the first turn. When he leveled up to level 30, he would be able to perform a second turn transformation, and by then, his attributes would be greatly increased. Of course, to him, the most important thing was not the increase in attribute level, but the increase in money. 
Selling skill books and equipment during this time, the deposits had already broken through a few small goals. It's been a busy time for almost a month now, impacting level 30 today, confident? Good. Little green little spirit had a cloudy face, no matter if it was level 30, or level 40 50, it was all the same to them. As long as they managed to get enough, any enemy was a sword. And Ian had also seen how powerful Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling were, if it was because of the two of them during this period of time, it would have been impossible for her to level up so fast. Only this made her even more filled with a sense of crisis, the women around Yi Xiao were also outstanding, if she didn't hurry up and catch up, she would soon lose sight of Yi Xiao's back. Go, directly kill the skeleton king. Killing small monsters gave limited experience, killing the skeleton king was the fastest upgrade. After killing the skeleton king, the copy would be refreshed in 5 minutes, and if it went on like this week after week, a day's time was enough for him to level up to level 30. Little green and I will guard the corpse, little spirit you lead Ni Yun to kill the small monsters, this little Ni has too little combat experience. The two belong to a group, even if Ni Yun didn't kill the boss, their experience was shared equally. I'm strong, don't underestimate me. She hadn't seen Yi Xiao make a move in this month, the whole time it was Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling making a move to kill the monsters. In terms of combat experience, Yi Xiao was not necessarily her opponent yet. Today, she had to let Yi Xiao see that she, and Ai Yun, was not a vase. After arranging everything, a group of four people began the journey of slaughter. Ding, killed skeleton minor general, experience plus. Ding, kill skeleton lieutenant general, experience plus. Ding, kill skeleton king, experience plus. Congratulations to the host for leveling up to level 26 and gaining 10 points of free attributes. Congratulations to the green-eyed white tiger for leveling up to level 26. Congratulations to the Jinhai Xuanwu for leveling up to level 26. With little green and little spirit around, the skeletons were slaughtered in the blink of an eye, and a few people were leveled up. Continue. Guarding corpses all the way, killing them all the way. The abyssal skeleton copies were cleared by him I don't know how many times. He had been busy until 6 p.m. before Yi Xiao stopped the butcher knife in his hand. Congratulations to the host for raising to level 30. Congratulations to green-eyed white tiger for raising to level 30. Congratulations to Jinhai Xuanwu for raising to level 30. Aside from Ni Yun, Yi Xiao, and Xiao Chang all of them raised to level 30. The trio's levels were limited as a result. Ding, level up to level 30, please complete the transfer task as soon as possible. The transfer quest will be completed before you can continue leveling up, otherwise, experience will no longer increase. The transfer quest, once at level 30. Every time you level up 30 levels, you need to complete a transfer quest, and only by completing the transfer will you continue to gain experience from killing monsters. Of course at first the transfer quest is very simple, and allows groups to complete the quest, basically level up, are able to complete. As the level rises, the transfer quests become more and more difficult, the better the profession, the higher the talent, the more difficult the transfer quests become. Many people would be stuck at a certain stage for the rest of their lives, but once they completed the quest and broke through, that combat power would skyrocket. Ni Yun, go ahead and find a place to practice on your own, with your current combat power, as long as you don't make a fool of yourself, you basically won't have any difficulty killing monsters. We've reached level 30 and need to complete the transfer quest, there's no way to accompany you. Yi Xiao had already raised to more than 20 levels with her and had already delayed quite a bit of time, without her sharing her experience, Yi Xiao and the others could have raised even faster. It would be inappropriate to delay others at this time. You guys do your quests, don't worry about me, I'll just practice leveling by myself. Leave the door at home for you guys, when I go back to prepare meals for you, remember to go home. This was why little green little spirit liked Ni Yun. Every day when they went home, the food was really manageable, with Ni Yun around, they could eat enough every day and never go hungry. After sending Ni Yun away, Yi Xiao began to check up on his transfer quest. Second transformation quest. Quest requirement, kill three level 30 bosses, each boss is limited to once. Time, unlimited. Three level 30 bosses, if it was an ordinary person, they would definitely have to release the quest and seek a group. But for Yi Xiao, this transfer quest was too simple. Although the quest requirements more or less limited his play, otherwise he would have directly guarded the corpse skeleton king here and completed the transfer quest within half an hour. Kill the skeleton king first, then look for the remaining two bosses. Little green, little spirit, go. Previously, with Ni Yun around, Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling hadn't utilized their strength at all. Now that there were only the three of them, they didn't need to hide, little Qing directly manifested her own body. With one wing, she brought Yi Xiao to the skeleton king's territory. The five minute refresh time arrived. The copy was reset again. The densely packed skeleton squad once again appeared in front of the three. Behind the skeleton squad, a skeleton king that was 50 meters tall and holding a dozen meters long machete was flashing a ghostly green light in its eyes, just staring at them. 
For some reason, when it saw Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing, it inexplicably felt a chill. But the strong sense of territory quickly dispersed this feeling, trespassing into its skeleton king's territory was looking for death. Kill. The skeleton king lifted his arm and waved, the machete in his hand emitting a biting cold light. The skeleton monsters that got the order set up their formation and approached towards the three of them step by step. Skeleton Air Force, Skeleton Army. The two squads set up a formation to kill towards them. This call to arms is truly unrivaled, but unfortunately, you have met me. Little green, little spirit, first settle the mole crickets. Xiao Cheng lifted her wings and soared, at this moment she was the king of the air, wherever she went, not a single skeleton could resist. In just one move, hundreds of skeletons were pierced by the astral wind, their bodies falling to the ground like meteors. Ding, congratulations on killing the skeleton minor general, experience plus zero. Ding, congratulations on killing the skeleton general, experience plus zero. Ding, congratulations on killing the skeleton general, experience plus zero. As expected, if he didn't complete the transfer task, he wouldn't give any experience, but it didn't matter, he wasn't that bad at this point. Little spirit, it's your turn to perform. Xiao Cheng easily decimated a group of skeletons, and Little Spirit was naturally not willing to show weakness. Sea Dragon Roll. Little Spirit gently stomped his foot, and a dozen Sea Dragon Rolls appeared out of thin air, directly killing the charging skeleton generals and tearing them to pieces. Ding, kill. Ding, killed. Without any experience as well, Little Spirit easily decimated the skeletons on the ground. Now there was only one boss left in the Skeleton King. As long as he solved the Skeleton King and then two more, his transfer mission would be complete. Checking attributes. Skeleton King, boss, transfer one third. Level, 30. Strength, 1300. Agility, 1278. Endurance, 1189. Spirit, 980. PS, transformation quest, attribute enhancement. This boss attribute, a bit intentionally targeted, if not for the fact that he was in possession of two divine pets, this boss attribute, unless it was a second turn powerhouse, it would be difficult to kill even in a group. This monster attribute has been enhanced, although it's not as good as you guys, but be careful, don't get hurt. Little green little spirit glanced faintly at the skeleton king. It was indeed a little stronger than the previous skeleton king, but it was just a little. Which one of us will come? I'll do it, it's just a matter of a moment anyway. You do it then. The two of them weren't too interested in anything without experience, and with such a monster, it wasn't enough for the two of them to share. As an elder sister, she more or less had to promote the spirit of humility and directly transformed into a human form to stay by Yi Zhao's side to protect it. As for little spirit, she walked towards the skeleton king step by step. Roar! The Jinhai Xuanwu let out a roar to the sky, and the entire copy showed signs of collapsing. See burial. Little spirit stomped her foot, and a huge round of spells appeared directly under her feet as seawater gushed out in a steady stream. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton king was wrapped up. Burial. Click 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 click. The skeleton king couldn't even raise a thought of resistance, and under the tearing of the seawater again, it directly turned into powder. Congratulations on killing the skeleton king, experience plus zero. Transformation quest progress, one third. Congratulations on obtaining props, skeleton king's crystal core. Congratulations on obtaining skill book, skeleton king's crystal core. Congratulations on obtaining the skill book, skeleton summoning technique. Congratulations on obtaining equipment, skeleton king's great sword, skeleton king. Although there was no experience, the rewards were still quite a lot, a crystal core, a skill book, and a bunch of equipment. It's difficult, but the rewards are quite generous, especially this skill book, it should be an advanced skill. The crystal core material was directly packed and given to Xiaoyan Ro, the equipment that was useful was equipped, and the useless ones were directly sold when they left this place. Check the skill book. Skeleton summoning technique. Consume magic power, summon three battle skeletons, death can be resummoned, skeleton level is equal to the summoner. P.S. Can wear equipment, can learn skills, 100% loyalty. Worthy of being a high level skill book, the effect is just strong. Moreover, this skeleton summoning skill would continue to improve as he leveled up. 3 level 30 skeleton beaters that ignored pain and weren't afraid of death. Who wouldn't want such beaters? Skeleton summoning technique. Click. 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 With a wave of Yi Zhao's hand, 3 small spells appeared on the ground and 3 skeletons drilled out from the spells. Skeleton warrior, attribute, warrior. Flying Skeleton, Attribute, Warrior. Skeleton Mage, Attribute, Mage. Three skeletons with completely different attributes, the land, sea and air were all occupied, there was no dead space at all. Not bad, not bad, these three little guys are a bit interesting. Put on the equipment. After throwing the unwanted equipment to them, the combat power of the three skeletons was strengthened again, and the three of them together could at least exterminate a level 30 elite squad. 
Little green little spirit, the boss has been resolved, it's time to leave. Good. At the entrance of the replica, the two guards greeted Yi Xiao familiarly. After all, during this period of time, only Yi Xiao was the only one who came to the replica to clean up the monsters, without the harassment of the monsters, their work was much easier. Brother, today's quest is completed? Finished, from now on this place will be handed over to you guys, I won't be coming. After hunting for such a long time, the skeletons had been controlled to a certain extent, as long as someone came to hunt every day, the previous situation would not occur again. Brother, why don't you come? Yi Xiao came every day, suddenly not coming, their brother was still a little uncomfortable. It doesn't help me much anymore, and with the problem solved, the copy can be opened normally, such a good place to practice leveling, it can't be left to me alone. Okay, I still have things to do, so I'll leave first. Patting the shoulders of the two, Yi Xiao left the copy. By the way, he submitted the quest, which was an unlimited quest that the god of the underworld war had released to him alone, and he could submit the quest every day to mix up some contribution points. Congratulations on completing the mission of clearing the skeleton abyss, rewarded with 1000 contribution points. Citizen level up, level 7. After Yi Xiao submitted the quest up, the spectral god of war, who was far away in the imperial city, also received the message. This kid, after dragging it hard for more than a month, he finally gave up and completed it. If he gathers my wool again, I'll have to make a trip myself. The underworld war god let out a laugh without any good humor, Yi Xiao's contribution points could be provided by him out of his own pocket, being wool gathered by Yi Xiao for a month, even he was a little bit of a meat ache. However, it was good that Yi Xiao was sensible and knew to complete the mission. Check the mission record. The special quests that he received, the background would automatically record his quest progress. Skeleton King, boss kill 1357 of them. Skeleton Minor Monsters, kill 38,760,000. When the Underworld War God saw Yi Xiao's battle results, he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. This amount was not a difficult task for him. But it was important to realize that Yi Xiao hadn't been successful in his transfer for much longer, and before that, he was only a level 10 little guy. To be able to traverse the entire skeleton abyss at level 10, it was evident that he was powerful. Wait, why did this guy pick this time to submit his quest? He doesn't want to go and abuse the vegetables. This timing was stuck too well, there were only two days before the National League, submitting a mission at this time, he had to doubt Yi Zhao's purpose. Spectral War God, how many levels are there? Just after submitting the mission, the Spectral War God sent a message. After all, it was the one who cared for him, a special reminder should still be set. So as soon as the Spectral War God message came over, Yi Xiao replied directly. Yi Xiao, kid is gifted and stupid, barely upgraded to level 30, and is completing the transfer quest, Spectral God of War. The Spectral War God's entire being was bad, barely upgraded to level 30 in over a month's time. What is there to be embarrassed about in this Nima, if this is a natural talent that is stupid, then the whole country, no, the whole world is stupid. Underworld Warlord, you kid submitting a mission now, you don't want to participate in the National League. Yi Xiao, eh? Right, I almost forgot about the National League, thanks to the god of the underworld for reminding me, I will definitely participate as scheduled, and I will definitely not disgrace you. Underworld War God. Is that what he means? The National League that was a competition set up for all high school students to test their progress over this period of time. Although Yi Xiao was also a high school student, he was clearly not on the same level as the other students. He was now level 30, and with his strength, he would definitely be able to easily complete the transfer quest in the next two days. At that time, he would be a second turn powerhouse. The second turn and the first turn, that is an absolute gap, and then add two divine pets, that is not pure bullying. Underworld Warlord, the National League is a competition set up for high school students across the country, a competition set up to test them. Yi Xiao, I know, I'm a high school student too. Why couldn't this guy understand what he was saying? It's not like he didn't know the situation Yi Xiao was talking about, but this competition would lose its meaning if Yi Xiao was let go. Him going is just abusing vegetables, instead of that, it would be better to just award the first place to him. Underworld War God, I recognize your strength, you don't need to participate in this type of tournament anymore. What kind of person was Yi Xiao, he wouldn't let go of the eagle without seeing the rabbit. Although what the god of the underworld war had said made sense, it did not dampen his determination to participate in the competition. After all, as long as it was a competition, there was definitely a reward for that first place. To make him give up the first place reward for no reason at all was more or less inappropriate. Yi Xiao, thanks for the affirmation of the spectral god of war, but I think I'm still almost interesting, I still need to hone my skills more, it's better to participate. The god of the underworld war on the opposite side of the chat box was about to be infuriated, he really didn't know if Yi Xiao was really confused or pretending to be confused again. Underworld war god, 
You don't want to participate, it's not fair to the others, you participate that's not just abusing vegetables, why don't I just award the first place to you? The spectral war god had said so, what reason did Yi Xiao have to refuse? Yi Xiao, thanks to the god of the underworld, I'll take the first place, but don't forget the first place reward, pack it up and mail it to me, thanks. Yi Xiao stated his purpose. The underworld war god instantly realized, no wonder this guy always wanted to participate in the national league, the feeling was for the first place reward. This little guy. After sighing, the underworld war god still decided to give the first place reward to Yi Xiao. If he didn't give the reward, there was a high possibility that this guy would really go to the national league and have him participate, that would affect the balance too much. Anyway, this thing was originally going to be given to him, and he's also reached the time to transfer, it's just right to take it now. Underworld war god, you kid blackmailed me, forget it, the first place will definitely be yours if you participate, let's just pretend you're the first place, I've sent you the rewards. Sent the prepared rewards together to Yi Xiao. Ding, the god of the underworld has sent a mail, please pay attention to it. Yi Xiao was only joking with the underworld war god, but he did not expect that he would actually take it seriously and send him the first place reward. Since he had sent it, he would receive it, he could not apologize to the god of underworld war for his thoughts. Yi Xiao, thanks to the underworld war god, I've received my feelings, I won't be participating in the competition. After the two ended their conversation, Yi Xiao began to check the first place reward. Extraction. Advanced alchemy props, first order strength talisman, first order agility talisman, first order endurance talisman, first order spirit talisman, alchemy props, and still advanced alchemy props. This was definitely not an unusual item. There are only a few advanced alchemists in the whole of China. And just by listening to the name, it's not a simple prop. View. First order power charm. Advanced alchemy prop. After using it, the power is permanently increased by 30 points. P.S. You can use the prop 5 times per transfer. Worthy of being an advanced alchemy prop, it refreshed Yi Zhao's 3 views. Once can increase 30 points of fixed attributes, each transfer can be used 5 times. This was not an extra 100 points of fixed attributes for nothing. This is equivalent to having one more piece of superb equipment than the same rank. What are you waiting for if you don't take it? Giving it to Xiao Chang and the girls, they couldn't see much of a change, after all, their attributes were about to break 10,000. Adding so many extra 30 points wouldn't affect anything, but adding it to him would be different, directly doubling his combat power. Take. Ding, take the strength talisman, agility talisman, endurance talisman, and spirit talisman, and each attribute will permanently increase by 30 points. Strength, 403 to minus 433. Agility, 422 to minus 452. Endurance, 407 to minus 437. Spirit, 427 457 spirit. Not bad, not bad, a big increase in attributes. After leveling up to level 30, not counting the attributes of the shared beast pet were on the verge of breaking through to 500. Unfortunately it's just too little, if only it could be pulled right up to the full level, when the time comes the transfer attributes will increase even more. Each transfer will increase 25 on the basis of the original attributes, the stronger the attributes before the transfer, the more the attributes will increase after the transfer. People don't have a face, the world is invincible, for the sake of their own development, it's nothing to have a thicker skin. Yi Xiao, Spectral God of War, this prop is quite good. As soon as Yi Xiao's message came over, the Spectral War God guessed his intentions. This was treating him as an ATM, giving a set of high-level alchemy props, and surprisingly, he was still not satisfied. Spectral War God, I know, it's really quite good. The Underworld War God didn't even pick up on his words, he just went along with whatever Yi Xiao said. Isn't it good to be a little more sincere, to think that you've started to play a setup with me? It was also that he didn't know where to find a high-level alchemist for refining props, or else he definitely wouldn't have opened this mouth with the underworld war god. Yi Xiao, straight up, where else can I get these props, I want to pull full attributes. Underworld war god, want? I don't have any more, these props are very difficult to refine, and the success rate is very low, if you want to, wait for the global league to start, go, and find it yourself. The god of the underworld didn't have any extra props on hand for him. The only way to pull up his attributes was to go to the global league. The global league was a global tournament, and on the day the tournament opened, a large replica would open for a month. At that time, anyone who was willing to participate in the competition would be able to enter the replica and hunt. There are countless monsters and bosses in the replica, and the replica will open up different spaces according to the level of the humans. The first turn has a first turn hunting range, the second turn has a second turn hunting range, the strength of each other will not be too different. Humans can cooperate in the copy hunting boss, through the hunting boss to get rich rewards, equipment, props, materials, only think of, there is no inside does not have. 
Of course, how much chance there is how much danger, copy boss is only part of the danger, the real danger is still from the people around. The human heart is treacherous, in front of the reward, human nature appears to be very powerless, backstabbing things happen from time to time, the real danger and chance to coexist. Without a little bit of heart means, in the end will only become someone else's stepping stone. Underworld warlord, so, are you going to participate? It's dangerous, it's really dangerous, if you're not careful, you'll perish. Anyway he looked at it, he felt that the spectral war god was luring him to participate. Was he, Yi Xiao, someone who was afraid of danger? Just kidding. In front of absolute power, this danger is nothing. Yi Xiao, not participating, thanks for the reminder. Underworld war god. Yi Xiao did not follow common sense off, in previous years, students who were so stimulated by him would basically choose to participate. This year, Yi Xiao was the most certain student, how come he didn't participate? In previous years, China's performance in the Global League was not good, this year he also intended to let Yi Xiao participate, to fight for the glory of China. The god of the underworld, what if I have to let you take part in it? The first time I saw him, I was able to get a little bit of a favor from the god of the underworld before Yi Xiao agreed to do it with satisfaction. Even if the god of the underworld war did not give him a reward, he was also going to participate, the Global League, the copy that opens up has more experience and more rewards, only a fool would not participate in it. Little green, little spirit, go home for dinner. It was getting late, today had also risen to level 30, and also hunted a boss, it was already enough. The remaining two bosses, it wouldn't be too late to wait until tomorrow to hunt them. The following day. All those who aren't from my DYS guild, evacuate, this place has been chartered by my DYS, if anyone comes near, shoot on sight. Outside sea city, on the outskirts of a monster killing site. The DYS guild's people stopped all the transitioners who were preparing to kill monsters and upgrade. The attitude was extremely arrogant and the behavior was very rough. No matter if they were men, women, or children, they were all blocked at the periphery. Aren't you guys being too overbearing like this? We're not robbing your monsters either. We're just passing through here and going somewhere else to kill monsters and upgrade. That's right. We're just passing by. It won't affect you guys killing monsters. You guys can't be so overbearing. In the face of the crowd's protests, the DYS guild's people just glanced at them lightly and snorted disdainfully. Passing through? Then leave another day, DYS is occupying this place today, no one is allowed to enter. Being blocked by the DYS guild's people, a group of people were annoyed. The ordinary people practiced leveling by grasping every second, so they couldn't delay their own upgrades because of them. They still had to live off of beating materials. Aren't you guys being too overbearing, we're all from Hai Chang, you'll cause public anger like this. That's right, it's not like we're robbing monsters, you guys are being too overbearing. Besides, I'm going to Monster Mountain to kill monsters. There's only so much road I can take, how am I going to make a detour? Everyone protested, but the DYS people just looked at them so quietly, their bodies still blocking the crowd, just not letting them pass. The DYS guild people are too overbearing, are we just going to let them bully us? Is there any king's law left? Make a move together, let's break through first, I don't believe they dare to make a move against us. A voice suddenly came out from the crowd. No one knew who said it, but what was said did have three points of truth. That's right, why should a DYS guild stop us from upgrading? We have to live too, breakthrough. That's right, they don't care if we live or die, why should we give them face, breakthrough. A group of people were clamoring there, making a gesture to break through the DYS blockade and break into the leveling place. Exterminating dragon flame. Swish swish swish. A streak of flames broke through the air and rushed straight at the transmogrifier who broke through the barrier. Not good, quick defense. The flames covered a wide area, directly enveloping everyone present. Luckily, although the flames had a wide range, their power was still close and the people present still had some strength, so they defended with all their might and still managed to resist the attack. After cancelling out the attack, the crowd looked at the DYS people in disbelief. This was something they didn't expect, the DYS people actually dared to attack them indiscriminately. A bunch of trash. The people of DYS glanced at the crowd with disdain. This attack is just a warning, anyone who dares to take another step forward will die. The crowd unanimously took two steps back. Just now, the DYS guild's people had proved that they dared to make a move. If they continue to move forward, they might actually dare to kill with their hands. As for resisting, forget it, they currently didn't have the guts. Don't look at the number of people they had, but in front of the DYS guild, they still weren't enough to look at. There were so many experts just guarding the outer perimeter, not to mention the inside, where all of DYS's experts were definitely present. Once there was a conflict, the people inside would rush out and use self-defense against them. This was not the inside of High City, even if they were killed, no one would do anything for them. The crowd dared to be angry, but could only watch as the DYS people blocked off the outer road. That, I want to ask, is there a boss in here? Just at this time, Yi Xiao walked out from the crowd. 
He had started searching for the boss early in the morning, and seeing so many people assembled here, he thought that there was a boss present here. If there was a boss, then it would be perfect and the second boss of the transfer quest would be considered complete. Hearing Yi Zhao's voice, the crowd turned their heads to look over without saying a word. Awesome. One word. Seeing Yi Zhao's face, the crowd could not help but sigh. But handsome is handsome, but it can't be eaten as a meal, and a handsome man also needs to distinguish between occasions ah. At this time all the swords were drawn, he even ran out to ask if there was a boss. The I can see, this is definitely a wild boss and ah, DYS guild big efforts to blockade this place, is to hunt boss. You mentioned boss at this time, this is not purely looking for death. Chairman's order, remove the guards, all people go in to hunt the boss, boss has entered the blood state, speed should be fast. No one paid any attention to Yi Xiao, except for the outer guards, the rest of the people all rushed towards the boss. They spoke without avoiding Yi Xiao and their meaning at all, listening to their words, the inside was indeed killing the boss. Master, we came just in time, inside is killing the boss, and it's already bloodied, saving a lot of effort. What a bunch of good guys, let's go, let's go in and take a look too. DYS ignored Yi Xiao, and Yi Xiao naturally ignored them. What guards, for Yi Xiao it was just air. Bringing Xiao Qing Xiao Ling, he directly bypassed the guards and ran towards the inside. Those who are not afraid of death come every year, why are there so many this year? It's a pity that such two little girls are following such a man and sending them to their deaths for nothing. Just now, the DYS guild's people had already warned them that if they took another step forward, they would attack them. Brothers, do it, there are those who aren't afraid of death barging in. Heavenly Thunder and Earthly Fire. Extinction Dragon Flame. Wind Dragon Scroll. Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing had just stepped in with their front feet when DYS Guild's attack immediately arrived. These guys are really annoying. Xiao Qing glanced at them in disgust. The moment the attack came in front of Yi Xiao, a sword light flashed, shattering all the attacks with a destructive force, the aftermath of the sword light was gone, and it went back towards DYS's people to kill them. Bang bang bang. A large number of DYS's people fell in the past, no one was able to withstand Xiao Qing's strike at all. Ding, is suffering from a malicious attack, can perform self-defense, kill the enemy within 10 minutes, will not be red name. Like this ah? Yi Xiao originally did not want to provoke them, he just wanted to kill the boss. But these guys just met and laid their hands on him. It wasn't like he was a saintly mother. He was never polite to his enemies. What's more, the system had already prompted him that he could defend himself within 10 minutes. Since this was the case. Little Green, go settle the trouble, hurry up, don't delay us from killing the boss. Good. Xiao Cheng instantly comprehended Yi Zhao's thoughts. With a whoosh, it directly disappeared from the crowd. The crowd only saw the sword light in the sky, Xiao Cheng's ghost-like figure subdued everyone. Ah. No. In less than a second, bursts of miserable screams rang out. The gazes of the crowd unconsciously looked towards the DYS guild's people. When they saw the miserable state of the DYS guild, they couldn't help but suck in a breath. One hit killed. None of them were able to escape Xiao Qing's sanction. Dryly, each sword stabbed at their hearts, ending their lives. Killed, killed them all. Who the hell are these three people? How dare they kill DYS guild members? Aren't they afraid of attracting DYS's retaliation? Go would go, hide far away so as not to be implicated. Seeing Xiao Cheng striking out to kill the DYS guild's people, the crowd of onlookers all retreated back a hundred meters for fear of being implicated by Yi Xiao. Looking at their retreating steps, Yi Xiao just snorted with disdain, deserved that they were blocked. A little bit of backbone is not there, not bully them bully who. Hoof. Yi Xiao didn't care doesn't mean Xiao Cheng and the girls didn't care, for this kind of spineless people, they were not favorable at all. Whenever Yi Xiao gave an order, they would directly rush over, in less than a minute, all the spectators present would have to die under her sword. There is no need to bother with them, just finish our own task. N. Giving the crowd a hard blank look, the two followed Yi Xiao's footsteps and rushed towards the boss. Just as Yi Xiao and the others left not a moment later, the people from DYS Guild also reacted. Their people were killed just like that, after so many years, the grave grass of those who dared to do so was three feet high. I didn't expect that there would be someone who couldn't think straight nowadays. Guild channel, attention, attention, three people have broken in, one man and two women have broken in, and our people have been killed. Guild channel, attention all, they killed the guild members and broke in to grab the boss. The guild members who were guarding the periphery hurriedly sent Yi Zhao's message back. Guai Gang, who was waiting for the final evolution of the boss, looked at the news coming from the guild channel and a hint of killing intent flashed in his eyes. Killing his guild's people with the intention of robbing his boss was simply getting tired of living. Yu Gang Long, what's going on here, explain to me, how did our people get killed, and what kind of people are the ones who broke in? Being questioned by the president like this, Yu Gang Long man was confused. After he got the message from the president, he brought his people in, and he was fine when he came. The group of transmigrators were all stopped at the periphery, and no one dared to break in at all. 
How is it that the guild's people were killed just after he arrived? It shouldn't be ah, when I came, all were stopped outside, those goons didn't dare to approach, besides, we left so many people, how could they be killed? It did make sense to say that, although the main force was guarding here, the power of the periphery was also not to be underestimated. One man and two women. How strong of a force would it have to be to instantly kill their people? Will. President, a man and two women, look. All of the people who came here today were from the DYS guild, and three strangers suddenly appeared, and they were also a man and two women, so they were definitely murderers. Good, there is a road in heaven that you don't take, there is no door in hell that you barge in, I would like to see just how strong you are. Hui Gang had absolute confidence in himself, as the president, the strength of the second turn 47 levels, that was not blown out of proportion. Come on, surround them first. It would take some time for the boss to advance, the boss would not leave at this time, it was just time to take advantage of this time and settle Yi Xiao. A group of guild members surrounded Yi Xiao and Xiao Chiang and the girls. For these people Yi Xiao didn't care at all, his eyes were always on the boss. Two-headed crocodile python, in advancement. Overlord level bloodline. Level, 30. Attribute, not finished evolving. An overlord class bloodline boss with a great bloodline, it was no wonder that the DYS guilds people would make such a big deal out of it. It looked like they wanted to capture an overlord grade bloodline boss. It was a pity that Ji Xiao could not let this boss. After searching all morning, he had only found such a boss, and for the sake of his transfer quest, this boss he had to kill. Wait a little for it to finish evolving, when it's done, then kill it. Okay. The trio's gaze was always on the boss, directly ignoring the surrounding DYS guild members. This annoyed them, killing their people and robbing their monsters, and now ignoring them. Too floaty. Guo Gang didn't spoil this stinking problem of theirs, and walked out from the crowd, looking at the three with a scowl on his face. You three scumbags are the ones who killed our guild? Now you still wanna come and rob our guild's boss, you guys are too rampant, you don't put our DYS in your eyes. Yi Xiao turned his head and glanced at Gui Gang. That one meter six little black fatty, to be honest, he really didn't put it in his eyes, if he didn't hear someone yelling, maybe he couldn't even see Gui Gang's existence. You speak again? Yi Xiao's light sentence directly pissed Gui Gang off. Even the big guilds in High City would have to call out President Guo when they saw him, but now Yi Xiao was clamoring with him like this. If this didn't get his face back, who would still put him in their eyes in the future? Kid, you are too arrogant. Arrogant? Yi Xiao sneered and turned his head to Gui Gang. In terms of arrogance how can I compare to your guild? Blocking everyone's way, wrapping up the field to brush the boss, and randomly attacking passersby, shoot on sight. Who exactly are we arrogant, be smart and take your people and get lost, otherwise, shoot on sight. Returning their words as they were, they couldn't take it anymore. The veins on Gui Gang's forehead burst out, itching to kill him with his eyes. Slaughter them for me, chop them up and feed them to the dogs. Although they didn't advocate humans killing each other, no one would care about these things in the wild. As long as they didn't kill within the city, no one would care. That's why Gwa just dared to recklessly let his men take shots at the transmigrants. Kill. The people from DYS guild waved their weapons in their hands and killed towards Yi Zhao's trio. Warriors charged, mages covered, aides added status, and assassins assassinated from behind. The guild was not big and cooperated quite well. Their attacks completely blocked Yi Zhao's retreat. If he wanted to live, he could only resist their attacks. Little scum, today I'll let you know what happens when you offend DYS. DYS guild was able to survive amongst the many guilds, relying on the tacit cooperation between their companions. Once they were surrounded by them, there was basically no possibility of surviving. Looking at Yi Xiao and the others standing still, the corner of Gui Gang's mouth slightly skimmed up as he seemed to have seen the tragic end of Yi Xiao's trio. Is this the only way? So boring. Xiao Ling glanced faintly, unable to raise any interest at all. She had thought that these people could bring her a hint of fun, but now it seemed that she had overthought it. Xuan Wu Earth Shield. With a wave of Xiao Ling's hand, a spell formation appeared at the feet of the three of them, followed by an earth gray shield rising up, firmly protecting the three of them. A steady stream of attacks from the DYS guild members smashed into the Xuan Wu Earth Shield. Unfortunately, it was all in vain as the Xuan Wu Earth Shield easily blocked all the attacks without even a single ripple. How is this possible? Voi Gang's pupils shrank as he looked at the scene in front of him in disbelief. Even he could not block all the members' attacks so easily. But Little Spirit just waved her hand and blocked everyone's attacks with just a shield. Such a defense was definitely not something that an ordinary person could have, Guo Gang knew that DYS had kicked an iron plate this time. And this iron plate he couldn't afford to provoke. Damn it, how could this guy be so strong? He's so strong, why should he grab resources from us, excessive? Guo Gang looked at the Yi Xiao trio with an unwilling face. The raised hand was hesitant to lower it. He did not dare to make a move. If he made another move, he might offend the people to death, and the cost might not be something he could afford. President, continue to make a move? 
Wu Gang's brows were locked, not knowing how to give the order. Seeing that the boss was about to finish evolving, a boss with an overlord class bloodline would likely turn into a saint class bloodline after its evolution was complete. A beast pet with a saint level bloodline would be enough to take them to the next level. But the most important thing right now was to solve the Yishao trio. Kid, I'll give you one last chance, leave here now, I'll forget about what happened, and DYS will be your friend from now on. I have already given you enough face, I hope you won't be ungrateful. Face couldn't be dropped on the ground. Even if he had gone soft, he had to go soft in a hard way, at the very least, he couldn't lose face in front of his men. In his opinion, he had already given enough face to Yi Xiao, a person would know how to choose. Face? Yi Xiao smiled. Is this thing of face given by others? What international joke, this thing of face is earned by oneself. But obviously, Wu Gang had no face to speak of with him. A group of people couldn't even break Xiao Ling's shield, so they had the nerve to say that they were giving him face. Ah little green, go and give them some face, let them know what it means to give face. Understood. Little Chang had long since seen them get impatient. Since they wanted face, then let's reward them with face properly. The long sword in her hand instantly struck out with a whoosh, only the sound of the wind was heard but not seen. Not good, be careful. After all, he was a second turn powerhouse, his reaction speed was still quite swift. It was only a pity that the reaction speed of his men couldn't keep up, by the time they saw Xiao Qing's figure, they had already lost their consciousness, they only felt a heavenly rotation, and they could even see their own bodies standing there. Why am I able to see my own body? This was their last realization, it was just a pity that they would never get the answer. Xiao Qing's sword directly chopped off the heads of a dozen people, and their equipment even exploded all over the place. It was only a pity that the transfer task had not been completed, otherwise these people would have been able to provide quite a bit of experience. Master. Looking at Xiao Qing waving his long sword there, Xiao Ling was also a little itchy, such a good opportunity, if she didn't grasp it, there would be even less for her to do in the future. Master, I also want to go and have fun, sister is quite lonely killing alone, I will go and help sister. Without Yi Zhao's order, she did not dare to act without authorization. If it was because of her recklessness that caused Yi Xiao to be injured, Xiao Qing's sword could decapitate her bastard head. Go go go, be careful. One by one, they were all killers, but they were all enemies, so it didn't matter. Don't worry master, no one can hurt me. After setting up a double shield for Yi Xiao, Xiao Qing rushed out carrying a wolf tooth stick. Xiao Cheng fought like a dancing elf, her movements were ethereal and natural, with a unique beauty. Compared to Little Green, Little Spirit was much simpler and rougher, especially the moment she picked up the wolf fong rod, she was the god of war. Wherever the wolf tooth stick went, there wasn't a single intact head, they were all smashed into pieces by her. Fun, fun, too much fun. The more Little Spirit fought, the more exuberant she became, the wolf tooth club in her hand swung so quickly that no one dared to come close to her within 10 meters. Ding, killed DYS guild member, experience plus zero. Ding, killed DYS guild member, experience plus zero. The beeps kept ringing and the equipment and materials fell to the ground, but unfortunately there just wasn't a little bit of experience. Yi Xiao was here on cloud 9 enjoying Xiao Cheng as they fought, while Guo Gang's heart was dripping blood there. In order to capture this boss, the backbone members of DYS were all here. But now it was slaughtered by Xiao Cheng and Xiao Ling in such a way, how could Guo Gang not be heartbroken? Even if they slaughtered the Yi Xiao trio today, it wouldn't be enough to make up for their guild's loss, and the guild would even be reduced to a third-rate guild as a result. And the culprit for all of this was Yi Xiao. The more he thought about it, the more angry he became, and the more anger burned in his heart. Kid, I'll kill you. Without saying anything, Guo Gang waved his weapon and killed towards Yi Xiao. A second turn powerhouse, his fighting strength was far from what Yi Xiao could compare to. Seeing Guo Gang who rushed over, Yi Xiao did not have a trace of panic and stood there quietly, waiting for Guo Gang's arrival. Bang 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 bang. It had to be said that the attack of a second turn powerhouse was indeed strong, the siege of so many people before had failed to cause the shield to ripple. Now Guo Gang's all out strike had actually caused the shield to create a crack. It's not flawless, kid, offending me DYS, today is your death. Seeing the crack in the shield, a hint of smugness flashed across Guo Gang's face. Raising his hand, he was ready to continue his attack. However, just as his hand was raised, his movement stopped before he could smash it down. It wasn't that his heart had softened, but he didn't dare to move. There was a sword dangling from his left shoulder, and a wolf tooth stick swinging from his right shoulder. Guo Gang was completely unaware of it and had no idea when these two people came to his side. Turning his head sideways to look at the situation of his men, Guo Gang man was dumbfounded. In such a short period of time, the people under his command were all killed. The equipment and materials exploded all over the place, a living person did not stay. How is it possible, how can you guys be so strong? Gui Gang couldn't believe it. The backbone of his guild hadn't lasted more than a minute. Obviously, if he was given three more minutes, he would be able to end Yi Zhao's life. 
Unfortunately, these three minutes would never be realized for him. If they didn't move Yi Xiao, they might still be able to live for a few more minutes, but Gui Gang was unenlightened and insisted on moving Yi Xiao. Then they couldn't be blamed for being merciless, the moves would kill them, and within a minute, everyone would have to die. Master, how to deal with him, do I need to smash him to death with a stick? Wait, wait. This was too ferocious, smashing people to death at the drop of a hat. He is the president of the DYS guild, he hasn't even enjoyed enough of the good times yet, how can he let someone kill him? It was too much of a loss to take his own little life for a boss. Don't kill me, don't kill me, I don't want the boss, the boss goes to you guys, how about we leave it at that? Gui Gang panicked. Yi Xiao looked at him like he was an idiot. Boss? Does it have anything to do with him? Killing him the boss was just as much his own. Xiao Chang, Xiao Ling, is this joke funny? Not funny. Is this guy an idiot? If we kill him, won't the boss be ours all the same? In front of Gui Gang, they just made up such an arrangement. Listening to their choreography, Gui Gang froze, it seemed to make sense. As long as we killed him, the boss would be Yi Xiao's all the same. Wait, just now I was joking, that I can give you all the treasures on my body. Whatever you want, as long as I have it, I can give it to you. Yi Xiao laughed even more happily. How did this brain become the guild leader? Do you think if I kill you, all the things on your body will be mine, do I need your charity? What a fucking point. Saying that to yourself was more or less idiotic. Gui Gang was silent for a moment. Other than that, he didn't have anything worthwhile, and being able to easily exterminate the entire DYS wouldn't care about his little bit of family's belongings at all. Looks like you have nothing to say, Xiao Ling, settle it. Yi Xiao was not a saintly mother, whoever kills someone will always kill them. Just now, Gui Gang didn't think of showing mercy when he laid his hands on him. If it wasn't for Xiao Qing Xiao Ling's strength being better, the one who lost his life would probably be him. So in order not to find trouble for himself in the future, Yi Xiao could only send him to drink tea with King of Hell. Bang. Crisp and loud strike of the wolfsbane. Not even giving Gui Gang the opportunity to regret, a stick down, along with the equipment hat, all smashed into pieces. Full durability directly smashed into broken, only little spirit could do it. Gui Gang's body fell to the ground helplessly, with his death, the entire DYS guild is also considered to exist in name only. Aside from some juniors in the periphery, the backbone of the guild had all been exterminated, and it was believed that it wouldn't take long for DYS to be annexed by other guilds. Clean up the battlefield. In a few moments of effort, the equipment materials on the scene were automatically collected. The materials Yi Xiao teleported to Xiao Yun Rou in a brainwave, these materials were enough for him to use for a while. As for the equipment, with so many people in the DYS guild, there was almost one set of equipment for each person, with nearly 500 loose pieces. The only regret was that none of the people in the DYS guild were very strong, and the vast majority of the equipment on their bodies was silver level general equipment. Only a few people wore gold level equipment, and Gui Gang was equipped with star diamond level equipment. The attributes are too poor to be exchanged for money when the time comes. Even the equipment on Gui Gang's body, he couldn't even look at it, let alone the others, and could only exchange it for money. After cleaning up the battlefield, Yi Zhao's gaze once again looked towards the two-headed crocodile python. At this moment, the two-headed crocodile python had already quietly completed its evolution. If it wasn't for Xiao Qing keeping an eye on it at all times, it might have already escaped. Two-headed crocodile python. Evolution completed, half-saint level bloodline. Rank, 30. Having evolved into a half-saint level bloodline, it still hadn't been able to break through to the saint level after all. If it was able to break through to the saint level, Yi Xiao would still be able to keep it alive today and sell it at a high price to someone who needed it. Unfortunately, half-saint level, in the end, it was difficult to reach the Hall of Fame. Instantly Yi Xiao lost interest in him. You too, who is going to slaughter him? I'll go, little spirit's hand is not light and heavy, it will damage its fur, it can be sold for quite a lot of money. I. Its fur can fill you up at least three times. Before Xiao Ling could retort, Xiao Qing sentence silenced her. Eating enough three times, this problem is serious. Sister, you do it, don't hurt its fur. Xiao Cheng faintly smiled, her feet gently exerted force, and with a swish, she came directly in front of the two-headed crocodile python. Roar! The two-headed crocodile python had been vigilantly looking at Xiao Qing from the very beginning, only that it didn't expect Xiao Qing's speed to be so fast. It had just finished evolving, its fighting strength, and reaction should be the fastest. However, Xiao Qing's sword had pierced into its heart, and it didn't even react. By the time it reacted, a powerful force had already surged into its body, destroying its internal organs. The two-headed crocodile python screamed miserably as its large body slammed heavily into the ground, its life breath fading fast. Ding, killed the boss two-headed crocodile python, experience plus zero. Advancement quest, two of three. Ding, obtained item, crocodile python crystal core. Ding, obtained equipment, crocodile python crystal core. 
Ding, obtain equipment, crocodile python set, star diamond perfection. Ding, obtain equipment, crocodile python set, star diamond perfection. The only thing that caught people's eyes was the star diamond perfect crocodile python suit. Of course, Yi Xiao did not care much about this. What he needed was to complete the advancement quest, the second boss was in his hands, now only one boss was missing, as long as he killed one more, he would have successfully advanced. Little green, little spirit, continue searching for the boss. DYS guild's matter was not on Yi Zhao's mind at all, after killing the boss, he left without caring about their corpses. Not a moment passed. The tragic situation at the scene was discovered in photos of the corpses of the DYS guild members were uploaded to the forums. It can't be, DYS guild is also a prestigious guild in high city, and now it's been destroyed. So tragic, Wu Gang is the most tragic, his head was knocked to smithereens. It's a good death, who let them act so overbearingly, they got what was coming to them, they messed with someone they couldn't afford to mess with. Insider information, the extermination of DYS is a man and two women, at the scene, very young, need photos of private chat. The matter of DYS being exterminated set off a fervor on the forums, everyone was discussing about the one man and two women and speculating about their identities. Unfortunately, no one had been able to investigate the identity of Yi Zhao's trio so far. As for Yi Zhao's trio, they had already found the third boss, and their minds were all on the boss, so they didn't have time to pay attention to the forums. But even if he knew, he didn't care. Boss Phantom Fox. Overlord Bloodline. Level, 30. P.S. Specializes in charm attacks, those with weak wills should run away as soon as possible. Yi Xiao laughed. The system even satirized him, a mere charm attack, it was impossible to charm him. His will was exceptionally strong, Lu Xiaohui had to call him master when he saw him. Little charmed fox is just. Beautiful girl, you are so pretty, come and play with brother. Brother I will love people the most, quickly come over ah. The words were just set out for three seconds, Yi Zhao's eyes started to get mesmerized, his eyes directly turned into a peach shape, with a lewd face, he giggled at the phantom fox. Master is surprisingly good at this. Yes, we are so two beautiful women in front of him, he can hold it, but now he is charmed by a slutty fox. The two just watched quietly. Although Yi Xiao was charmed, there was no danger to his life. Making their master happy was also a responsibility they should do. Just let Yi Xiao be happy for a while inside the world of charm. Luckily, there were no people around and no one knew about his ugly behavior. Yi Xia was just being manipulated by Charmed Fox, immersed in his own world of YY. Xia Qing Xiaoling did not make a move for such a long time, the Phantom Fox thought that they did not care about Yi Xiao's death. After playing for so half a day, it was also tired of playing and decided to kill Yi Xiao. With a turn of its tail, thousands of tail hairs were like steel needles, shooting straight towards Yi Xiao's head. Little Fox, this is a bit too much for you. If the Phantom Fox was honest and let Yi Xiao live a little longer, it could still live a little longer. Unfortunately, this fellow was a bit ungrateful and even wanted to assassinate his master. This they couldn't just stand by and watch. With a wave of Xiao Ling's hand, a shield directly blocked in front of Yi Xiao, and all of the Phantom Fox's attacks were blocked. Little Spirit's sudden strike caught Phantom Fox off guard. Just now, the two of them were clearly standing idly by, how come they were going to make a move now for a good reason? But since they had struck out, they were enemies. The Phantom Fox's eyes flashed with a hint of winks, directly launching a spiritual attack on Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling. Excluding professions that specialized in spiritual power, it would be difficult for ordinary people to resist Phantom Fox's charm attack. Unfortunately, Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling were not human beings, and their spiritual power far exceeded that of ordinary people, so it was simply impossible for the tiny Phantom Fox to charm the two. The charming light smashed into the two, and even the slightest ripple didn't even rise. The little charmed fox's tiny head was filled with big question marks, and seemed to be somewhat puzzled as to how his attack had failed. Little fox, have you had enough? I'm about to strike if you've had enough. Cage of the sea. A spell formation suddenly appeared underneath the phantom fox's feet, and without waiting for it to react, a cage directly enveloped it. Bang bang bang. The phantom fox that reacted began to flee in all directions, but no matter how much it charged, there was no way for it to break free from the cage. Don't struggle, it'll be quick, it's just a matter of a stick. After saying that, Little Spirit's feet exerted force, an instantaneous body came to the side of the phantom fox, and the wolf tooth stick in his hand that was flashing with the aura of death, violently slammed. Bang. With a loud bang, the ground was directly smashed in pieces and opened up, as for the phantom fox, it was even worse than that broken ground. In addition to that puddle of residual blood on the ground, after that, no complete body could be seen anymore. Ding, killed boss phantom fox, experience plus zero. Acquired props, phantom fox crystal core. Gained equipment, charming ring, obsidian extreme. Obsidian extreme grade charmed ring. After hearing the system's beep, Yi Xiao struggled out of the charmed state. It was a bit embarrassing, but fortunately there were no other people around, so no one would laugh at him. 
his will is still firm, today is just an accident, next time will not be charmed. After secretly swearing in his heart, ye shall look towards the charm ring. This was the best equipment he had gotten so far. Obsidian Extreme Equipment. Putting it in the trading market was a priceless existence. He did not expect that the tiny charmed fox would be able to burst out this kind of equipment. Check the attributes. Phantom Ring, Obsidian Extreme. Spirit plus 170, Agility plus 140, Strength plus 70, Endurance plus 70, Magic Recovery plus 15, Skill Hit Effect plus 15. Active Skill, Charm, Cooldown, 60s. P.S. Release a spiritual attack on the enemy, charm the enemy for 1. 5 seconds, during the charm, the enemy will not take the initiative to attack, the more determined the enemy, the weaker the charm effect. Crap. Nagi Shao was uneducated, one sentence of crouching crook went all over the world. After he saw the attributes of the charm ring, he almost bit his tongue off. Just those attributes that were increased were already not comparable to unusual equipment. Not to mention that he also had the active skill, charm the enemy for 1. 5 seconds. With such a strong will he could be charmed, let alone others. Releasing charm once could make the enemy passive for one. Five seconds. One. Five seconds wasn't much, but between masters, zero. One seconds could be the difference between victory and defeat, let alone one. Five seconds. Good thing. What a good thing to equip. Such a good life preserving divine armor. I'm sorry if I don't equip it. Ding. Congratulations on completing the transfer task, whether to carry out the transfer or not. The three bosses had been successfully killed. The transfer task had been successfully completed, and the next step was the crucial moment of the transfer. As long as he completed the transfer, he would be able to continue upgrading. Transmute. As soon as the words fell, a spell formation enveloped Yi Xiao and a warm current began to spread along his body. Yi Xiao clearly felt that his body was getting stronger. Ding, the transfer is successful, congratulations to the host for successfully turning to, physical quality, basic attributes are being enhanced. Boosting successfully. Check the attributes. The transfer was successful, naturally, he wanted to see how strong he had become. Name, Yi Xiao. Occupation, Imperial Beast Master, Second Turn. Beast Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu. Level, 30. Strength, 988. Agility, 963. Endurance, 941. Spirit, 1034. When Yi Xiao saw his attributes after his second turn, he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Attributes are about to break a thousand, the spirit has even broken a thousand. With this attribute, it exceeded the same rank by many times. Of course, this is only the body attributes and equipment, if you add the invisible attributes of the beast pet, now he should be able to break two thousand attributes. Yi Xiao, Elder Underworld, successfully transferred, already turned two, but I'm still too weak, the various attributes are only over nine hundred, only the spirit breaks through one thousand, am I too weak? The underworld god of war who was in a meeting suddenly received a message from Yi Xiao and couldn't help but freeze. Just turn 2 and level 30, the various attributes had already broken through more than 900, and the spirit had even broken through a thousand. This guy is to find himself for Sai right. To no other transmutators, after 3 turns, attributes can only break a thousand, this guy 2 turns on the achievement of other people 3 turns, now even have the nerve to come to him to cry that he is too weak. It's really a damn awe. Underworld war god, okay, got it. Such a glib remark, not paying any attention to him at all ah. How can this be, with such strong attributes, how can he be perfunctorily dismissed with such a sentence? Yi Xiao, Elder Underworld, I'm so weak that I won't be able to contribute to my country in the future, see if there's any method on your side that will allow me to raise my strength, I'm grateful for that. The fox finally revealed his tail. He knew that Yi Xiao reporting news to him for good reason was definitely not as simple as showing off. This was a way to advance as a way to retreat, coming to him to ask for favors. However, Yi Xiao was really worth cultivating, in his knowledge, there was no one in the younger generation that could have such a strong fighting ability as Yi Xiao. Cultivating it now would give back better in the future. Underworld War God, no. Something definitely had to be given, but it couldn't be given so easily, it had to make Yi Xiao remember his favor. Yi Xiao, really? Elder Pantheon, investing in me is not a loss for you. Spectral Warlord, really, no. Yi Xiao, I don't believe it. Pantheon War God. After teasing Yi Xiao for half a day, the god of the underworld war still packaged up the stuff and gave it to Yi Xiao. Pantheon War God, second profession transfer book, take it and hurry up and get out. Pantheon War God. Yi Xiao knew that the god of the underworld war had something good in his hands, and sure enough, after so much pestering, the good stuff arrived. Second profession transfer book. The average person can't get their hands on it, and it's only owned by people at the level of the god of the underworld. Yi Xiao, many thanks to Senior Spectre. After hanging up the connection, Yi Xiao's face was filled with smiles. 
When Yi Xiao was happy, Xiao Chang and the girls were also happy. Congratulations master on your advancement. Times 2. Yi Xiao advanced, they also followed the successful advancement, their combat power directly doubled, and they would be able to better protect Yi Xiao in the future. It's all because of you guys, without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to transfer so fast. Yi Xiao gently caressed the hair of the two. The two had a face of enjoyment and snuggled in Yi Xiao's arms, we can have today, all because of master, master's credit is the greatest. Right right right, it's all because of master, without master there would be no us today. The two of them patted Yi Xiao's horse together, and Yi Xiao was also very flattered, the smile on his face didn't even stop. Alright, don't pat my horse, we don't have to be so clear, master still needs to rely on you guys to protect him in the future. N. With us, master is definitely the safest. Their strength Yi Xiao was convinced, as long as he did not deliberately play dead, then no one would be able to kill him. I believe you guys, the transfer has been successful, I still have a second profession transfer book here. First help master to complete the second profession. Good. After pacifying the two, Yi Xiao directly used the second profession transfer book. Second profession transfer book opens. Open mission, kill one second profession level 50 divine bloodline boss. Crap. The joy of having just succeeded in transferring to a new profession was instantly washed away. No wonder there were so few people who had opened their second profession over the years, it could be said that they were a rare breed. This quest was simply a force to be reckoned with. The second turn level 50 boss had already managed to brush down a large portion of people, and as a result, now there was also the need for a divine bloodline. With these conditions mixed together, the difficulty could be imagined. Even if he had little green little spirit, he wouldn't necessarily be someone's opponent huh, after all, they were all god level bloodlines, no one was weaker than anyone else. No wonder the underworld war god would send this over, he doesn't think I can kill it, but he really looks down on me. Even if I could kill the boss, where would I find this boss? A divine bloodline boss, that was a hot existence, with his news network, this kind of boss wouldn't even be his turn. It seems like we can only trouble the underworld war god again. Imperial City's Conference Room After the spectral god of war transmitted the second profession transfer book to Yi Xiao, he couldn't suppress the smile on his face. After so many years, it was the first time they had seen the spectral war god smile so happily. Spectre, do you know something? Although Hai Cheng DYS guild is a small guild, but it was destroyed by a group of people, we have to pay attention to it, in case it is a secret force. Before they could finish, the underworld war god stopped them. There's no need to investigate this matter. And, everyone looked at the underworld war god in confusion, not knowing what the underworld war god meant by this. Underworld, High City is also considered your hometown, now that your hometown's guild has been annihilated by a group, you're not even investigating it, it's not possible that you and the murderer know each other. If the underworld war god knew each other, then this matter could only be left unsettled. Oh, recognizing, you have an opinion? The underworld war god merely glanced at them, and the crowd fell silent. To go against the underworld war god, other than the few bigwigs above them, they wouldn't dare. There was also a gap between the war gods, and if the underworld war god wanted to clean them up, he could do it with a wave of his hand. No opinion, no opinion, since you recognize the underworld, then we won't pursue this matter, we're just worried that it's the dark forces that are striking out against the humans. Since you recognize it, it should be a minor conflict between them. The underworld war god did not say anything more, just nodded his head, signaling that this matter should be left at that. Yi Xiao was one of his secret cards, and he was still waiting for Yi Xiao to give him a long face. Being missed by these people, then wouldn't Yi Xiao be exposed early? By the way, you guys must not investigate, understand? The tone was still so flat, but his attitude already said it all. If they really investigated this matter, they might annoy the underworld war god. It wasn't worth it to offend the underworld war god over such a trivial matter. It seems like this person has a deep relationship with the underworld war god. As long as it's not a secret power, as for what relationship with the god of underworld warfare, there's no need for us to look deeper into it, it's not worth it to offend the god of underworld warfare for a second-rate guild. A few people looked at each other, and this matter passed. Ding, you have a new message, please pay attention to it. The matters in the meeting were basically all discussed, and at this time, Yi Zhao's message also came through. This kid, really likes to trouble others. After seeing Yi Zhao's message, a smile unconsciously appeared on the spectral war god's face. The crowd looked at the spectral war god's smile and felt more and more that something was wrong. In a meeting, the spectral war god had smiled for an unknown number of times, and they had never seen the spectral war god smile so happily. Spectral War God, your mission is to kill the second turn 50 level divine bloodline boss? When the Spectral God of War saw Yi Xiao's second profession transformation quest, the person was a little confused. He had to know that Yi Xiao had only just turned 2, but as a result, the quest was asking him to kill a turn 2 level 50 divine bloodline boss. 
A second turn 50 level divine bloodline boss should be able to kill a third turn elite squad. However, compared to the quest, he was more concerned about Yi Zhao's second profession. It was important to know that the more powerful the profession, the more difficult the mission would be, knowing that when he had opened his second profession, it was only to kill 10 normal bosses that were equal to his level. Yi Zhao's difficulty was so great that the second profession was definitely not ordinary. After thinking for half a day, there were still no thoughts, not knowing what profession could stand up to such a difficult task. But it didn't matter, after Yi Xiao completed the mission, he would naturally know. If Yi Xiao couldn't complete it, then it was all empty talk. The most important question right now was where to find a turn 2 level 50 divine bloodline boss for Yi Xiao. Wait a minute, there is a turn 2 level 50 divine bloodline boss under the jurisdiction of any of you. There were naturally some within China, but everyone had their own jurisdiction, no matter if it was a copy or a wild boss, it was basically within their jurisdiction. Although he was powerful, this kind of overstepping his authority was something that he should try not to do. After all, we are all China's god of war, head up but no head down, can't guarantee when it will trouble others. Now that there was no boss that met the mission requirements within their own jurisdiction, then they could only go to the jurisdiction of others to take a look. Of course you guys don't worry, I'll give enough compensation, I definitely won't let you guys suffer. Divine level bloodline bosses, every single one of them was a treasure, and humans were still waiting for them to reproduce offspring for human use. After all, it was a god level bloodline boss, every one of them was a super powerful battle force. A second turn 50 level divine bloodline boss, what is your purpose in finding it? The spectral god of war didn't hide it from them either, and said indifferently. The back needs to complete the second profession transformation, and needs to kill a second turn level 50 divine bloodline boss. Second profession? Would it be too late to transfer now, it's a bit of a delay in progress? Indeed it's a bit late, with his current level, he might as well cultivate his first profession at ease. As they heard that the underworld war god was doing it for the sake of his juniors for the sake of his second profession transfer, they couldn't help but open their mouths to dissuade him. It wasn't that they were heartbroken about the boss, being able to make the spectral war god owe a favor by sending a boss with a divine bloodline seemed to make sense. It was just that it was a bit too late to carry out a second profession transfer at this time. They were all people with second professions, so they could roughly estimate the person's strength based on the difficulty of the second profession. The strength of this descendant of the underworld war god was at least at level 50 of the second turn, and it was even possible that he was at level 60 of the second turn, and the third turn was possible. Normally they would choose to open their second profession when they had just turned 2, it was difficult to open their second profession at this time, and they also lagged behind others by a lot. However, this was the private matter of the underworld war god, so there was no need for them to get involved too much. Huang Quan, I remember that there seems to be a second turn level 50 boss on your side. This one on my side won't do, it just finished giving birth, and there are still 3 cubs that need to be nursed, if it's killed, the loss would be too great, you guys should just take a look at the ones in your jurisdiction. Xingfeng, you should have one on your side, and you should have bred quite a few artificial divine beasts, sending one to the underworld war god shouldn't hurt. The green phoenix war god glanced faintly and nodded without refusing. After artificial intervention, I did cultivate a few ferocious beasts with divine bloodlines, but the technique isn't up to par, and the cultivated divine beasts are uncontrollable, so consider this for yourself. The normal divine beasts had all opened up their spiritual intelligence, and there were even some that had reached a cooperation agreement with humans. But this kind of artificially interfered divine beasts were still more or less flawed, their spiritual intelligence was not opened for the time being, and they only knew how to kill, and their combat power even exceeded that of normal divine beasts. I've already passed the location to you, go or not you consider it yourself. The divine beasts of artificial intervention, the underworld war god had also heard a little about it. For the sake of the development of the country of China, for the sake of the power of the imperial beast masters, many powerful alchemists were involved. Just for the sake of letting everyone in the country of China possess divine beasts. Right now, it was already possible to artificially intervene to produce a divine beast, which was a great progress for the country of China, and it was believed that it wouldn't take too long for this technology to succeed. Blazing Flame Heavenly Bird Blazing Flame Secret Realm, Yen City, Location, 111. 111. After receiving the address transmitted by Ching Feng, the underworld war god nodded his head to indicate that he knew. If there's nothing else I'll leave first, let me know when you're going to Yen City and I'll go with you. It wasn't that the spectral war god was uneasy. After all, even real divine beasts weren't necessarily a match for the spectral war god, let alone an artificially interfered divine beast. She was just curious as to what kind of person would be able to make the underworld war god wipe off his face to beg for an errand. All disperse, it's fine. After resolving the issue of the underworld war god, Dietzan gave an order and everyone left the conference room. Only those close to the underworld war god were left behind. Big brother, 
What kind of person is it that deserves you to personally open your mouth and make you voluntarily owe a favor, it shouldn't be an ordinary person. The spectral war god glanced at Shura beside him. This was the little brother that he had brought up with his own hands, and his loyalty did not need to be considered at all. Even after becoming a war god, he still followed his ass with big brother long and short. You'll meet him soon, his talent is the strongest I've ever seen, as long as he doesn't die, his future achievements will be higher than mine, and he might even break through the limits. What kind of person was the underworld war god? The number one person in talent for a hundred years, he had never seen him compliment a junior so much. They didn't expect this to come from within the mouth of the underworld war god. Crap, what am I hearing, this is what my big brother said. Impossible, absolutely impossible, big brother's talent crowns the ancient world, absolutely no one can surpass you. The underworld war god shook his head, he didn't want to admit it either, but this was the truth. To be able to master two great divine beasts in the first turn, and just after the second turn, the difficulty of the quest reached that of a third turn powerhouse. This talent was definitely not something he could compare to. He just turned two today. What's wrong with second turn, second turn, second turn? Big brother what did you say? Shura just wanted to retort two sentences, and froze at once. Just turn two today. No, no, the difficulty of that second career is obviously the difficulty of a third turn powerhouse. How could it be something a little guy who just turned two be able to accomplish? Just turn two today, and the second career quest is also something I just gave him. Crap. Shura didn't know what to say for a moment. He wasn't a fool and naturally knew what this represented. Having just turned two, the difficulty of the second profession had reached that of a third turn powerhouse. This talent. It was indeed stronger than the underworld war god, stronger than all the war gods present. The talent is indeed unmatched, but can he, a second turn level 30, be a match for the boss? Even if it was an artificially bred divine beast, it was still a level 2 turn 50, and its combat power was no worse than normal. Who knows, what if he kills it, there is still that possibility. For Yi Zhao's talent, the underworld war god was very sure, but whether or not he could accomplish the mission, it was all up to him. Interesting, interesting, big brother, bring me along, I also want to meet this little guy. It was surprisingly possible for a second turn level 30 to kill a second turn level 50, he believed that the underworld war god wouldn't take his word for it. Since he said so, it proved that it was truly possible for Yi Xiao to complete the mission. If that was really the case, then it would be a bit heaven defying, the talent combat power was double perfect, and he would be sorry if he didn't see it. Go or not go as you please, anyway it's in Yan City. Go, why not go, in case this little guy can really grow up in the future, I am also considered to hold the thigh, close to the water tower first get the moon, mix a familiar face is also good. Although there is a funny component in, but Xiu Luo said is not unreasonable. Now in Yi Xiao mixed a familiar face, in the future it is not allowed to hold the thigh. Sea City. Yi Xiao, who had not received any news from the underworld god of war, came to the trading market and sold the useless equipment on his body. Cheng Hui, make up a hole, a total of 38 million. No problem. Yi Xiao is also an old patron, the price aspect of understanding are similar, these equipment almost down on these money. After all, they are all DYS skilled rags equipment, to be able to sell these money, the store is also considered a conscience. More or less, we have to let other stores make a little money. No problem, just go by the price you got. Deal. After selling the equipment and skills, Yi Xiao was also considered to have a small amount of savings, and in a few days time, he was already close to 10 small goals. Now eating instant noodles can put at least one sausage in two eggs. Ding, you have a new message. Just after selling off the useless things in his hand, the message from the god of the underworld came through. God of the underworld, blazing flame mystery realm in Yen Chang, location 111. 111, 5 p.m., see you there. When he received the message from the god of the underworld, the corners of his mouth were grinning up to his ears. He knew that the underworld war god wouldn't let him down. This was the power of connections. If he had to search on his own, he wouldn't have been able to find a level 50 divine bloodline boss. Now only need to send a message to the god of the underworld, the god of the underworld will help him find a good. The key was that the god of the underworld was going to personally escort him. After all, the target of the mission was a level 50 divine bloodline boss, and he really didn't have a clue in his heart. Although little green and little spirit were very strong, they wouldn't necessarily be a match for the boss. As for him, it would be even more of a gift. Now, with the god of underworld war personally escorting him, even if he wasn't an opponent, his life was still guaranteed. The greatest sorrow of people is that they have no more people and no more money to spend. Go, 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 spend money, arm yourself, battle power pull full before. Boss, buy equipment, obsidian level equipment take a look. This, and this, I'll take these two. Obsidian cloak. Attributes, strength plus 230, agility plus 340, endurance plus 140, 
Spirit plus 220, Blast plus 23, Spellcasting speed plus 17, Skill, Stealth. P.S. Using this skill, you can hide your breath and figure for 30 minutes. Obsidian 5 speed shoes. Attributes, Strength 170, Agility 370, Endurance 220, Spirit 170, Attack speed 19, Strike damage 30. Skill, Blinking. P.S. Using the equipment skill, you can flash forward a distance of 100 meters, cooldown time 30 seconds. Just so too ordinary not too good equipment, almost did not empty his family background. However, it also added a little bit of life-preserving ability for the two of them, making it safer to deal with the boss. One for each of you two, little green, your cloak, little spirit, your shoes. Let's go, set off for Yen City. After putting their equipment on, the three of them set off in the teleportation array. After paying the expensive teleportation fee, the three of them smoothly arrived at Yen City. Not to mention, although this teleportation array was a bit expensive, it was safe and fast. In less than 10 minutes, they arrived at Yen City from Sea City. Looking at the time, there were still several hours left, and the three of them had been working hard all morning and had yet to eat lunch. Let's go, eat, only when we are full will we have the strength to do battle. The only thing that can't be beat is good food. Hearing that Ji Xiao was going to take them to eat, the two of them were in high spirits, and there was a light in their eyes. Stir fry a book. Yi Xiao also did not have a hotel in Hua Huayan City. Of course the main reason was because the buffet in the hotel could not satisfy the two of them's appetite anymore. Both of their mouths were now very tricky, not tire 3 star level or above couldn't satisfy them. After draining the remaining money from Yi Xiao, tire 3 stars also successfully closed down. After all, the meals they prepared were all consumed by Xiao Qing Xiao Ling. After eating and seeing that it was almost time, the three of them set off according to the address given by the underworld war god. They managed to arrive at the Blazing Flame Secret Realm before 5 o'clock. The location of the Blazing Flame Secret Realm is surprisingly in a volcanic crater. Master, be careful, this place is very weird, and it gives me a very dangerous feeling. N. Little Spirit's frown deepened, the environment here made her very uncomfortable, it felt like the moisture inside her body had been vaporized. Master be careful. Just as the two were observing their surroundings, a ball of flame smashed down out of nowhere, landing just in front of Yi Xiao. The two who sensed the danger did not hesitate, Xiao Ling's two shields firmly protected Yi Xiao. Xiao Chang, on the other hand, entered a fighting state, as long as someone appeared, she would cut them down with a thunderous force. Good reaction speed, no wonder Spectre was able to look at you. The flames slowly dispersed, and a silhouette slowly walked out from the flames. Little fellow, the person who regimentally destroyed the DYS guild should be you, have you thought about how to die? The person from DYS guild? Yi Xiao narrowed his eyes and stared straight at Qing Feng. Identify. Not enough authority to inquire. Appraisal was surprisingly unable to appraise Qing Feng's attributes. This proved that Qing Feng's strength was far beyond with him. The DYS guild unexpectedly had such a powerful backhand. But it didn't matter, the person had already been killed and the guild had already been destroyed, since they dared to do it, they weren't afraid of someone finding them. Little green, little spirit, battle status. If you want to fight, I will fight. At Yi Zhao's command, Little Green and Little Spirit were about to manifest their own bodies and engage in a life and death duel with Qing Feng. Qing Feng, you passed. Just as Yi Xiao and the others were about to make their move, a black mist appeared out of thin air and the figure of the underworld war god slowly appeared. After seeing the spectral war god appear, Qing Feng shrugged his shoulders and retreated to the side. It's no fun, I was just about to tease him, spoiling the fun. Looking at the tone of Qing Feng's speech with the underworld war god, it was obvious that Qing Feng was not his enemy. Yi Xiao could not help but let out a sigh of relief, after all, he was not really sure that he could survive a powerful existence that could not even be identified by the appraisal technique. Elder Underworld. N. Nodding slightly at Yi Xiao, he signaled, but his gaze was fixed on Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling. Worthy of being a divine beast, it is indeed powerful. As a war god powerhouse, this point of eyesight was still there, and with a glance over, he could feel the power within Little Green and Little Spirit. The two of them were still not fully grown, when the two of them grew up, it would be enough for Yi Xiao to traverse this world. Elder Underworld, who is this? Green Phoenix War God. Green Phoenix War God, no wonder she cannot be identified. The Green Phoenix War God was also a famous war god in China, and like him, she was a royal beast master, with a combat power no worse than that of the spectral war god. I didn't expect that this time, she would be alarmed together, and with two war gods escorting him, that transformation was basically secure. Then Senior, let's. Yi Xiao was a little impatient wanting to go in and kill the boss to complete the second profession quest. After all, after opening the second profession, he would be able to continue upgrading, right now, although he could also upgrade, but the free attribute points given were too little. If he could transfer to the second profession, 10 more free attribute points would be given, so that his attributes could be maximized. 
This was also why many transmuters would choose to open their second profession when they had just turned two. Wait a moment, there's another person coming, when he comes, let's enter the blazing flame secret realm together. There's someone else? My god, this is the emperor's treatment, isn't it? To be able to make the underworld war god wait, that status would definitely not be lower than the underworld war god ah. At the very least, it had to be a war god powerhouse. He admitted that a second turn level 50 god bloodline boss was very strong. But it couldn't possibly be a match for a war god even if it was stronger. And with three war gods at once, how strong must this boss be? He was even a little skeptical that the underworld war god was using him as bait and had ulterior motives for him. Coming. Just as Ji Xiao was having doubts, a voice broke through the air. It was immediately followed by a loud sound of a large earthquake cracking. There was no floating of the green phoenix war god or the weirdness of the underworld war god, there was only the bravado of a true man. Complete and utter violent aesthetics, the way it landed was so different, this smash almost didn't smash through the volcano. Boss, safe landing. The underworld god of war rolled his eyes in dismay, but he was clearly used to this way of landing for Shura. After so many years, he couldn't even change it, it was kind of Shura's style. Yo, there are beauties, two beauties, where are they from, do they have an object? Get to know each other, how about adding a contact? After landing, Xiao Luo saw Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling beside Yi Xiao at a glance. A lewd old face directly came over, as for Yi Xiao, it was normal to be ignored by Xiao Luo war god. Scram! Having lost his face to Yi Xiao, the underworld war god went up and kicked Shura directly. Going fast and coming back fast. Shura war god was like a dog's leg, respectfully waiting at the side of the underworld war god. Boss, give some face, will you, I'm a war god and you're still kicking my ass. Don't be humiliated. Alright. Tidying up his collar, Shura war god came back to Yi Xiao's side. Little guy, you are the good seedling that the boss values? It's not bad, quite handsome, and just a bit closer than me. Keep working hard, you might catch up to me in the future. For Shura war god's thick skin, Yi Xiao could only smile. This rough and lewd uncle's face, completely not linked to handsome awe. However, at least he was a war god powerhouse, so he more or less had to give three thin faces. Thanks for the compliments senior Shura, I. Okay, too vulgar, what senior not senior, I see you kid is good, in the future, you just call me an old brother. With a single sentence, the Shura war god drew closer to Yi Xiao. Don't look at him as a big talker, his vision was still very good. The first time he saw Yi Xiao, he knew that he was not a pool animal and would definitely be the best human in the future. Now first pull a good relationship, let him call him old brother, in the future, he could still not support him. Yi old brother, introduce these two beauties to old brother for me to get to know. Xiao Qing, Xiao Ling. For simple words, no unnecessary introductions. Shura blinked his big eyes and just looked at Yi Xiao, introducing people didn't introduce them like this. More or less should be introduced occupation, level, especially hobbies and interests, there is no marriage in this regard. This kid's emotional intelligence needs to be improved ah. Ye old brother. Alright, since everyone has arrived, let's set off. Not giving the Shura war god a chance to speak at all, the underworld war god lifted his neck and turned around to leave. Everyone had their own secrets, and it would be impolite to pry any further. Qingfeng, open the secret realm. Qingfeng nodded and took out the secret realm key, the entrance to the secret realm was on the crater, throwing the key inside the crater, a teleportation array appeared out of thin air. Qingfeng war god spectral war god took the lead and stepped into the secret realm, cultivator war god and Yi Xiao and the three of them followed closely behind. Blazing flames secret realm. It's hot, master, take me back into the imperial beast space first, I'll come out when I need to fight. Just after stepping into the blazing flame secret realm, a heat wave enveloped the crowd. The secret realm had already been baked by the heat wave to the point where the ground was cracked, and as far as the eye could see, there wasn't a single surviving plant. Little Spirit was even more sensitive to this kind of environment, and this kind of environment made her very uncomfortable, so she could only stay in the Imperial Beast space first. Come back. Little Spirit disappeared with a swish, and apart from Cultivator, Spectre and Qingfeng obviously already knew what was going on, so they didn't make a big fuss about it. She. She. Did she say. Crikey. The cultivator god of war wasn't a fool and instantly understood. No wonder when Yi Xiao was introduced before he only had the name, the feeling that this was someone's beast pet. The thought that he just had to talk about love with a beast pet, that face was bashful. Brat, you even didn't remind me of this, causing me to make such a big fool of myself. Yi Xiao just laughed and scratched his head and did not say anything more. As for the joke? That was impossible, little green little spirit looked really pretty, it was hard for those who saw it not to be moved. Alright, time to get down to business, don't forget the purpose of having you here. The underworld war god couldn't help but open his mouth and reminded. Yi Xiao, just wait here, if you're bored, you can kill the monsters, and when we bring you the boss, you'll be ready to strike to kill it. 
The transfer quest was a personal quest, they could protect Yi Xiao's safety, but they could not help Yi Xiao kill the boss. Okay, I know. Although he did not know what they were going to do, but to be able to startle three war god level powerhouses, it was definitely not something he could participate in. It was already good enough to have the war god powerhouses bring the boss over and help him pillage the battlefield in the meantime, as for the mission, it still had to be completed by him personally. After instructing Yi Xiao, the underworld war god looked towards Qing Feng and Xiu Luo beside him. Be careful, don't plant yourself here. Qing Feng, you and Xiu Luo will go deal with that god of war level divine beast first, and you bring the boss to Yi Xiao first, so that he can complete the quest first. Good. The trio was so glib, but Yi Xiao on the side was shocked. War god level divine beast? There are war god level divine beasts here? Although Yi Xiao had two divine beasts in his hands, but counting the two of them, they were only considered to be divine beasts in the growth stage. And when it came to a war god level divine beast, it was a full body in the stage where the divine beast's combat power was the strongest. I didn't expect that here was the lair of a war god level divine beast, no wonder the environment here was so harsh that even little spirit was a bit unable to withstand it. The underworld war god could really look down on him, daring to bring him to such a place. But anyone with no brain problems knew that this second turn level 50 divine beast boss was definitely related to a war god level divine beast. It might even be its heir. Elder Underworld, you really think highly of me, is this place something I can come to? It's not like I'm asking you to deal with it, leave the war god level divine beast to us, you quest boss yourself. N. But at least the spectral god of war was his umbrella, he didn't want the spectral god of war to break down here. Knowing that the combat power of divine beasts could be too much stronger than humans, he had some doubts if these three were the opponents of divine beasts. War god level divine beasts, are you guys its opponents? Why don't we gather more people? This way there is certainty. A second turn little guy was actually worried about a war god powerhouse. Shura slapped Yi Zhao's head directly. Little guy, do you have some misunderstanding about the boss? Ah, uh, a mere war god level divine beast, the boss alone can solve it, letting us come is just for us to learn from the combat experience. You have this heart, better care about yourself. This Yi Xiao really didn't know. After all, with his current strength, there was no way to detect the depths of the underworld war god. However, if Xiu Luo had said so, then he did not need to worry. Yi Xiao, in half an hour or so, Qing Feng will bring the boss to you, remember, you only have two hours, two hours no matter if you can solve it or not, you have to leave this place. Two hours is the limit, remember. Although the underworld war god and the others weren't afraid of the war god level divine beast, they couldn't stop the war god level divine beast if it wanted to leave. They could only block its breath for two hours, and after two hours, the seal would be destroyed, and then it would detect Yi Zhao's battle. Once it discovered Yi Zhao's trail, then Yi Xiao would be in danger. The war god's instructions he naturally had to take to heart, and for the sake of his own little life also absolutely could not exceed two hours. Once the two hours were up, there would be no hesitation at all, directly leaving the secret realm. For Yi Xiao, the underworld war god is still very assured, this dull talent although good, but he listens to persuasion ah, there is danger is absolutely the fastest run. The underworld war god was just about to leave, and seemed to think of something, just like an old father, turned his head and instructed two more sentences. By the way, there are quite a few monsters in the blazing flame mysterious realm, and the bloodline is quite advanced, so you can look for one that suits you. Go. After watching the spectral war god leave, Yi Xiao silently sighed. It looked like the underworld war god had guessed his ability. A war god powerhouse should not be underestimated. However, this was normal, but anyone who had understood him would be able to find problems, a green-eyed white tiger and a Jinhai Xuanwu. How could a divine favor be so simple to obtain, and there were still two of them? Now it seemed that none of this mattered, the underworld war god did not seem to have any bad intentions towards him at the moment. Moreover, he didn't intend to hide it for the rest of his life, he would have more and more divine pets in the future, and when that time came, it would naturally attract the attention of others. Since the spectral war god has said so, let's go and take a look in case we can find another sister for you. One more sister ah. Little Green silently sighed, her expression somewhat despondent. As Xiao Qing was his first beast pet, Yi Xiao naturally had to consider her feelings. If Xiao Qing was unwilling, he was not in a hurry to contract a third divine pet. Why Xiao Qing? Aren't you willing to have another sister? Xiao Qing hastily shook her head in denial. No no, master I'm willing no matter how many sisters I take in. It's just that I'm a little heartbroken about master's wallet, with one more sister, master's wallet is going to drop even faster, I'm afraid that we'll all go hungry together at that time. Yi Xiao thought she was worried about something. It turned out to be worried about his wallet, afraid that he would not be able to eat enough at that time. Snacky goods. Lightly scratched Xiao Qing's nose and dotingly touched her head. Don't worry, if there's a mouthful of soup for me there's a mouthful of meat for you guys to eat, definitely won't starve you. The days of dilly-dallying have passed, in the future we will eat until we are full. 
With his current strength hitting materials was easy as hell, earning some food money was still a breeze. Go. After Xiao Qing manifested his own body, he carried Yi Xiao in search of ferocious beasts in the blazing flame mysterious realm. After a few moments of effort, he found a single ferocious beast. View. Flaming giant bird. Overlord level flamingo king bloodline. Rank. 25. The attributes were still very good, and this was still just a random ferocious beast in the secret realm. A random fallen one is an overlord grade bloodline, I can't help but really find a third beast pet. Little green, slaughter it. The overlord level bloodline looked not bad, but it was not suitable for him, this kind of level was only worthy for him to slaughter. Little green's wings quickly flapped, and a blazing attack swept towards the flaming giant bird. Clank. Only a miserable scream was heard as the flaming giant bird was torn to pieces by the astral wind without even reacting. Ding, killed the flaming giant bird, experience plus 370. Experience added to skill. With the new skills opened after the second turn, the experience value could not only be upgraded, but could also be used to increase skill proficiency. He didn't want to upgrade until he opened his second profession, so he could only add the experience to the skill proficiency. Go, keep killing. The half hour buffer time was enough for Yi Xiao to search for a lot of ferocious beasts. Blazing Flame Ant. Overlord Grade Blazing Ant King Bloodline. Level, 27. P.S. Team Combat, many ants will bite the elephant and will not stop until they die, please consider carefully. Those who had an intense phobia would probably have no desire to fight when they saw the blazing ants all over the ground. Don't look at the small size of these guys, but their fighting strength was extremely formidable. Even those who were much stronger than them were unwilling to mess with them, and once they were entangled in them, they would most likely be dragged to their deaths alive. However, this was not too difficult for Xiao Qing, a group of ground-crawling ferocious beasts were just a group of ferocious beasts, even if the attack could spread into midair, the power was greatly reduced, and could not hurt Xiao Qing at all. Do it, slaughter them all. Ordered. Gangjin Storm. Xiao Qing's body exuded golden light, accompanied by the astral winds, the attacks poured down in a desperate manner. Each of the astral winds would take away the lives of ten blazing flame ants. The blazing flame ants were frightened and hissed at Xiao Qing in midair. A steady stream of attacks came towards Xiao Qing. Unfortunately, their bulky attacks were unable to harm Xiao Qing at all, and Xiao Qing dodged all the attacks with an aerial turn. In the process, a Gungjin storm took away the lives of dozens of blazing flame ants. Ding, killed blazing flame ants, experience plus 330, level of healing technique upgraded to LV2. Ding, killed blazing flame ant, experience plus 330, level of healing technique increased to LV3. A steady stream of beeps rang out, and although the level did not increase, the skill level was constantly being upgraded. Healing Art LV Full, heals the Imperial Beastmaster and Beast Pet by 300 blood. Clarity Art LV Full, restores 3000 blue volume of the Imperial Beastmaster and Beast Pet. The level was pulled full, the average nurse didn't have as much milk as he did, and the healing art with no cooldown was 3000 blood at once. Little Green, slip them, attract all the blazing flame ants in this area, and finally eliminate them in one fell swoop. Roger that. Little Green, who was flying in the air, directly dropped his altitude to half, this altitude was just in the blazing flame ants hate range, but their attacks couldn't harm themselves. Little Green quickly swept past the heads of the blazing flame ants without attacking, just flying around. When had the blazing flame ant legion ever suffered such a nuisance? It had never been them chasing after the enemy to kill, when had they ever been toyed with by the enemy like this? Roar! Roar! The blazing ant legion let out bursts of hissing sounds, their scarlet eyes staring at Xiao Qing and Yi Xiao in death. So scary so scary. Xiao Qing, they are glaring at me. Let's see who glares hard, go up and give it a big mouth. Yi Xiao who was protected by Xiao Qing was fearless, seeing the legion of blazing flame ants glaring at him, he was not used to these guys. Little green directly swept low in the air and slammed a tiger claw directly into the faces of the blazing flame ants. With a slap, the faces of three blazing ant were directly torn apart. Continue. Under Yi Xiao's control, Xiao Qing just slapped them one after another, continuously humiliating them. In a few moments of effort, the blazing flame ant legion lost their minds, each one of them red-eyed, frantically chasing after Xiao Qing's figure. As the blazing ant legion hissed, more and more blazing ants joined the ranks of chasing little Chang. In less than 10 minutes, the large army exceeded 3000. The more the merrier, the more the merrier. Check. Yi Xiao passed over with a detection technique and the information of the blazing flame ants appeared in front of him. It was a pity that the strongest of the more than 3000 blazing flame ants was an overlord level bloodline. For others, such a bloodline was already very good, but for him, the overlord level bloodline was a little too low. Master, didn't find it? No, slaughter it. After sneaking around for half a day, he had had enough of playing, and without a suitable partner, then he could only slaughter them and let them turn into experience. Master, sit tight. 
Little Green made a sharp stop in the air and aimed a sharp freezing storm at the army of blazing flame ants underneath him. Who? The cold wind whistled past, and more than 3,000 blazing flame ants were instantly frozen into ice sculptures. Clarity Art. The two of them cooperated quite well, with Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing was able to release her skills with impunity, there was no lack of blue at all. Paw after paw. Claw after claw went down, directly slapping the frozen blazing flame ant into pieces. Ding, congratulations on killing. Ding, congratulations on killing. Ding, congratulations on killing. The beeps kept ringing, and all 3,000 blazing flame ants were turned into experience. Master, mission accomplished. Little Green landed on the ground with a proud face, the traces of the blazing flame ants had all disappeared, leaving only a field of ice slag. Good job, go back and reward you with two big meals. There was still some time left before half an hour, and there was still time to continue brushing the monsters. Such a good opportunity must be seized. Continue brushing the monsters. After replenishing her status, Xiao Qing carried Yi Xiao to continue luring monsters in the secret realm. A few moments of effort was spent finding new ferocious beasts. Detection technique. Useless, slaughter it. Detect. Useless, overlord level bloodline, slaughter it. He encountered several sets of monsters one after another, all of them were overlord level bloodline, they didn't help him at all, all of them were slaughtered by Xiao Chang and exchanged for experience. Time is almost up, it looks like we won't be able to find a suitable one. This kind of thing all depended on chance, after all, god level bloodlines weren't that easy. Eh? Just as the two were about to retreat, an obscene figure appeared in front of the two. At the same time that Yi Xiao Xiaoqing discovered it, it also discovered Yi Xiao Xiaoqing, and seeing that the two were staring at it, with that naked possessiveness in their eyes, it panicked and turned around to run. Surprisingly, it still knows how to escape, Xiaoqing chased after it. Little Green was also interested in it, after killing so many ferocious beasts, this was the first one that fled when it saw them. In terms of intelligence, this one was smarter than the other ferocious beasts. Little Green spread its wings and with a whoosh, it instantly caught up. The sweaty hairs on its body stood up as it felt the oppressive feeling coming from behind it. Run? It seemed impossible to run away now. Then there was only a deadly battle, for the sake of its own little life, a deadly battle to the end. Clank. With a cry, it directly stopped in its tracks and turned its head to angrily look at Yi Xiao and Xiao Cheng. Little guy, not running? Ignoring Yi Xiao, the chicken's beak opened and a ball of flame swept towards Yi Xiao. Fire breathing? Yi Xiao became more interested in him, the little guy even breathes fire, not bad not bad. Detection. Turkey beast. Bloodline. Divine immortal divine phoenix bloodline. Zero. Zero zero one. Can be ancestorized. Level. Twenty. The attributes were trash. Any of the ferocious beasts in the blazing flame mystic realm had better attributes than it. But in terms of bloodline, this little turkey beast was much stronger than the other ferocious beasts. The bloodline of a divine great immortal divine phoenix. It was no wonder it could survive in such a hot place. Clank. 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 Accompanied by loud cries, small fireballs poured towards them. After spraying three dozen or so small fireballs in a row, the turkey beast directly sat paralyzed on the ground. The desperation was over. Whether it could survive or not could only be left to the heavens. So cute. Even little green couldn't help but give a compliment. This little guy looked too cute, especially that little expression of resignation. Cute as cute is, this little fireball is going to kill us, teach it a little lesson, don't kill it. Sisters? What if it's a brother? Kill. The small fireball came in an instant, such an attack Xiao Qing was too lazy to pay attention to it, even if it hit her head on it wouldn't cause any damage to her. However, Yi Xiao asked to give it a small lesson, so it could only be a small lesson. Who? With a flap of its wings, the small fireball directly changed its direction, the fire borrowed the wind, the small fireball directly turned into a large fireball, attacking towards the turkey beast at a faster speed. Clank? The turkey beast was directly confused, it could still be played like this, is this considered to be spitting out a fireball to roast itself? The turkey beast didn't have a chance to react at all, by the time it reacted, the large fireball had already arrived in front of it. Clank, 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 clank. The fireball smashed into the body of the turkey beast, instantly wrapping it up, and the turkey directly turned into a roasted turkey. Watching the turkey beast struggling and screaming miserably on the ground, Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing were quietly admiring from the side. So fragrant master, should we? Such an aromatic roasted turkey flavor made Xiao Cheng salivate a little, even Yi Xiao drooled a little. But this little turkey cannot be eaten, immortal divine phoenix bloodline, eat and then want to find one, that is very difficult. Go back and master treat you to roasted turkey, this one can't be eaten, it's your companion, it's too wasteful to eat it. Although more or less unwilling, but Yi Xiao had said so, then she could only force herself to hold back her saliva and help the turkey beast cool down first. If it was baked like this again, this guy would really be cooked. Xiao Qing lightly exhaled a mouthful of cold air and directly extinguished the fire on the turkey beast. 
Ye shall walk step by step to the side of the turkey beast and a magic array appeared above the turkey beast's head. Contract, die, choose for yourself. Looking at the magic array in Yi Zhao's hand, the turkey beast was confused. If it wasn't for its special life preservation ability, it might have died here a long time ago. For an existence as weak as him, it could not think of any reason that would be worthy of Yi Xiao contracting it. Yi Xiao saw the doubt in its eyes and then threw a healing spell over to heal the injuries on its body. Accept the contract, I will help you return to your ancestors and give you a whole new life, follow me and no one will bully you in the future. Do you want to stay in this secret realm for the rest of your life? Yi Zhao's voice seemed to have a strange magical power in general, every sentence spoke to its heart. It had stayed in this place where birds did not shit for long enough, and it wanted to meet a wider world. Clank. The turkey beast snapped its head up, directly allowing the contract magic array to enter its body. Ding, contract successful, beast pet turkey beast. Can you really give me a new life? The voice of the turkey beast appeared in Yi Zhao's mind. Unsurprisingly, it was a sister. It was just what he wanted, if it was a brother then it would be really bad to get alone. Immediately you will know, your decision today will be the best choice you have made in your life. Good, I believe you. Anyway, it was already contracted, so it could only choose to believe. Regarding the attitude of the turkey beast, Yi Xiao was satisfied, the third divine pet had arrived, and his strength had increased by a large margin. Little turkey, as for me, I am your big sister, from now on, you will call me Sister Ching, understand? It was just beaten up by Little Green, it recognized Little Green's strength, calling it Big Sister was not a loss. You also have a second sister, you'll call her Sister Spirit, treat your second sister like you treat me, got it? And, I know Sister Chang. This little guy was quite sensible, and Little Ching was satisfied. As the eldest, her opinion was still very important, and what Yi Xiao was most afraid of was them falling out. With Xiao Chang as a role model, they could not turn over the sky. Master, it's okay, this little guy is good, I'm satisfied. N. After receiving Xiao Qing's approval, Yi Xiao prepared to return the turkey beast to its ancestor. Get ready, I'm going to help you return to your ancestor and give you a second life. Ancestral return. A complex magic formation appeared in Yi Xiao's palm, and then the magic formation was not inserted into the turkey beast's brow. Ding, undying divine phoenix bloodline detected, whether to carry out ancestral return. Ancestralizing. Ancestralizing in progress, please wait. Clank. The power of the bloodline continued to activate, and a ball of undead flames enveloped the turkey beast. As time passed, the undead flame burned hotter and hotter, and even Yi Xiao Xiao Qing was forced back hundreds of meters. Clank. A loud and clear phoenix sound rang out. The immortal flame then didn't enter the body of the firebird beast until the firebird beast absorbed all of the immortal flame. Swish swish. The firebird beast opened its eyes as if there was a ball of immortal flame pulsing in her eyes. Clang. The phoenix chimed in the nine heavens. At this moment, the firebird beast completely completed its evolution. From a tiny firebird beast, it evolved into an immortal divine phoenix. Only to see it clad in multicolored feathers, soaring through the air cutting out a multicolored haze. Little fellow, come down when you've had enough of being smug. Evolving into the immortal god phoenix, the turkey beast knew that its fate had been changed at this moment and excitedly soared several times in the air. It was only after hearing Yi Zhao's call that it retracted its wings and landed on Yi Zhao's head. After all, it was only a small phoenix that had just returned to its mother, and it was still very small in size. Warm, very comfortable. Little fellow, don't fool around, this is my head, not your nest. Come, let me see your attributes first. Holding the immortal god phoenix in the palm of his hand, he began to probe its attributes. Divine pet, immortal divine phoenix. Attribute, fire. Level, 5. Strength, 1380. Agility, 1570. Endurance, 1230. Spirit, 1490. Elemental immunity, passive LV full immunity to fire elemental damage. Elemental affinity, passive LV full extreme affinity to the fire element, skill damage increased by 150%. Immortal body, passive LV full immortal divine phoenix's unique physique, immune to fatal damage, can be reborn in fire. P.S. Phoenix bathing in fire, nirvana rebirth, the more times you are reborn, the stronger your battle power will be. Active skills, Immortal Fire, Sea of Purgatory Fire, Red Lotus Sea Fire, Fire Barrier, Flame Incarnation. Seeing the attributes of the Immortal God Phoenix, you shall straight away call out good guy. Although it was only a single attribute divine beast, it was powerful without boundaries. The attributes alone could already be comparable to Xiao Qing. The key this guy also had a special passive skill. Reborn in fire, immune to fatal damage, my god, this is too heaven defying. As long as there were flames, it was able to be reborn in Nirvana, and the more it died, the stronger its combat power became. This was simply off the charts. Yi Xiao couldn't believe it and looked at the immortal divine phoenix, it took a long time for his excitement to calm down. 
And at this time, the firebird beast was also feeling the vigorous power within its body. Master, it's really strong, the firebird transformed into the immortal god Phoenix, it's truly against the odds, master you didn't lie to me. The firebird beast's eyes were on fire, itching to melt Yi Xiao. Many thanks master, from now on, I will be master's most loyal beast pet. Pa. The firebird beast had just finished speaking when the back of its head received a heavy slap. This little fellow had drifted a bit ah, having just evolved into the immortal god Phoenix was about to snatch her position as the number one beast pet. Sister Ching, what are you doing hitting me? The firebird beast looked at Xiao Chang with an aggrieved face, she didn't know why Xiao Chang slapped her. I am my master's first beast pet, you are the third beast pet, recognize your position. Yes, Sister Ching, I know I'm wrong. Admitting her mistake with a sincere attitude, Little Ching expressed her satisfaction. Good evolution, I can feel the power within you, serve your master well in the future, your master's safety comes first, understand? I know Sister Chung. After praising two sentences, Xiao Qing turned her gaze to Yi Xiao. Master, the name Firebird Beast is too unpleasant, it's better to give her a name. Although the Firebird Beast came late, but they were all his own beast pets, this should still be treated equally. The Firebird Beast is indeed hard to hear, and now that you have gotten rid of the body of the Firebird Beast, the Immortal Divine Phoenix, the Blazing Flame Secret Realm, why don't we just call you Phoenix Flame? Many thanks to the master for the name. No matter what the name was, it was better than the Firebird Beast, and Phoenix Flame was also considered her first official name. Can you take form? The immortal god Phoenix's main body was still a bit flashy after all, and after taking form it could also follow its own side and still not be discovered by others. It can take shape, master wait a moment. Phoenix Flame leapt into the air, and the immortal flame directly wrapped her up. The colorful feathered wings transformed into a colorful Changsam, the wings transformed into a luxuriant jade hand, and the undead fire transformed into a long fiery red big wave of hair. Front and back S-shaped body, slender white long legs while Yi Zhao's eyes are straight. Angel's face, devil's body. Especially the big fiery red waves were even more striking. Royal sister, if you can have a fishing net stocking, it would really be perfect. Although she didn't know what a fishing net stocking was, but as Yi Zhao's beast pet, her mind was still connected, and she naturally knew what Yi Xia was thinking. District fishing net, that was not a matter of a fire. Immortal fire flashed, fishing net stockings directly appeared on those long legs. Beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful, this fishing net does suit you. Yi Xia was still very satisfied with this state of Phoenix Flame, compared to Xiao Qing's high coldness and Xiao Ling's childishness, Phoenix Flame had more a hint of flirtatiousness. Such a charming imperial sister, which man could not be moved. Yi Xiao's saliva was about to fall. Poof. Looking at Yi Zhao's piggish appearance, Xiao Qing on the side could not help but snort coldly. Isn't it just big wave S shaped fishing net stockings, she can also change into that. Master, I can also change if you like. Not giving Xiao Qing this chance, although the imperial sister is good, one is enough. Moreover, after being used to seeing Xiao Qing look like this, changing her appearance is not adaptable. No no no, this is quite good, just maintain your original appearance. Master, I can really do it. Little green, really no need. Your current appearance is quite good. On his lips, he said it was quite good, but his gaze was always on Phoenix Flame. Poof. Looking at Xiao Qing's disgruntled look, Yi Xiao just smiled awkwardly, but did not move his gaze away. In conjunction with Yi Xiao, Phoenix Flame also posed in all kinds of provocative paws, and it took a long time for Yi Xiao to recover his mind. Wipe the saliva at the corner of his mouth, and hastily divert the topic away, this bitch is a bit seductive, and then look easy to hold. Small Phoenix ah, I think you also know the purpose of our coming in, our goal is a 2 turn 50 level boss, do not know you. Don't worry master, just leave it to me, this is my home turf, I definitely won't let my master down. Don't look at the fact that Phoenix Flame was only level 5 now, but she had a special talent to be able to reborn from the fire. The Blazing Flame Mystic Realm was her home turf, and it should be possible to deal with a second turn level 50 boss. Then, little green, let's go back to the exit of the secret realm and wait for the arrival of the green Phoenix God of War and help little phoenix level up on the way. Good. The three of them swiped monsters as they walked, due to the level difference, coupled with the fact that Yi Xiao had dominated all the experience to phoenix flame, by the time they reached the entrance of the secret realm, phoenix flame had already leveled up to level 15. Giving her a little more time, breaking through to turn 1 was not impossible. Deep within the blazing flame secret realm, outside the lair of the war god level divine beast, the fire Zhao, the underworld trio was approaching furtively. A kilometer long fire jiao was sleeping there, and beside the fire jiao, there were several other fire jiao sleeping in coils. One of them was the target of Yi Zhao's mission this time. Of course it was also the most favored heir of the fire jiao, after all, its bloodline was the purest and closest to it. It looks like the fire jiao looks at its heir very closely, this is not good. It can't be helped, having taken away quite a few of its children before, the fire jiao has been on high alert for a while now lately, 
and it's very difficult for ordinary people to get their hands on it. Qingfeng was also quite helpless, the strength of the fire jia was slightly stronger than her, and over the years, for the sake of the imperial beast masters under her command, she had taken away quite a few of the fire jiao's children. This made the fire jiao very annoyed, and during this time was not giving her any face at all. So she could only rely on the underworld war god and the others to help. Seeing how much the fire jiao favors it, discussing it should be out of the question. So let's follow the plan and just take it by force. Ching Feng, you're fast, hide first and wait for the two of us to trap the fire jiao before you make your move. After giving the boss to Yi Xiao, the three of us will properly educate the fire jiao, so that it will know that humans are powerful. Good. After saying that, Ching Feng took the lead to hide, hiding his aura to the extreme, without a close look, Ching Feng's existence could not be felt at all. After seeing Ching Feng hide well, the underworld war god and cultivator looked at each other. Aiming at the fire jiao, they launched their attacks at the same time. Underworld domain. A huge black curtain appeared behind the spectral war god, directly enveloping the fire jiao. Shura slash. The moment the spectral war god's domain enveloped the fire jiao, the Shura war god's powerful chopping attack followed. The two had worked together for so many years, and their tacit understanding was engraved in their bones. With one move, the fire jiao didn't even have a chance to react, and could only passively resist this slash from the Shura war god. Roar. The fire jiao, who had strenuously resisted the Shura war god's slash, had a huge wound cut out of its body, and blood continued to flow down the wound. The intense pain constantly stimulated it, and it let out roars of rage from time to time. The hideous gaze stared at the two in death. Humans, damn it. After seeing clearly the underworld war god and Shura war god who had sneaked up on it, the fire jiao rose up in the air and smashed its tail in a smooth and furious manner towards the two. Don't fight it hard. I'd like to try to see how strong this beast is. Fighting hard head on was what a man should do, even if it was a fire jiao, Shura never wanted to dodge. With a sword in one hand and a shield in the other, he just met it head on. Drink. Ha. Shou Luo shouted, the muscles on his body began to crazily surge, and the shield in his hand emitted a burst of golden light, forming a huge golden shield. The shield just blocked in front of the two. The tail drawn by the fire jiao smashed heavily onto the shield. Boom. A loud rumbling sound rang out. The golden light on the shield was directly siphoned away, and Shura's entire body fell back a dozen meters. The powerful force directly shook him back, and his bulging muscles were slightly trembling. This beast, it's still quite strong. After resisting the blow hard, he suffered a bit of a loss, but he was able to block it, and the fire jiao hung in midair, just staring straight at the two of them. Humans, you dare to sneak attack this auger. At this point in time, he was still biting off more than he could chew, saying some literary words. The underworld war god glanced at the fire jiao, then looked at Shura. Is it still okay? Are you joking, big brother? A mere fire auger, just now is just to warm up, the real battle has only begun here. After saying that, Xiu Luo put away the shield in his hand and held his sword with both hands, a blood red killing aura began to spread on his body. Killing Chi wrapped the long knife, now Xiu Luo is considered to have truly entered the battle state. Serious? Then I'll get serious too. The underworld war god waved his hand and a ghostly black staff appeared in his hand. Make your move. Whoosh. In a tenth of a breath, the Shura war god disappeared, and by the time the fire Zhao reacted, the Shura war god had already appeared with a sword out of its chest. Shura ghost slash. The deadly threat caused the fire Zhao's pupils to shrink violently. Its defense was already far beyond that of an average war god, and for those who could make him feel a deadly threat and even want to retreat to avoid it, the Shura war god was considered number one. However, the dignity of the Zhao dragon prevented him from retreating. This retreat would mean that it was inferior to humans, and this face absolutely could not be lost. Reverse scale fire shield. The fire Jiao gave enough face to Xiu Luo and directly used its strongest defense to ward off his attack. But the moment the shield was formed, there was a crunching sound and it just shattered. The fire Jiao was directly dumbfounded? It couldn't believe the scene in front of it. Broken? Broken just like that? It couldn't be, Shura's attack hadn't even arrived yet, how could it be broken? The only possibility was the underworld war god. Looking around, the spectral war god's staff was pointing in the direction it was in, and there was also a palpitating power condensed above the staff. It looked like the shield had just been broken by him. Fighting me and still daring to be distracted, aren't you looking down on me too much? Chop! Just now, Fire Zhao's attention was all on the underworld war god, completely ignoring the Shura war god who had already struck out at him. Without the reverse scale fire shield, he could only rely on his body's defense to withstand this strike. But in front of the Shura ghost chop, the body's defense was as fragile as a piece of paper. The blade slashed through, from the bottom to the top, a hundred meter long wound appeared on the body of the fire Jiao. If it hadn't reacted and stepped back, this blade would have been enough to cut him in half. But even so, the slash still gave him a heavy wound, and the killing chi from the attack prevented its body from recovering. 
Without dispersing the killing aura, the wound would never recover. Damn, damn, all of you deserve to die. The fire Jiao that received heavy wounds one after another was a bit angry. Inexplicably being attacked and inexplicably receiving serious injuries, who else could not be angry? The angrier the fire Jiao got, the calmer it became. Facing two war god level powerhouses, carelessness would only make one die faster. The Shura war god was good for the time being, judging from the battle situation just now, this guy was a complete reckless person. This kind of person was good to deal with instead. The person who truly made him feel tricky was the underworld war god. This guy's entire body revealed strangeness. Just now, he even used an unknown attack to easily break through its defense. I don't know what other bizarre tricks he has, one careless move and he would be hit. Looking at how the fire Zhao's gaze was always on the underworld war god, Shura expressed his sadness. This guy didn't put himself in his eyes at all. At least he was a war god, so he had to give some face, more or less. In that case, I can only bring out my full strength to gain its respect. Killing Chi into the body, only I, Shura, three heads and six arms, ghost chop. Shura's great move was just halfway through brewing when the underworld war god suddenly appeared at his side and pressed his great move down. Our purpose is to delay, not kill him. If we kill him, Qingfeng will be angry. The fire Jiao was Qingfeng's fortune tree, and every year, he had to rely on it to produce fierce beasts with divine level bloodlines. The imperial beast masters within the jurisdiction all relied on it for their meals, so if they killed the fire Jiao, they would undoubtedly be cutting off the future of the imperial beast masters and smashing Qingfeng's rice bowl. It would be strange if Qingfeng didn't fight them to the death. Almost went to my head, still can't control the killing aura well. Dispersing the killing aura from his body, Sulo stood behind the underworld, and the two of them just quietly watched the fire auger. Just now also from the cultivator body to feel the rich killing opportunity, the result is that now these two people stopped in place and did not move. Fire Jiao was a little confused. Completely do not know what these two people are doing. The enemy does not move, I do not move, take advantage of this time to expel the killing chi in my body, and recover a little bit if I can. The underworld and cultivator just quietly watched it, not taking advantage of the opportunity to make a move. Where did the fire Jiao know that just as it was second guessing the underworld and the war god, there was a person who had quietly sneaked into the middle of its lair. The target was none other than the sleeping air by its side. Brother Fire Jiao, ah, uh, I'm really sorry, I'll take care of all your children this year, so keep up the good work and give birth again. After seeing the Fire Jiao enveloped by the domain, Xing Feng quietly dived into the middle of the Fire Jiao's nest. And, the explosive flame Fire Jiao that was in a state of slumber violently opened its eyes and looked around vigilantly. After looking for a long time, no abnormality was found. But it always felt like something was staring at it, giving it a chilling feeling. The reaction of the explosive flame fire Jiao satisfied Qingfeng, all the other fire Jiao did not react, only it, the artificially interfered fire Jiao, detected the abnormality. Although this little fellow's character was tyrannical and his temper was still unstable, this also represented the success of their experiment. Little fellow, there's really no way out, who made your level just right, we can only kill you this time. The explosive flame fire Jiao was also considered a semi-finished product, although it possessed the bloodline of a fire Jiao, there was still a slight gap in personality, attributes, talent, and all aspects. After Yi Xiao killed it and completed the mission, she would take the corpse of the explosive flame fire Jiao back to continue her research. Striving to complete the experiment as soon as possible to artificially create a divine beast, the gospel of China's imperial beast masters. Do it, Qing Feng. The explosive flame fire Jiao had just let its guard down when Qing Feng struck. The main reason why she was honored as the Green Phoenix War God was because her beast pet was a divine bloodline Green Phoenix. As Qing Feng struck out, an azure-colored flame enveloped the explosive flame Jiao. Roar! The explosive flame fire Jiao that was suddenly attacked couldn't help but let out a roar. Hearing the roar, the fire Jiao inside the nest did not hesitate and turned around to directly flee towards the outside of the cave. Looking at the fleeing fire Jiao, Qing Feng didn't take any action and just looked at the explosive flame Jiao from the side. Now the explosive flame Jiao understood that Qing Feng's target was herself. However, it couldn't understand how a battle spirit level imperial beast master could target him. If you can't figure it out, then you don't want to think about it. Saving his own life is the most important thing. The explosive flame fire Jiao endured the burning sensation on its body and hardened itself against the green flames, rushing out of the green phoenix's encirclement. Although it was annoyed, it still knew how to save its life. Fighting hard against the green phoenix at this time would be suicidal, and only by finding the fire Jiao shelter would it be able to save its own little life. Want to run? Qing Feng, stop it. The underworld war god and the girls had bought her time, if she let it run away, then she would lose face as a war god. Green flame cage. Soul scorch. The moment the explosive flame fire Jiao escaped, a magic formation suddenly appeared on the ground, and the green flame cage directly wrapped the fire Jiao. No matter how much it rushed, 
it failed to break through the blockade of cyanitis. Without even giving it a chance to resist, soul scorching ensued. The flesh didn't suffer any damage, but the soul was burning, and the explosive flame fire Zhao collapsed to the ground and wailed in pain, seeing that its spirit was about to collapse. Xingfeng stopped her attack. Her purpose was to bring the explosive flame Zhao to Yi Xiao, not to help him out. If she made a move to kill the exploding flame fire Zhao, it would be meaningless and Yi Xiao's mission would not be completed. Qingfeng grab it, don't kill it. Qingfeng manifested her own body and directly grabbed the explosive flame fire Zhao. Go. Qingfeng grabbed the explosive flame Zhao and prepared to retreat. And at this time, the healing fire Zhao seemed to have sensed that something was wrong, and when he saw the explosive flame fire Zhao that had been grabbed by Qingfeng, he let out a roar up to the sky. Let go of it. Year after year, the air was captured, and before, the fire Zhao was not strong enough to endure it. Now that it was a war god level existence, it absolutely could not watch its air be captured by a human. Red Lotus Prison Flame. The fire Zhao's entire body was shrouded in flames, transforming its body into fire as it charged towards Qingfeng. Even the air was scorched by the flames on its body. A strike that contained anger naturally had an extraordinary power. However, it was obvious that the specter and the others had already prepared for the battle, and this scene was already thought of at the very beginning again. Shura Ghost Slash. Just as the fire Zhao rushed out less than a hundred meters away, Shura's attack arrived. Exploding clothes, muscles surged. Dense killing aura continuously gushed out from the long blade. This blade only attacked and did not defend, gathering the strength of his entire body to converge in an all-out chop. If the fire Zhao resisted, this blade was enough to split it in half. If it dodged, the green phoenix would leave this place with the explosive flame fire Zhao, and it would be as hard as heaven to catch up again. Damn, damn, humans all deserve to die. The angrier the fire Zhao got, the clearer its mind became. It knew that it absolutely couldn't resist Shura's attack, but as it watched its air being captured and it couldn't do anything about it, the rage in its heart just kept burning again. Fire Zhao Incarnation Right at the moment when Xiu Luo's long sword chopped down, the fire Zhao directly split into two, incarnating into two fire Zhao. One faced Xiu Luo, and one went straight after Qingfeng. This beast, it has two brushes, I really underestimated it. After the fire augers transformed, their combat power was reduced by half, but they were able to pester Xiu Luo for a short period of time, so that he had no way to continue blocking it from chasing after the green phoenix. Big brother, this fellow was running away. Shura was entangled by the fire Jiao and had no way to chase after it, so he could only seek help from the underworld. Ban the air. Spectre glanced faintly at the wildly running fire Jiao and lightly waved the staff in his hand. The fire Jiao directly stayed in midair, unable to move its body at all except for its large, gurgling eyes. How is it possible? The fire Jiao looked at the specter in disbelief. How powerful a force must this be to make him lose his resistance? Fall. The staff was waved. The fire Jiao was like a falling meteor as it smashed down towards the ground at an extremely fast speed. Bang. The powerful force directly smashed the ground into pieces. The fire Jiao, on the other hand, was like a statue, confined to the ground and unable to move. Haha, <laughs> little fire Jiao, does it taste good? Shura cut down the fire Jiao incarnation with a slash and came to the side of the imprisoned fire Jiao, laughing to himself. Impossible, absolutely impossible, how could a human have such a strong power? The fire Jiao that had been promoted into a god of war simply didn't believe that a human could possess such a powerful force. After the fire Jiao incarnation was decimated, all of its power returned to its body. It tried to resist, and its body could only tremble slightly, trying to resist was simply impossible. Don't move. If you don't want to die, stay here obediently, and if you think of resisting again, the blade in my hand won't show any mercy. Seeing that the fire Jiao was still planning to resist, Xiu Luo's knife that was filled with a murderous aura was directly placed on its neck. The icy cold murderous aura was constantly impacting its flesh, if it dared to continue resisting, Xiu Luo's knife would definitely not show any mercy. The anger in the fire Jiao's heart was burning, but Cultivator's knife was constantly reminding it to endure. Roar. After an unwilling roar, the fire Jiao resigned itself to its fate and paralyzed on the ground and stopped resisting. How nice to be like this earlier, a waste of effort. The entrance of the secret realm. Yi Xiao led Xiao Chang and Phoenix Flame were still hunting the small monsters. After their unremitting efforts, Phoenix Flame had already arrived at level 20 and its attributes had been greatly improved. Coming master. Someone is approaching. Xiao Chang and Phoenix Flame looked into the distance at the same time, the two of them firmly protected Yi Xiao behind them, fearing that Yi Xiao would have any accidents. Don't worry, it's senior Cheng Feng. Just as they sensed Ching Feng's arrival, the news of the underworld war god came through. The three of them lowered their guard and waited for Ching Feng's arrival. Surprisingly, it's God's favorite Ching Feng, worthy of being a war god powerhouse. Yi Zhao's eyes stared straight at Ching Feng, this was the first divine pet other than his beast pets. The appearance was very handsome and the strength was also very strong. 
no less compared to Xiao Chang and the girls. Master, it's very strong. Stronger than us. Little Green and Little Phoenix's gazes had also been on Xingfeng's body. Also being divine pets, it was natural to secretly compare them. As a result, it was clear that the current Xingfeng was not something they could compare to. In terms of rank strength, Xingfeng crushed them, but in terms of bloodline, Xiaoqing and the girls crushed Xingfeng. The Green Phoenix's bloodline was only about 50% thick, while after Xiaoqing's bloodline returned to its ancestor, it was 100% thick. In other words, Xiaoqing girls could form their own lineage and be the existence of an old ancestor in the future. Green Phoenix, Fall The flames on Xingfeng's body dispersed and slowly landed on the ground, where the explosive flame Jiao was thrown like a dead dog. Kid, there's really something about you, no wonder the underworld thinks so highly of you. Xingfeng saw Phoenix flame beside Yi Xiao at a glance, the one who was beside him before did not have this girl. Obviously this was met after entering the secret realm. The blazing flame secret realm was not open to the public, there were no outsiders in here at all. Therefore, the only explanation was that this imperial sister was a beast pet that had taken form. If a beast pet wanted to take shape, it could only do so if its bloodline reached the saint level, or even the god level. Previously, there were two divine pets, and Yi Zhao's requirements would definitely not be lowered, so that proved that this was also a divine pet. One person grasping three divine pets, this was something she couldn't even think of. A royal beast master who could have one divine pet in his life would already be burning incense, and there were even royal beast masters who could not have one divine pet in their entire life. If everyone had Yi Zhao's ability, why would they need to delve into artificial divine beasts? Yi Xiao also knew what the Green Phoenix War God was lamenting, he just smiled and did not explain anything more. This thing relied on 1 point of luck plus 9 points of hard work and 90 points of help from the system. Otherwise, how could he have so many divine favorites? Hurry up and do it, this guy's soul has been heavily damaged, now is your best chance to kill him. Yi Xiao also did not have any hesitation, what not to take advantage of people's danger was all bullshit, being able to complete the mission was the most important thing. Do it! Little green little phoenix who got the order directly visualized his own body. Cold Ice Storm with a tiger's roar, the ice and wind elements quickly condensed, and a cold ice storm enveloped towards the explosive flame fire Jiao. As the storm swept by, the ground was directly frozen, and while frozen, it was also torn apart by the storm. In the blink of an eye, the ice storm came to the side of the explosive flame fire Jiao, and the bone-chilling cold directly froze it into an ice sculpture. Even with the explosive flame fire Jiao's strong physique, it was somewhat unable to carry Xiao Qing's attack. It's not over yet, sea of purgatory fire. This was her home turf so she couldn't let Little Green get the upper hand. Little Phoenix let out a phoenix cry, an immortal flame quickly condensed under her wings, forming two flamestorms. Boom! The flamestorm shot out, directly bursting on the explosive flame Zhao, forming a sea of fire. Immortal fire, unending and eternal, dying when touched. The cold ice instantly melted, and the explosive flame fire Zhao was once again enveloped by the immortal fire, extreme cold, extreme flames. The explosive flame fire Zhao painfully rolled around in the sea of fire, but it was never able to get rid of the immortal flame's entanglement. Master, I want to fight as well. Watching Little Green and Little Phoenix fight, Little Spirit also had some itchy hands, the limelight couldn't just be for the two of them. She wanted to defend her second sister's position. The environment here is not suitable for you to fight, are you sure you want to come out? N. The environment was unsuitable, but it didn't affect her fighting, this explosive flame fire Jiao didn't have much fighting power left, she just needed to go up and make up for it. All get out of the way, this young lady is here. Little spirit flew out from the imperial beast space, her main body landed directly, and a foot directly stepped on the face of the explosive flame fire Jiao. This foot shattered all the hopes of the explosive flame fire Jiao, and as soon as the foot went down, the fragile head of the explosive flame fire Jiao was directly stomped on. And, where is the boss? Yi Xiao shook his head helplessly, then pointed at Xiao Ling's feet. Nah. And, dead? Can't be, so fragile, I haven't even powered up yet. Little Spirit was more or less dissatisfied, originally wanting to come out to show off her female style, but it turned out that the explosive flame fire Jiao was too fragile, and it returned to the west with a single kick that crushed its head by her foot. I guess correctly ah, it really is three divine beasts. Although she had already guessed, she still couldn't help but be taken aback when she saw the three divine beasts with her own eyes. Master, the three of them have unusually strong bloodlines and will achieve more than me in the future. The green phoenix's eyes were filled with envy, especially when she saw phoenix flame. She was just a green phoenix, while phoenix flame was an immortal god phoenix with an even thicker bloodline, one level higher than her in terms of bloodline, completely crushing her. At this moment, the green phoenix sort of understood why the phoenix that had not come out of the mountain for so many years was so active, if she had such a bullish back, she would also be active. As long as Yi Xiao did not fall, his future achievements would definitely far exceed any of them. 
Now I've already mastered three beast pets, in the future may even master four, five, or even more. Qing Feng was over here discussing about Yi Xiao and the girls, while Yi Xiao was there receiving the rewards. Ding, killed explosive flame fire Jiao, experience plus 200 W. Acquired props, fire Jiao crystal core. Obtained skill book, fire Jiao split. Obtained equipment. A large pile of materials, skill books, and equipment dropped. However, Yi Xiao did not focus on these, his focus was on the second profession. Ding, mission completed, whether to open the second profession. Excited heart, trembling hands, easily solving the second turn level 50 boss, the second profession's quest was completed. Don't look at the ease with which he completed it, but this was all due to relying on Qingfeng and the girl's help to heavily injure the explosive flame Jiao in advance, which allowed him to solve it with ease. Otherwise, with his strength, it would have taken a lot of effort to deal with the second turn level 50 explosive flame Jiao. If there's nothing else going on, you stay here first, brush the monsters and upgrade, I'll go help them solve the fire Jiao. When the fire Jiao is resolved, let's leave together. Yi Xiao had completed the quest and there was no need for her to continue guarding it, all that was left was the war god level fire Jiao. Good. With three war god powerhouses, dealing with a fire Jiao, there shouldn't be any major problems. After seeing Qing Feng leave, Yi Xiao directly opened his second profession. Opening. Ding, opening second profession, please wait. Ding, second profession opened successfully. The prompt sounded, a golden light appeared above Yi Xiao's head, and it was as if the entire person had been sublimated. Congratulations to the transmigrator for becoming, Divine Beast Knight, special. Congratulations on acquiring the special skill, exquisite writing technique. Congratulations on acquiring the divine talent, 100% divine beast. The difficulty of the quest was so great that it was normal to open a special profession. The divine beast was a proper divine beast, it was unknown if the knight was proper or not. How to write it, that's his business. Human form knight or beast form knight. Thinking about it all felt exciting. Hated master. Master, I can do anything. Master, come on, I can do it too. They and Yi Xiao shared the same mind, what Yi Xiao was thinking in his heart, they all knew clearly. They were 100% loyal to Yi Xiao, so no matter how Yi Xiao wanted to ride, they were willing. After dispelling the superfluous YY thoughts from his mind, Yi Xiao looked at the skills and talents. This was what he currently cared about the most. Special skill, exquisite writing technique. After using the skill, the transmuter's writing skills will become extremely exquisite. Under the writing state, both the transmuter and the divine beasts will receive the skill boost. Within an hour, the full attributes of the human and beasts will be boosted by 20%. P.S. The higher the level, the more the attributes will be enhanced. One level up will increase by 1%, no enhancement ceiling. Craplu, divine skill ah. Seeing the introduction of exquisite writing technique, Yi Xiao could not help but let out an exclamation. In the state of a human writing a beast, the entire attributes were increased by 20% for an hour, and the higher the key level, the more it was increased. When he turned 3, after the god of war that attribute boost was even more terrifying. Growth skills, horrible as it is. The only drawback is that you can only ride one at a time, if you can ride 3 or 4 at a time, then the attributes will not rise to the sky ah. With Xiao Qing's current attributes, plus the addition of the exquisite writing skills, the single attribute can directly break 10,000. A third turn powerhouse would probably not be a match for them, and only a war god powerhouse would be able to fight. Fierce horse, bullish. Yi Xiao was satisfied with the superb riding technique, at the very least he was a real man for this hour. And how many men can ride for an hour, few and far between. In his heart, he was so pleased with himself, he turned his head to look at the god level talent. Divine grade talent, 100% of divine beasts. Get 100% attribute bonus of divine pet, no divine pet cap, can be cumulative. A simple introduction. But it made Yi Xiao almost bite off his tongue in surprise. What kind of heaven defying talent is this? This doesn't complement bloodline rejuvenation ah. Bloodline ancestry allows ordinary beast pets to become divine pets, and divine beasts share 100% of the attributes of divine pets. The key is that there is no limit to the number of divine pets, the more divine pets there are, the higher the attributes will accrue. Now that he has three divine pets, that cumulative attribute directly breaks 20,000. Humanoid divine beasts. The divine beast of divine beasts. The moment he obtained the talent, he didn't need the protection of Xiao Chang and the others, he was stronger than Xiao Chang and the others. Plus the various bonuses from the equipment skills. He even had the confidence to battle a god of war. Of course, this was only the mindset after the expansion of power, if he really sparred with the god of war, he would die without even knowing how. The attribute skills of the god of war had all been sublimated and evolved, it was not something he could compare to now. Kill monsters, kill monsters, upgrade and kill monsters. Compared to Yi Zhao's excitement, Xiao Chang and the girls were a little less excited. Yi Zhao's strength had risen greatly and had even surpassed them, 
then they were not particularly important and irreplaceable. They were both afraid that their master would not be too good, but also afraid that their master would be too powerful. They were very conflicted. Ah, what's wrong? See why your excitement is not high. Shouldn't you all be happy that your master has become so strong? Ye Xiao quickly sensed the change in their mood. They were still unhappy when they became stronger instead. We are happy that master has become stronger. But master you are too strong now. We won't be essential, and you won't rely on us for future battles. Looking at Xiao Qing's sorrowful eyes, Yi Xiao went up and gently softened her hair. He thought it was something, he didn't realize that it was because he was too strong and they had lost their sense of security. Who said I don't rely on you guys anymore, you will always be my closest companions. I won't go easy on you even if I get stronger, you guys have seen which imperial beast master fights are in person. So you guys are worrying too much, the battle still has to come from you guys, as for master me, I will just watch the battle from the side. If Yi Xiao was like this, then they came to be excited. As long as Yi Xiao still needed them. Master, ride me first, I want to feel your riding skills. Xiao Cheng looked at Yi Xiao with a delicate face. The words coming out from inside her mouth were more or less ambiguous, and that flirtatious little look almost made him unable to hold on. Master, I also want to ride. I want it too, Master you can't favor big sister, we all want to be ridden. One by one, they all began to compete for favor. Since this was the case, then they would be ridden one by one, and no one would suffer. Little green, you go first, ten minutes for one person, master is the fairest. Good. As the eldest sister, naturally, she should be ridden first, Xiao Qing directly manifested her body, Yi Xiao leaped and rolled over to Xiao Qing's body. After opening the second profession divine beast rider, riding the body again felt different. Powerful strength spread to the whole body, the two of them were more in tune with each other, there was no need to communicate, a single look knew each other's thoughts. Master, this feeling is marvelous, and my strength feels enhanced quite a bit. This is natural. Checking the attributes of the two, all of them were enhanced. Charge, kill. With a command, Little Green led the charge, charging into the group of murderers, taking away the lives of a large number of ferocious beasts with a single claw and a single wing. Little Phoenix and Little Spirit could only blearily follow behind and watch. Who let people be the big sister, having priority? But the good thing was that there was only 10 minutes, once the 10 minutes were up, it would be their turn. 10 minutes later. Big sister, master, it's my turn, 10 minutes are up. Once the 10 minutes arrived, little spirit directly rushed up and stopped the increasingly excited little green. Big sister, master wants to rain on his parade, you can't occupy master. Right, right, big sister, let's be fair. Although there was some reluctance, there was no way around it, the master was not hers alone. Alright, master, you go ride them, 10 minutes each, when it's over it's my turn again. Good, good, good. Yi Xiao was also helpless, since opening his second profession, he seemed to have become even busier. The divine favors under his hand all fought to let him ride them, riding this and that to be jealous. Hey, having too many divine pets is also a sin. On the other side of the blazing flame mysterious realm, the cultivator god of war was sparring with the fire Jiao. The fire Jiao had an annoyed look on its face, if it wasn't because it couldn't defeat the underworld, how could it possibly serve as a sparring partner for the Shura war god? The child was taken away and he himself had to stoop to be someone else's sparring partner, it was too stifling. Dare to be distracted when sparring with me, Fire Jiao, you have not taken me too seriously. One blade stream Upanishad, sword drawing chop. Drink! Cultivator let out an explosive shout, and the long sword in his hand that was storing up power chopped towards Fire Jiao with a thunderous momentum. Stab la! As strong as the Fire Jiao could not resist Shura War God's chopping attack, a knife went down and his chest was directly torn open. The Fire Jiao let out a roar in pain. Jiao Dragon Fire Dance. Being passively beaten was not its style, and besides, right now, Spectre wasn't making a move. As long as he didn't kill Xiu Luo, there was no reason for the Pantheon to make a move against him. Since this was the case, then don't blame him for being impolite, blazing flames wrapped his body, his body was covered in flames, and he arrived in front of Shura with a whoosh. Shura, who had just finished using his skills, was simply too late to make a decent defense out of it. He could only passively put his sword across his chest to fend off the fire Jiao's strong counterattack. Bang. With a loud bang, Xiu Luo was directly shaken back a hundred meters. A fishy sweetness in his throat was forcibly suppressed back, he couldn't afford to lose face in front of Fire Jiao again. It's not over yet, the battle has only begun. Raise the fire and burn the sky. Star fire prairie fire. Flame sky fire rain. The Fire Jiao didn't have much of anything, just a lot of skills. With one move, the attacks were like no money at all, slamming towards Shura. Shura had no choice but to passively resist the attacks, and his clothes and hair were all burned up. From time to time, it also emitted a smell of roasted meat. Groove, it's not over. Shura Tiger Hunt. Being attacked endlessly, Xiu Luo was also a bit annoyed, carrying the fire augur's attack, he went up to fight hard. The result that was a lose-lose situation. 
Cultivator's brother was burned out in a ball of black, while the fire jaw's chest had an additional chopping mark, and blood was dripping out desperately. One person and one auger backed off at the same time, not continuing to attack. They were just sparring, not splitting life and death, there was no need to fight to the death. Are you alright? Spectre did not intervene in Shura's attack without authorization. Such a good target for practicing was perfect for Shura. If he helped, Shura would never grow in his life. Not to mention that with him here, nothing would happen to Shura. Bah, don't worry big brother, can't die. Lightly spitting out a mouthful of blood foam, Xiu Luo blared angrily at Fire Jiao with both eyes. He had known that this guy was difficult to deal with, but he didn't expect it to be difficult to this extent, his flesh defense was stronger than him, his recovery ability was stronger than him, and his fighting strength wasn't weaker than him. This was still the territory of the Fire Jiao, it was too disadvantageous to fight the Fire Jiao here. I lost slightly by 3 points this time, but the next time we meet, I'll definitely be able to beat him to death. A loss was a loss, there was nothing that couldn't be admitted. The Fire Jiao's body had recovered, his chi and blood were still shaking, if the Fire Jiao launched an attack on him at this time, there was a high probability that he would lose. Of course defeat is defeat, death is not to be, if he is bent on running, the Fire Augur can't help him at all. Failure isn't scary, upgrade properly, surpassing him is something that will happen sooner or later. Forbidden. With a wave of the specter's hand, the ghostly black magic formation appeared directly above Fire Jiao's head. Without waiting for him to react, an irresistible force overwhelmed him to the ground, no matter how much he resisted, it was useless. Damned fellow, you don't talk about martial virtues and even engage in a sneak attack. The specter glanced at the Fire Jiao, and with a wave of his hand, the magic array was removed. Only before he could be happy, with another wave of the specter's hand, it was suppressed into place once again. Eh? Gave you a chance, you're not using it, so you can't blame me for not being martial this time. The light sentence almost didn't make the Fire Jiao angry. However, his emotion soon stabilized, regardless of whether or not the specter spoke of martial virtues, he could not possibly be the specter's opponent. Instead of resisting, it would be better to obediently wait here for the judgment. Kill or die as you wish, my beast race will never be a slave. This was the last dignity of the fire Jiao. Qing Feng had tried to take it in for a long time, and every time, he had refused. This time, in its opinion, this action was a setup made by Qing Feng in conjunction with the underworld and the others. The purpose was to bend it into favor. Although he was only a divine beast, he had his own dignity and would definitely not be so resigned to his fate. Right at this moment, a wave of green flames appeared in front of the crowd. Through the green flames one could still see the exquisite figure of Qing Feng. It's really you, I'm telling you, absolutely impossible, there's absolutely no way I, Fire Jiao, can become your beast pet. After seeing the arrival of Qing Feng, the Fire Jiao instantly became violent, in its opinion the cause of all this was Qing Feng, capturing his child and having people come to surround it. If it wasn't for the underworld trapping it, it would probably have rushed up to fight with Qing Feng by now. Qing Feng lightly glanced at the Fire Jiao and didn't pay much attention to it. Accepting him as a beast pet, Qing Feng did want to, but it wasn't a must. The god of war also had the dignity of a god of war, the beast pet she wanted needed to be 100% loyal to her, like the Fire Jiao, who was all anti-bone, she wouldn't dare to ask for it even if it was sent to her. I'm coming. All settled? Qing Feng nodded with a smile on her face. With me here, it wasn't a breeze, but even without my help, I think that little guy was a breeze as well. A green-eyed white tiger, a sea-suppressing Xuanwu, and an immortal divine phoenix, three divine pets, I'm red-eyed. When Qing Feng said that Yi Xiao possessed three divine pets, the spectral warlord and Xiu Luo obviously froze for a moment. The spectral war god was considered to know Yi Xiao very well, he had owned two divine beasts before, the green-eyed white tiger and the Xinhai Xuanwu. He had mentioned them in passing before, but he had not expected that they would really be found by him. The immortal divine phoenix, a super divine beast whose bloodline was even thicker than that of the green phoenix. I wasn't wrong about this little fellow, his talent far exceeds our imagination. Indeed, this little guy's talent is unrivaled, I went through a lot of trouble to obtain the loyalty of the green phoenix, but as a result, this little guy, in his second turn, possesses three divine beasts with even thicker blood veins, ah 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 It would be a lie to say that he was not envious. It was as if Yi Xiao possessed the divine beast edge, the divine beasts don't want to fall back on it. If she wasn't unsure, she really wanted to slice Yi Xiao up and study him. Since Yi Xiao has succeeded, then we don't need to stay any longer, let's go. Good. Wait for me for 10 minutes, I'll take care of the problem. Fire Jiao was bullying and always thought that she didn't dare to move him, if she didn't see that he still had 3 points of research value, she had to slice him up today. Although she couldn't kill him, but beating him up to take out his anger was still possible, not to mention that now he was controlled by the underworld, he could take out his anger as much as he wanted. What are you? What are you? Doing? Looking at Qingfeng who was walking towards him step by step, Fire Jiao was a bit flustered. 
This bitch was holding back bad thoughts at a glance. He would rather face the underworld war god and take a beating than face Ching Feng. Sure. Sure can be killed but not humiliated, Ching Fo I'm telling you, I definitely won't give. In. Nonsense really Nima much, just show you have a long mouth ah. Old lady need you? You think you are more bullish, trough. Having just been sneered at by Fire Jiao, Ching Fo was holding her breath. Things were all settled as well, and there was still plenty of time left, so he must be properly educated. Sun seeking green flame. Soul flame. One attack after another, it smashed towards the Fire Jiao in an overwhelming manner. No. Don't. 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 It's too noisy. Xing Feng glanced at the underworld, the underworld waved his staff, the fire auger directly shut up, in front of Xing Feng, she didn't even have the qualification to wail. Unable to move, unable to wail, Fire Jiao had the heart to die. Wanting to beg for mercy, she froze and couldn't say a word, so she was beaten up by Xing Feng for 10 minutes. If it wasn't for the underworld and the others stopping him, Xing Feng could have tortured him to death. Almost done, if you continue to fight, you will die, it's not easy to have such an obedient one, if you kill it, it's hard to find a replacement. Being so persuaded by the underworld, Ching Feng also calmed down, smoothing out the folds of her clothes and resuming her usual dignified demeanor. You guys are right, there's just this one that's still obedient, beating it to death won't really be able to find a replacement for a while. I'll say a few words to him, don't worry, just talk, absolutely no hands. Ching Feng walked in front of the fire jiao, attached her ear and murmured a few words in the fire jiao's ear. In an instant, the fire Jiao's pupils dilated and his face was filled with panic. Ooh. Oh oh. The fire Jiao wanted to speak, but being controlled by the specter, it could not say anything and could only look at the specter with those pleading eyes. How had Jumwa seen such a fire Jiao, he still liked the unruly and untamed appearance of the fire Jiao before. He really didn't know what Ching Feng had said to him that would make him scared like this. Solve. Don't, don't, please, I'll sign a contract with you, a master servant contract, I'll be 100% loyal to you. The moment he opened his mouth, he was defecting. But he couldn't afford the current Ching Feng. Sign a contract? Wait, I'll sign it one day when I'm in a good mood and think you're still useful, I'm not in the mood today. Master, master, please, contract it, I'm obedient. But no matter how much the fire Zhao prayed, Ching Feng ignored it. Let's go, Yi Xiao is still waiting for us. There seemed to be no problem here with the fire Zhao, and their mission was considered complete. Go, the entrance to the secret realm. Yi Xiao was riding his beast pet to attract and kill monsters. There were so many monsters here that Yi Xiao did not know how many times he had replenished their blue. However, the effect was also very good, all the experience was added to Little Phoenix, and her level managed to catch up, reaching level 30 of the second turn. Skill, Charge. Charge at enemy, speed increases by 300%, impacts enemy causing 150% damage, 50% probability of causing stun effect. Skill, charge, skill, charge, skill, charge. Skills exclusive to knights, divine beast knights were also knights and were just as capable of learning them. And exploded a nice skill book, not bad, not bad. The entire secret realm was his, he had killed a lot of monsters during this period of time, the monsters were high leveled and gave more experience. The dropped materials were also all high level materials, a brain all teleported to Xiao Yunru. Xiao Yunru successfully reached level 20 after this period of torture. Of course, the dark circles under her eyes are also dark, this period of time she did not have time to rest, Yi Xiao teleported the materials to the home will be piled up to the brim. But whenever she rested for a moment, the materials could overwhelm her. Xiao Yun Ro, you are really my good buddy. Yi Xiao, doing my best to underwrite you, don't worry, there will be more and more materials in the future. Xiao Yun Ru, do not want to say anything more, directly pull black 3 minutes. After chatting with Xiao Yun Ru for a few moments, Yi Xiao looked into the distance. After such a long time, the three of them have not yet arrived, there should not be any accidents. Being so unfamiliar here, it would be bad if they went over and disrupted someone's plan. Wait for half an hour, if they still don't go out, let's go and see the specifics. First go and bring me that frozen guy. Yi Xiao did not forget the agreement with Maniac, nor did he forget his dream of spreading his beast pets all over the world in the first place. Just now, while fighting, he found a ferocious beast with a saint level bloodline. It was a bit of a drop in the bucket to use on his own but selling it to Maniac, Maniac would still have to remember him as a favor. Little fellow, I'm sending you a fortune, take advantage of it. Bloodline rejuvenation. Ding, bloodline rejuvenation in progress. Ancestralization successful, blazing monkey king, saint level bloodline. Master. With a handle, don't like it. I think you should know my plan very well, don't show any cracks, got it? Yes, master. After the return of the ancestor, the loyalty of the blazing flame monkey king was directly pulled full, although there was no contract but the same would not betray Yi Xiao. After taking the Blazing Flame Monkey King back into the Imperial Beast space, Yi Xiao directly contacted Maniac. 
Yi Xiao, hello, long time no see. Maniac who was busy in Imperial City suddenly received Yi Xiao's message and was startled violently. Yi Xiao he knew ah, the super newcomer that the god of underworld war had his eye on. Since adding the contact information both of them hadn't contacted each other, and now Yi Xiao actually took the initiative to contact him. Not to see the face of the Buddha, Yi Xiao have taken the initiative to greet, he naturally cannot pretend not to see. Maniac, hello hello hello, it's been a long time, I didn't expect you to take the initiative to send me a message. Maniac, is there something going on here big brother? As long as I can do it, feel free to command me. Maniac's enthusiasm was beyond his imagination. Of course he also knew that Maniac was enthusiastic about him because of the underworld war god. Yi Xiao, what big brother, I'm just a small minion who just turned two, I don't dare to call myself a big brother in front of you. Maniac, Versailles is not so Versailles. The second turn is indeed not much of a big brother. But this is only on the old generation, Yi Xiao has only just succeeded in the transfer of how long, the same generation is now in the 10th level, 15th level, and even still in the 10th level below the mixit. Maniac, this is the second turn? Bullish ah brother, give you some time, I'm not even your opponent, funny. Although Yi Xiao was tempted to say that even now you are not my opponent, but in order to save Maniac's face, he decided to keep a low profile. Yi Xiao, I won't say more nonsense, there is something to find you. As expected, there is nothing to do, Yi Xiao suddenly contacted him must have something to beg him to handle. Consider it an investment, but also to give face to the god of the underworld, as long as the things Yi Xiao asked for are not excessive, he can help certainly will help. Maniac, there is something you just say, there is no need to be so polite between our brothers, I will definitely help if I can. Although he knows that Maniac is saying polite words, but these words make people comfortable and make people willing to cooperate with him. Yi Xiao, actually, it's not too big of a deal, I just have a saint level bloodline beast pet that I haven't contracted after taming, I don't know if you need it on your side. Yi Xiao, if you need it, this beast pet will be sold to you, if you don't need it, help me find a channel to sell it, how about it? Maniac. Maniac directly in place stupid eyes. This is a brother. This is simply his regenerative parent. A beast pet with a saint level bloodline was actually going to be sold to him, and it was still a beast pet that didn't have a contract after it was tamed. This was the dream of how many imperial beast masters, and now that it was right in front of his eyes, it was more or less unbelievable. Maniac, are you serious? Saint level bloodline? Yi Xiao, boys and girls, you can come and wait at the entrance of the blazing flame mystic realm first, I'll hand over the beast pet to you, and then give me an offer after you test it. Giving it away for nothing is definitely impossible, things that are given away for nothing are usually not cherished by others. Only after spending a large amount of money would others cherish it and even be grateful. After all, saint level bloodline beast pets had a price, and those without a contract after taming were even more priceless. Only a fool would sell it. The more maniac thought about it, the more excited he became, this was an opportunity he had to seize, no matter how much money it cost, even if he had to dump his family's money, he had to get his hands on this beast pet. Wait, where did he just say it was? The Blazing Flame Secret Realm? If he remembered correctly, it seemed that today, the Underworld War God had set off for the Blazing Flame Secret Realm with both the Shura War God and the Green Phoenix War God. The purpose was to help a descendant with his second profession transfer. Could it be? That person was Yi Xiao? Second profession transition, Blazing Flame Secret Realm, the descendant that the Underworld War God had his eye on. It's a real deal. That person was Yi Xiao. Damn, people are more angry than people. But Yi Xiao is so brotherly, he can even think of me at this time. Maniac, brother, wait for me, you must wait for me, I'll teleport over right away, keep the holy favor for me, I'll take it. Maniac contacted while hurriedly setting off in the teleportation array. Yi Xiao also knew how attractive the holy favor was to them. The reason why he gave it to Madman was because he knew him, and secondly, it was also considered selling the god of underworld war a face. After all, the maniac is the god of the underworld's people, more or less is also considered to be their own people, the water does not flow outside the field. The first thing you need to do is to cut off the contact and wait for the arrival of the madman. It didn't take long, only to hear a loud sound, sure a war god entered again with his loud and amazing smashing way. Hearing this loud sound, Yi Xiao knew that the three of them had returned safely. Ha ha, brother Yi. Pretty fast, I originally gave you two hours, I didn't expect to kill the boss so quickly. Shura War God's magnificent voice made people's moods a lot happier. Thanks to the Green Phoenix God of War, and the help of the three of them, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do it so easily. Crap, big wave imperial sister, hello hello, my humble self Shura, God of War, can I get to know you? Seeing Xiao Huang Xiu Luo, he was directly mesmerized by the imperial sister's posture. Snap. The underworld God of War really couldn't take it anymore and slapped him directly. Get out of the way, see one love one, the face of the god of war has been disgraced by you. Shura helplessly shrugged his shoulders, he didn't want to ah, 
but the opportunity is not an apple on the tree, without striving hard for it, this life can't hit his head. If I don't strive for it, I won't be the same as you too, a bachelor for life. The Shura war god couldn't help but murmur there. The result was being angrily glared at by the underworld war god and the green phoenix war god with the eyes of death. This fellow was drifting more and more lately, how dare he make up the two of them. It was also Yishao who was here and gave him some face, otherwise today, he had to let him know that big brother will always be your big brother. Find me when you go back, I have something to discuss with you. I also have something to discuss with you, remember to look for me. The cultivator god of war didn't dare to refuse at all, and lowered his head to keep quiet, pretending that he didn't hear. What these two people had in mind, he knew best, but whenever he went, if he didn't lose a layer of skin, he would be sorry for his identity as an old bachelor. After resolving the Shura war god, the underworld war god turned his gaze to Yi Shao. Your second profession has been opened, right? Is it convenient to reveal? After all, this was someone else's secret, if Yi Shao was not willing to reveal it, they would not ask too much. There is nothing to hide from you guys, my second occupation is Divine Beast Knight. Divine Beast Rider? Rider? N? This was the benefit of having a great unification of thoughts, when the underworld god of war and the Shura god of war heard about this profession, their thoughts were exactly the same as Yi Shao. Both of them looked at him with a special look. As for the green phoenix war god, he looked at them with a puzzled expression, not knowing what the few of them meant. Simply a knight, just a little bit alternative, I ride a divine beast. Ah, uh, you guys know. The more this thing explained, the more wrong it became. Just let them interpret it however they want, their own minds are very pure. Understand, understand, we all understand, what are the bonuses of a divine beast rider, it won't simply be just riding it. It's also okay, in the night state, within an hour, the human pet's attributes are increased by 20%, and for every level up, the attributes are increased by 1%. The three of them looked at Yi Xiao with a confused expression. What did they just hear? One hour, the attributes increased by 20%, and for every level, the attributes increased by 1%. This is afraid that they didn't hear it wrong, what kind of heaven-defying profession is this? You, not kidding. Noah, this occupation is like this, I think it's okay. Versailles, still in Versailles. They endured. At least it was a profession that had been exchanged for killing a second turn level 50 god level boss, it was normal to be a little stronger. It was just this attitude of Yishao that made them want to go up and smack him in the mouth, with all these attributes, how dare they have the nerve to say it's still okay. Unbeknownst to them, Yishao was telling the truth, he hadn't told them about his talent yet. If they knew about his god level talent, they might also think that this attribute was ordinary. A second career is so enviable, why am I not a divine beast knight, I want to ride too. Right, Yi Xiao, which college are you planning to enter in September? Being glared at by the god of the underworld and the god of the green phoenix, Xiu Luo immediately changed the topic, if he didn't shift it, he would be beaten up in the next second. Asked so suddenly? It was true that those who knew the times were wise, and such talents could live for a long time. No wonder Shura could grow to be a war god powerhouse, there are details in the Mang. I haven't considered the school matter for the time being, after all, you all know that I can't do with this talent, plus I'm still poor, there's no way. So I just want to see which school's welfare treatment is good, we definitely pick the school with the best treatment not. This guy was really spooky. The three of them sent him a blank stare in unison. This began to knock on the door. However, he was also also had the capital to knock on the door, among his peers, who else could be like him, having mastered three divine beasts at the second turn. Now coupled with his second profession, he was directly invincible, and even if he faced a third turn powerhouse, he had the same power to fight. You're the one the boss has his eye on, with the boss's status, even if you hug an old sow and go in, you'd have to be treated as a guest of honor. This way of speaking. It was no wonder that he was beaten up from time to time. It sounded like he was praising the pantheon god of war status in China, but how he listened to it all felt awkward. It was said as if he, pantheon, was the type of person who bullied people and used his power for personal gain. Don't listen to Xiu Luo's nonsense, although I have so much energy, but I don't care to use this method to Cypriot. How much resources you can grasp by yourself, it all depends on your own skills, relying on others is not a permanent solution after all. But I think with your natural talent, even to the college as much as to be able to blossom, is the gold he can always shine. This point indeed, the pie is drawn quite big. Summarized in one sentence, is not to give him the back door. But it doesn't matter, no back door is no back door. He himself was the back door, and when he arrived at the school, as long as he blossomed a little bit of talent, I believe the school would find him. At that time, what resources were not available? I know, I'll perform well when the time comes. N. For Yi Zha's attitude, the underworld god of war was still very satisfied, not arrogant, not impatient, knowing how to advance and retreat, a good seedling worthy of cultivation. Remember, don't expose your talent for the sake of a small profit, China is not as safe as you think, 
and we are not always present to protect you. God's favor, the temptation is not normally great. Indeed, I'm a bit tempted even looking at it, not to mention others, if it wasn't for the fact that you're a person from the underworld and you're still a little bit handsome, I would have wanted to kill and snatch the beast pet over. He was still simple. A divine beast might be a rare thing for him, but for others, it was a supreme treasure. It was also the fact that the underworld war god didn't have a scourge on him, but anyone else might have already killed and snatched the beast pet away. Before one has the strength to rival the war god, one cannot easily reveal one's bottom card. Seeing that there was more than a hint of alertness in Yi Zhao's eyes, the underworld war god was a little more relieved. He didn't want Yi Xiao to fall down halfway, that would be a major loss for China. Of course, we still need the resources we should have, aren't your beast pets able to take human form? I can help you take care of their enrollment, so that you alone can have four enrollment rewards, which is a lot of gain. It was surprising that bugs could still be this stuck. But this wasn't a bad idea, as long as Xiao Chang and the girls didn't transform into their original bodies, no one would be able to detect their identities. Don't take resources for nothing. Many thanks to Elder Underworld. If it's possible, arrange for me to be placed at Magic City University. He had also learned about the various colleges and universities before, and the top ones were Imperial City University and Magic City University. In comparison, Imperial City University was even better. The reason why Yi Xiao did not choose the Imperial City University was because the social relations inside the Imperial City University were too complicated. To put it simply, if you throw a stone with your eyes closed, you won't even know who's the youngest member of the family you hit. Where you can go, powerful and talented, small groups are too complicated, Yi Xiao does not like to fight, more not willing to waste time on it. With this time, it would be better to brush more monsters and upgrade. Compared to Imperial City University, Magic City University has a lot less of this kind of situation. Of course the most important thing was that he still remembered what Maniac had said back then, that there was a dragon's blood mystery realm in Magic City. Going to Magic City University was just enough to touch the bottom of this dragon blood secret realm. If he could really find a suitable one, then he would have the four divine beasts together. Magic City University, it's not bad, you shouldn't go back to Hai Chang, there should be nothing worth staying there, and I think there are a lot of people in Hai Chang who wouldn't be too welcoming for you to go back. Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing's girl's reputation had already stunk in Hai Chang. How many stores had been victimized by their dabbling with food and drink? If Yi Xiao and the others were able to leave, all the stores would have to burn high incense. This is for you, the spectral badge, if there is an official person looking for your trouble, you can show him the spectral badge and it might help you solve some of your troubles. The things sent by the underworld war god, where there were unusual things, the badge was small, but it represented the underworld war god. Seeing the spectral badge, he believed that the official people would give the spectral war god this face. Alright, what should be accounted for has been accounted for, the rest of the road should be up to you, we'll leave first. A flower in a greenhouse would not grow, he could shelter Yi Xiao for a moment, but not for a lifetime. It was all up to Yi Xiao himself as to what point he could grow to in the end. Many thanks to the three seniors, in the future, if there is any use for Yi Xiao, feel free to ask. With Yi Xiao's words they were relieved. They accepted this favor. I only have one request, just don't betray the country. After painstakingly cultivating Yi Xiao for such a long time, the best resources were handed over to Yi Xiao, if in the end Yi Xiao betrayed the country, then he was bound to personally retrieve everything, including Yi Xiao's life. This is of course, those who are not of my race, their hearts will be different, I don't believe that they will treat me sincerely, only a fool would betray his own country. This was indeed Yi Xiao's sincere words. Betraying his country would not benefit him at all, in China, there are so many backers, why bother to run to an unfamiliar place and be someone else's lapdog? The three of them also saw the sincerity in Yi Xiao's words, and they believed that Yi Xiao would not betray the country of China. Let's go. After sending Yi Xiao to the exit of the secret realm, the three of them were the first to leave. Boss, I didn't expect you to have a moment when the iron tree blossomed, back then, how many war gods begged you to go through the back door, you were not willing, but now you are going through the back door for Yi Xiao alone. Qing Feng looked at the silly Xiao Luo, he really didn't know how he cultivated to a god of war. Underworld naturally has his reasons for doing things, you wouldn't simply think that he is only doing it to backdoor for Yi Xiao, isn't it? Xiao Luo was meditating there, and after thinking for half a day, he didn't think of the pixie war god's intention. You are still too young, there is so much more to learn, work hard junior. Study hard. The two padded Shura's shoulders left and right, turned around and left. The Shura people were confused, looking at the two people's far away backs, completely unable to understand what they were saying again. Hey, 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 you two don't need to be taciturn at this time, what kind of dumb riddle are you playing with me, quickly tell me, what exactly is the reason? Shura's feet slammed together and chased after them towards the two. Blah blah blah, how come Shura Wargod is still so violent, the way he came out and left was simple and rough. 
Maniac, who was rushing to the scene, was almost knocked off his feet by the violently departing Shura War God. Luckily, his Lion King dodged fast enough, if he was hit by the Shura War God, both of them would have been smashed into pieces. Elder Brother Yi, I'm here, hi. After moving his gaze away from the Shura War God trio, Maniac looked towards Yi Xiao at the entrance of the secret realm. His guess was not wrong at all, the only one who could make the three war gods come out was Yi Xiao. After warmly greeting Yi Xiao, Maniac landed beside Yi Xiao and his Lion King. Yi old brother, the holy favor is still here, right? Old brother, I rushed over here quickly, you can't sell the holy favor to someone else. Looking at the Lion King's tired appearance, Yi Xiao knew that Maniac had not lied to him, they had indeed rushed here as fast as they could. Older brother, you can't trust old brother that much? I have promised to give it to you, how could I possibly give it to someone else? The holy favorites are all reserved for you, I was just about to send you a message that will meet you in Magic City, I didn't expect you to come so fast. He he he, he he he. Maniac scratched his head and giggled there. However, his eyes were staring at Yi Xiao the whole time. These eyes were too hot, Yi Xiao was a little unable to carry them. Alright, alright, since you are here, old brother, I will give the blazing monkey king to you. You can take it back for testing, when you have determined its bloodline, we will discuss how much, how about it. After seeing the blazing monkey king, Maniac's eyes lit up. This appearance, so handsome, especially those eyes, so bright, at a glance, it was smarter than his Lion King. This didn't need to be tested at all, it was definitely a beast pet with a saint level bloodline. Older brother, aren't you being out of line, what kind of relationship do we have, a family doesn't talk about two families, I can still trust you. No need to test, this is a beast pet of saint level bloodline, I'll take it, I'll take it for any amount of money. Ye shall liked people who were painfully honest. But friendship was friendship, the procedures that should be in place should still be in place. Older brother, it's not a matter of trust or not, if you go back and test it, everyone will be relieved not. And I believe you don't have that much money on you either don't you, I'll give you time to get the money together, a beast pet with a saint level bloodline, the price shouldn't be cheap. Of course with our brother and sister's feelings I give you nothing, just I don't want our brother and sister's feelings mixed with interests, you say right. Beautiful words can be said by anyone but there is not much that can be said to other people's heart like Yi Xiao. Hearing Yi Xiao say this, Maniac was moved to tears. Fellowship is fellowship, and absolutely cannot be mixed with any interests. Older brother you are right, we are public and private, friendship cannot be mixed with interests. After brother I go back and test it, I will issue you a suitable price list, see if you can accept it. If you're not satisfied, old brother I'll auction it off for you, and I definitely won't let you suffer. A small saint grade bloodline beast pet was just a saint grade bloodline beast pet, there was no such thing as suffering a loss, even if it was given to Maniac for nothing, he wouldn't be able to suffer too much of a loss. Older brother you say this, how much money you can give, little brother will sell how much money, no need to auction, it's settled, say it again can hurt feelings. In the future, something may have to trouble old brother, if you delay, I will not dare to trouble in the future. Yi Xiao all said so, madman also no longer pretense, this love in the heart is good. Then old brother, brother will not bother you, first take him back to test, then as soon as possible to give you the money over. Good, hard work. Wait. Maniac was just about to leave when Yi Xiao stopped him. Older brother, you still have something to do? I just want to ask you, where is that Dragon Blood Mystic Realm you told me about earlier located in Magic City? Dragon Blood Secret Realm, uh, I'll send you the address of the Dragon Blood Secret Realm. The Dragon Blood Secret Realm wasn't exactly a secret in Magic City, as long as one looked for someone to ask around they all knew where the Dragon Blood Secret Realm was. Of course the dragon blood secret realm is not what people can go in, the strength is not good people go in will only be sent to death. After all, stained with the dragon things, and then weak monsters will become very strong. The weakest would be a second turn monster, but that shouldn't be a big problem for Yi Xiao. What, are you going to Magic City? Hey, isn't it almost time to choose a college, I'm planning to visit the Magic City University and go ahead to familiarize myself with the environment. It was only when Yi Xiao said this that the maniacs remembered that Yi Xiao had just succeeded in his transfer not long ago. It was just that his performance was too demonic, which caused him to overlook Yi Xiao's age. Magic City University is not bad, it is suitable for a super genius like you, there are too many small teams in Imperial City, instead it is not conducive to your development. By the way old brother, a friendly reminder, when you go to Magic City don't offend the surname Phone, the Phone family's eldest miss, that's a little witch, a dangerous person. Perhaps Feng Qian's rank wasn't very high, but then again no one dared to mess with Feng Qian at all in Magic City. The Feng family's dual war gods were no joke. The Feng family has been a single male for 18 generations, and it's not easy to have such a small daughter, that is held in the hands or afraid of falling. Offending Feng Qian would be offending the Feng family god of war, and the end would be tragic. Thanks for reminding me old brother, I know. Feng family. 
Hopefully they wouldn't have any interactions, as long as the Fong family Missy didn't mess with him, he naturally wouldn't mess with her either. But if the Fong family's eldest miss was unkind enough to provoke him, then don't blame him for running away. That was a dual war god, not something he could provoke, there was no shame in running away. Thanks a lot, old brother. Hey, don't be polite, these are the basics of the magic city, any person you ask will tell you. Then I'll leave first if there's nothing else. Good. After the maniac briefly told Yi Xiao about the situation of Magic City, he left with the Blazing Monkey King. After sending off Maniac, Yi Xiao looked for the trading market to sell his useless equipment and skills, then he rode the teleportation array and came directly to the Magic City. By the time he arrived at Magic City, the sky was already dark, and Xiao Chang and the girls were tired from the day. The production team's donkeys weren't even used like this. Promising them good food, naturally he couldn't go back on his word. Master, where is the best hotel in Magic City? Magic City Hotel, eat well, sleep well, the gods have to linger when they come, as long as it's what you want, he has it. Attach your ear over, I secretly tell you, bedside telephone press 1, there are special services oh. Although the family flower is fragrant, but once in a while picking wildflowers, is also good. The driver master gave Yi Xiao a look that all men understand, Yi Xiao instantly understood. However, he was a decent man, he hadn't even eaten the household flowers clean, what wildflowers to eat. Got it, got it, brother, just go to Magic City Hotel. Hey, that's right, 200 per person. One person 200, this is not pure black car, robbery are not as fast as he comes to money. Brother, you are not some too black, one person 200, you simply robbed it, just 20, go or not, not go I find the next one. Riding a shared bicycle to the bar, we should save and spend. Taking a taxi to spend 800, absolutely impossible. Brother, no you so cut the price, one person 200 you directly cut the price of 20, walk on the car. Yi Zhao's old waist was almost flashed. Good guy, so excessive bargaining can be accepted, it seems to give more. But 20 bucks this gross rain he will not care, for people directly on the car, straight to the Magic City Hotel. Three minutes later, the Magic City Hotel arrived. Yi Xiao faced sad look at the driver, just two curves of the thing, he even had the nerve to charge 20. Walking is only 10 minutes. Brother, let's not be a little unkind, right, so close, how do you have the nerve to find me to charge 20? You love me, and the price is set by you, I agreed, is there a problem? Ye shall think carefully, indeed no problem, the price driver master want, he did not agree, he returned the price, the master agreed. You love what I want, can't blame the driver master. Then why don't you tell me that Magic City Hotel is here? Did you ask? Uh, well, didn't ask. In three words, the driver master was left speechless. But Yi Xiao where is the master of blowing losses, $20 to spend $20 worth of money. I've spent all the money, why don't you tell me again, master, where is the Magic City trading market? Turn right in front, it's very close. Then how far is Magic City University from here? Magic City University just happens to be in the opposite direction from Magic City Hotel, in the southernmost part of Magic City, if you want to go, I can give you a 20% discount, 180% for one person. It was all at this time, still not forgetting to sell himself. Yi Xiao would be damned if he believed him. Right, I'm inquiring about. Before Yi Xiao could ask out, the driver master put him. Stop, $20 to inquire about this is already enough. A big man, don't buckle and swish, it will be looked down upon by beautiful women. I really don't know how these three beauties look down on you, can you feed them with such a buckle? Let's go, if you want to take a taxi, you can prioritize me, boy and girl. After saying this, the driver master left with a kick of the gas, fearing that Yi Xiao was asking for directions. If it was all asked by him, how could they still make money? $20 lost is lost, it doesn't hurt. If he continued to be so inky, it was estimated that he was going to be stared to death by these three people. The trio's stomachs had been grumbling for a long time, they needed to eat, a lot of food. Let's go, have a big meal, let go and eat whatever you want. Boss, fry one book, no, fry three books. Emil Yi Zhao's wallet dried up a lot, high-grade hotel, eat well, but can't hold the three women's appetite is too big. The hotel is given to wipe out the zero also spent 10 million dollars. But 10 million on 10 million, they three people playing gold speed is fast, casually into a copy of the meal money earned back. Compared to Xiao Chang and Xiao Ling's devouring, Xiao Huang appeared to be a lot more elegant. She was careful with her meals, but looking at the peach blossom in her eyes, she was clearly attracted by the food. Is it delicious? Tasty, master is so nice. Thank you master, this is the first time I've tasted such delicious food. Follow master and hang out, you can eat such good food every day, lighten up, put in more effort and strike more gold, otherwise master will have to wash dishes for people. After eating and drinking enough, he opened a presidential suite under the ambiguous eyes of the beautiful receptionist. Going to stroll around the trading market? N. Strolling around after a meal to kill their appetite, and as long as they followed Yi Xiao, 
they were in a good mood. The four of them arrived at the trading market. The Magic City trading market was indeed much larger than the Sea City trading market, and there were also too many transmigrators. Even at night, there was an endless stream of people inside, second turn powerhouses were everywhere, and third turn powerhouses could be seen from time to time. Boss, are there any skill books for second turn knights? In the future, his battle form would basically be a knight state, learning a little more knight skills would do him more good than harm. There are, a lot of them, which aspect of knight skill books do you need, law knight, battle knight, paladin. There were different types of knight skills, although the skills were all common, the power they exerted was different. I need knight skill books that can enhance the abilities of beast pets. Although he was very strong, Xiao Chang and the girls would not allow her to strike. Once he made a move, it would make a few of them think that they had lost their role. For the sake of their self-confidence, Yi Xiao decided to lie low. Imperial Beast Master? The owner had been selling skill books for so many years, and naturally, he had encountered those who requested like Yi Xiao. 90% of such requests were Imperial Beast Masters. After all, the Beast Master's beast pet was really strong, but the Beast Master was really weak. The Imperial Beast Master's battle all depended on the beast pet, and the stronger the beast pet was, the stronger their battle power would be. Boss has a good eye, are there skill books for this? Of course there is, please wait a moment. After waiting for a moment's effort, the boss took out two knight skill books. Currently there are only these two skill books suitable for you, see if they fit. Yi Xiao picked up the skill books and examined them for a moment. War Roar, Knight Exclusive Skill. Launch War Roar, sacrifice 30% of blood, strength and strength, speed, defense, and have a 1% probability of issuing a death immunity status. At the first sight of War Roar, Yi Xiao liked this skill. Sacrificing 30% of blood was just a matter of him replenishing it with a single healing spell. But the attribute bonus was real, and there was a probability of triggering the deathless status. I'll take this skill book, how much? Boss, buying and selling based on conscience, children and old men, there will be many more opportunities for us to work together in the future. Being pitched by the driver master had already cast a shadow, he didn't want to fall for it again. This store is all marked up, so don't worry, we definitely won't screw you over. This skill book is a relatively rare knight skill book, so the price will be a bit more expensive, a bite price of 3 million. 3 million, it's worth it, as long as it can improve strength, 3 million spent is spent. Good, I'll take this skill book. Yi Xiao swiped the 3 million very sharply, and the skill book arrived. Boss, I also want the knight's skill book, just how much is his one? Yi Xiao had just made the payment when a knight came beside him, wanting to buy the skill book just now. Boys and girls, that skill book is relatively rare, a bite price of 3 million. Hearing the boss say this, Yi Xiao knew that the boss was not lying to him, this skill book was indeed worth 3 million. Bullshit, second bite price 1 and a half million. No no no, you kill the price kill too hard, I do this is to lose money. What loss of capital, I came to you here so many times, how much your price I know, 3 price 1,800,000, okay give a word, I'm very busy, deal. The knight paid 1,800,000 and just took the skill book away. On his way out, he also didn't forget to give Yi Xiao a chance to fiddle with the skill book in his hand. A 1,800,000 bought away the skill book and a 3 million bought away the skill book. How to look at him was like that wrongdoer. Are all the people in Magic City like this, the setup is too deep, right, can't defend against it, bullying outsiders, he wants to go back to High City, the people of High City are really too simple. Boss. Yi Xiao looked at the store owner with a sad face, hoping that he could give himself a reasonable explanation. Ah, uh, why, this guest, is there something wrong with you? The store owner turned around as if he didn't recognize Yi Xiao and looked at him with a warm face. This is meaningless boss, I just bought a skill book from your store, and now you are pretending not to recognize it? You misunderstand, I'm not pretending not to recognize, we are just serving with a smile, it's the same for all customers, or else you will be deducted. Yi Xiao didn't care if he smiled or not, giving him more than a million dollars for nothing, he was smiling happier than the boss. Let's talk about the matter of the skill book, didn't you say that this skill book has a bite price of 3 million? How come he just took it for a million and 80 thousand dollars? Oh, you said skill book ah. Uh. The boss put on a look of sudden realization and began his path of defense. He took away 1,800,000, that's because 1,800,000 to sell a, I still have a profit to make, I surely can't do business at a loss, thanks to the guests for me to worry about, you don't worry, the price of this aspect of my control is very strict, if he wasn't new to the country and didn't know the rules, Yi Xiao really wanted to slam his fist on it, was he worrying about losing money for the boss? He was asking why others could take it for a million and eighty thousand dollars, but he himself had to spend three million dollars, wasn't this treating him like an ingrate, do I mean that? Why does my skill book cost 3 million, give me a reasonable explanation. I offered 3 million dollars, you accepted and made a deal, does this need any explanation? Uh, 
Yi Xiao did not know how many times he was speechless, coming to Magic City felt like he was being restrained. Every time he suffered a loss he still had to be disliked and could not speak, the key to what others said was still fine. Then why can he sell for 1,800,000? He returned the price ah. I, didn't you say one price 3 million? Yes, he two mouth price of 1,500,000 I did not agree ah, three mouth price of 1,800,000 before I agreed, there is a problem? No problem. There was a clear stupidity in Yi Zhao's eyes, he believed that the boss at this moment definitely took him for a fool. God TM 2 bike price, 3 bike price, bargaining could even be said in such a refreshing way. Return it, I'll return it. Sorry, once sold do not accept returns, only accept secondary recycling. How much is the secondary recycling? 1 million. Yi Xiao really do not want to say anything, together with today he this wrongdoer is determined. 3 million dollars, are able to Xiao Qing them a person a meal standard. Count your ruthlessness. Bring me that skill book over. This book has already suffered a loss. The next book must get back its face. Skill book, Night Trample. Night exclusive skill. Night Trample on the enemy, on the circumference of 50 meters within the range of the enemy sustained trampling damage, reduce the enemy's 15 of the material resistance resistance, 3% probability of the enemy to produce a taunting effect. P.S. The effect is better with the charge skill. The skill effect was not as good as War Roar, but it was also a good night skill, and he also mastered the charge skill so the two just happen to match. This skill is one of the few super group attack skills amongst the night skills, killing small monsters in seconds has a strange effect, and as the level of the mount increases, the skill damage will also increase. Guess you can really consider it, this skill book is really good. The store owner was selling the skill book, this time Yi Xiao did not believe his bullshit. This time he was going to use the experience summarized by his predecessors and cut the price directly in half. This skill book is good, directly say, how much? Childish, this skill book is not as good as War Roar, 1 bike price 2 million. 2 mouth price 1 million, no, 800,000, expensive I will not. Sold. Still not waiting for Yi Xiao to say cruel words, the store owner directly agreed, which caught him off guard. Quite a boo-boo half hard to hold back, pull half clip off the difficult feeling. You agreed? 800,000. Agree ah, why not agree, I can make money, sell a book counts as a book ah, sincere favor 800,000, swipe card or cash. After swiping away 800,000 and getting the skill book, Yi Xiao was still a little confused. And shopkeeper fight, he is still too tender, in the future cut prices directly to the waist to cut, must let them out some blood. Old Lua, bullying kids again. Let's see, it's not Night Trample, Rotten Street Night skill book, this goes to the official night platform to certify the night profession, the day the official free mail a book ah. Old Lu, how much money was sold again? Not expensive, 800,000. Yi Xiao really wanted to die. Just this is still cutting into other people's waist, other people will he fooled ah. Obviously is a free skill book, he froze to spend 800,000, before and after a total loss of 2 million. 2 million ah. Although not much, but face is lost. Yi Xie did not want to stay in the trading market for a moment. Magic City people are xenophobic, bullying a freshly arrived elementary student like him, next year's excellent city, he must give Magic City a bad vote. Master, it's okay, if we don't have money we can earn again, with our sisters here, Master, are you still afraid of not having money to spend? Right, right, Master, don't be frustrated, money, we can earn. And, we earn. With such lovely three little babies, what could he not be satisfied with? It's been a hard day's work, take a good rest. Take little Phoenix for a bath, take care of your sister, and familiarize yourself with human equipment. For the presidential suite, the two of them were already familiar with it, and they knew everything about what configuration was inside. Come Lao San, take a hot bath, it's especially comfortable. My god, Lao San yours is surprisingly so big, pinch it and see if it's real. Big sister, second sister, you two's isn't small either, I'll pinch it too. The three of them were frolicking inside the bathroom, and through the frosted glass, they were vaguely looking at the three of them in a false shadow. Blah blah blah, what's there to see? The mind was resisting, the will was resisting. The eyes, however, were completely out of control. Master. Is it nice to look at? Master. Want to come and try ah? The three sensed Yi Zhao's thoughts, stopped laughing and joking, and walked out of the bathroom half-covered. Gudu. These three people were getting more and more immodest, they even learned to seduce their master. Black silk white silk plus desire. Damn, the gods can't stop them when they come. Oi oi oi, playing for a while is enough, quickly put your clothes on. Master, you are a divine beast knight, do you want to ride? 108,000 words omitted here. It wasn't until noon the next day that Yi Xiao held the wall and walked out from inside the room. The three goblins, their hands are too hard. Master, that's not because you can't, your skills still need to be strengthened. Second sister is right, master you're too much of a rookie, the techniques were still taught to us by you, 
and as a result, you ended up not being able to do it instead. The passing people heard the sound of a few people talking, one by one they froze in place, the gaze was enough to kill Yi Xiao. All the good cabbages let the pigs go over awe. Or three big and beautiful cabbages, how come it was all cheap for Yi Xiao alone? Three young ladies, my nickname is One Night Eighteen Wolves, the body is twice as good, want to consider me, guarantee to give you a satisfactory answer, three people together is also a KO. Being looked at with such lewd and colorful eyes, and also came up to a cost. The three people were very upset. A crooked melon and date, how to have the nerve to come up and hit on them. Scram. Xiao Qing Xiao Ling did not spoil him, the good temper was reserved for Yi Xiao, as for others, whether they were alive or dead had nothing to do with them. One person, one kick, chicken, and egg. It was just so lightly wasted. Hiss. Yi Xiao couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cool air and unconsciously clenched his legs. These two pussies are too tiger, right? This thing can kick? This life is not all wasted. Waste one, don't look at what you look like, are you worthy? Compared to our master, you're too far behind, our master is the best, just a little less skillful. The three of them snuggled up to Yi Xiao's side with a face of fascination. Hey! Yi Xiao looked at them and couldn't help but let out a bitter smile. Playing a mahjong is just, as to say in front of so many people that my skills are bad? Continue tonight, have to kill you all, no one is allowed to escape halfway. After Yi Xiao said what happened, the crowd was confused. However, they were more willing to call Yi Xiao a real man. Facing three big beauties like flowers and jade, he was able to resist the urge to play mahjong for a night. Bullish. Godly man. Dick. The crowd left after watching the action for a while. Playing mahjong, they did not care. As for Yi Xiao, he took the three girls to have a simple bite, and after eating all the food prepared by the hotel, he set off to the dragon blood mystic realm. Hey brother, meet again us, where are you going to hang out ah, uh, I'm especially familiar with Magic City, as long as you say the place, I can send you there as fast as I can. Yi Xiao seriously suspected that this guy was squatting at the door to guard him, but at least it was an acquaintance, at least it was safe. Dragon blood secret no? Hey, Allah is from Magic City, how come back don't know the dragon blood secret realm, I can take you guys there, the speed is definitely the fastest. It's good to know the dragon's blood secret realm. All acquaintances, no more nonsense, give a sincere, childish price. One person 200, chartered car 600, look at our friendship, count you 500, you definitely want to return the price, minimum 400, go or not. Kill the handful of good price, the whole as if he took advantage of the same. He was no longer the newcomer who came here yesterday, he was an old man who had stayed for a day, absolutely impossible to be cheated by this simple routine. I take care of your business and you take advantage of me, do you think that's appropriate? Do you really think I don't do ruses at night? See? The people of Magic City have already given me the price, from here to the Dragon's Blood Mystery Realm, it's at most $50, anything more is a ripoff. 25, only 25 for you, go or not. Brother, you this. Love to go or not. Go would go, 30, up $5, are to feed their families, we these ordinary people are not easy as not it, we can chat in the car $5, how about it? Hey, if there is not a thousand dollars on the body, who is willing to cheat ah, you simply do not understand the pain of people like us at the bottom. The driver master suddenly lamented. Looking at him it really didn't seem like he was lying either, and let alone 30, even if it was 300, he could afford it just the same. What he didn't like was being lied to, and he didn't want to be a wrongdoer is all. Since the driver master agreed to 30, there was no problem giving a few reds. Let's go, and talk about the 300 on the way. This, go or not, if you don't go I'll find someone else. Go, go, go. Enthusiastically invited Yi Xiao four people into the car, a foot of gas toward the dragon's den secret realm. First timers are not familiar with Magic City, right? It's okay, not a big problem. I hear Magic City guide, you guys can take a look, if there is anything you don't understand you can ask me. This is something I made with all my heart, brother, take a look, he he he. Driver master rubbed his fingers, the meaning is self-evident. In order to make money well, not shabby. Yi Xiao simply scanned a bit, really found that the strategy is doing well, eating, drinking, playing and practicing to brush the monster place all to mark. Straight talk, how much money? 500? The driver master glanced at Yi Xiao uncertainly, but wherever Yi Xiao was a little dissatisfied he lowered the price. 500 is 500, by the way, introduce the forces of Magic City. Alright, this I am most familiar with. I have to say, the driver master is still very able to talk, all the way to talk eloquently without stopping. While reading the guide and listening to his explanation, he also had a rough understanding of Magic City. One thing can be confirmed, in the Magic City must not provoke the surname phone, cannot afford to provoke. Chatting along the way, it didn't take long for the group to arrive at the city gates. Go out and turn right for 300 meters is the Dragon Blood Mystery Realm, you should know the rules, our kind of life class profession, life preservation ability is low, go out and easily lose your little life, so I will trouble you to take a walk. 
Yi Xiao was sympathetic to his hard work, but not delivered to the place, this high and low cannot be, the bad evaluation is not so bad to give him, but the deduction of money is certainly to be. Fair 30, still 300 meters short, deduct you $5, no comment. The driver master looked at Yi Xiao with a sad face. A huge amount of $300 can be taken out just to chat with him, but now he is deducting $5 because of a distance of 300 meters. Brother, be generous, just 300 meters distance, you just take pity on me, this five. Dollars. No, public is public, private is private, not delivered to the place, this five dollars must be returned, not returned I complain you, give you a bad review you believe it or not. Yi Xia doing things is so rigorous, absolutely do not let people take advantage of their own. Seeing Yi Xia's attitude so resolute, the driver master reluctantly found him five dollars. Let's go, next time there is a need to find you again, the rest of the way there is no need for you, we will go on our own. After putting the five dollars inside his pocket, Yi Xiao led the three girls straight to the dragon blood mystery realm. You guys go into the royal beast space first for now, wait for me to summon you after entering the secret realm. With a wave of Yi Xiao's hand, the three were directly loaded into the imperial beast space. On the other hand, Yi Xiao put on the thousand changes mask, which was Xiao Yunru's latest alchemy product. With the thousand changes mask on, no one under the war god would be able to see his original face clearly. As long as others couldn't discover his identity, he could let Xiao Cheng and the girls kill monsters and upgrade with impunity. After arranging everything, Yi Xiao walked towards the Dragon's Blood Mystery Realm. When he arrived not far from the Dragon's Blood Secret Realm, he was shocked by the situation around the Secret Realm. The transmutations were really countless, from third turn powerhouses down to second turn powerhouses, tens of thousands of people were concentrated near the Dragon Blood Secret Realm. This Secret Realm is still really hot. However, this was normal, the monsters in the dragon's blood mystic realm were gigantic and endless, even if they kept hunting and killing, there were still many monsters in the mystic realm. After all, the monsters that were killed would be resurrected in the dragon blood altar. Dragon blood and beast pet, freshly captured, fair price, first come first served, don't 99.98, don't 998, just 98, dragon blood and take home. Seeking to form a team, powerful mage, seeking a strong team. Is there any dabbling experience, dabbling experience teaming up? The scene was very lively, there were those who formed teams, those who acquired materials, and those who sold beast pets. Yi Xiao walked into the crowd without attracting anyone's attention. There was no telling how many newcomers came to the dragon's blood mystic realm every day, no one would even care about a second turn stranger like Yi Xiao. The scent of dragon blood is very strong, it seems that this dragon blood secret realm is not simple, perhaps there might actually be dragons that have fallen in it. How many years has this dragon blood secret realm existed and the dragon blood aura is still this strong? so it is not a simple dragon. Yi Xiao swept through the crowd and finally looked at a little old man in the corner. Beside the little old man there were so many cages holding ferocious beasts, only that the cages were covered by black cloths, so one could not see the situation in the cages at all. Open blind cages? Interesting. Yi Xiao walked forward and casually glanced at it. Elderly man, you have this. Fifty million dollars a cage, can't look, all chosen by luck, bloodline is uncertain, rank is uncertain, once sold, no refund or exchange. The only thing that can be guaranteed is that these are all from the dragon blood secret realm. And little one, don't just probe others, hasn't your family's adult told you? The old man did not even open his eyes to look at Yi Xiao one more time and introduced himself there. Strong people, more or less some arrogance, very normal. This old man was the first one who could detect Yi Xiao's detection. Sorry, I'm new here, I'm a little cautious, don't blame the old man. Going out, it was still beneficial to keep a low profile, hell knows if it was some old monster pretending to be a tiger. If he really offended someone he couldn't afford to mess with, the underworld war god and the others wouldn't be able to rush over to save him. Buy it? Don't bother my business if you don't buy. This location, this temper, no one but him would even come over. Look, look. System, check. Ye shall also just try to see, after all, it was covered and did not know what was inside, now let's see if the system can detect it. Dragon Blood Ghost Shark. Saint Level Bloodline Dragon Blood Ghost Jiao King, Zero. 0001 can be returned to the ancestors level second turn level 37 just looking at the first cage i found the same grade bloodline dragon blood ghost jiao king the bloodline wasn't bad it should fetch a good price after removing his gaze from the dragon blood ghost jiao yi shao looked at the second cage dragon blood lion king overlord grade bloodline level second turn level 30 just like the maniacs it was okay for ordinary people but for yi shao this kind of beast pet was completely useless and not worth the price he spent. Next, Dragon Blood Giant Crocodile. Overlord level bloodline. Level, second turn 33rd level. After scanning around, other than the Dragon Blood Giant Crocodile, they were all hegemony class bloodlines, nothing of great interest. Look good, 
you're delaying my business. Yi Xiao had been inking here for half a day, the old man was a little impatient and was even ready to open his mouth to drive Yi Xiao away. Two, two, then just pick anyone to bet on, just this one, swipe your card. When Yi Xiao lifted the cage of the dragon blood ghost shark, the old man's eyes slightly opened, a brilliant light flashed in his eyes, and after a glance at Yi Xiao he resumed his previous state. No refunds or exchanges, let's go. After swiping the card, Yi Xiao put away the dragon blood ghost shark. It was not suitable to return it here for the time being, it would be easy to expose his bottom card. Moreover, the royal beast's face had Xiao Chang and the girls in it, the little ghost shark could not make any big waves. After watching Yi Xiao leave, the old man waved his hand and put away the cage on the ground. Interesting little guy. Dragon Blood Secret Realm. Yi Xiao did not delay much time outside and directly entered the Dragon Blood Secret Realm. As soon as he entered the Dragon Blood Secret Realm, the rich dragon blood aura surrounded him. What a dense aura, if this is a fallen dragon, how strong a dragon must it be? Little green, you guys come out and move around. After releasing Xiao Chang and the girls, the three of them greedily sucked in the flavor of the air. You guys are? Hungry? No, the scent that permeates the air makes us very comfortable. The more we breathe in, the stronger our bodies become, it's really a good place. Master, why don't you also inhale more? It's good for the body. Yi Xiao gave them a half-hearted look. He believed that Xiao Chang and the girls would not lie to him, his nostrils flared and he inhaled with force, the air that was rich in dragon blood scent was inhaled inside his body. Vomit. Yi Xiao inhaled a mouthful of it violently, it almost didn't make him vomit with nausea, these three little bitches have learned the bad way, they even lied to him. Still the driver master is reliable ah, before he came, he also reminded him that he can't stay in the dragon blood secret realm for more than 24 hours. Otherwise, he would be corrupted out of his mind by the aura of dragon's blood and turn into a senseless monster. How dare you guys cheat me, are your asses itching for a beating? Cheat? No ah, uh, master we really didn't lie to you, it's really comfortable here, I just felt that my strength has improved a lot more. Yeah, I also have this feeling, this kind of aura is too comforting. The three women had a face of enjoyment. Check the attributes of the three of them. Sure enough, they hadn't lied to him, this place was heaven for the three of them. The attributes were surprisingly growing upwards at a slow pace, although it was only a little bit of an increase, but in the long run, it would be no small improvement. It should be because they are divine beasts, dragon blood is helpful to them but harmful to humans. Yi Xiao didn't dwell on this anymore, with his current strength, he didn't really need these increases. Today, he came to the dragon blood mystic realm with only two purposes, one was to find out if there was a suitable beast pet. The second is to brush monsters to upgrade. The three of them had all leveled up now, and their second professions had been opened, so it was time to upgrade a bit. Arrange a mission. Let's split up, but the distance is not too far, speed kill, we need to level up as soon as possible, can't be pulled too far away from others. And I Yun? Xiao Yun Ro? Fellow students? For Yi Zhao's order, the three of them were obedient, even the second turn monsters were the same, their attributes were just as inferior to theirs, and they were easily abused. Just right now there is a very important problem that needs to be solved by Yi Xiao. They three people, Yi Xiao only one, that Yi Xiao right who fight. The three eyes just stared straight at Yi Xiao, being favored by their master in this regard, they refused to give in. Master, you see I'm new here, still not familiar with the master's fighting style, master you will fight with me. Hey! Not yet waiting for Xiao Huang to finish, Xiao Qing Xiao Ling one person kicked her out. You junior even want to usurp the throne. The master's body is delicate, in case you get hurt writing you how to do, not thinking about the master at all. Get it, who let the two of them be the boss in the second, she a little three have no say for the time being. When Yi Xiao collected little four, little five, and little six in the future, she would be able to show off her big sister's authority. You guys discuss, I'll go kill monsters and upgrade first. Little Phoenix patted her butt and left. Currently there were only two rivals left, little green little spirit and the two of them wouldn't let a step go by, just staring at each other wide-eyed. Master has to ride me. On what grounds? Just on the basis that you're the boss. You're just a little earlier than me, I'm not convinced. The only one who dared to talk to Little Green like this was Little Spirit. If it was anyone else, the shattered shadow white tiger sword would have directly slashed up. In terms of seniority, you have to call me big sister, is there a problem? No problem. In terms of strength, I'm a little stronger than you, is there a problem? No problem. If Xiao Qing said that she was stronger than her, she would definitely not recognize it, but if it was just a little bit stronger, this was the truth. Yi Xiao usually pampered Xiao Qing, and good equipment skills were prioritized to Xiao Qing. Comprehensive strength down, Xiao Qing's combat power was indeed a little bit stronger than her, but it did not affect the big picture. In terms of familiarity, is Master more familiar with me, is there a problem? No. Master riding me can fly, riding you can only run, comfort level I'm better than you, is there a problem? No. The more little spirit said, the more she lost her bottom. 
Not being able to fly was a lifelong pain for her, although she could reach the height of Xiao Chang and the other's flight with a single bounce, it was bumpy and not comfortable. Since you're fine with it, what are you still grabbing for? Go brush the monsters on the side, master follow me. As a big sister, one should take out the vigor of a big sister and convince them in a few words. Yi Xiao did not participate in this and quietly watched Xiao Chang win. In terms of writing, Yi Xiao's heart still favored Xiao Qing, after all, it was too familiar, and the fight was smooth. Little spirit cannot, the comfort level of the bottom of the first, suitable for ground fighting, cannot fly is her weakness. If the little phoenix, there is so much interest in wanting to ride, but it came too late, the route is not stable, it is not a match for little green and little spirit. So now can only ride little green to fight. Decided? Alright master, ride me in battle. Little Spirit glanced at Ji Xiao aggressively and hummed as she turned around and left to kill monsters. The two of them kept their human form to kill monsters, changing out of their original body. If there was no royal beast master beside them, they would easily be misunderstood as wild monsters. There were many strong people in the secret realm, if he was taken captive by them, he would be crying. As for Little Green, he didn't need to worry, with him around, this was a beast pet with a master. Little Green, look for places where the dragon blood scent is strong, try to lure the monsters together. I'll look for if I have a partner first, and then kill them if I don't. Good. Xiao Cheng manifested his body. After the second turn, Xiao Qing's size had reached a length of a hundred meters. Yi Xiao sat on Xiao Qing's head, just like a flea, without careful observation. His existence could not be seen at all. Little green ah, you are too big now. Shrink a little so that the master also has a little presence. Although the current little green was domineering, it was useless without his domineering ah. Pretending to be thirteen also had to bring along him as the master ah. Good. According to Yi Zhao's size, Xiao Qing appropriately changed its size. After shrinking to a length of 30 meters, Yi Xiao still had a bit of presence sitting on Xiao Qing's head. Not bad, set off. Fly low and lure the monsters. Although the dragon's blood mystery realm randomly teleported people away, there were so many people breaking into the mystery realm that they could more or less run into a few on the way. What is that thing? What a strong sense of oppression. Green-eyed white tiger, divine beast green-eyed white tiger, a super existence comparable to a dragon at maturity, this thing even appeared in the middle of the secret realm. Take pictures, quickly take pictures. My god, there's actually someone on the head of the green-eyed white tiger, a royal beast master? I don't recognize it, is this the rising genius of Magic City, no impression. This year, Magic City is interesting, the super genius of the imperial divine beast, looking at the age, it should be going to Magic City University, it's going to change the sky. Flying low all the way, attracting monsters along the way, while also attracting a lot of attention. It didn't take too long for the forum to explode. Everyone was discussing the appearance of the green-eyed white tiger in Yi Xiao. It was a good thing that Yi Xiao had done a disguise, otherwise he might have been fleshed out by everyone by now. Underworld War God, this kid is quite smart, he even knows about disguise, less than War God level, can't see his disguise. Green Phoenix War God, he can't hide it for too long. Strong people, after all, grow up in battles. I hope he can survive until the end. Sure a war god, what are you two playing dumb riddles again, say to me to listen to it, all are their own people, do not be so out of the ordinary. Their discussion Yi Xiao did not care at all. From the moment he rode little green out he knew that he was definitely the most beautiful cub on the scene. Dragon blood ghost fox, overlord level bloodline, level, second turn level 38. Dragon blood steel tooth ant, overlord level bloodline, rank, turn 2, level 42. Hundreds of monsters were easily lured. After some probing, not a single one was found to have a divine class bloodline. Although they all had the aura of a dragon on them, they were just controlled by dragon blood, and their main body did not possess a dragon bloodline. Charge. Night Trample. Xiao Qing carried Yi Xiao and charged towards the area where the monsters were densest. Trample. The fallout from the trampling easily crushed them into smithereens, crackling like swatting a fly. Even the second turn monsters were the same, none of them were able to resist Xiao Qing's strike. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. The beeps of the kills kept ringing out, thinking that little spirit and the others had opened up, with three divine beasts killing monsters at the same time, the experience was even barely enough to catch up with the others. Otherwise, every time, they had to split it into four and kill four times as many monsters as the others to barely catch up. Now it was good to get back on track. Little green, keep killing. After killing patches of ferocious beasts, the other ferocious beasts also reacted, and one by one, they roared with rage and frantically attacked Xiao Chang. In the face of such attacks, Xiao Qing didn't even bother to dodge a bit, and hardened against their attacks and charged straight up. Let's dodge if we can, although the damage isn't great, but if you guys rub through a little skin, the master is also heartbroken. Healing spell. Not giving Xiao Qing a chance to get hurt at all, 
their attacks just smashed up and Yi Zhao's healing spell went up, dropping a thousand blood, directly pulling three thousand. Absolute zero. Xiao Cheng opened his mouth and continuously sprayed cold air, flying low around the ferocious beasts in the process. In a few moments the cold air enveloped them. Click, 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 click. The murderous beasts that were enveloped by the cold chi didn't even have a chance to resist, the instant the cold chi enveloped them, their flesh and souls were all frozen solid. A murderer ice sculpture just floated in front of Yi Xiao. Wind blade. Xiao Qing casually flapped his wings and without looking back, he turned around and left. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. True divine beasts never look back. Xiao Qing can hold back, Yi Xiao cannot hold back, turn his head to look, the scene that is extremely tragic. Under the destruction of the wind blade, the ice sculpture directly turned into a smash. Each wind blade sliced at least 10 ferocious beasts' bodies, even if they were numerous, they could only shatter into scraps in the face of the powerful Xiao Chang. Collect. A ground of materials equipment skill books, Yi Xiao directly collected the things. Yi Xiao, dear alchemist, the rain of materials is coming, prepare to receive it, friendly reminder, a lot, get ready. After reminding Xiao Yunru, Yi Xiao handed over the materials he had scored. On the other side, Xiao Yunru had gotten used to it, and had refined quite a few good things during this time, earning dozens of small goals, then changed a bigger storehouse, purchased some alchemy equipment, and the rest of the place was used to put Yi Xiao's materials. People's energy is limited, if it continues like this, it has to be exhausted by Yi Xiao. Changing to a bigger place, she would be able to sleep in peace. Xiao Yun Ro, feel free to transmit whatever comes your way. The materials were teleported out, Xiao Qing continued to pull monsters while he sat on top of Xiao Qing's head and checked the harvest. Xian Turtle Slasher. Obsidian Perfect Grade. Attributes, Strength plus 230, Defense plus 550, Strike plus 20, Life Steal plus 20. Effects, Life Steal from attacks can now overheal you, the overflow will be stored as a shield value of 50 to 350, based on level, which will slowly decay if you haven't dealt or taken any damage in the previous 25 seconds. Worthy of being obsidian perfection grade equipment, the attributes were strong and the special effects were even more perfect. Xiao Qing didn't need the equipment for the time being, and as a master he should also treat everyone equally, it was time to find Xiao Ling and the girls a few suitable pieces of equipment to boost their combat power. This one will be left for little spirit, after all, it fits with her name as well, Xuan Wu Machete, not bad not bad. The moment he thought about the scene of Xiao Ling wielding the machete to kill monsters, Yi Xiao wanted to laugh. After Yi Xiao finished checking the things on his body, Xiao Cheng lured a few hundred more monsters. Unfortunately, although they were strong, none of them were usable, all of them were overlord level bloodline, not even one saint level bloodline. Kill it. After receiving Yi Zhao's order, Xiao Qing did not need to show any mercy towards them. An extremely cold storm quickly condensed in front of her body, ice cones continuously condensed in the air, and with the release of the storm, the ice cones poured down in a desperate manner, piercing and freezing them in a matter of moments. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations to the host for leveling up to level 31, green-eyed white tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu, an immortal divine phoenix leveling up to level 31. Through the tireless efforts of the three of them, their levels smoothly came to the 31st level of the second turn. The speed of upgrading was still very fast. Master, I'll continue luring the monsters, although these guys are weak, after killing them they will emit a stronger flavor of dragon blood, I like this feeling. Yi Xiao was protected by Xiao Chang, but he was not attacked by the dragon blood scent. Since Xiao Qing liked it, then he naturally couldn't let Xiao Chang down. Go ahead, kill as many as you want as long as you like. Yi Xiao was always keeping an eye on the monsters that were attracted to him, the two of them had a mutual understanding, what Yi Xiao noticed Xiao Cheng naturally wouldn't do anything about. As for the rest of those useless ones, they could only blame their bad fate. But where there is a divine bloodline in the body, there is no need to suffer this great calamity. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Seemingly infected by Xiao Chang, the three of them began to kill like crazy, the system beats that were don't want to die. All the surrounding was cleared out by them, a vacuum, within a 10 mile radius, was slaughtered, not a single ferocious beast remained. My god, whose little girl is this, such a formidable fighting strength. It's too scary, second turn monsters are like leaks, we were suppressed to fight in our group, but now she's decimated so easily. Are there so many demonic geniuses in the demon city this year, there is a divine beast imperial beast master in front of us, and this demonic girl behind us? The place where little spirit and little phoenix appeared caused the crowd to gasp in surprise. The speed at which they killed monsters directly caused bystanders to retreat. Robbing monsters? No one dared to rob them at all. Just now, there were a few ungrateful ones who wanted to go up and mix experience, only to be slapped out by them. 
Later people also learn honest, obediently on the sidelines to watch on the line, the monster will also be refreshed, really by a woman fan fly out, that face is really lost. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, level up to level 32, attribute upgrade. After killing a large number of monsters again, the level was successfully raised to 32. Leveling up two levels in a day, this efficiency was no one's fault. Checking attributes. Name, Yi Xiao. Profession, Beast Master, Second Turn, Divine Beast Knight. Beast Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu, Immortal Divine Phoenix. Level, 32. Strength, 1188. Agility, 1096. Endurance, 1077. Spirit, 1225. P.S. Pure personal attributes, do not add the attributes of the shared beast pet, not bad math, simply just do not want to add. Having opened the second profession, Yi Zhao's free attribute points also increased by 10 points, and his strength was directly pulled full. Open Xiao Qing's attribute panel. Divine pet, green-eyed white tiger. Attribute, gold, wind, ice. Level, 32. Strength, 9600. Agility, 9255. Endurance, 9077. Spirit, 9450. After briefly checking his and Xiao Qing's attribute panels, he closed them. This was all within his expectations, with two more levels, Xiao Qing's attributes would directly break 10,000. Little Green continues to lure and kill monsters. In a day's time, he didn't know how many monsters he had hunted and killed, and his level had successfully risen to 32. Goo. Goo goo. Xiao Qing looked at Ji Xiao with a sad face. Although upgrading was important, but her stomach was so hungry, she had no fighting spirit when she couldn't eat enough to fight. Master. Today's harvest was not bad, although he did not find a suitable beast pet, but the level was raised by two levels, which was considered okay. Xiao Chang and the girls made a big effort today, so he must bring them to have a good rubdown. He wasn't a landlord, he couldn't just exploit their labor. Call it a day, go home and eat. Dinner? It's finally time to eat. Eat eat eat. After hearing Yi Zhao's call, Little Spirit Little Phoenix stopped her hand movements at the same time and ran towards Yi Xiao without saying a word. Don't follow, whoever follows will die. Surprisingly, there was still someone who tried to follow them. They didn't want to bring trouble to Yi Xiao, and with one move, they directly scared off the people who were following them. Only after purging the unknown people around them did the two return to Yi Zhao's side. Master, eat meat, eat meat, I want to eat meat. My stomach is so hungry, master let's go, don't worry, there are no followers, they have all been driven away by us. Master, are you full? The three snackers, killing monsters and upgrading weren't as combative as eating. But on the basis that they had worked so hard to kill monsters today, how could they be full today? Eat whatever you want, let go, master's wallet is bulging again. Hunting and killing so many monsters, the equipment and still books dropped could be sold for several small goals. Master you are so nice. Trojan horse. Taking advantage of Yi Xiao's inattention, Xiao Qing directly sent a fragrance up. Yi Xiao was blinded, Little Spirit Little Phoenix was dumbfounded, but soon they reacted, and one by one angrily rebuked Little Qing's meanness. Being ridden by the master for a day not to mention, even taking advantage of the master, too despicable. I don't care, I want it too. Master, Xiang Xiang. The two didn't care and hugged Yi Xiao and just nod. In the end, they also demonstrated and looked at Xiao Qing. Alright, all of you come back first, let's leave this place first. After putting all three away, Yi Xiao changed his face again before walking out of the dragon blood mystic realm. Only after ensuring that no one was following him did he walk towards the demon city. Unbeknownst to him, not far from the entrance of the dragon blood mystic realm, an old man was closely watching everything he did. Little fellow, quite interesting. After watching Yi Xiao leave, the old man reclosed his eyes and sold the beast pet blind box there. Ding, you have a new message, please pay attention to it. Yi Xiao who had just walked to the city gate suddenly received a forum message, opening it, it was no one else but Maniac. Maniac, big brother, from today onwards you are my own big brother, I knew you wouldn't lie to me, say level bloodline, bloodline concentration as high as 98%. Maniac, brother, do you know what this represents? Do you know what 98% represents? Maniac, saint level top beast pet, invincible existence amongst saint pets, even comparable to some divine pets with thin bloodlines. Maniac your brother, this is the test report, take a look, I'm really excited. Maniac, I don't know how much to give in terms of price, after all, no one has ever sold such a holy pet with such a strong bloodline, the market price of holy pets sold before was around 5 billion, this one is definitely worth more than 5 billion. Maniac, so brother, see how much is the right amount, you name a price, I definitely won't return the favor. Maniac, brother, big brother, good big brother, are you there? I'm not sure if I'm busy, but I'm not. Wait not busy time must return my message, online waiting. 
Message Bomber. A moment of effort received a dozen messages from Maniac. From these messages, one could tell how excited he was at this moment. A beast pet with a saint level bloodline is just a beast pet. What's the point of being so excited? You haven't seen the world. Maniac, brother, brother, you're online, please, hurry up and reply to the message. Do you know how it feels when a beast pet can't be contracted in front of you? Maniac, brother, brother, my own big brother. I wanted to answer him properly after eating, but the result is that this guy's bombardment is really unbearable. Ye shall, don't rush, the more you rush, the slower you get. Maniac, okay brother, you first busy. Ye shall, you first contracted, the beast pet is your anyway. Ye shall, no, I'm the first one. Maniac, no, I am a man of principle, public is public, private is private, no deal before the beast pet does not belong to me. Can resist the temptation of the sacred pet, this person is still deliverable, still good. Ye shall, contracted it, according to the price you said, five billion dollars deal, do not bargain with me, or you give me back, also do not bombard me, in busy. Ye Xiao really didn't want to collect his death bombing. But in the maniac's opinion, Ye Xiao was afraid that he was bargaining to find an excuse, just to let him contract a holy level beast pet with peace of mind. Far away from the imperial city, the madman was moved to tears, to be able to know Ye Xiao is really the biggest blessing of his life. Ordinary saint beasts could fetch a high price of five billion dollars, and there was still no market for them. So rich bloodline of the holy beast, but also has been tamed, Ye Xiao surprisingly also just won him five billion, biological parents are not his so willing, but the priority is not busy moving, but as soon as possible to the leaf shall put together 5 billion to send over. People are so generous to sell the holy favor to him cheaply, if he still owes the payment, then he is really too not something. Before there was almost a savings of about 3 billion, still need to borrow 2 billion, as long as the contracted blazing monkey king, the speed of hitting the money will be much faster, and it will be simple to pay back 2 billion. The average brother doesn't have this much money, sure a war god, forget it, he's not the one who saves money, it's better to find spectral war god to borrow some money. Lord Pantheon, can you lend me two billion, I'll return it to you after a year? Maniac's sentence almost didn't choke the underworld war god to death, he thought that Maniac was looking for him for something, but it turned out that the moment he opened his mouth, he was borrowing two billion dollars. Looking at Maniac's expectant little eyes, the underworld war god couldn't say no to borrowing, after all, Maniac had been with him for more than ten years, and his loyalty was surely unquestionable. But he didn't have so much money on hand right now, all of his money had been spent. You wait a moment. Although there is no money, but face cannot be lost, first find someone to borrow. Underworld War God, Ye Shao, lend me two billion first, I'll pay you back in a couple days. The moment he received the message from the Spectral War God, Ye Shao was a little confused, the Hallowed War God, actually looking for him, a second turn minion, to borrow money. Miracle. It really is a miracle. Don't say what owes no favors, the god of the underworld has helped him so much, sending two billion for nothing is no big deal. After all, you two billion certainly do not invite three god of war powerhouses to escort you. War god, you nonsense, you slander, two billion is not money ah, can do. Ye shall, wait a moment, immediately give you turn. Ye shall doesn't have that much money on him either, but he just sold out a holy pet and sold it for five billion, so he'll find maniac to turn it around first. Ye shall, have two billion, first help me transfer two billion. I don't have 5 billion, but I do have 2 billion. Maniac, I have 3 billion here, I'll turn it over to you first, and the remaining 2 billion will be here later. Ye Xiao, 2 billion has been transferred to you, please check. Ye Xiao, 2 billion has been transferred to you, please check. Underworld War God, N, I'll return it to you in a few days. Ye Xiao, Senior, you're joking, 2 billion dollars as a token of my respect. It was not in vain that he was so optimistic about Ye Xiao, 2 billion said to borrow, a good kid. 2 billion has been transferred to your account, check and receive. Worthy of being the best underworld war god to his subordinates, don't look at the person cold, but to his subordinates that is absolutely no comment. Many thanks war god, I'll definitely pay it back with interest a year later. The underworld war god waved his hand, completely unconcerned about this 2 billion dollars. With his strength to earn 2 billion that is not easy, interest naturally do not want, but the principle still have to be. Otherwise spread out, everyone is looking for him to borrow money, then he is to refuse or not to refuse it. Okay, go down, interest will not charge you, as soon as possible to clear the principal is good. Taking the borrowed 2 billion, Maniac did not bring any hesitation and directly transferred the money to Yi Xiao. Maniac, brother, 5 billion, do you think it's okay? Can I deed it up? He knows that 5 billion he is taking advantage of a great bargain, fearing that Yi Xiao regret, so he asked in advance if he could contract. Money Yi Xiao received but this guy is more or less abrasive ah. Ye Xiao, emo bother, thank you, that's not my holy pet, that's your holy pet. When Ye Xiao said that, Maniac instantly understood that from now on, this blazing monkey king belonged to him. Maniac, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. 
There was no reply to Maniac's message, if he replied further, he still didn't know how long this guy was going to pester him. But why does it always feel like this money is so familiar? It doesn't matter. It's money from whoring anyway. However, the price of this sacred pet is still a bit out of his expectation, an ordinary sacred pet can be sold to 5 billion. That god's pet is not tens of billions, not to mention his 100% bloodline rich god's pet, how to also be worth 100 billion right? Sleeping with 300 billion dollars in his arms every day, he was still worried about not being able to afford to eat. Hey, look at my memory, I actually forgot that there's a dragon blood ghost shark, this thing is also a saint level bloodline, let's see if maniac can eat it. It's 5 billion more if I can get 5 billion more, and I can save a mouthful of rations. After bringing up the dragon blood ghost shark, there was no unnecessary nonsense, directly returning him to his ancestor. Ancestral return successful, dragon blood ghost shark king. Master. Not bad, quite handsome, don't worry, I will find you a good master, remember my plan, what is our goal? World domination. The Ru shark can be taught. After returning the dragon blood ghost shark to its ancestor, Yi Shao reconnected with Maniac. Yi Shao, in? Maniac, in, 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 at any time call at any time. Maniac who was immersed in the joy of the successful contract suddenly received Yi Zhao's message and immediately suppressed his joy and quickly replied back to Yi Zhao's message. His attitude was proper and he did not get carried away just because he had contracted a holy pet. Maniac, big brother, is there something you are doing? You can tell me, I'll go to the soup and the fire, and I'll be there to catch up with you. Yi Shao, there is nothing too important, it's that there is still a saint level bloodline dragon blood ghost shark king on hand, tamed, let's see if you can eat it here. Maniac man was stupid. Are holy pets so rotten now? When did Yi Xiao become a holy pet wholesaler, how one after another? Yi Xiao, what? Can't eat it? If you can't eat it, then I'll find someone else. Seeing that Maniac did not reply to the message for half a day, he thought that Maniac could not eat it. Maniac, don't, don't, I can, I can, 5 billion you see okay? Give me some time to get the money together, I'll take this dragon blood ghost shark king. Yi Xiao, you misunderstand, I'm not forcing you to buy, I'm asking you to help me deal with it, this guy eat a lot of rations a day, early treatment early to save money. Maniac, no misunderstanding, I'll take it, 5 billion, but have to give me some time, you see can, a month, I'll transfer the money to you. Yi Xiao, you don't have the blazing monkey king, why do you still need the dragon blood ghost shark king? Yi Xiao, you will not mind the money. Maniac, would you mind having too much money? I wouldn't mind having a lot of sacred pets anyway. There was a third of truth in saying that, and he likewise didn't mind having too many sacred favorites. Since Maniac wants it, let's just give him the Dragon Blood Ghost Shark King. One month is one month. The money on hand is enough to spend for a long time anyway. Yi Xiao, since you want it, then come to the Magic City Hotel, I'll stay there, you come and take the Dragon Blood Ghost Shark King away. Maniac, I'm already at the entrance of the teleportation array, wait for me. In order to get the saint's favor, Maniac was really active, before the words were even finished talking, he was already running towards the teleportation array. But it didn't matter, it was just a holy favor, the probability of getting it was still high. Maniac couldn't keep all the holy favors for himself, feeding Maniac first would make him feel at ease to do his job. Yi Xiao, wait for you, we are eating downstairs, you come faster maybe you can catch the last train. It was possible to give him holy favor, but letting him eat that was purely polite. The food was all Xiao Qing's and theirs, no one dared to go up and grab the food except for him, otherwise they would know the power of the divine favor. Boss, fry several books, according to this hurry up and serve the food, I'm hungry. Serve the food serve the food. The four people started to build furiously, of course the one with the least amount of rice is Yi Xiao, casually eating a little bit of side dishes are full. In less than 20 minutes of things, the berserkers came to the magic city hotel in a hurry. Big brother, big brother. Here. After seeing Yi Xiao beckoning, Maniac ran over in a frenzy. Sit down and eat some? Just happen to be hungry, then I'll sit down and eat. Ah, uh, or forget it, let's do the right thing first, do the right thing, eat these are secondary. Maniac was just about to sit down and eat some, when he was stared at by three pairs of innocent eyes, that look, after a number of years, Maniac could not forget. Today but if he dared to sit down and take a bite, he could guarantee that he would definitely not be able to leave this table alive. In that case, then let's get down to business first, go, follow me to the room. There were many people here, Yi Xiao did not want to be noticed by them. You three eat slowly, there is no rush, add more if it's not enough. Right, right, eat as much as you want, I'll cover all your consumption today. No, no, I can. Do it myself. Do not give faces not, today's consumption, I pay the bill, you three casually eat, do not have to be polite with me. Look at the three people's portion, today without a few million is not down. But it doesn't matter, Yi Xiao billions are given to him time, spend a few million and what is it? So today this meal must be his treat. Alright alright, let's go. After coming to the room, 
Yi Xiao handed the Dragon Blood Ghost Shark King to Maniac. Looking at the Dragon Blood Ghost Sailor King, the desire in Maniac's eyes could not be blocked, this Dragon Blood Ghost Jiao King was too much in line with his aesthetic. Brother, make sure you give it to me, this Ghost Jiao King is really too handsome. Give me a month's time, I will definitely gather five billion dollars, definitely. Money is not in a hurry for now, let's open up the market first. Money you don't need to be in a hurry, you should know that I'm trusting you before handing over my holy favor to you, you don't want to sell me out. Don't worry, I, madman, will not disclose a single bit of information about you even if I die, I, the people of the underworld divine warfare, only have one word, and that's tough talking. Although it didn't matter if it was leaked, he still wanted to keep a low profile. These two holy pets will be given to you, the dragon blood ghost shark king won't charge you, as for the holy pets in the future I don't think you'll be able to eat them. Of course, the dragon blood ghost Jiao King isn't given to you for nothing, you need to help me get through the market, I will have saint favors one after another after that, and you will have full authority to handle them at that time. The quality won't be worse than the blazing monkey king and the dragon blood ghost scale. Of course you can also participate in the auction if you have the money to do so, and when you get that holy pet it will be yours. Two sacred favors were already his limit. The money spent on the purchase was only a small amount, what really cost money was the subsequent cultivation. Then it was not billions of dollars that could be stopped, at least a hundred billion, the average person could not really afford to cultivate it. Of course if it could be cultivated, the achievement would not be something that an average person could reach. Two holy pets were already his limit, chewing on more than he could chew, holy pets were not the more the better. Don't worry, I'm not that greedy, I'm already satisfied with so two holy pets, as for the other holy pets it has nothing to do with me. As for the sales, you don't have to worry about it, our underworld god battle will be able to eat them, we don't want our fertilizer to flow into outsiders fields, they are all people of the underworld god of war, how about prioritizing the supply of our fighters? Underworld divine warfare, from the name it should be the people of the underworld war god, he had no knowledge of this either. However, if they could eat it, he would be willing to prioritize supplying the spectral god battle. I will discuss this matter with senior underworld, for the time being, I only have these two on hand, when I will have the next one, I don't know. I will contact you when I have one. Is there anything else? If there's nothing, you can leave first, I won't keep you here. The deal was struck, so Yi Xiao didn't keep him. A brown man wasn't worth his attention either wasn't he, how could he be as eye-catching as Xiao Qing's trio? Maniac also didn't want to stay here for a long time, he was still waiting to go back to familiarize himself with the two sacred pets. Then I'll leave first, don't worry, I'll help you publicize it properly. In a puff of smoke Maniac left. Of course he was still very heavy on promises. Before he left, he pressed 10 million dollars at the counter, which was considered to be a bill for Yi Xiao and the others. Scram! I'll give you one second to get out of our sight or I'll kill you. Don't disturb our meal or no one can protect you. Just after going downstairs, they heard Xiao Qing's three people talking, this tone, it looked like they were a bit angry. Although the three of them were short-tempered, they never provoked right and wrong, and were focused on eating. It was thought that there was someone who had no eyes to provoke the three of them. Of course this was within Yi Zhao's expectation, after all, the three were as beautiful as flowers, there were always men who could not control themselves. Trouble make way. Yi Xiao squeezed in from the crowd, wanting to see what was going on at the scene. Let Nima coin, did not see the old man. Bang. Really gave him face, not hands really think he is good tempered. Not waiting for him to finish, Yi Xiao kicked over, directly kicked him out and flew through the wall to the street. Xiao Cheng, what's going on? Master. Times three. To the other three, they were cross-eyed, but to Yi Xiao, a smile instantly appeared on his cold as ice face. Especially this address, it really made them envious. Master? These four people were really having too much fun, right? What a damn thing, such a beautiful three chicks are actually his, and they even called him master. The dry ones die of drought, the flooded ones die of waterlogging. Shut up all of you, to be able to own such beautiful three women, you guys think he would be an ordinary person? The person who dares to make a move against Pang Pang Hai here, do you guys think he would be an ordinary person? Shut up if you don't want to die, don't mess with someone you can't afford to mess with. The crowd of onlookers instantly came to their senses, what was said made sense, Yi Xiao dared to make a move in the magic city with impunity, without a background they didn't believe it. For their speculations, Yi Xiao just smiled faintly and did not explain anything more. Just let them speculate, as long as he didn't say anything, no one would know his identity. Xiao Chang, tell me, what happened? Was someone harassing you for dinner? N. Speaking of which, Xiao Qing's trio had an annoyed look on their faces, it was because of that huge sea that caused them to eat a lot less food. Being disturbed on the way to eat, that was very irritating. That fat guy is too annoying, delaying our meal and saying something about making a friend, what did he say his name was, Fat Winter Melon? It's not a good thing anyway. Master, it won't cause trouble for you. Yi Xiao dotingly touched their heads with a disinterested face. 
In the future, don't care what kind of Melanie is, as long as he is actively looking for them, just kick them away, this kind of person is not worth getting angry. Let's eat. The four people sat and ate their meal as if nothing had happened. On the other hand, Pang Pang Hai, who was kicked away by Yi Xiao, woke up from his unconscious state. His Pang family's young master was now being beaten up by someone, and he was also beaten up like this in front of so many people. It was tolerable to ripen, Pang Pang Hai couldn't tolerate it, patting the footprints on his body, he re-entered the Magic City Hotel, and came to Yi Xiao in front of him with a heavy anger. You kid. Bang. Another kick, dry, the same position, the same shape, huge sea in the air, fell heavily on the ground. Master, how was it? Very handsome, that's the way to do it to them. Poor Pang Pang Hai, without even looking at Yi Zhao's face clearly was kicked out by Xiao Chang. UTM. Bang. I. Bang. Don't say, this huge sea is really patient, and also quite give face, rain and shine, everyone let kicked out. This time it's my turn again, this little fat guy really has willpower, all like this and still wanna come up. Yi Xiao looked at the huge sea that rushed up and moved his ankle, as long as he opened his mouth, Yi Xiao kicked out this time. Don't kick, don't kick, I'm not here to pick a fight. After being kicked four times in a row by Yi Xiao and the others, Pang Pang Hai resigned to his fate, this guy was not giving him any face. Going up again to pick a fight would still get him kicked. And those who dared to kick him here would definitely not be ordinary people. Sensing words and observing colors is their basic skill, Yi Xiao was imposing and suave, his movements were crisp and clean, lifting and closing his feet had a master's style. So he decided that Yi Xiao was likewise a great young master, and he didn't recognize him, so that only proved that he was a foreign great young master. This kind of person could not be offended, what could be counted by receiving a few kicks? Master, this little fatty actually learned his lesson. It's still master who is powerful. The three people opened their mouths and praised Yi Xiao there, which made Pang Pang Hai even more convinced of Yi Xiao's identity. Master. The three beautiful ladies like flowers and jade even called him master. How was it possible to do so without a certain status position? Little fatty, do you have something? Yi Xiao did not look up at Pang Pang Hai, chewed the steak gently and swallowed it, and only raised his head after being served by Xiao Qing to wipe the grease stains on his mouth. Handsome. Too handsome. Impeccably handsome. Worthy of being the young master who dared to kick him. Young master, I've come to apologize, it was me who was ungrateful before, if I had known that this was one of your people, I definitely wouldn't have come up to accost you. That young master, today's meal counts as my treat, okay, you're generous, don't bother with me. This was interesting. After kicking someone off so many times, he actually wasn't angry, and even had to apologize to him and treat him to a meal. It was surprising that there was such a good thing in heaven. Since others were so enthusiastic, then he definitely had no reason to refuse. You kid is very sensible, I like it very much, then today, I will give you a chance to perform, and the previous matters will be written off. Many thanks, many thanks. After saying that, Pang Pang Hai went to pay the bill with his ass, and by the way, the repair cost of the wall was also given. After all, he was the one who crashed it, it was only right for him to pay for it. Young master, get acquainted, my name is Pang Pang Hai, Pang family, you can just call me Little Fatty. If it was put on an ordinary person, who dared to call him Little Fatty, he would have slapped him on the face. But when placed on Yi Xiao, this was a term of endearment for him. Don't inquire about my identity, you are not qualified to know for now. Understood, understood, I understand everything. The more mysterious Yi Xiao was, the more awe-inspiring Pang Hai was, staying by Yi Xiao's side respectfully, carefully serving them. Alright, if it's alright you can leave, we're going to rest. After eating and drinking, they were ready to rest. Then a few of you have a good rest, I wish a few of you good martial arts luck. Polite in knowing how to advance and retreat, although he was a bit fat, he was still very cute. After sending off little fatty, Yi Zhao's four people went back to their rooms to rest, and set off early the next morning to the dragon blood mystic realm. Today, they continued to brush monsters and practice leveling, and continued to look for suitable beast pets. Yo, grandpa, still here today. Just after arriving at the dragon's blood mystic realm, he saw that the old man who made the blind box yesterday was still there, scanning around for a new batch of beast pets. This is a new batch? How's the quality compared to yesterday's? How come it's still injured? Yesterday, the old man's body wasn't injured, but today, his breath was much shriveled, and he was still able to smell the faint odor of blood. Obviously he had just entered the dragon's blood mysterious realm to capture a ferocious beast and was injured. Just caught, freshly baked ferocious beasts, have some fun, in case you win the bet, you'll learn a lot. Yi Xiao smiled and shook his head, the overall quality of this batch was indeed stronger than yesterday's. Unfortunately, they were all ferocious beasts with overlord level bloodline, these ferocious beasts did not have any attraction to Yi Xiao. Master, there is a very strong dragon blood aura on him, quite strong. I feel it too, so dense, it's more dense than a thousand monsters combined. It is indeed dense, it feels very comforting. 
After Yi Xiao got close to the old man, Xiao Chang and the girls all felt the dragon blood aura from the old man's body, and it was unusually dense. Grandpa, how many ferocious beasts can you capture every day, reveal the news, where the quality is good, I'll go and try it too. My hands are tight, I also want to earn some money to spend. With such a strong dragon blood aura on his body, it was obvious that he had gone to an extraordinary place, if he was able to inquire about it, he could take his chances, and it was not likely that there would be any unexpected gains. However, the old man was not that stupid, raising his eyes and glancing faintly at Yi Xiao, he lightly spat out a sentence. You, not even close, going to die? Just go in and brush the small monsters at ease, it's not suitable for you there. This was looking down on him. But haste won't eat hot tofu, take your time to inquire, sooner or later you'll be able to find out. Understood. After chatting for a couple of sentences, Yi Xiao turned around and left, entering the secret realm to repeat luring and killing monsters. And in the deep hidden corner of the dragon blood secret realm, drop by drop of dragon blood was continuously falling low, and underneath the dragon blood, there was a hideous dragon head, only the dragon head was missing the rest of the body. It's been a hundred years, damn human, to have plundered my dragon's blood again and again and again. The dragon head's face became more and more hideous, but there was nothing it could do, the current him was only left with a dragon head, there was no way for it to move. For these hundred years, it had been working hard, trying to repair its body. But every time it came to a critical moment, someone would appear and plunder away its dragon's blood, causing his efforts to go down the drain. But even so, it still didn't give up, constantly condensing its dragon blood and trying to breed a new body. Seeing that the body was about to grow out, it turned out that yesterday, it was broken up again, and all the dragon blood was plundered away. This time, it really enraged him, giving up, not condensing, just hanging around half dead, anyway, there is no way out in this life. Evil dragon, you can condense your body now, after this condensation, we will not continue to plunder dragon blood. Are you serious? To this voice, evil dragon was extremely familiar, it was this person who gave him a fatal blow every time at the critical moment of his body condensation. Now he actually agreed to condense his body. This was truly a rare sight in a hundred years. You won't lie to the dragon, you humans are cunning and fickle, when the time comes to take advantage of my unpreparedness to give me a fatal blow, the fruits of all my efforts will become yours. In the face of the evil dragon's questioning, the voice in the darkness just laughed contemptuously. Do you have any other choice but to believe? Believe and you might be able to succeed, don't believe and you'll never succeed. The evil dragon screamed in hatred, what a dashing dragon it was back then, but now it was confined here and could only act as someone else's blood-making machine. I'll believe this once, if you guys dare to lie to me, I won't let you go. Yi Xiao didn't even know that there would be such a place in the depths of the dragon blood mystic realm, and that there was a secret deal going on. He was now busy killing monsters all the time. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Ding, congratulations on killing. Experience plus. Congratulations on leveling up to level 35, and leveling up the beast pet to level 35. Half a month later. Congratulations on leveling up to level 40, and leveling up the beast pet to level 40. After one month. Congratulations on leveling up to level 45, and the leveling up of the beast pet to level 45. After a month of continuously killing monsters in the dragon's blood mystery realm, Yi Xiao and Xiao Chang and the girls leveled up to level 45 in a brainwave. This was still because Yi Xiao had to sift through the ferocious beasts for beast pets with good natural talent, otherwise their speed of killing monsters would have accelerated even more. The saint level bloodline had found too, the god level bloodline had not been found so far. Although there was some small disappointment, but there was no way, this was fate, one couldn't find a divine level bloodline every time, one more or less had to give others a bit of a chance. The material is transmitted to Xiao Yunru, the sacred pet is taken away by the madman to sell, the skill book equipment can be used to wear, cannot be used to sell off. Personal wealth successfully broke through to 10 billion. The entire 10 billion, this does not include the money owed by the maniacs, if he adds the money from selling the holy pets, he has successfully broken 30 billion. Checking personal attributes. Name, Yi Xiao. Profession, Imperial Beast Master, Divine Beast Knight, Beast Pet, Green-Eyed White Tiger, Jinhai Xuanwu, Immortal Divine Phoenix, Level, 45, Strength, 2170, Agility, 2023, Endurance, 2055, Spirit, 2222. With the Dual Profession Edition, his personal attributes increased significantly, directly allowing his single attribute to break through 2000. His attributes had such a breakthrough, not to mention Xiao Chang and the girls, their attributes increased even more, breaking 10,000 was definitely there. After closing the attribute panel, Yi Xiao took the girls and left the Dragon Blood Mystic Realm. This month they have not slacked off, the results are also very significant, also should have a good relaxation. Moreover, tomorrow was the opening semester of the university, it was more or less bad if they were late. 
Although he had the underworld war god to go through the back door, he couldn't afford to be bullying, and it was the underworld war god's face that would be disgraced at that time. School is starting tomorrow, let's get ready and buy a villa near the school on the way. Living in school that was impossible, in this life he was not willing to live in an eight-person room, he was so rich that he completely had the strength to buy a villa on his own. Of course he did this entirely to prevent someone from discovering Xiao Qing's identity of the girls, definitely not for the sake of living a shameless life with them. Master are you going to buy a house? I want to sleep in one with master, can the house be decorated for me? No way. Times two. Without waiting for Yi Xiao to speak, Xiao Qing Xiao Ling sternly rejected Xiao Huang's unreasonable request. They were absolutely unable to let little Phoenix and Yi Xiao live in the same room, they wanted to sleep everyone together, and the room had to be decorated together. A room, a bed, the room you set up together, okay? Okay. Fearing that they would make a scene, so Yi Xiao decided in advance. For Yi Xiao's decision, they were unconditionally supportive, as long as they could live with Yi Xiao. In order to purchase the house, they even left their meals behind as Yi Xiao led them to the real estate agent. My requirements are simple, close to Magic City University, and don't have many rooms, it has to be big, preferably the kind of big villa with only one bedroom. The bed must be big, the kind of big bed that can accommodate at least 10 people. Yes, the bed must be big and soft. Yi Xiao brought up his requirements and directly confused the real estate agent. This request was also simple, she had never seen a guest make such a simple request before. But to say it was difficult, it was also a bit difficult, after all, this was the first time she had heard of such a big villa. Sir is really elegant, and the waste is not bad. With a large bed that accommodated 10 people and 3 beautiful women by his side, a person would know what he was thinking. Of course they wouldn't interfere with the customer's choice. Your conditions are simple, but it will take 2 days to help you remodel it. Don't worry, our team is the most professional, the room we help you remodel will definitely meet your requirements, and the privacy is the highest in the industry. There will be formation masters on the periphery of the villa to set up formations for you, of course these are all charged, I will give you a list of charges, you can choose on your own, do you think it's okay? The housing agent's attitude is very good, and where to spend all introduced clearly. In less than half an hour the design drawings and charge list came out, Yi Xiao was very satisfied, the three of them were also very satisfied. Is this our future home? Yi Xiao patted his head. Yes, this is our future home, do you like it? If you don't like it, let's change it again. Don't change it, like it, like it too much. That big bed, can sleep 20 people, they can even roll around on it. What about you guys, do you all like it? Love it. I like it if master likes it. Little spirit, little phoenix, heart tiger. Since all three of them liked this villa, it was settled. Just follow this design. Okay sir, this is our specific contract, you see, although the price is expensive, but the follow-up of our maintenance is also quite timely, to give you the most intimate service. Probably looked at the contract, all the maintenance all have, even cleaning have fixed people home cleaning, simply do not need him to worry about things at home. Can, sign it. With a wave of his hand, 10 billion dollars went out. In this magic city where every inch of land is gold, the price was already expensive, plus the various designs, it directly cost him 10 billion dollars. But 10 billion is 10 billion, as long as they like it. Money this thing, life does not bring death does not take away, make money is to spend, do not spend to stay burning paper or too much trouble. Signed the contract, paid the money, the house is completely finalized. Only need to live in the hotel for two days to be able to arrange to move in. Let's go, go back to the hotel first, when the house is done, we'll be able to move in. Ding, you have two new messages, please check in time. Just as Yi Xiao was about to leave, someone sent him a message. Xiao Yun Ro, where is everyone? You can't be unaware of today's enrollment, I've already finished enrolling, so hurry up and come. And I Yun, today's enrollment at Magic City University, have you enrolled yet? I've already finished enrolling. Inai Yun and Xiao Yun Ro sent him the enrollment message at the same time. Inai Yun came to Magic City University solely to chase Yi Zhao's footsteps, wanting to be with him. Xiao Yun Ru, on the other hand, was much simpler, she simply wanted to be adopted by Yi Xiao, and she had gotten a taste of the sweetness during this recent period of time. That alchemy materials were not lacking at all, the materials that Yi Xiao sent her were enough for her to use for a day at a time. Yi Xiao, enrollment? Enroll for what, isn't it tomorrow? Nai Yun, tomorrow is the start of the school year, today you have to enroll in a separate class, and you also have to be tested to see if you have the qualifications to enroll in the school. Xiao Yun Ro, enrollment class division ah big brother, you will not come yet, bull. Yi Xiao pondered for a moment, did he need to go and enroll? It seemed not too useful. He was a genius that the god of the underworld war had stuffed in through the back door. But just in case, it was better to go and take a look, in case he missed the enrollment and then he was not allowed to go in then it would be embarrassing. Yi Xiao, I know, I'm near Magic City University, I'll go and enroll right away, let's have dinner together later? 
It's been a long time since we've seen each other. In I Yun, good. Xiao Yunru, no time, busy. Xiao Yunru's reaction was all within his expectations, this guy only had alchemy inside his head, eating was a waste of its time. As for N.I. Yun, the same was within his expectations, this girl would agree to everything he asked for. Typical love brain, the kind of person who is sold but also helps to count the money. Yi Xiao, originally also said to give you a good alchemy material, since you are not willing. Xiao Yunru, address, on call. Little like, still can't pinch you. After hanging up the communication, Yi Xiao led the three girls to Magic City University. Just after arriving at Magic City University, he was stunned by the scene in front of him. The large school entrance was now becoming exceptionally crowded, all students who hadn't been transferred for a long time were now coming to Magic City University to enroll. One really can't underestimate the people of the world, I didn't realize that there are quite a few geniuses in the younger generation. Yi Xiao thought that his talent was already unparalleled. Now that he took a look, he was able to have his current achievements all because of the system Ah, System, finally realized it? With the help of the system and divine favor, he himself had only reached the second turn of 45 levels. But what about these students on the scene who didn't have a golden finger, with their own natural strength, there were quite a few of them who had actually broken through to the second turn. Although it was only a simple second turn level 30, which was still far from him, but this was enough to prove their talent. The rest of the students were also close to level 30, and it wouldn't take too long for them to turn too. Is it strong master? I think it's just like that ah, uh, I can spray a whole bunch of these in one breath. Xiao Cheng looked around the circle and was not interested in them at all. In Xiao Qing's in their eyes, these people were like mole crickets, the kind that could blow a whole bunch of them to death in one breath. Shu, keep a low profile, although we are very strong, we have to keep a low profile, we can't be detected as abnormal, understand? Understood. But it's really boring, let's hurry up and sign up, sign up and eat. There really isn't much fun besides crowding people, the start of school is tomorrow, let's sign up first. Crap, beautiful women, three big beautiful women, one big handsome man. Eh, eh. A sudden exclamation came from the crowd, and the scene instantly fell silent. But they didn't look back. They were all familiar with this kind of routine, someone had already used this trick to tease them before and then cut in line to enroll. It was fine to fall for it once, but to fall for it twice would be foolish. Still wanting to repeat the same trick, no one will fall for it. Enrollment enrollment enrollment, enrollment first, there are too many people, enrollment is the main thing, the beautiful women are the secondary thing. But these three beauties are really beautiful. Indeed beautiful, especially that big wave, I like it, at first glance it's a hot girl. Exclamations of surprise kept coming from around them, even the previously indifferent students couldn't help but turn around and look. When they saw Yi Xiao and Xiao Qing's trio, they couldn't help but let out a gasp of surprise, beautiful and handsome. Brother, sisters, can you let me go over to enroll first? Coping with this kind of thing Xiao Huang was the best at it, with a flick of her hair, a twist of her body and a clip of her voice. A big brother and sister, directly killing both men and women. Come come come, you guys come to enroll first, I'm not in a hurry. I'm fine here too, come over to my place to enroll. Thank you several brothers. Even the sophomore and junior seniors at the registration desk were mesmerized. How could there be such an enchanting girl in the world, paper, give me paper. Under the public, stinking shameless, you even jerked. The nosebleed ah. Schoolmates, you can't grasp it, let the senior come, the senior is the best at dealing with this kind of scene. Between words, he thought he was handsome and posed a pause, then walked towards Xiao Huang. Revealing a pair of large white teeth, he thought he was handsome. Three beauties, I'm junior senior Li Zhe, you guys are not familiar with the enrollment process, senior can personally take you, and you'll be able to complete the enrollment process soon. Xiao Huang looked at Li Zhe with a disgusted face. How did this guy have the nerve to come up here, this expression was so disgusting that it made them nauseated straight away. Three school sisters, let the senior. Li Zhe was just about to reach out and take Xiao Huang's arm when she dodged away with a dodge. She is a person with cleanliness fetish, in addition to Yi Xiao will not allow other men to touch. After being dodged by Xiao Huang, Li Zhe was also a little embarrassed, but fortunately his face is thick enough, ha a little as if nothing happened. Come, come, schoolgirls, come this way, senior will help you with enrollment. The trio ignored him and just looked at Yi Xiao on the side. Yi Xiao just smiled and did not intend to get involved. How could he intervene in such a good looking play? You guys feel free to settle this, just so that you can learn a little bit about how humans get along with each other, so that you don't get caught on the wrong end of the stick at that time. Learning a bit about how humans get along ah. Xiao Cheng closed her eyes and pondered for a while, and instantly understood Yi Xiao's meaning. Turning over, she looked at Li Zhe with a winking smile. Senior, I just heard you say that you are a junior? To be able to enter Magic City University, I guess you must be very strong. Speaking of strength, Li Zhe that was very confident. 
Those who could join Magic City University, which one wasn't super talented, even if he wasn't the top group, it wasn't something that could be compared to anyone. Coupled with these years of study at Magic City University, his strength was even far beyond that of the average person. However, in front of his schoolmates, it was still more or less necessary to keep a low profile. It wouldn't be good if it left an impression of pride and arrogance. Schoolmistress complimented, Senior is just a few years older than you guys, and has seen a bit more, now it's just a second turn 55 level paladin, with a sloppy strength. It's just barely making it into the Magic City University top 100 list, it's not worth mentioning. On his lips, he said that it was not worth mentioning, but the smugness on his face could not be concealed. Looking at his complacent appearance, Xiao Chang and the girls became even more disgusted, but for the sake of their own plan, they still put on a look of adoration out. Wow, Senior is actually a student of the top 100 list, a level 55 paladin, so powerful. Senior is so powerful, can you instruct the three of us ah, so that we can also see Senior's majesty. Generally average, not very strong, instruct you guys. And, instruct you guys? Li Zhe still had a smug smile on his face, but his body froze. This hit him by surprise ah, how good reason to point again. Previously, when those schoolgirls heard about his strength, each of them surrounded him, itching to fall back on him. How come when it came to Xiao Chang and the girls, they wanted him to point out instead? Not schoolgirls, you want me to instruct you? I'm a 55 level powerhouse, I'm afraid I'll. It's okay, we've already prepared ourselves, isn't this to see the demeanor of our academy's seniors? Besides, we are still three people, we will be careful. Senior won't be afraid, right? Or is it that even this simple request of a schoolgirl can't be satisfied? Is it that senior can't? Yin and Yang they can really learn to understand. Three words let Li Zhe on the head. In front of the beautiful schoolgirls how can it not work? Li Zhe patted his chest, his face was full of confidence. This little request senior will naturally meet, it is not afraid of hurting you well, after all, the fists and feet without eyes, in case of bumping into the touch, how sorry you. It doesn't matter, senior let us see a bit of male style. Since Xiao Qing they all said so, their eyes are worship, as a senior how can they not satisfy it? Good, but senior is a paladin, and won't bully you guys, you guys can attack as much as you want, senior will only defend, not attack, so as not to injure you by mistake. Li Zhe really did maximize the spirit of chivalry. Not attacking and only defending, in a way, he really did make the most correct choice, after all, it was the only way to have that slight possibility of surviving a strike. Senior is awesome, then we can attack. Don't be in a hurry senior sister, if you attack senior like this, you'll have to blacken your name, wait for us to sign a cutting agreement, otherwise it will be troublesome at that time. Signing a sparring agreement, come on, schoolgirls, click agree and we'll be able to spar. Novelty. It was true that it was a big city that knew just how much. Today Yi Xiao only knew that there was also a sparring agreement. This thing was good, after signing the sparring agreement, there was no fear of black names. Don't lay your hands on me, just teach me a lesson. After Xiao Chang and the girls finished signing the sparring agreement, Yi Xiao secretly sent a message to the three of them. Although this guy Li Zhe was disgusting, he didn't do any great evil, just teach him a lesson, there was no need to take his life. Nodding at Yi Xiao to indicate that they knew, they turned their heads to resume their worship and said to Li Zhe. Then senior, we can start now. The three of them set up a long snake formation and just stood in front of Li Zhe. Come on, senior me. In Li Zhe's opinion, the three elementary school girls who had just come to report, how strong could they be? Not to mention resisting the attacks of the three of them, even if there were ten more, they wouldn't be able to break through his defense. Unfortunately, this all came from what he thought. He didn't even finish his sentence, when his eyes were met with three days of long, slender, white legs. Immediately followed by an inexplicable pressure. Block. Must block. If you don't block, you will die. When Li Zhe reacted and wanted to block, the three legs had already hit the red center, head, chest and stomach. Li Zhe only felt a tearing pain coming from his body and his internal organs seemed to have been kicked to pieces. A sweet taste came from his throat, and he froze, unable to hold it in, and spat out blood in midair wow. Bang. Li Zhe's entire body was embedded inside the wall of Magic City University. Do not say, this wall is really solid, all this ah, has not collapsed. Looking at Li Zhe who was spitting out blood inside the wall, no matter if it was a freshman enrollment or a sophomore or junior, all of them were silent. Seconds. Real seconds. Although there was a suspicion of being gullible, he was still killed in seconds. The top 100 students of Magic City University, the junior, the second turn 55 paladin, were actually killed in seconds by three little girls. Monster right, are these three guys monsters? A second turn 55 level powerhouse was actually killed by them in seconds. Which city's monsters are these, to think that they've come to Magic City University as well? The crowd unconsciously took two steps back, this was considered respect for the strong. Anyway, with their strength it was absolutely impossible to kill Li Zhe in seconds. 
Even in the case where Li Zhe's love rival fought one against three, they were just as no match for Li Zhe. Is this the strength of a third year senior at Magic City University? So weak. Yes big sister, I only used 70% of my strength and he couldn't do it, thanks to me being smart, otherwise this kick would have killed him. Senior, are you alright? It won't be this that won't work. The three of them were simply killing and killing, beating people into this miserable state, but they were still there in a gloomy manner. It looks like Senior is not going to make it. Lise plunged into the wall, not wanting to wake up at all, these three kicks directly shattered his dignity. The key he felt unrivaled power from these three kicks, going out now, that was purely looking for abuse, it would be better to pretend to be unconscious inside the wall. Are there any other seniors to point out? The three of us sisters will accompany you. The scene was dead silent. What kind of international joke is this? Even the top 100 contestants had been beaten to such a miserable state, they were not looking for death by going up. The people present were all very smart, but no one was stupid enough to go up and send them to their deaths. After seeing that no one went up, the three shrugged their shoulders and came to Yi Zhao's side. Master, solution, this session of seniors is really the worst seniors I've ever encountered, there is not a single one that can fight, it's too disappointing. Alright, go and enroll. Xiao Cheng this mouth ah, definitely watched too much TV, in the beginning she was such a well-behaved little girl, now she has become shifty. The four of them just logically enrolled, wherever they went, the enrolled students retreated, fearing that they would be missed by Xiao Cheng. Of course the enrollment speed is so fast, completely because they omit the verification of strength, can beat Li Zhe to the wall to pick out, how this strength is also enough to enrollment. It wasn't until Yi Xiao and the others walked into the campus that they dared to discuss it. My god, these three girls are definitely at the super genius level, they actually crossed the line and took out senior Li Zhe. There's something to see this year, so many geniuses have come, there's a lot of competitive pressure. I don't ask for anything else, it's good to be able to get through the freshman qualifying tournament peacefully. After enrollment was over, Yi Xiao went to the freshman reception to receive the freshman enrollment rewards. To be able to enter Magic City University, talent and strength were indispensable, and the resources subsidized by the school were naturally not few. The four of them received four supplies at once. Yi Xiao, Imperial Beast Master, second turn level 45. Yi Qing, Mystic Profession, second turn level 45. Xian Ling, Mystic Profession, second turn level 45. Phoenix Flame, Mystic Profession, second turn level 45. The director looked at the four people's enrollment information and was satisfied. Although he didn't know Xiao Chang and the three of them's specific occupations, their levels already said it all. At level 2 turn 45, the occupation would definitely not be weak. Not bad, not bad, I am Feng Tu, the new student director of Magic City University, you guys should be here to receive new student supplies. Yes director Feng. Surname Feng, Magic City. 90% probability was that Feng family. If you can't mess with it, don't mess with it, make a good relationship and act conveniently in the future, it can also be considered as one of your own connections. If I'm not wrong, you guys should be the ones who came in through the back door from the underworld war god, one man and three women, the highest treatment. Before I thought it would be some second generation ancestor, I didn't realize that I was the one who was prejudiced to look away. Governor Fong was very satisfied with Yi Zhao's four people. Everything that had just happened at the entrance of the school was all under his watchful eye, and he could tell that Xiao Qing's few people had not used their full strength against Li Zhe at all. Even if Li Zhe went all out, he would not be their match. Although Li Zhe is mediocre in the school, he is also a student who can squeeze into the top 100 list, there are not many people who can kill him in seconds. The fact that the few of you were able to kill him in seconds is enough to prove that your strength is worthy of the highest level rewards. After saying that the director took out four top level freshman rewards, Yi Xiao was just about to take the rewards over when Feng Du withdrew his hand and then looked at the four with a serious face. There is something I still need to say to you guys, even if you are the people of the underworld war god. Here, it's Magic City University, universities have university rules, I don't care what you guys came in through the back door for. Once you break the rules of Magic City University, the face of the god of underworld warfare is just as bad, got it? Xiao Qing's trio did not take Feng Tu's words to heart at all. Originally, they had only enrolled in the school in order for Yi Xiao to get an extra reward. The three of them turned their gaze towards Yi Xiao, leaving it up to Yi Xiao to make the decision. Phone governor similarly looked towards Yi Xiao, he knew that all three of them had Yi Xiao as their main priority. Don't worry director Phone. we just simply want to come to school. As long as others don't mess with us, we naturally won't cause trouble, but if someone messes with us, I will naturally dispose of it. Director Phone had said so, what else could Yi Xiao say, reaching out to take the freshman reward in his hand. Then, many thanks to Director Phone. Many thanks, Director Phone. Times three. If there is nothing else, we will leave first. Wait. Although he did not know the purpose of Yi Xiao and the others coming to the school, it had to be said that the four of them were currently at the top of the freshman. 
Yi Xiao knew that it was the Imperial Beast Master, but what occupation the other three had he was still unclear. Director Feng, do you have anything else? I want to find out about the occupations of the three of them. Yi Xiao pondered for a moment, this did not seem to be anything worth hiding. It was only that the three of them were his own beast pets, so he still had to make up the exact occupation now. Yi Qing, Magic Warrior, Dual Cultivation, Level 2 Turn 45. Shen Ling, Sacred Shield Warrior, Rank 2 Turn 45. Phoenix Flame, Immortal Mage, Rank 2 Turn 45. Magic Warrior, Holy Shield Warrior, Immortal Mage. All of them were mysterious professions that they had never heard of. But it didn't matter, as long as they knew their professions, too much intervention would cause discomfort to others. Not bad, I understand all of your situations. School starts tomorrow, you guys don't want to be late, this is the class you've been assigned to, and the college guide, so you can learn about it in advance. College isn't like high school, this place won't teach you some basic knowledge anymore, it's a small society, only by your own ability can you live a better life. Of course the college will not be stingy with their own rewards, do what contribution, what rewards, by then will be in the form of points for you to accumulate, by then you can use the points to exchange everything you want. For the specifics, you guys will slowly learn about it after enrollment, so I won't talk too much nonsense. By the way, the underworld war god is giving you guys a backdoor deal, all of you are treated as top geniuses, 10,000 points per person. Although he didn't know what the points were for yet, but listening to Director Feng's words, these points were hard currency in the school. Director Feng, can you transfer all force points to my account? Eh? Director Feng looked at Yi Xiao with a confused face, how could he say this as a matter of course? This was too shameless. What did you just say? The points are all transferred to your name? He should have just told them the importance of the points, how could Yi Xiao still say such irresponsible words? That's right, if they are willing, just transfer the points into my name. Yes, we are willing. Transfer it, we don't need it. Governor Feng was confused. This was the first time he had encountered such a situation, this was 10,000 points, which could be exchanged for quite a few cultivation resources at the school. Now they even wanted to transfer the points to Yi Xiao, he couldn't figure it out. Although Yi Xiao was a little bit handsome, the three of them were equally poised ah, not so much as to give up such huge cultivation resources for a little bit of beauty. 10,000 points is a very huge amount of points that can be exchanged for quite a lot of cultivation resources, are you guys sure you're just going to give it up? Oh, thanks to Director Phone for reminding me to turn it. Can points be eaten? Turn away turn away. Turn. Seeing the resolute attitude of the three, Phone do knew that they would not listen to him no matter how much he tried to persuade them. Even if he transferred the points to them, they would still transfer them to Yi Xiao when they changed hands. Instead of that, it would be better to transfer the points to Yi Xiao. You kid really stepped on shit luck to meet such three good girls. Yi Xiao just laughed and did not refute anything. Anyway, they were one and the same, when he was strong, Xiao Chang and the girls were also strong. Director Feng, you are wrong, it's us who stepped on shit. Big sister is right. Agreed. Phone governor no longer say anything more, the three love brains, eyes only Yi Xiao, when they suffer later, they will know that he is for their good. Live in school? The academy has equipped dormitories, the accommodation is not bad. No need, we live in a villa. Showing off wealth, nakedly showing off wealth. Where could an ordinary student buy up a villa near the academy? Only after watching Yi Xiao's four people leave did a smile appear on Feng Du's face. Although he did not know the purpose of the underworld war god arranging for Yi Xiao and the others to come in, he thought that it would not be to jeopardize the school. After entering Magic City University, then they were students of Magic City University. A freshman had already reached the second turn level 45. This was not something that an unusual transmuter could do. Not to mention a newcomer who had just succeeded in transferring, this was only two or three months in the past. Even if they were geniuses, at most, they had just broken through to level 2 turn 30 at this time. If they wanted to reach the height of Yi Xiao and the others, they would have to be sophomores at the very least. Imperial City University? There's something to see this year. After leaving Governor Feng's office, Yi Zhao's identity changed. Devil's Castle University student, points, 40,000 points. Wearing this title, in the college range attack plus 15, agility plus 15, endurance plus 15, spirit plus 15. No wonder people are trying to join powerful organizations, a tribute bonus is really enough. In the academy, students who wear the title can easily defeat students of the same class who do not wear the title. The stronger the organization, the stronger the attribute bonus. This is also considered a kind of protection for the students, of course, only within the scope of the academy, leaving the campus area, the attribute bonus will be reduced to 3. Let's go, find an Ayun and Xiaoyun Ro for dinner. After sending a message to the two, the six met at the Magic City Hotel. Crap, you Xiao, you damn well can ah, it's only been a few months ah, there are so many beautiful women around. When did your brat have so much charm, a few beauties, what do you guys see in him, is he handsome? 
Or is he rich, does it mean he lives well? Xiao Yunru still had a heartless look. She was the only one who dared to talk to Yi Xiao like this. As for Nai Yun, she was looking at Yi Xiao with a savory face, before there were obviously only two, now there was an additional one, or a big wavy imperial sister, her status minus one. Xiao Yun Ro, can you damn well act like a woman, how can this come out of your mouth? Am I, Yi Xiao, that kind of person? They are all my beloved family members, hand and foot relatives. Listening to Yi Xiao's hypocritical words, Xiao Yunru just laughed. Mix well before you do it? Scroll. The few people arrived at the hotel with a smile. When they saw Yi Xiao and the others, the waiter knew what to do. What does this kid have? Five beautiful women surround him alone. Rich with a face, good life and great body, that's enough. Envious, it's a pity that the waist is not strong. Half an hour later, Xiao Yunru was dumbfounded by the scene in front of her. A table full of rice. Yi Xiao, are you a pig? So many dishes, can you finish them? Obviously Xiao Yunru was unaware of Xiao Qing's and their fighting strength, this amount of rice was not enough for them to stuff their teeth. Don't worry, this is just foreplay, the real one is yet to come. Xiao Qing Xiao Ling, introduced the sister. To Nai Yun Xiao Qing Xiao Ling was already familiar with them, before Nai Yun had taken great care of them, giving them all kinds of delicious food. In their eyes, Nai Yun was a friend second only to Yi Xiao. This is Lao San, just call her Little Phoenix. Little Phoenix sister, so pretty, what a great body. Start eating, don't be polite, all are your own people. Under Xiao Yun Rose's surprised little eyes, several people fed Yi Xiao one bite at a time. Ancient emperors were not treated as well as him. Looking at them serving Yi Xiao in such a way, Xiao Yunru felt that she had received a billion tons of storm blows. With that, she slapped her face directly. You are really spoiled, you don't even know how to eat after transferring. Eh? Watching Yi Xiao being slapped by Xiao Yun Rou, the three girls gazed over with more or less a hint of ill will in their eyes, beating their master in front of them. It was also that Yi Xiao did not give an order, otherwise the current Xiao Yunru would already be in pieces. Owner's own people, this is the master's childhood friend, just likes to joke around, you guys don't have to take it seriously. There's no need to be hostile towards her in the future, she won't harm me. Feeling the hostility within Xiao Qing and the girls, Yi Xiao hurriedly explained two sentences. He could not let Xiao Qing and the girls hold a grudge against Xiao Yun Rou because of this joking behavior. Hearing Yi Zhao's explanation, the hostility in Xiao Qing's hearts was sort of dissolved. But they still did not want someone to make a move against Yi Xiao in front of them. Just this once will not be repeated. If there is a next time, don't blame us for not being polite. One last time, to give you face. Gudu. Although Xiao Yunru was big-headed, she could likewise feel the hostility in Xiao Qing's trio. She was only an alchemist, how could she be a match for Xiao Cheng and the others, and was instantly scared and honest. They're all my own people, you guys are making it difficult for me. Or is it that you guys don't listen to my words either? Threatening my friends in front of me, you guys want to rebel? These three guys had drifted a bit recently, if they dared to be like this to his friends now, they would not be able to ride and shit on his head in the future. As a master, it was natural to have the majesty of a master. Spoiling them would only cause them to have no sense of proportion. After seeing Yi Xiao angry, the three girls instantly became honest, it was the first time they had seen Yi Xiao so angry. Master, we are wrong, never dare again. Don't call me master, you guys are my masters, threatening my friends in front of me, what else would you not dare to do? Without waiting for them to explain, Yi Xiao interrupted them. Seeing Yi Xiao defending her so well, Xiao Yunru was still quite touched. But to make them fall out for her, it was a bit of a fuss, besides they were only defending Yi Xiao, they didn't cause too much harm to her. Alright, alright, your kid is really different now, lecturing one set of words after another. What's there to be angry about this little thing, they are also doing it for your own good, just now they were just joking with me, don't you guys think so? Xiao Yunru kept winking at them, the three of them were not fools and knew that Xiao Yunru was giving them another step down. Sister Xiao is right, we were just joking around, not really. Joking joking. The three of them walked down the steps before Yi Zhao's anger subsided. You are, still as kind as when you were a child, I'm not a fool, I can't see with eyes as big as yours? Snap. Yi Xiao had just finished speaking when Xiao Yunru slapped her face. Brat, give you steps and you go down, there is no end to it, let no one eat. Down, down. This time, Xiao Qing several people did not dare to react, after all, this was their mode of getting along with each other, too much interference was likely to make Yi Xiao unhappy. Alright, the atmosphere has made you embarrassed, eat eat eat, sisters, let's compare and see who eats fast and eats more. Looking at the atmosphere a little stagnant, Xiao Yun Rou began to liven up the atmosphere and successfully led the topic to eating. In terms of eating, the three Xiao Cheng people had yet to convince anyone. Sister Xiao, in terms of eating, you are far worse. I don't believe it, I've been a big appetite king since I was a kid, my favorite thing is to eat, you guys are so skinny, how can you possibly eat over me, come and compare. The result was self-evident. Xiao Yunru ate not one-tenth of theirs, and her stomach was braced until it exploded. 
You are, still showing off not, stomach is about to explode. Xia Yunru blankly glanced at Yu Xia without any good sense, Auntie, I'm still not trying to ease the atmosphere for you, my good intentions are treated like a donkey's liver and lungs, but they are really able to eat ah, eating so much, their tummies don't even see a bulge. Xia Yunru didn't know their identities yet, looking at them being so able to eat, her eyes were filled with envy. Guess why they call me master. Men's bad taste, you kid has been holding back bad since you were a kid, I know you too well. Yi Xiao was speechless. What man's bad taste, he is a gentleman, never had that kind of thought. Can you think of something serious in your head day in and day out? Can an alchemist think of something serious in his head? That's true, alchemists are all fantasists, with wild ideas, but only then can they refine unusual things. Remember my profession. Imperial beast master, what's not to remember? About that. Xia Yunru blinked her big eyes and looked straight at Yi Xiao, then turned her head to look at Xiao Qing's three people. In an instant, countless thoughts crossed her mind. Got it? Looking at Xiao Yun Ro's dumbfounded expression, Yi Xiao wanted to laugh. Could you Yi Xiao, no money you tell me ah, uh, I said I would find you a suitable beast pet, I didn't expect you to be in such a hurry, surprisingly, surprisingly playing with a human pet, animal ah. Uh. One face dumbfounded, two faces dumbfounded, five faces dumbfounded. Yi Xiao five people just stared at Xiao Yunru with wide eyes in disbelief, but any normal person could figure out what was going on. As a result, when it came to Xiao Yunru, the divine favor directly turned into a human favor. What are you guys looking at me like that for? You should be looking at him, this guy is playing too perverted. Slap. Yi Xiao slapped up, if he didn't stop her, he didn't know what word she would say. The human favorites are all straightened out for him, is he that BT? You give me to shut up. I'm a decent person, decent person no? What human pet, don't talk nonsense to ruin my reputation. This is my beast pet, God's pet, this is incarnation, not a human pet. When Yi Xiao explained this, Xiao Yunru was even more surprised. Divine favorites, three of them. Of course she also knew that the walls had ears, this kind of thing was not suitable for everyone to know, and whispered with her ear. God's favorites? Three? Are you sure you're not joking with me? The three of them are divine beasts? Although she was an alchemist, she also knew the value of a divine pet. One was an unattainable existence, let alone three. No one else would believe that a person could have three divine pets. What am I lying to you for? Or else why do you think they listen to me so well? What master said is the truth. That's just it. It can be trusted to be. Xiao Yunru's world collapsed. She had just actually compared her meal size with the three divine pets. She couldn't beat them even if she held out. Good boy, I've known since I was a kid that you have a future. No wonder the materials are mailed to me in large batches. That makes sense. I Xia Yun Ro is still very discerning well, I know that your kid will have a future, in advance let you package. The rest of my sister's life will be given to you, and then rely on you not to go, with our relationship, when a first lady should not be a problem. First lady? Problematic, big problem. When Xia Yun Ro said these words, four pairs of eyes looked straight at her. You guys. This. I said something wrong? Being looked at by the four people like this, Xia Yun Ro more or less felt creeped out. I'm just joking, you guys won't take it seriously. There was no way for them not to take it seriously, the relationship between Yi Xiao and Xiao Yunru was too close. Before, Yi Xiao had never chided them, but now he was chiding them for Xiao Yunru. If Xiao Yunru was just Yi Xiao's friend, it was fine, but if she wanted to be their mistress, they couldn't agree to this. And I Yun naturally also disagreed, we are all women, why should you be the mistress? That, I'm really joking, I'm just friends with your master, a childhood friend, I'm not interested in him. The more this was said, the more it sounded against their will, they would never believe it. When they let their guard down, this woman would have succeeded in taking the throne. Looking at their eyes, Xiao Yunru knew that they didn't believe it. These women were too jealous, and if they were not given a proper explanation today, they would not let it go so easily. I really didn't mean to rob your master. Forget it, I'll stop pretending and lay my cards on the table, I'm actually a man, don't look at me as if I look like a woman, but I'm actually a man. You guys think, if I wasn't a man, how could your master play so high with me? Xiao Yunru gave Yi Xiao a warning look, signaling him to cooperate with him. Yi Xiao could only succumb to Xiao Yunru's why might. Right, 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 he's actually a man, just moving technology. After hearing that Xiao Yunru was a man, Xiao Qing's trio couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Children were still simple, making up two random reasons and believing them. After taking their gaze back from Xiao Yunru, the three of them once again looked at the food in front of them. A few people also knew better than to bring up this topic again lest they would be in Xiao Qing's thoughts when the time came. Have you made any progress recently? How high is the success rate? Speaking of this, Xiao Yunru became interested. After wasting so many materials on Yi Xiao, naturally the success rate was going to improve. After being squeezed by you during this period of time, the success rate has reached 30, plus the addition of the professional talent, the success rate has basically stabilized at about 50. 
half and half of the success rate, has been considered very good, very few alchemists success rate can reach 50, can reach 30 is already a master in people's mouth. Then what level of equipment can you transform now? Under Obsidian can try, remodeling success rate is also 50. Under Obsidian, for these students who just graduated just suitable, if you can transform, tomorrow will be the beginning of the school year, weapon sales will certainly increase greatly. Open a weapon store? Times two. The two said in unison, and it was clear that their thoughts coincided. After all, the price difference between ordinary equipment and equipment after remodeling was still huge. Yi Xiao could fight equipment, Xiao Yunru could remodel equipment, and if they partnered up to do business, it would be a pure profit. And the store is also ready-made, his so big villa, only occasionally come back to live. Just need to do a business license, Xiao Yunru can open a store to do business, it is also considered to supplement the family. The cost is almost zero, and you can still earn a living expense, not bad, not bad, this idea is very good. Freshmen and sophomores basically use star diamond level equipment. Very few people can afford obsidian level equipment. And there's a probability of transforming the equipment into star diamond grade equipment, that's a wide audience, and I can also take the opportunity to hone my skills, and when they move up to their third year of college, my skills will be able to transform obsidian equipment as well, and I can continue to sell them. Nice guy. Pitfalls have caught a set of people to pitfalls. But this was indeed a good deal. Alright, that's it. You're solely responsible for this matter. In the future you'll live inside my villa. Contact me directly if there's anything you need. Give money to money. Give materials to materials. Give equipment to equipment. We'll split the final proceeds 50-50. Yi Xiao funded the project, she contributed. The proceeds were split 50-50ths. Very fair. The early stage definitely needs to be invested. And the equipment you fight is not necessarily enough. We also need to open the business of recycling equipment, which requires money. How much money do you have on you right now? Let's get it together and keep it as funds for the store's operation. Although Yi Xiao had a divine pet to help him and could kill monsters quickly, the materials and stuff were all given to him, and he couldn't buy much money by relying on loose equipment and skill books. It was good to have a few small targets on him. We've only just started and we need tens of billions of dollars to operate? Buying the villa had cost more than 10 billion, and Maniac had also called in the money from the other holy favors. There was barely more than 20 billion on him. But he couldn't figure out that a small weapon store would need more than 20 billion dollars to operate. You haven't done business, naturally you don't know how difficult it is to do business, more than 20 billion is just enough. Enough. How much did you say? It was at this time that Xiao Yunru reacted. Yi Xiao just said as if it was not 200 million, there seemed to be two zeros behind it. 20 billion ah, what's wrong, doing business turned out to be so difficult ah, the operation will have to invest 20 billion. Forget it, you do business I believe, 20 billion is 20 billion, big deal, I will earn again. Good guy. It really was 20 billion. Xiao Yunru's three views exploded. Yi Xiao this was a rich woman of whoever's family ah, directly gave 20 billion dollars of pocket money. Her thief money making alchemist, but only have a few small goals in hand. As a result, when it came to Yi Xiao, he directly came out with 200 small goals. You are so bullish. Since Yi Xiao was so rich, she didn't need to worry about anything, she just needed to transform her equipment peacefully. That, you guys eat first, my side will remodel first, I can't wait. Right Yi Xiao, you but the business license. Anyway, the meal is almost eaten, there is nothing to do, go, and find a trip to foam governor to help solve the business license matter. After all, it is the super genius that the underworld war god stuffed, this face foam governor still have to give. In less than an hour's time, the various proofs for opening a store were all arranged in place. These equipment you watch and remodel, the villa will be remodeled in two days, two days later you can open your business. Now, go to sleep and get ready for school tomorrow. After not going to school for several months, it was surprising that there was still a strange feeling. The second day, several people gathered early to the Magic City Hotel's restaurant. New semester, new weather, first day of school, eat first. After spending four to five million dollars to fill the stomachs of several people, they set off to the academy and company. Playground collection, everyone quickly go to the playground collection ah, in a moment there is a good show to see, there are new students challenging the college top 100. What? Such an exciting activity on the first day of school? Which freshman is so awesome, even directly challenging the top 100 of the academy? It can't be those three girls from yesterday, they took care of the top 100, Lise. Senior Lise has released a statement that he was letting off steam at that time, which gave them the opportunity to take advantage of it, otherwise there's no way they could have been a match for senior Lise. It's not the three girls from yesterday, it's some other freshmen, I heard that they are also particularly awesome super geniuses. Online Humble begged to ask, what is the college top 100 challenge, can freshmen also participate? Didn't you read the freshman handbook that was sent to you yesterday? Handbook? What handbook? I think I threw it away. 
You're so brave, let me tell you, the College Top 100 Challenge is a list of strong people for freshmen to juniors. The higher the ranking on the list, the more points you get, the more rewards the academy gives, and it's settled on January. Then wouldn't this be the most competitive moment by the end of the month, for the rewards everyone should choose to rush the list? That's right, the last three days of the month is known as the Day of the Death Struggle list, the competition is called a fierce, today is the last day of the Day of the Death Struggle list, want to get the rewards, then you have to be on the list. We must know that the rewards for being on the list are very generous, if we can get on the list by chance, then we will directly open the gap between us and our fellow classmates, but it's a pity that we are not strong enough to fight with the seniors. Ye shall several people on the side of the quiet listening, yesterday after the end of the registration was busy eating and opening the store, there is no time to care about what the top 100 tournament. As for which what new student manual, they still didn't know in which nook or cranny to stay. There are points to take, ye shall, won't you participate a bit? Participate, why don't you participate, this is an opportunity, if you don't participate you'll miss it, do you participate? Of course, I'm also a second turn powerhouse now, naturally I'm going to give it a try. Nian didn't say that he hadn't realized that this little girl had actually managed to break through to the second turn. Although it was not as good as him, it was still considered a leader among the younger generation. Let's go then, sign up for the challenge. Finding a place, directly signing up for challenges, wanting to be on the list, then one can only challenge the strongest on the list, those who are not on the list can only challenge the strongest below 90, and only if the challenge is successful can one continue to challenge the strongest below 70, and so on, each challenge shall not exceed 10. Freshmen challenged the top 100 seniors, which was a big news that stirred up the campus. The freshmen, sophomores, and juniors all gathered on the playground. It's time for us freshmen to raise our eyebrows, we dare to challenge the top 100 list on the first day, if we are really taken down by him, it will be a great honor. It's really not self-conscious, little guy, weigh your own strength. Hey, the newborn calf is not afraid of tigers, when we are not also so over it, more experienced some things will all understand, the new student wants to challenge the top 100 list, is still far from it. In the face of the provocation of a senior, the new students can only be silent, the senior said is also the truth, they cultivate longer, the strength is also more powerful. With their strength to challenge the top 100 list, there was indeed some gap, but to just deny them all like that they were still somewhat unconvinced in their hearts. At the very least, it was an indisputable fact that the three of them, Xiao Qing, had kicked Li Zhe off yesterday. Of course they were only secretly chanting a couple sentences in their hearts. Why is it not coming yet? It won't be letting us off the hook. What's the hurry? The time hasn't come yet. The challenge will only start at 10 o'clock. Be a little patient. I don't know if the three sisters from yesterday will participate. That kick yesterday was so cool to me. I still want to see the three sisters kicking people today. Right, 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 I also want to watch, I don't know if anyone will challenge Li Zhe today, if I can still see yesterday's scene of kicking the top 100, I will have no regrets in death. It's exciting to think about it. Everyone was discussing Li Zhe's fight yesterday. On the other side of the top 100 seats, the 90 to 100 strongest people were sitting there waiting to be challenged. Li Zhe himself was also sitting on the special seat with a dark face, with a few people around him enjoying the scene. Li Zhe, you're really famous this time, among the newcomers, your prestige is unrivaled. Our classmate Li Zhe has really utilized his chivalry to the limit, being kicked to the wall by three women who couldn't key down, it really brings face to our top 100 list. Li Zhe lightly glanced at a few people and did not say anything more. Yesterday, he did lose and was kicked to the wall unable to move. Is it funny? Naturally funny. Having been in the same class for many years, I'll give you a friendly reminder that those three girls yesterday were no ordinary people, I was no match for them, and if I were to meet them again, I would be defeated just the same. You guys? Li Zhe smiled contemptuously, the same can't go more than one round. Being belittled by Li Zhe in such a way, Hu Wei sneered, not believing what he said at all. Don't take everyone as you, you are trash we are not, three pussies are just three pussies, but if they dare to challenge me, I will bring back the face of the top 100 strongest. The two were taunting each other here, after all, Li Zhe's ranking was one place higher than his, and he had always been very unconvinced. He was going to step on Li Zhe's face and climb up this time. Coming, coming, the challenger is here. A tawdry teenager in a vestment robe waved his hand and walked out at a pinch. The moment he saw the challenger appear, the scene directly quieted down. Freshman, who are you challenging? Here is the 90th to 100th place on the 100 strong ranking, name your target. Zhang Heng's staff turned and pointed directly to Li Zhe. I've come to challenge Senior Li Zhe, is that alright? If Senior needs to recuperate from his injuries, I can challenge another person. Hearing Zhang Heng's words, the crowd laughed. Everyone knew what he was saying, it was mocking Li Zhe for being kicked on the wall by Xiao Chang and the girls yesterday. Li Zhe didn't say anything and jumped into the ring with a black face. Cut the crap and start. With just a faint glance, Li Zhe had a rough idea of Zhang Hung. 
second turn level 30, and by the looks of it, he was still a law master. Then senior should be careful, my attacks are very. Too much nonsense, roll. Without waiting for Zhang Hong to finish, Li Zhe arrived directly in front of Zhang Hong with an explosive charge. A kick was aimed at his face. Less than halfway through Zhang Heng's incantation, a big four or five foot kicked him in the face, sending him flying directly out, flying dozens of meters before coming to a stop. The scene was silent, the freshmen were silent. This was too far from the scene they had imagined, originally thinking that Zhang Han would be able to resist Li Zhe and even defeat him. Unexpectedly, he ended up losing in such a tangent, a kick to the face directly ending the fight. Is this the strength of a top 100 powerhouse? It looks like senior Li Zhe's kick made them come to their senses, do they really think that the top 100 strongest is a joke? Yesterday, senior Li Zhe was just being chivalrous and was sneak attacked by them, you guys don't really think that senior Li Zhe doesn't have any strength, do you? One learns from one's mistakes, and one grows a long memory after suffering a loss. With regards to defeating Zhang Hong, Li Zhe did not show any expression and did not even look at him with his eyes for more than a moment. Glancing faintly around the scene, he turned around and returned to the special seat. Defeated too quickly, I wasn't even ready yet. Yi Xiao did not pay attention to the battle in the ring, he knew that Zhang Hong was definitely not a match for Li Zhe. No matter how weak Li Zhe was, he was still a second turn level 55 powerhouse, and other than a few of them, there were very few newcomers who could defeat Li Zhe. Master, since we're not ready, let's not wear it, shall we? Under Xiao Cheng and the girl's expectant eyes, Yi Xiao refused their unreasonable request. Why don't you guys have any team spirit at all, is this for me? This is for everyone's benefit, for the benefit of the team. You guys say, who am I earning money for to eat, I can only eat a few dishes in one meal. For us. Times three. Since you guys know that it's for you, then what's there to get tangled up in, clothes are just that, things outside of the body, don't worry, the master gives you a guarantee that when you're on the field, they definitely won't laugh at you. Before face value, everything is floating clouds. Yi Xiao Kaka was a PUA, the three girls were bluffed by him. Under Yi Xiao's half push, the three girls put on the clothes that had the advertisement printed on it. Song font, black, bolded, tilted. Yi Xiao equipment store, Yi Xiao Xiao Yun Ro for short. Address. Contact. Recycling equipment contact. Quantity discount, child and old man, then the heart. Yi Xiao also shamelessly printed his picture on his clothes. In his words, I advocate for myself. Not bad, not bad, worthy of my idea, it's perfect. Three faces were helpless. Even if they were divine beasts, they still needed a face, okay, wearing these clothes, they more or less felt bashful. Master, why aren't you wearing it? Suddenly Xiao Qing seemed to have discovered something, the three of them obediently put it on, but Yi Xiao was still wearing his usual clothes, with no intention of changing it at all. Ah, uh, what? Clothes? Where? Let's be together. Yi Xiao scratched his head and pretended to not understand. What international joke? He is shameless, wearing this out, that face is not lost. Where is impossible to wear, this life is impossible to wear such shameful clothes. But it can't be said in front of Xiao Qing and the others. Otherwise what if the three of them don't want to wear it then as well? Wear, why not? It's not time yet. When it's my turn to go up, I will naturally wear it, now it's the battle of you three, you go up first. Looking at Yi Xiao's sincere little eyes, he should not be able to lie, lying to his own beast pet this kind of thing, Yi Xiao should not be able to do it. Then we will go up first, it's so troublesome, we still can't directly challenge the first place, otherwise how painful it is to directly challenge the first place. After the trio spat out, they walked towards the ring in the center of the playground. Here it comes, here it comes, the three sister flowers are here. Some sharp-eyed freshmen spotted Xiao Qing's three at the first moment and couldn't help but exclaim. What they were most looking forward to was the performance of Xiao Qing's trio, if they could still easily crush the powerhouses on the hundred strong list like they did yesterday, it would really be too much of a face for their new growth. It's so beautiful, worthy of being the three sister flowers, on behalf of all the freshmen of Magic City University, I will designate the three of them as the freshman school flowers. Although you're rampant, I'll allow you to replace me today. I also allow it. It's so beautiful. Wait, what's that? As Xiao Chang and the girls kept getting closer, someone noticed what they were wearing. Yi Xiao Equipment Store, Child and Child, Large Quantity Discount, Contact. What the hell, advertising? Also more than a heart. My god, what kind of person came up with the method of advertising, absolute, I kind of remember this equipment store, there is time must patronize patronize. Listening to the murmurs of the people around them, Xiao Qing's trio's faces had more than a hint of bashful redness. Big sister, master's arrangement are we still coming or not? This. Come, anyway, just for today, master's order cannot be disobeyed. Xiao Qing's heart was very resistant, but they couldn't disobey Yi Xiao's order, after all, last time Yi Xiao was already very angry. In incurring Yi Xiao's anger, they themselves could not forgive themselves. Then, I shout, 3, 2, 1, let's start together. Good. 
Three, two, one, jump. The three of them jumped directly onto the ring with a flourish, and then started their individual solo under the attention of all the people. Yi Xiao Yi Xiao you're the best, Yi Xiao Yi Xiao you're the strongest. Buy equipment on Yi Xiao, sell equipment also go to Yi Xiao. Yi Xiao equipment store, strong, strong, quality, great. Childish, favorable price, whoever buys it knows. Dancing in accordance with the movements Yi Xiao pointed out, the words were still vibrating inside his mouth. After finishing all the words, the trio only felt that there was nothing left in this world. The shame was unbearable. If it wasn't for the fact that there was still a competition coming up, they really wanted to find a place to drill in. The child has grown up ah, actually knows how to be shy. But this is good, getting more and more like a human. Yi Xiao shamelessly commented below, and I Yun on the side didn't want to say anything, she could only give her a despicable look. It was a good thing that she was not Yi Xiao's beast pet, or else there would be more than just the three of them dying in society today. Good, we will definitely patronize. Must go, must give you sisters this face, give us a discount then. Must go, tell us the address, I'll order now. After a moment of silence from the crowd watching the match, a burst of cheers rang out from the scene. The effect was even better than they had imagined, surprisingly so many people responded to them. Master is right, these guys are all LSPs and are salivating over our beauty. Hurry up and race, I'm going to put this memory out of my mind, it's a disgrace for the rest of my life. After the three of them would pose for a while, they turned their heads to look at the 10 strong people on the top 100 specialized seats. Just now it was just warming up the scene, enough drama, which one of you is coming down to spar? Why don't you come down and spar, senior, you really didn't enjoy yourself yesterday. Yes senior, come on, let's have some fun. The three of them turned their gazes towards Lise. Without any hesitation, Lise directly twisted his head to the side, not taking up their words at all. Whoever loves to fight can fight, anyway, he wasn't going to go, he had just accepted a challenge once and had three times of immunity. It was so hard to squeeze into the top 100, but now he was being beaten down, it was a big loss. How much could face be worth? Keeping the resources that came to hand was the king. Am I reading this wrong, Senior Li Zhe actually chose to avoid the battle. Didn't I say that yesterday Senior Li Zhe was promoting chivalry, why is he still avoiding the battle today, it can't be that he's afraid. Could it be that these three sisters are really strong, so strong that even Senior Li Zhe has to avoid it? Listening to the discussion under the stage, Hu Wei couldn't bear it anymore. Li Zhe, ah Li Zhe, at the loss of me thinking of you as a rival, I really overestimated you, you're just a waste. It's just that you lost to this kind of claptrap clown yesterday, but today you even chose to avoid the battle, the face of the top 100 strongest fighters have all been disgraced by you.